After I was reborn, I found out I had become a poisonous snake that had been soaked in medicinal wine. Besides me, there were several other friends in the wine jar. Toads, geckos, scorpions, and centipedes. This is a clear attempt to brew us into a five-poison wine. While I was thinking about it, I suddenly felt a hunger pang. Since I couldn't get out for a while, I might as well eat something first. So I forced myself to endure the nausea and swallowed the Toad Brothers into my stomach. Then I swept away the remaining few difficult friends, and the feeling of weakness in my body instantly dissipated. At this time the door of the room was suddenly pushed open and a middle-aged man walked in. I quickly closed my eyes and pretended to be a dead snake, and... How come there's only a snake in this medicinal wine? Where's the other stuff? With that, the man was about to open the jar of wine and inspect it. I knew my only chance to escape had come. So the moment the jar was opened, I jerked my head out and sprayed a mouthful of venom in the man's face, causing him to wail in pain. Seizing the opportunity, I quickly leapt out of the wine jar and swam quickly towards the doorway, which was a residential area. A few kilometers away was a mountain forest, as long as I drilled into there, I would auger into the sea and be completely free, but I would need to cross a few main roads on the way. It would be best to wait for darkness and then move quietly. Just as I was about to drill into the small forest next to me to hide first, a yellow dog suddenly rushed over to me and barked furiously at me, and, your master was put down by me, what are you? I sprayed a mouthful of venom at the big yellow dog, and seeing that the wailing in the house and the barking of the yellow dog were getting louder and louder, I fled into the grove not far away for fear of causing unnecessary trouble. After a long time, the residents called the fire department, after all, such a big poisonous snake ran away, everyone is on edge. Ten minutes later, six firefighters, heavily armed and pulling two hounds, came my way. It seems to have to find a hidden place to hide, I thought I would drill towards a hole, I did not expect snakes really have night vision, the dark hole in my eyes like day. After drilling in four or five meters, I saw a small snake similar to mine inside the hole. It was curled up in a ball and seemed to be in hibernation, wasn't this a ready-made scapegoat? Brother, don't worry about going, brother will remember you for the rest of your life. I then took a bite into his neck, injecting the appropriate venom to paralyze its nerves, and then dragged its body to the entrance of the cave, revealing a piece of its tail after that. I then hid inside the hole and quietly observed, and soon with a barking of a dog. The scapegoat brother was carried out by the hound, and the fireman on the side shouted excitedly, caught. The poisonous snake has been bitten to death by the fortune hunter. Seeing the few people outside the cave gradually moving away, I finally breathed a sigh of relief, but still didn't dare to let my guard down, after all, this was human territory. Now I just need to live and let live, wait until the middle of the night to escape into the deep forest, no one will be able to do anything to me, nightfall, I was about to set off when a hunger pang came from my stomach again. No, I must fill my stomach before I hurry. At that moment, not far in front of me, a big rat came into my vision. I quietly approached, three meters away from it violently swallowed a mouthful of venom, the big rat struggled for a long time and then stopped moving, although it looked quite disgusting. But my hungry stomach told me that this was not the time to be pretentious, so I swallowed it in one hard bite. Ding! The host has swallowed a rat and gained four energy points. It turns out that you can only awaken the system by eating living things, no wonder all those things I ate in the wine altar before could only fill my stomach. Seeing that the night was getting thicker, I climbed towards the deep forest. Ding! Whether or not to consume a little energy value, detecting the surrounding lifeforms, if halfway by the human bumped into again will be in danger, so I do not hesitate to choose to determine. After a long time, a sea of red and blue dots appeared in front of me. Each color represented a living creature, and then a yellow dot not far away attracted my attention. Taking a closer look, I realized that it was a silver-white snake, which was a great tonic, so I quickly approached to take it by surprise and swallowed it in one bite. Devour a silver ring snake, gain 12 energy points. Devour a toad, gain 6 energy points. Devouring a gecko, I gain 4 energy points. After eating furiously for 3 to 4 hours 400 energy points were gained, and the hunger in my belly was swept away. Next, I converted all the energy values into 40 evolution points, directly filling up all 5 attributes. Afterwards, I chose evolution without hesitation, and a wave of pain swept through my entire body. The skin and flesh felt like it was being torn apart. After about 4 or 5 minutes, my body finally returned to normal, and now it felt like I was bigger and a bit thicker than before. And my speed endurance had more than doubled from before, reaching 80 km per hour at full speed, the. Just as I was about to quickly cross the road ahead, a sports car suddenly sped by. Not to be alarmed, I sprinted to my limit, transforming into a flying snake. God. What's that thing in front of me? It looks like a snake. The woman in the car was scared out of a cold sweat, opened the car recorder to see, she was instantly dumbfounded, and immediately dialed the news hotline. The next day, the news broadcast the Tian old man was soaked in a wine canister three years of venomous snake wounded, its venom contains toxins is the same kind of snake venom of the five categories. 
Netizen speculated that a mutation should have occurred, and another member of the public found a suspected mutated venomous snake while driving. Due to the recent emergence of mutated animals all over the world, for a while, there was a flurry of opinion on the internet. At this time, I have already drilled into the deep mountains, before there is no absolute strength it is better to be careful, after rushing the road to break the jomo the feeling of hunger in the abdomen once again came, the. I opened the radar system, only to see the creek upstream ahead of the cave hiding a group of snakes, they happened to be in a state of hibernation. I quietly approached and took a bite of one, and after eating furiously for three hours, my evolution points were already as high as 90. After a burst of heartbreaking pain, the body strengthened once again. The host has successfully advanced to level 4 beast, remaining lifespan, 5 years, advancing to an alien beast will increase your lifespan by 10 years. It seems that I must break through the great realm as soon as possible during these 5 years before I can do so. The next day, just as I was leisurely sleeping in the sun, a killing intent suddenly struck me. A hungry eagle hovering in the air was staring at me, I immediately turned on my radar system and continued to feign sleep, want to kill me? I'll show you who's the prey. The eagle swooped down at speed, and with a swiftness it extended its sharp claws, just when it was about to grab me in an instant. I turned my snake's head, spewed out a mouthful of venom, and then quickly bit into its neck. The beast still wanted to escape, but it could no longer break. I immediately wrapped it around and strangled it hard, and when that bastard hairs broke its breath, I swallowed it with its hair and bones, the taste of swallowing it whole is really unaccustomed. At the same time, a kilometer away, two hounds are searching for me. Five men with shotguns and steel forks followed behind, so it was after the news exposure, the government offered a reward of 500,000 to catch me. At this time the two hounds have already come to my neighborhood, see they are many people, and weapons, I do not dare to rush out, must be broken one by one to have a chance of winning. See a tall man in front of me is far away from my teammates, I directly a darting rush out, bit his palm and then drilled into the woods. Behind the teammates reacted, towards me is bang bang two shots, because I am farther away, the bullet hit me on the scale armor, I was actually unharmed. Seeing this, the crowd left one person to take care of the wounded, and the remaining three people chased after me in the direction I escaped. The two stupid dogs ran at the front, I deliberately revealed my flaws and led them to a remote place, a mouthful of venom sprayed out and instantly covered its dog face. Several people behind me heard the wailing of the hounds and accelerated their pace, when they arrived, the two hounds were already not breathing. Damn. Even if I don't want this half a million dollars, I'll kill you. I hid in the bushes and watched all this, when the three of them continued to walk forward, I stared at the last person, quickly rushed out, a bite on the wrist of that person, followed by drilling into the next, followed by drilling into the bushes, the captain saw this and fired several shots in the direction of my escape, at this moment, he was furious, holding his steel fork and ready to chase over, the strong man at the head immediately pulled him back, don't want to die, that beast obviously has a spirit, he just wants to break us one by one, as soon as he spoke, he heard several gunshots from the distance. No good, it's old four and the others who are in trouble, a group of five, currently seriously injured three people, the captain suddenly sprouted the intention to retreat. If this continues, everyone is afraid that they will be accounted for here, while I am hiding in the shadows. Looking at the two injured guys, they opened their backpacks. Taking out disinfectant water and gauze to bandage the injured, a red fruit in the box, suddenly attracted my attention, giving me an urge to swallow it. Opening the system and analyzing it, I found that this fruit was a blood spirit fruit, and after swallowing it, I could gain 10,000 evolution points. So I risked my life to drill out again, took it in my mouth and ran back. When the squad leader saw this, he pulled out his gun and shot at me indiscriminately. This fruit, but they picked it from a cave in the far north. Originally there were two, one of which was eaten by the captain's brother and died. The other one is exactly this one in my mouth. He is ready to go back to find a biological laboratory, research, figure out the real cause of his brother's death, see the fruit was taken away by me. Seeing the fruit being taken away by me, the captain couldn't stand it anymore. Chasing after the crazy shooting, my body instantly felt a sharp pain, a few pieces of snake scales were knocked down, I could not care about the wounds on my back. I sped all the way not daring to stop, my mouth biting the blood spirit fruit with death, after escaping into a lake, I suddenly saw a floating bamboo raft. Seeing no one around, I climbed up, and then fell into unconsciousness, the blood spirit fruit in my mouth, but was subconsciously swallowed. A long time later, a fishing boat passed by, and a little girl in her teens stood on the boat and shouted, Father, Grandfather, look, there's a big snake on our family's raft. When the people saw this, they were horrified, but the little girl comforted, Grandpa, it's hurt, we should save it. My intuition tells me that this snake is extraordinary. Hearing the girl's words, the father and son looked at her. This little one had been different from birth, and since she was a child, she had loved dealing with all kinds of animals. Even the poisonous snakes, spiders, centipedes, and scorpions that were feared by the average person who looked at them, 
These creatures seem to become very well behaved as long as they were with it. Are you sure we should save it? This guy is not one of those small snakes you've relieved before, this is a big poisonous snake, are you sure you're sure? The big man stared nervously at the little girl with a few questions. I trust my intuition, the little girl nodded cautiously. Alright, we'll listen to you, let's risk it this time. Without waiting for the big man to speak, the old man took the lead. Although I'm in a comatose state due to the wounds on my body bleeding profusely, but it was only in a physical fake death, I still retained a trace of clear consciousness. That blood spirit fruit was swallowed by myself, transformed into a huge amount of energy, sealed up by the system, and waiting for the awakening of my physical body, but I was still able to sense the wind and grass in the outside world. But at this time, I cannot move at all, almost can be said to be the fish on the board to be slaughtered, but did not expect that little girl actually said to save themselves, which makes my heart cannot help but let out a sigh. This time I met a good man, God is still treating himself not thin. Look at this wound is obviously shotgun hit, the wound is not too deep, but the wound area is somewhat large, coupled with too long immersed in the lake, the wound has been infected, we must seize the time to save treatment. When the fishing boat drew close to the side of the raft, the big man took out a stick and carefully touched my body, seeing that I did not react, which finally determined that the big snake in front of me was fainted. Fortunately, this guy was a snake. If it were any other animal, it would have died from blood loss. However, we didn't have any medicine on board, so if we wanted to save it, we had to get it home first before we could do anything about it. At this time, my heart is full of gratitude, helpless, at this moment cannot do any response, can only secretly decide it in my heart, this favor will be repaid in the next day. After taking me back, the family bandaged my wounds and gave me their own rooster to eat. A few days later, I was healed, but unexpectedly found that the little girl could communicate with my spirit. Hello, my name is Xiao Fang, what is your name? I replied in surprise, my name is Jackie, how can you communicate with me? I've been able to communicate with animals since I was a child, it's just that it's the first time I've come across one as smart as you. It turned out that Xiao Fang had always had this special ability, only that the animals she had communicated with before were not very intelligent and couldn't chat with her normally. In the following days, Xiao Fang brought me food every day, and every time she came, we could talk for a long time, which also caused his father Gui's concern. After all, I'm a wild beast, and when I go berserk, there's nothing anyone can do about it. So Gui talked to the old man about letting me go. But on this day, a wild boar gnawed the vegetable garden of Gui's family to pieces, and the family's hard work was destroyed. There was nothing they could do about it, and the government forbade the villagers to hunt wild boars. At the moment of despair, Xiao Fang and I communicated with each other in spirit. Fong, tell him I can help you with the boar. Snake, can you really beat that wild boar? No problem. After receiving my affirmative answer, Xiao Fang was bursting with joy and told his father and grandfather about it, both of them looked at me incredulously at the same time, and I saw this and nodded slightly, once again stating that it's definitely no problem, this family helped me heal my wounds and gave me food, so it's a good time to take this opportunity to repay the favor, the, as long as that beast is not a foreign beast, there shouldn't be too much pressure to deal with it. Seeing that I agreed to clean up the boar, Gui quickly expressed his gratitude. Sir Snake Immortal, if I can get rid of the boar, my family will definitely remember this favor. The next morning, after saying goodbye to Xiao Fang, I opened my heavenly eyes and climbed towards the foot of the mountain. After searching for a long time, I still couldn't find any trace of the wild boar. Since this was the case, I decided to stand by the vegetable field and wait for it to take the bait. After all, there is a shortage of food in the mountains, this vegetable field is a meat and potatoes in the eyes of the wild boar. Until noon, I suddenly perceived ten strangers coming from the mountains in the distance, two of them were the same old acquaintances that I had fought with last time, hated it, what a ghastly ghost, actually still have the guts to come. After I devoured the blood spirit fruit, my evolution points had reached tens of thousands, and while I was recuperating from my injuries, I quietly raised my strength to the top of the beast. This time, I won't let you leave alive. At this time, the people of the snake catching team chatted idly, Old Wu, after you injured that beast last time, it bled a lot, could it have died? That beast is very cunning, not so easy to die, my three brothers were bitten by it, until now are still in the rescue, this time a million bounty, I do not want. I'm going to skin this beast. As soon as the words fell, I saw the hound at the front start barking furiously, and the crowd immediately gripped their shotguns tightly. At this time, I fiercely scurried out headlong, but my thick body immediately blocked the sunlight, old Wu saw this and exclaimed. No, how could that beast grow so big? Could it be that its parents came to avenge him? Taking advantage of a few people frozen moment, I quickly scurried out towards the scar-faced old Lu bite, a mouthful of venom injection, that dog thief immediately paralyzed. A young man next to me was about to shoot, but was stopped by old Wu, old Lu is also inside, you want him to die ah? The back of the hound saw the situation violently pounced up, I do not even bother to look back, a tail flinging directly send it to the west, the 
See this scene, the rest of the crowd did not shoot, this group of people also want money, will I capture a life can get a million bounty, if you catch the dead, only 300,000. At this time, I hissed at the crowd, the powerful deterrent directly shocked them to fall to their knees, hands over their ears, and even some people's eyes, nose and mouth are oozing blood, wailing one after another. In an instant, the situation is in my hands, cutting the grass to get rid of the roots. This time, I won't let any of them go, taking advantage of the crowd's dizziness, I violently sprayed a stream of venom, and soon the wailing gradually disappeared. The enhanced venom took their lives in a minute or two. Just to be on the safe side, I bit into each of their neck stems again and injected a large amount of venom. This time, I don't believe you'll still have any survivors, and then I bit their backpacks, destroying all of their electronic equipment. These 10 hunting rifles were brought back by me, ready to be given to Xiao Fang's family. Now that the aura has revived, fierce beasts have appeared everywhere, so it's good to have a few shotguns at home for defense. Although I don't eat people, but the 5 hunting dogs still can't be wasted, after swallowing all of them, I instantly gained 400 energy points, the satiety degree is also full, and now it's time to free up my hands to clean up that wild boar. So I once again came to the side of the vegetable field to hide, time a little bit passed, see the sun is about to go down. Just when I was ready to go back first, that beast came to the vegetable field secretly. At the same time in the sky I map, a blue bright spot appeared within 2 kilometers, I immediately hit the spirit, and hastily to that blue bright spot to pull close to reconnoiter. I was startled to see a huge wild boar appear in the sky I map. Judging from its appearance, this guy was almost the same as me, belonging to the giants among beasts of its kind. This guy's body length is at least 2 meters or more, shoulder height is no less than 1 meter 2 or 3, fat body is like a small mountain, every time he lands on the ground, leaving deep footprints, the, it can't be the same as me, all of them are peak beasts that are about to mutate. My heart was slightly metaphysical, and at the same time there was some small excitement. The tree branches that are thicker than an adult's thumb are directly ignored by the big boar. Dense bushes in front of it is as empty as nothing, it has only one purpose, that is the spinach field. I immediately realized that if I wanted to deal with this guy, I still need to think of something. So I hovered on the tree trunk and didn't move, but waited for the big boar to approach my field of vision. Only by utilizing his fiery eyes to analyze his opponent's base values could Chun Long formulate the perfect plan to kill his opponent. Knowing the enemy and knowing oneself was the only way to win a hundred battles. The big boar didn't realize that there was a huge snake in front of it that was ready to attack it. Instead, it leisurely traveled through the mountains and forests, walking step by step towards the vegetable patch it had recently found. Those pair of dripping eyes were emitting red light in the darkness, just like a ghost. Ever since that time when it accidentally ate a half-green, half-red fist-sized spirit fruit by mistake, its food intake had undergone a shocking change, it had to eat a lot of things every day, and its size had grown by leaps and bounds. In fact, it was only a year old now. Even, originally, there were seven or eight of them in the herd, but now it was the only one left. The others, naturally, disappeared into its belly. Among them, it included the pig mother that gave birth to it, which was also gnawed by it after it sneak attacked and killed it. Soon, Cheng Long's eyes caught sight of the boar king that rushed out from behind a pile of shrubs. Fire eye golden eye. Cheng Long didn't hesitate to use his watchful eye. I'd like to see what kind of god you guys are. Race, wild boar. Realm, beast, level 10. Body length, 2. 5 meters. Shoulder height, 1. 4 meters. Weight, 380 kilograms. Extreme strength, 105. Ultimate stance, 19. Ultimate physique, 76. Armor, 79. Limit endurance, 55. Limit nerve, 15. Skill, rampage. Chun Long looked at the data feedback brought by the fire eyes, this guy wasn't bad. With a size like this, calling it a boar king was not wrong at all. The three attribute data reached more than 75, especially the strength, which reached a staggering 105. Compared to himself, it was already more than 5 points of attributes. Don't look at the added value brought by this point of attributes, at certain times, it was the key factor in the victory or defeat of an absolute battle, it was the difference between life and death, determining the winners and losers. No wonder the tip on the heavens eye map was blue, with an attribute panel like this, it would definitely be a bit dangerous if one were to take the enemy lightly. But fortunately, the biggest shortcoming of this guy compared to himself was his stance and nihility, which was only less than a mere 20 points. In other aspects, there was also a huge difference. This kind of attribute comparison was completely the difference between an adult and a baby, and could be easily pinned down. One only needed to be careful not to be rushed by the other party, and for the rest, one could slowly make friendly exchanges towards it. Come, come, little piggy, don't be in a hurry, just let you leisurely enjoy the last few minutes of your life first. Cheng Long quietly slid down the trunk of the tree a little bit in a hovering manner. With this piggy king's forward route, it would just happen to pass under this tree of his own. Eating was no longer able to eat this big guy, after all, there was still cargo in his stomach. 
However, if you can't eat it today, you can save it for tomorrow, and you can let Xiaofang's father, Gui, help with it. The big deal is to share half of it with them. Every time they drink blood, they have to spit out the bones, hair and other residue, it is really too much effort. To be honest, if Cheng Long didn't want to advance and stay alive, he truly hated this way of swallowing. This guy's skin was so thick that it was useless to bite anywhere else. The best way was to use his strengths to suppress the other party in terms of stance and speed, drawing the other party into a state of rage. As long as the wild boar enters a state of rage, it will almost lose its mind, and will not be like the other fierce tigers and brown bears, which can't be defeated but will leave. They basically reached that point, they were entering a situation where they would not be able to stop until they died. If one did not enter the tenth level of the perfect realm, and the various attributes did not reach 100, one would absolutely not dare to face such a large boar king. This guy's combat power is not just talk, tiger brown bear encountered the existence of this size will avoid away, not as a last resort will not choose the front hard. But now, as long as the other party's attack cannot hit themselves, can completely use their other attributes to crush each other's advantage to consume their physical strength and energy. As for spraying with venom, Chang Long had also thought about this. However, with the opponent's thick-skinned body, his own venom spray might not be able to do much damage even if it hit. Later on, he might be able to try a sneak attack, and if it really didn't work, he could only resort to the strategy of weakening the enemy. Only by letting it enter a state of weakness would they have a chance to strike. Combat program naturally the more the better. Want to survive in this wilderness, physical quality is certainly important, but wisdom is also an innate advantage. The reason why human beings were able to stand out amongst the many species, intelligence took the lead. Cheng Long pondered on how to go about resolving this boar king while keeping a close eye on the other party's actions. What was promised to Xiao Fang's family, then it had to be done as promised. Cheng Long didn't want to get hurt anymore, even if his attributes other than strength could crush the opponent, he had to pay attention to this opponent. A lion fighting a rabbit also needed to be at full strength, let alone a big boar king that was not far from his own battle strength, sloppy ah. The big boar wagged its short tail and flicked it, its thick skin almost ignored the threat posed by any animal in this woodland. It had this capital, in this territory belonging to it, except for some small birds and beasts, almost no other large animals existed. Moreover, the road leading to the spinach field, the boar king is also familiar with it, it can be said that closing its eyes without looking at the road can smell the smell of spinach in the distance. <laughs> Wild boar king every few steps, let out a very pleasant sound, originally has not yet started the springtime, the mountain forest food is relatively scarce, it is also very able to eat, the several months of time off and starve. But since the discovery of the lake under the mountain this vegetable field, it is a good day, nothing to arch a few cabbages and radishes, a small life is beautiful. Just as it officially stepped under the tree where Chung Long was, Chung Long moved. A mouthful of venom was sprayed towards its eyes. This was the only place where a venom invasion would be the most deadly. The range of 12 meters was enough to keep Chen Long and the opponent at a safe distance, not to mention the fact that it was sprayed down from the trunk of the tree, so it could be said to be instantaneous. Of course, the tree Cheng Long was in was naturally not 12 meters high, the position he was hovering in was in the middle of the trunk, just 3 or 4 meters away. The wild boar king was not the slightest bit aware that there was a giant python-like king cobra in the tree that was preparing to deal him a fatal blow. Their eyesight was very poor, and they could only see a little distance ahead, blurrier than high myopia. The moment the venom was sprayed on its head, the boar king's hair stood up, sensing the crisis, standing still and judging the location of its source. This just gave Chang Long an opportunity to take advantage of, and for insurance purposes, so he increased the dose of the spray. Oof, 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 oof. The moment the venom officially fell into the boar's head and flowed into its eye sockets, the sharp pain from the corrosion caused it to instantly jump up violently, directly crashing into one of the trees around it. For a moment, the bull thick tree directly broke from it under this collision, and then collapsed with a bang. But at this time, the boar was already in very severe pain under the invasion of the venom, while the overpowering toxicity had already begun to invade its head. In pain, it began to berserk mode, and the surrounding bushes and tree trunks were all in its attack range. Chang Long was secretly shocked as he watched, this was also the first time he had seen a wild boar that had gone berserk, especially a wild boar king. With its amazing destructive power, it almost swept through everything, accompanied by dust and dirt, everywhere was a mess. Holy shit, it's a good thing I didn't choose to get close, this guy went berserk, even if his armor reached 100 attribute points, I'm afraid he would suffer internal injuries. In order to avoid being injured innocently, Chung Long climbed another 2 meters towards the canopy. But, that being said, this enhanced version of his own venom is also really fierce, such a big boar king, actually reacted so quickly and so violently, it's worthy of being snake venom. Struggle, show the last light of your life. Cheng Long stared dead on at the boar king that started to become dizzy and unsteady on its feet after the rampage, and couldn't help but say, 
The nerve paralyzing toxin in the venom was already having an effect. After knocking down five or six small trees in the neighborhood one after another, this guy finally collapsed on the ground with a boom, his mouth wailing continuously, but getting lower and lower, getting weaker and weaker. Originally I thought that if the venom didn't work then I would have to use the plan of exhaustion, but it looks like I don't need it now. But this guy's vitality is really tenacious, compared to those ten hunters, he at least struggled for so long. Chen Long said with a leisurely heart. The sunlight in the early morning was very mild, Gui brought a few villagers he knew well and came to the back of the mountain by the lake early in the morning. I say a ah, Gui ah, there really is a wild boar that big, you didn't lie to us. A villager with a flat stretcher and a Gui were walking side by side, the two of them were hooking shoulders, they seemed to be the kind that played better. I say Dan Young, if you don't believe me, you cannot follow me ah, have asked all the way, I have returned several times, really don't want to talk to you. Agui was slightly panting, this mountain road was already rugged and difficult to navigate, he peeled away the bushes in front of him and tugged on a thick branch as a borrowed strength before he ascended ahead. Since there is an induction cooker and gas canister, more than 10 years without burning firewood, this mountain has been unable to find the road, the mountains are all flush with thorns and bushes, no wonder there are also wild boars infested. Another strong man behind him was holding a rope in his hand, looking at the big mountain in front of him and sighed. Who says it's not, nowadays the young people have all gone to the city to work, those left behind are all old people, and there are more houses than people in the village. There are a few like a still at home to get this acre of land, plus the policy also supports the return of farmland to forests, into the mountains of nature less. You don't say, nowadays, this deep mountain old forest all kinds of rare and protected animals have become more, indicating that the environment is better, there is a bigger wild boar is not surprising. A middle-aged man with a stretcher in one hand and a wood chipper in the other also agreed. I say Ague, how did you find that wild boar? Now in this deep forest, if it were me, I'd be a bit scared to come in alone, who knows if there's a blind bear or something hidden inside. And recently the TV also often said that all kinds of strange beasts are infested, you guys are really bold ah. Luck, luck, isn't it true that my vegetable plots under the mountain are always being destroyed by wild boars? It's just that I went to this mountain on a whim and wandered around, and as a result, I accidentally found that wild boar king that had just died not long ago. At a glance, it is estimated that not less than 500 pounds. That's why I asked my brothers to come and help, my old man is not the same as back then, I can't handle it by myself. Ague put this overnight thought good excuse out of the mouth, since last night was the snake fairy to bring up the mountain, see such a big wild boar king, their grandparents and grandchildren three people also shocked off the jaw. Originally thought that the snake fairy in front of the adult is already abnormal beast, did not expect to actually see such a big boar king, simply out of their cognition. Such a big head, even with a pickup truck, it was estimated that it wouldn't fit ah. At that time, the old man uttered a sentence, this kind of wild boar king that is almost mature, without five or six skillful hunters, it is almost very difficult to kill, and it may even be counter-killed. But even if it was such a large wild boar king that died in the hands of this snake immortal lord, it could only mean that this snake immortal lord was truly powerful. Fortunately, the other party really didn't have any malicious intent towards his family, and he had even made good friends with his daughter, Xiao Feng which meant that his family's luck had come. Lord Snake Immortal only had one request, this boar king was given to them to deal with, it needed half of the blood and flesh, and the rest, distributed however they wanted. At that time, without waiting for him to open his mouth, the old man agreed with his mouth full. The old man became a savant, not to mention that the other party only needs half, or even all, to be able to make friends with such a spiritual beast, is also a hundred benefits and no harm. So, after breakfast early in the morning, Goy rushed down the mountain and called a few familiar people to help. Chen Long was very satisfied with the performance of Xiaofang's family, this family can handle, from childhood to old age are not ordinary people. If they were ordinary people, facing such a strange snake, they would be scared silly if they weren't scared crazy, but their family was really different. Who dares to be woken up by a giant snake in the middle of the night and then follow it into the wild mountains, is not afraid of a little accident. But their grandparents and grandchildren still entered the mountain with themselves without much hesitation, this is trust. Although there is also Xiaofang's factor, Cheng Long is still quite touched by this trust. After all, he was a python at the moment, not a person. Even if he was a person, he wouldn't go out in the middle of the night and enter the mountains if he didn't trust. Perhaps this was fate, Little Fawn's bare heart and this family atmosphere and heritage also had something to do with it. At the very least, it was also a virtuous family, even if there were some small schemes in their hearts, that was also very normal. At this moment, he was quietly lying on his back resting in a house on the second floor of Xiao Fang's house. In order not to scare the others, he was watching the TV in a hundred different ways. If an outsider saw that a snake was watching the news with great amusement, that would be a major news story in itself. But, alas, there were no outsiders here for the time being, and only Xiao Fang was keeping himself company. 
The latest report from this station's news is that recently on the continental shelf of the South China Sea, a diver accidentally discovered a superskeleton, which, from the appearance of the skeleton, somewhat resembles the legendary giant one. The overall height of the skeleton in about 10 meters, with four arms, its bones metalized, very hard, but no head, chest ribs also inserted a huge sword made of unknown materials. The Southern Navigation Bureau has sent a professional salvage team to the scene to investigate. If the situation is true, then the prehistoric legendary alien civilization may be around us, and those legendary creatures in the myths may not be false. With the increasing number of mutated creatures now, there are traces of alien beasts all over the world, perhaps, we, the human race, will usher in a whole new era of civilization. The host who was conducting the broadcast said with great excitement, the four-armed giant race, the mysterious giant sword. Chang Long squinted his eyes and couldn't help but look at the image on the TV, from the feedback image, it was an enlarged version of a human skeleton. Kind of interesting, this world is getting more and more interesting. Chang Long couldn't help but spit out his letter. After all, the more exotic beasts there were and the more mysterious events there were, then he himself would become inconspicuous, which gave him the opportunity to be able to develop obscenely. If he was the only snake that was so idiosyncratic, perhaps the eyes of the world would be focused on himself. However, now with the appearance of so many mysterious exotic beasts and events, it invariably gave himself protection. Even if one behaved in a more bizarre manner, one would be taken for granted and not be surprised. Dahe, how come all you elves and strange beasts are coming out now, and what with the aura revival, is this world really going to change? I'm really a bit scared. Xiao Fang, who was sitting beside Chen Long, couldn't help but look at him, her confused eyes filled with a hundred thousand reasons. Don't be afraid, aren't you and I friends, in case the sky changes, I'll protect you then. Chang Long replied with comforting words. After all, he was still a not-so-young child, for these mysterious things, although he was also full of interest, he still felt uneasy. Well, I believe in you, when I have the power in the future, not only will I protect Dai, but I will also protect my Abba and Grandpa in them. Hearing Chang Long's reply, Xiao Fang was very happy, nodding her head, reaching out her hand, and pulling Chang Long's head over in her arms. This little guy, just for the fact that you trust me so much, you're a friend I'm going to make. Time passed quickly, half a month passed in the blink of an eye. Chang Long, who had originally planned to enter the deep mountains and old forests to find a place with abundant spiritual chi to seek a breakthrough, stayed here secretly for so many more days under the retention of Xiao Fang and her family. Especially Xiao Fang's father, Gui, had turned 180 degrees in attitude. Not only everyday chickens, ducks and geese and other delicious meat offerings, every time Chang Long had the idea of leaving after the earnestness of his retention. And this half a month, not only the TV network and the news reported more and more incidents of beasts attacking human beings, all kinds of strange location is also constantly surfacing in front of people's eyes. Even just in the village where Xiaofang and the others were located, some pigs, dogs, chickens, ducks and other poultry, also appeared in large numbers with red eyes, attacking each other and attacking humans. For a while, the whole world was in a state of panic. Shang Long also felt the mysterious atmosphere in the air is getting more and more dense, and even between one breath and one inhalation, there is a kind of violent power that makes the whole body hot and want to give vent to it. If it wasn't for the fact that he had suppressed this impulse in his flesh with his reason, perhaps at this moment, he would have already fallen into a frenzy like those ordinary wild beasts and fowls. Father, since the last time I ate the meat of that wild boar that Lord Snake Immortal made dead, I seem to feel that there is a mysterious power in my body that is strengthening the body in general, do you have this feeling? Ah Gui and the old man were sitting under the eaves of their house, it looked like spring was about to start but recently the sky was always dark and cloudy. It's not too general, my body also recently and the body is very energetic, it feels like it is back to the young time, a fist can kill a tiger as if. The old man waved his fists a few times, full of vigor and said, recently all over the world is not peaceful, fortunately we disposed of those poultry at home early under the prompting of Lord Snake Immortal. Look at Fong Laosan at the bottom of the mountain, this time it's really tragic, being toppled alive against the wall by his own maddened old ox. There's also that Song Shifeng, who fed a dozen or so sheep, and this time, if it wasn't for his quick reflexes, he would have probably been killed alive by the sheep too. A Gui looked in the direction of the village down the hill with a palpitating heart. I've told you, the snake fairy has no malice towards us, and is so close to that girl Xiao Fang, we just need to befriend it properly, there is no harm in it. The old man was very proud to look at this stupid son of his, at that time he was a face of fear, and even wanted to let the snake fairy leave the meaning, now know the poisonousness of his vision, right. Right, it's still grandpa's vision that is good, Dahe has no malice towards our family. Just as the father and son were talking, Xiao Fang walked out from the house. Recently, it was not peaceful outside, so the school was not in session, instead, they were allowed to take online classes at home. You girl, you're done studying, every day you scream big black big black, that's snake fairy, you should show some respect. A Gui for their own this baby girl is also very helpless, since childhood is different from the norm, precocious mind, 
would rather play with animals but not play with young friends of the same age. Before for this matter, he was not less worried. I didn't expect that nowadays, because of this maverick talent, it actually made his family and Snake Immortal make good karma, it was also considered karma. Snake Immortal Snake Immortal, Dehei has said that he is not a Snake Immortal, you guys don't keep calling him Snake Immortal Snake Immortal, he feels very awkward. Xiao Fang took a stool and set it up next to grandpa and sat down on his butt, then said. Dahe suggested that we move early and head to the big city, this mutation will be a catastrophe for us humans, our home located under this deep forest is not very safe, not a place to stay for a long time. Oh, Lord Snake Fairy really said that to you? Ague couldn't help but faintly freeze when he heard Xiao Fang's words, he had also been thinking about this issue for the past few days, he just couldn't decide for a moment between hesitations. After all, a family to move, this is not a simple matter, there are too many things to consider. Not only was Gue hesitating about where to go in the future and how to survive this catastrophe, Chung Long was also pondering this question. Whether to go to the deep forests and continue to live in obscenity, until he is invincible in the world and then go out to the mountains. Or to take advantage of Xiao Fang's family's closeness to him and support them as his human spokesperson. Thus living in the human region, growing up while establishing their own forces for my use. For Xiao Fang, a human partner who had signed a spiritual contract with himself, Chung Long was trusting. After all, this kind of interaction between the two is not just a spiritual communication so simple, although they can't perceive each other's thoughts, they can roughly judge what the other wants to do. These days from the TV news to see a variety of reports, as well as Chang Long's own perception, this mutation, want to be alone, almost as difficult to do things. People have the power to be poor, personal power is strong, in Chang Long's view, it is difficult to fight alone to become a climate, although he has the existence of the system as a plug-in, but in the end, it is not enough. Whether it is to enter the primitive forest to develop silently, or to support Xiao Fang and her family to become their own spokesperson, all have their own advantages and disadvantages. The trade-off among them was between one's own thoughts. Regardless of which path one chose, it was one's own strength that would ultimately determine one's assured victory. Only if he was strong enough could he subdue all beings and obtain the life he wanted, otherwise everything was just empty talk. Thinking about this point, Chun Long already had his own idea in his heart, children only make choices, adults? Naturally, all of them. Just at the moment Chang Long returned to his senses, the earth shook violently. Earthquake! That Agui hastily exclaimed, then rushed into the house and hurriedly picked up his young son, holding his wife's hand and ran outside. Chang Long also felt bad, immediately and quickly rushed out of the house down to the first floor. Fortunately, his speed is extremely fast, when the tail left the door of the moment, the whole three-story building in the shaking collapsed in half. And at this moment, the earthquake was still going on, the entire ground was shaking, and in a moment, the surrounding trees collapsed, and all sorts of poisonous insects and rats drilled out from all corners of the ground, setting off towards the open safety zone. Run, run towards the fields below. Agui at this moment no longer cared about the house being destroyed, holding his little son in his hands, urging his wife to be careful all the way towards the open fields outside. The old man pulled Xiao Fang to follow behind, the ground cracked open with countless fissures, for a while the sky was dark, the whole person couldn't distinguish between southeast and northwest. Cheng Long also completely felt the horror of this earthquake. A large crack was like a cut cake, tearing the entire earth apart. The bottomless abyss stretched a thousand meters away with no end in sight. Facing this kind of terrifying power, Cheng Long only hated that he was too weak at the moment, he had no strength to defend himself at all. He also followed closely beside a Gui and the others, heading towards the open ground. Head for higher ground, be careful of the lakeshore collapsing. When the earthquake had stopped a little, what came into view was a tragic scene of mountains shifting and rivers breaking off. The house of Agui's family was already nothing but debris, what came to his ears was the sound of several people crying, especially Xiao Fang's younger brother, who was almost dumbfounded by the shock and was howling at the moment. Chang Long took a look through the heavily eye map, the entire land had been completely changed, there was no previous appearance at all. Especially the lake at the back of the mountain, the embankment had collapsed most of the way during the earthquake, and became shaky, with the possibility of collapsing at any time. Chun Long immediately reminded Xiao Fang who was sobbing, telling her and her family to hurry up and find a high place, otherwise the consequences would be unimaginable. Cataclysm ah, this sudden cataclysm, no matter if it's man or beast, in front of nature, it's a joke. Silently watching all of this, he couldn't help but think, what would it be like if he himself one day grasped this kind of terrifying power? The sudden cataclysmic change sent the entire world into a panic. What Cheng Long and the others didn't know was that at the same moment, earthquakes of varying degrees occurred all over the globe. Houses collapsed, landslides occurred, lakes broke their banks, rivers backed up, and coastal cities were swept into the city by tens of meters high waves, destroying countless skyscrapers. Countless people were missing, and for a time, there were countless dead bodies on the ground and a great deal of grief. Right after the earthquake, countless beasts in the mountains and forests fled, 
and the poisonous insects and beasts rushed into the plains where humans concentrated their lives, killing each other and attacking humans. Chaos, chaos, total chaos. The remaining humans were simply powerless to fight against this sudden great natural disaster. Is the end coming? Some crazy people couldn't help but shout, wanting to ask the Invisible One, God, if he was going to exterminate them. Some careful people even noticed that after the cataclysm, from within those cracks, an invisible and colorless energy was slowly overflowing and filling the air. Chung Long also sensed this, because, the system was prompting him that the aura in the air was slowly approaching the need to advance to the level of Fei. It wouldn't take long for him to advance. Home is gone, Grandpa, our home is gone. Xiao Fang tightly hugged the old man's waist, pointing at the direction of his house with one hand, and couldn't help but wail. It's alright, as long as our family is still here, as long as our family is neat and tidy, the house is gone can be built again. The old man couldn't help but burst into old tears as he looked at the floodwaters that poured out after the dike broke, as well as the broken house. Thankfully, their family was at least safe and sound, while those in the villages below the mountain might not have this good fortune. Earthquakes, floods, mountain collapses, there was no telling how many people would die. Right, girl, your grandfather is right, as long as our family is still here one and all, other things are nothing more than things outside of our bodies. The father, Gui, also calmed that lingering fear in his heart and patted his eldest daughter's shoulder and said. Then he looked at Chen Long, if it wasn't for the other party's timely reminder to let their family climb up to a higher place, this would probably have been rushed into the distance with the dike breaking lake water. Thinking of this, Gui was a moment of fear. Just as the family found a still intact and not cracked high ground climbed up, the lake shore instantly collapsed. The huge current of water washed away everything in front of them, and ran wildly towards the bottom of the mountain like a wild horse out of control. Had it been a minute later, the consequences would have been unimaginable. At that time, he had just escaped from the earthquake fish and how would he think of this, panic has long been disorganized, thankful for his family's survival. The great favor does not say thank you, only the most pious method. Directly flopped down and knelt in front of him, ignoring that the ground was littered with debris, and very solemnly kowtowed three times and said, Many thanks to you, Snake Immortal, for your timely tip, or else just now our family would have been swept away by the flood that broke the dike. Chang Long originally wanted to stop Gui from doing so, after all, someone else had also saved his life, and could not afford to pay this obeisance. Unfortunately, he didn't have arms and legs and couldn't speak, so he could only quickly scatter to one side, then said to Xiao Fang, Quickly let your father get up, a small matter is not worth this great honor. Men's knees have gold, kneeling to heaven and earth and parents not outsiders. If you really think I am a friend, never come to this set of things in the future. After all, your family also saved my life. Only then did Xiao Fang say Chang Long's meaning word for word to her father, helping him up in the process. Seeing Chang Long nod his head, Gui also revealed a smile and said, What is a small thing for you to say is five lives for our family. Such a great favor is worthy of my kneeling. And I also know that you don't want to be called Lord Snake Immortal, from now on, how about I also call you Mr. Dai Hei in general with the girl? I'm not called Big Black, I have my own name, my name is Chang Long. Chang Long rolled his eyes and conveyed his meaning to Xiao Fang, then said, You can call me Mr. Chang, or you can call me Ah Long. Okay, Mr. Chang, don't say too many good words, it's meaningless to say too much, just remember it in your heart. Ah Gui pointed to his chest and then said, You also don't always feel that we saved you, you owe us something, today you also saved our family, as an offset how? Hearing Ah Gui's words, Chang Long also stopped acting, the snake head nodded a few times as recognition. I see that you are also not an ordinary being, I have an immature idea. From now on, you are the family member of this family of ours, count me as a high climber, I don't know what your old man thinks. Hearing his son Gui's words, the old man nodded with satisfaction. The other party was so spiritual and had clear grudges. In such a chaotic world, if his family had the protection of this great snake, then it would be safer in the future. Unable to help but follow up on Gui's words, yes, Mr. Chang, I see that you and this girl, Xiao Feng, are quite compatible. If you don't mind, how about letting this girl pay homage to you as a teacher and be a child under you? Worshipping a teacher and accepting a child. Chang Long was slightly stunned, then he understood what this pair of father and son were thinking and couldn't help but look at them meaningfully. Sure enough, Ginger is still old and hot, this Agoe directly raised the word of family, and when it was done, it was a bit abrupt. But the old man is using his own and his granddaughter Xiaofang's relationship, a different way, to master and disciple as bait. It seems to retreat a lot, but in fact, it is still a retreat to advance, want to tie themselves to their family's chariot. However, this is just the right thing to do, one's own intention is also exactly the same, why not use this to take the slope down the donkey? So he turned his gaze to Xiao Fang and sent out an inquiry, girl, there is no need to worship the master, there is nothing I can teach you for the time being, if you don't mind, then be my sister. Chang Long was being sincere, the time and space of his previous life was obviously not returnable. 
Although Xiao Fang and his own little sister looked different, Chang Long seemed to see his little sister's shadow in her during these days together. It was just right to take advantage of the fact that a Gui and the old man took the initiative to make this request and form this relationship, then in the future, when he supports the other family, it is also considered to have a reason to be here. Xiao Fang told Cheng Long's meaning to his parents and grandfather, and finally discussed it, and found a compromise program, worship as usual, but to get along his brother and sister. Cheng Long did not object. After all, according to the real age, he and Xiao Fang's father, Gui, were about the same age, and it was fine to be a master. Although there was nothing he could teach this girl for the time being, but with the existence of the system, Cheng Long was still confident that he would have the opportunity to get this girl some equipment feats and whatnot in the future. The reason why he proposed to recognize his sister was also because he was afraid that this girl would not accept it and affect the relationship between the two sides. Since Xiao Fang this girl are not opposed, Cheng Long also peacefully accepted the other side in the wilderness of the Three Worship Nine Kowtow Worship Ceremony. After becoming someone's master, he naturally had to take up the responsibility of being a master. Now, there is no good acceptance gift, then go to hunt a few prey back to this family to feed the hunger. After all, their supplies were gone, their home was gone, and they didn't know how many people had died under this cataclysmic change. At least, in his heaven's eye map, the village under the mountain was already in ruins at this time, and there were very few people left alive, full of despair. Under the freezing cold, coupled with this cataclysm, it wasn't just humans who suffered heavy casualties. Those hibernating animals, there are also a lot of too late to react, in the ground under the dragon turned over, lost their lives. Time passed little by little until around afternoon, after confirming that it was safe and there should be no more aftershocks, Chun Long and the others began to move. The aura coming out from the cracks in the ground was increasing little by little. Under this unprecedented change, slowly, whether it was humans or other animals, the vast majority of them couldn't adapt to this new environment and began to experience breathing difficulties. Agui, my chest is so stuffy, it's very laborious between this exhale and inhale. When Chang Long left to go elsewhere to find prey for them, Xiao Fang's family was not idle either. Originally, they wanted to go to the destroyed house to look for supplies for the next days, but the child's mother covered her chest and said with a pale face, Little Fong, you stay with your mom and brother, I'll go with your grandfather to take a look. Wang Gue instructed Xiao Fang who was beside him, although his heart ached for his wife, this was not the time to hesitate. It was fine during the day, but at night, without the shelter of the house, this large family, with the cold weather, would surely be very sad. Although Mr. Cheng had helped to go hunting for food, they also had to carry out self-rescue before they could do so, they couldn't rely on each other for everything. No need, Xiaoxi is also asleep, I'll stay here, let Xiao Fang go with you, more people more power. Looking at Xiaoxi who was asleep with tears in her arms, the pale-faced Fang's mom waved her hand with difficulty and pushed Xiao Fang towards Wang Gui's side. Go! Father Wang Gui and Grandfather Wang Yue brought little Fang carefully through the fragmented earth to the destroyed old mansion, wanting to see if they could still find anything useful. After all, after this cataclysm, they also needed supplies to live on, and since the family was safe and alive, clothing, food and other items consumed daily were also essential. Cheng Long utilized the detection of the sky eye map and traveled through the mountains and forests. Fortunately, he was physically fit and agile, the entire landscape of the mountains and rivers had changed drastically as a result of this major earthquake. According to Cheng Long's estimation, this earthquake was bigger than all those so-called earthquakes he had seen in TV and movies in his last life, and it should be at least above the ninth magnitude. Fortunately, he was blessed with a great life and was agile. Otherwise, under the sudden earthquake, with the previous body strength when he didn't have crazy leveling, he would have been crushed in the house of Xiao Fang's family. In this half a month, he himself hadn't been idle, not just simply engaging in freeloading at Xiao Fang's house. Through constant understanding, he had almost confirmed that this was a parallel time and space similar to the blue star where he had been in his last life. The entire world was called the World of the Nine States, and was divided into nine landmasses, the Eastern Land, the Western Region, the Southern Wasteland, the Northern Frontier, the Central State, Ingzhou, the Abode, the Wuji Snow Region, and the Thousand Islands and Seas. The kingdom he was currently in was called Dixia, which was considered one of the three strongest kingdoms in this world. Located on the eastern continent of this world, Dixia was a very ancient kingdom, and the Totem of Faith was also the dragon, just like the kingdom in his previous life. Not only was there a hairy bear kingdom that had already declined and disintegrated like the northern frontier, in the east of Dacia, across the endless sea, on that Terra Nova continent, there was likewise a strongest world police kingdom, pretty kingdom. Even the cherry blossom country, garland country, sunset country, iron tower country these and the previous life similar attributes of the country in the geographic location and international situation is almost the same. This made Cheng Long couldn't help but be secretly amazed, these countries could be said to be more or less the same, including the marginal environment, in addition to their different names. It could be said to be a replica of Blue Star, that is, the map of the entire world had expanded several times. 
A single Great Xia country had an area of more than 30 million square kilometers, completely exceeding the perception in Chang Long's heart. And the northern border of the Malhuasca country even reached a staggering 60 million square kilometers of dominion area, compared to the Asia-Europe continent in the previous world is also a little bigger, can be said to be very scary. Chang Long's mouth was almost open after he was roughly informed about the situation of this world. No wonder he could understand Xiao Fang and the others, and even read their words. It turned out that this land underneath himself was still able to resonate with him and his soul, a parallel world, which explained it. That kind of bloodline imprint engraved in the depths of the soul was also very naturally integrated into this new world. There was no way to return to Blue Star, so, from now on, live well in this world. Even if it was to be a snake, it had to be a snake that was different. Ha, huh, it smells good. What is it? As Chang Long wandered through the forest floor in search of prey, suddenly a very tantalizing fragrance came from the air. This fragrance made his heart relaxed and refreshed, sweeping away the depressing color in his heart, and he was instantly energized. However, on the sky eye map, Chang Long did not find the source of the scent, apparently, the scent had already exceeded the detection range of the sky eye map and should be 2 kilometers away. What on earth is this tantalizing stuff, it's making my mouth water. Chang Long sniffed the source of the scent and couldn't help but reveal deep thoughts. Even the blood spirit fruit that he had grabbed from that hunter old Wu's parcel last time didn't seem to emit this kind of strange fragrance, it just looked like a very ordinary fruit. Shall we go and take a look? The long snake letters licked his mouth, Chang Long's eyes showed a trace of curiosity, and he couldn't help but smell the source of the fragrance a little bit towards the front. In the mountain forest, although the power of the earthquake was huge, in this disjointed woodland, it was ultimately reduced in part. There was no serious destruction in the wilderness of the outside world, only a small portion of the trees and flowers collapsed. Chang Long realized that it was not just him who smelled these scents, some of the beasts and poisonous insects that had survived the great earthquake also seemed to be attracted by this mysterious scent, and were moving forward in one direction at a fast pace. At this time, even the objects that used to be natural enemies did not have the action of killing each other appear, but were very harmoniously side by side with only one destination in their eyes. What's more, these guys seemed to be like losing their minds, without the slightest ability to think for themselves, so it wasn't as if they had suddenly changed their temperament. That was why this unusual scene appeared, giving Chen Long's heart a bad feeling. Because, the closer he got to the source of the scent, the more Chang Long felt an uncontrollable force stirring in his body, driving himself instinctively towards the scent. Ding, it is detected that the host has been affected by the scent of the hallucinogenic spirit fruit, there is a chance that he will get lost and fall into a state of illusion, is it to consume 100 points of energy value to dispel the illusion, it can last for 10 hours. Consume. Chang Long immediately replied without thinking. If it wasn't for the fact that his spiritual platform was clear and his spiritual thoughts were strong. He might have been like these beasts that had fallen into the illusion and turned into walking corpses, losing his basic judgment and just knowing to move forward. Hallucinogenic spirit fruit, what a powerful scent, almost letting himself become enchanted from such a distance, horrible. Cheng Long stopped his body, feeling a coolness in his body surging through his entire body, immediately his mind became clear, and the gradually uncontrollable power disappeared without a trace. It's just right, it's been days since I've done any hunting, with this kind of unresisting food, I can have a good meal myself and stock up on some more energy value. Looking at the more and more beasts gathering in front of him, Chung Long suddenly had this thought in his heart on a whim. Right beside him, there was a palm-sized rat that was moving forward unhurriedly. Opening his bloody mouth, he took a bite of the large rat that had lost its mind, and then his two fangs injected up the right amount of venom, and after confirming that the other party was completely lifeless, along with his throat, he swallowed. Ding, devouring a large rat, gaining 30 points of energy value. Ding, devour one weasel, gain energy value 50 points. Ding, devour one gray squirrel, gain energy value 40 points. As a little bit of time passed, Chung Long Fish followed this team of beasts that had been hit by the illusion spell like water, little by little carrying out this effortless act of devouring. In less than 3 hours, his abdomen was already round. Ding, satiety has reached 100%, no more energy value can be obtained. And with this prompt, Chang Long realized that he had also arrived in an unfamiliar valley. The entire valley was sandwiched between two five or six hundred meter high cliffs, the widest inside was about as big as two or three soccer fields, and in the middle there was not a single large tree, only a piece of withered yellow grass. Between the valleys, there is a one meter high, bull thick, but the body is like emerald casting, from the roots to the top of the tree, all green and mysterious small trees. It does not have dense leaves, instead, like a weeping willow, from the top part of three branches, hanging down upside down. On each branch, however, a baby fist size, crystal clear fire red fruit. Each fruit looks like a morning dewdrop, which is like blood juice is clear. Outside the layer of seemingly tender shell crystal clear, emitting the luster to give him a feeling of desire. 
and the entire range of one square foot of the mysterious small tree did not have a single beast approaching it. A strong fragrance emanated from that area, and the closer they got to it, the more the beast's eyes became red with a full bloody light. They were like madmen who were not at all afraid of injuries and disabilities, frantically attacking any beasts around them that dared to approach the small tree, not even fearing the injuries that were torn from their bodies. One by one, they became desperate desperados, fearlessly attacking everything around them. At this moment, on the ground in front of them, there were already countless corpses of wild beasts that had fallen there, and the remaining large and small poisonous insects and beasts behind them were still continuously approaching under the lure of that scent. Holy shit, this is the trees becoming fertilized. Soon, Chun Long realized that the mysterious small tree in front of him was using the fragrance emitted by its own fruits to confuse the creatures that came to kill each other in a frenzy, leaving behind a body that was turned into nutrients for this land. This is already a louse on the monk's head, something obvious. This guy is just like that cannibalistic flower, looking beautiful and unthreatening, in fact, it has long been hiding hidden mysteries, full of traps, waiting for the prey to take the bait only. However, that fruit is a genuine hallucinogenic spirit fruit, one has to find a way to get their hands on it. A few hundred meters away, Cheng Long used his fire eyes to take a look and learn the basic information of the small tree in front of him. Mirage spirit wood, grows one inch every hundred years, grows in a place with abundant spiritual chi, forks once in a thousand years, and bears fruit once in three thousand years. The body of the tree is covered in emerald-like jade, and after fruiting it needs a lot of fertilizing nutrients for ripening in addition to spiritual chi. It emits a tantalizing scent to lure prey. Those who smell it will experience hallucinations, fall into a state of illusion, like a puppet, or starve to death after approaching its vicinity, or kill, and eventually turn into withered bones. When the fruits are ripe, the scent will disperse and the animals that have been mind-controlled will return to their original nature. The animal will also regain its original nature, and it will open up its spiritual wisdom, which is a blessing in disguise. If the fruit is not picked in three days, it will automatically wither and feed the tree itself, waiting for the next fruit. Hallucinogenic fruit, when ripe, the body is like blood, and will emit a red luster. The first one is the most effective, and each being can take a maximum of three. After taking it, it can increase the eater's spiritual power, causing it to skyrocket so that it can form a spiritual illusion with spiritual pressure. Any existence below the edible spiritual power will be trapped, the stronger the spiritual power the less likely to fall into the illusion. Looking at the introduction about this illusory spirit would an illusion causing spirit fruit in front of him, Chung Long could not help but be secretly shocked, and at the same time, he also had a share of joy. If it wasn't for the existence of the system, I'm afraid that he would have become a member of the illusionary realm just like those beasts that were killed in front of him, and the final outcome would have inevitably turned into a skeleton under the illusory spirit wood. But now, God is helping himself. This thing, in addition to emitting a tantalizing fragrance to trap prey to ripen the fruit, actually has no other means of protection. And this scent was now ineffective for himself. What one needed to do now was to wait, to wait for the moment when the fruit would ripen. However, the creatures that were attracted here were not only ants spiders centipedes and such small bugs, but also fierce beasts like wild boars black bears and wolves. Although they were all in the illusion at the moment and hadn't awakened, once the hallucinogenic spirit fruit was completely ripe, then the surviving ones would definitely come to a life and death struggle. After all, in the face of such a good thing, all creatures with a bit of intelligence knew that this was a node to change their destiny, and would not let go in a fight to the death. Therefore, although he was now a level 10 beast, and was not afraid of any of the creatures present on an individual level, but if once he was surrounded, what exactly would be the outcome, Chang Long himself was not in a position to draw more conclusions. However, Chang Long suddenly realized something that seemed to be a phrase that he had just ignored. The illusory spirit wood, grows in a place with abundant spiritual chi. To know, this outside world's aura recovery is just not much, and there is no complete recovery, even if today's big earthquake, the ground source overflowed some aura, for the time being, also has not reached the standard of aura abundance. And here actually prompted such a sentence. Could it be that this valley was not originally in this Wang Yun mountain, but because of today's big earthquake only appeared? Chung Long fiercely sucked in his breath, and indeed felt that the strange energy was not at all on the same level than what he felt at Xiao Fong's house. If it was as thin as water there, then it was as thick as porridge here. Ding, the outside world's aura standard is up to par, the host can find a safe zone to make a breakthrough. Just as Chang Long realized this matter was, the virtual panel automatically surfaced with such a prompt appearing on it. Indeed. Chang Long looked at the three words, breakthrough possible, in parentheses after the realm beast and couldn't help but nod his head. Especially the note prompt behind it, this breakthrough will take about one hour and will draw in a large amount of aura within a 5 kilometer radius to form an aura storm to wash the host's physical body. While the breakthrough is in progress, the host will not have any ability to defend himself, and must not be interrupted or disturbed, or else he will lose all his efforts. 
so it's best to find a safe zone with competent guards to escort the breakthrough. This condition, it's really harsh. Chung Long couldn't help but sigh, it was true that there was a price to pay for wanting to step into a higher realm. However, there's no telling how long it will take for this illusion causing spirit fruit to mature, so let's put aside the words of breakthrough for now and get these three fruits. Chung Long thought about it and already had an idea in his mind. The matter of breakthrough could be put aside first, there was no rush anyway, but in case this treasure in front of him was snatched at that time, it would simply be a duck in the mouth that flew away. Wait. Watching those guys in front of him who had given up their lives to die frantically pouncing on the illusory spirit wood, Chung Long didn't have a single ripple in his heart. The law of the jungle was just like this, it was just the weak eating the strong. Just as Chang Long was waiting for the illusory spirit fruit to mature, in the woodland about 2 to 3 kilometers behind Chang Long, a powerful and lanky man was cutting through the bushes and coming towards the direction of the valley. The big man was wearing a short sleeve t-shirt, in this cold winter month, he did not feel the cold at all, even his whole body was still slightly hot, his arms were rippling with veins, and he was carrying a long knife on his back. Master is also really, in this deserted mountain, where is the treasure ah? I have been searching in this area for two or three days, there is no shadow at all, and almost buried alive by the earthquake. The big man plucked away the branches in front of him, stopped and looked around for a while, but suddenly felt a strange fragrance coming to his face. What a weird scent, I almost caught myself. After a moment of trance, a jade jade pendant hanging around the big man's neck suddenly gave off a bit of green light, and then he regained his senses. This treasure, sure enough that stinky old man didn't lie to me, it's a treasure. As soon as he took off the jadeite on his chest and put it in front of his eyes to look at it, the big man's face revealed a hint of flesh pain. Because on the originally intact jadeite jade pendant, there was an extra crack that stretched over a third of the area. Kid, you've made a fortune this time, although this thing is an imitation, and it's the lowest level of defective product, but for you, it can save your life in certain critical moments. I remember myself from the Panjiayuan antique market spent 100,000 yen to buy this piece of jade, in the sight of the old man but meaningful look at him, and then said. At that time, he did not understand the meaning, just feel this piece of emerald to look at the eye, there is a kind of cannot help but close to it, the heart of the feeling, but also did not take the old man's words as a matter of fact. Now it seems that the old man is usually godly, but there are still a few foresight. Perhaps there were treasures at the source of this scent. The big man thought about it, but hesitated a little. Smell so far away from the fragrance of their own almost got into the road, if still continue to move forward, this jadeite jade pendant can still use their own issued a few times the mysterious power. Just, just, since the old man have called me earlier to come to this looking cloud mountain range to look for the treasure, then certainly have his deep meaning, now the treasure also has a source, why should I be afraid to think before and after? The big man's complexion revealed a color of determination, and then opened his legs and walked towards the source of the fragrance in front of him. A breeze blew through, the sky has been evening, Chang Long's eyes stared at the three hallucinogenic spirit fruit not far away, did not dare to be distracted too much. Time passed little by little, and the sky darkened completely. But what surprised people was that the three illusory spirit fruits were emitting a gust of blood red light in the night, and it was getting brighter and brighter. This is about to mature. Cheng Long saw that the color of the fruit was getting brighter and brighter and the fragrance emitted was getting stronger and stronger, so he quickly ran towards the target. At this moment, the beasts and vipers that were alive in front of them were already one out of ten, and all of them were severely injured, with not a single piece of good flesh on their bodies. Corpses piled up like mountains, blood on the ground into a river, the air that a rich smell of blood in the story of the tragic situation of the battle here. With their current strength, facing these exhausted guys, they could almost sweep away. Yo, there really are treasures. Just as Chang Long was sprinting, a man's voice came from behind him. Chang Long's body lurched and immediately stopped with alertness. He had to change his plans regarding this unexpected guest that suddenly appeared. Just now, he had been focusing his vision on this hallucinogenic spirit fruit, but had not bothered to open the heavenly eye map to scout the surroundings, or he had been careless. However, Chang Long also seemed to be able to tell that the man in front of him was struggling slightly with each step forward, and that he was also wearing an emerald jade pendant on his chest, which emitted a faint green light from time to time. Moreover, this guy, such a cold day actually upper body only wearing a short-sleeved shirt, arm muscles strips of veins rippling, at a glance as a practitioner, only do not know how the specific strength. Fire eyes golden eyes. After consuming a little bit of energy value, Chang Long directly directed his gaze at the strong man behind him, a hundred meters away. Race, human. Realm, beast, level 10. Extreme strength, 100. Extreme body technique, 75. Ultimate physique, 78. Armor, 60. Limit endurance, 57. Limit nimbus, 45, capped. Skill, spirit monkey fist. Holy shit, this guy's attributes aren't bad, his strength has actually reached 100 points, and his stance and physique are above 75 points, 
This is considered to be the strongest existence amongst humans that he has seen since he was reborn. Chang Long was secretly surprised, he was indeed a practiced fighter, spirit monkeyish fist, as soon as he heard this name, it was an existence among humans who practiced martial arts. However, with this kind of value, with his current strength at the peak of the 10th level, not to say that he would crush his opponent, but if he wanted to defeat him, it would be an easy task. Just as Cheng Long looked back to observe the burly man in front of him, the burly man also discovered Cheng Long in front of him. Holy shit, what a big king cobra, is this going to become a spirit? The burly man couldn't help but suck in a breath of cold air, moreover, he sensed a deadly sense of crisis in Cheng Long's body. This guy is definitely a foreign beast, sure enough, under the recovery of aura, all kinds of beasts have mutated. The burly man was cautiously on guard, originally he had traveled all this way, if not for the Jedi Jade pendant on his chest emitting a mysterious power to keep him from being trapped in an illusion, yet it was also very difficult. Every step is difficult, and even several times, he had a kind of want to give up the idea of continuing to search for treasures, but in the end, or in the, there is a treasure, this three words of thought support, only to walk here. No, this treasure is mine, no one can rob it from me. The strong man's eyes were like a gaze, he couldn't help but clench his fists, and muttered, isn't it just a big snake, afraid of a ball, big deal, I'll kill this beast. Although he did not know what the three fruits in front of him that emitted red light were, but what could make so many poisonous insects and beasts start a fight would not be a mortal thing. The old man often said to himself that the path of martial arts not only requires one's own hard work and training plus talent and enlightenment, but also requires more chances. Every worldly powerhouse is basically a child of destiny, a person favored by the heavens. Therefore, if he gave up this chance in front of him today, he would regret it for the rest of his life. Fight for it, and turn a bicycle into a motorcycle. The burly man stepped out firmly. Chang Long originally didn't want to cause trouble, but he didn't expect to kill a Chang Bite Jean halfway. Numb nuts, it looks like we have to take care of this guy first. As the burly man took that step, Chang Long also moved. His figure shifted violently, transforming into a residual shadow, a cracking sound came from the air and a distance of several hundred meters was violently approached in less than a few breaths of time. Holy shit, what a speed. When Chang Long's figure made a sprint like lightning, the burly man did not panic despite his surprise. With his figure on one side, the front foot that stepped out was immediately changed to a right turn, and his entire figure was also like a swift wind, immediately rolling over in a roll, trying to dodge the attack from Chang Long. The reaction speed is not bad, but well, it's still a bit slow. Chang Long saw that the other party wanted to shift and dodge his own sprint, but he didn't do anything more, instead, he raised his head, slightly sideways, and then a venom was violently sprayed out. At the same time, the strong man who just happened to stand up in the tumble suddenly realized that the other party actually sprayed venom towards himself, and could not help but be slightly shocked. The area covered by the venom just happened to be at the upper half of his body that was wearing a short-sleeved shirt, and this style of having most of his chest and arms exposed just gave Chang Long the opportunity to spray the venom. The strong man wanted to dodge Chang Long's wave of attacks, but realized that there was not much space left for him to retreat. Moreover, the extreme dodging just now had used up a lot of physical energy, and for a while, if he wanted to continue with his next extreme maneuver, he would still need a little time and recovery. There was no way, facing the venom sprayed by such a large king cobra, the strong man did not want to be sloppy. The toxicity of this kind of snake, he had seen it with his own eyes, and that was still just a king cobra of about 4 meters. And this big guy in front of him, no matter in size or length, crushed that 4 meter or so existence, hell knows how strong his toxicity was. For a moment, the strong man's body agilely turned sideways and leaned back, wanting to avoid the venom that Chun Long sprayed out. However, this was something that Chun Long had carefully predicted, so how could it be so easy to dodge? In the end, a large portion of the venom landed on the chest and neck of the strong man when he was unable to dodge. After landing on the strong man's body, the venom with strong corrosiveness quickly melted his skin and seeped into his body. The strong man let out a terrified cry at the first moment, while his footsteps involuntarily retreated a few steps one after another. However, his figure had already experienced an unnatural pause in his retreat, clearly the paralyzing effect of the toxin was already taking effect. Chang Long, in order to be on the safe side, his figure swayed once again, and under the horrified gaze of the strong man, he ran straight towards him. The strong man wanted to struggle, and swung out a fist, but realized that his entire body was suddenly out of control. The fist that was swung out was also weak and feeble, like a pampered woman, without any power at all. Taking advantage of your illness, Chang Long would not let go of this perfect opportunity. Seeing that the light from the three fruits was getting brighter and brighter, Chang Long knew that there wasn't much time left for him, so he had to fight quickly here. A death entanglement quickly circled the strong man's body. The strong man originally wanted to struggle, but found that his entire body had appeared stiff in a short period of time. Damn, I didn't expect that I would actually fall here today, Grandpa. 
A burst of remorse and regret appeared in the strong man's gaze, according to the old man's words, he himself was considered a martial arts prodigy that was hard to come across in a hundred years, if he didn't fall in the middle of the journey, then he would have some greater achievements in the future. However, now he is going to die, the future changes in the wind and clouds, and they no longer have a relationship. Chung Long tighter and tighter, if he did not just use the other side of the psychology of catching off guard to come on a venom spray, perhaps the two are still in the middle of the tangle. Time passed little by little, the strong man who was tightly hooped in the center was already lifeless, his two eyes were open wide, full of attachment to this world. Brother, don't blame me, in your next life, be smart in your head. Chang Long slowly let go of his body, honestly, if this guy had turned away right here and then, he might have let him off the hook. The battle here seemed to have passed for a long time, but in fact it was only a minute or two. Just as Chang Long completely let go of the strong man's corpse, the sense suddenly disappeared. Chen Long immediately headed towards the clearing under the illusory spirit wood, as he realized that the remaining beasts were all looking around in bewilderment, wanting to know what exactly had happened to them. This gave Chang Long time to react, at the moment, his location to the illusory spirit wood was roughly a mile away, just now, he had used limit sprint, but with 100 points of physique running at high speed, his bodily functions were rapidly replenishing his chi. Dash. Chang Long took a deep breath and launched the limit sprint again. One could only quickly climb ahead and bite into the three hallucinogenic spirit fruits and devour them before these guys could react. Then, even by the time these remaining guys reacted, everything would have been finalized. Just as Chang Long's figure was shuttling around like a ghost, among the remaining beasts, a wild boar and a big black bear also reacted, and both of them were positioned closest to the hallucinogenic spirit wood. Not good. Chang Long couldn't help but be secretly surprised at the reaction ability of those two guys when he saw them running towards the illusory spirit fruit. After all, most of the other remaining beasts could still be in a state of dumbfoundedness, not having reacted to the wonders of this for a short period of time. Faster. Chang Long's figure reached the extreme, leaving a trail of residual shadows in the air, and the sound of breaking air was like firecrackers. Closer, closer. Those two guys couldn't help but look back, after all, this loud sound behind them had instinctively caught their attention. With such a pause of looking back, it immediately gave Chang Long the opportunity. Under the full power of fire, in a moment, Chang Long left them behind. A hint of panic couldn't help but appear in the eyes of that big boar and big black bear, as they were already far behind without even seeing what exactly the other party was. However, the two of them weren't prepared to give up, and instead continued to sprint. Even though the hope was slim, but in the face of such a treasure, how could they be willing not to fight for it? Chang Long of course couldn't care less about what the two of them were thinking, and soon reached the tree, and the three hallucinogenic spirit fruits were swallowed without hesitation under his bloody mouth. Ding! The host devoured the hallucinogenic spirit fruits and gained the new skill spiritual illusion. As long as a being with less spiritual power than the host engages in a stare down with the host, there is a 10% chance of being caught in a mental illusion. A target caught in a mental state can be given a beautiful dream or nightmare based on the host's subjective will, causing them to become enthralled and unable to extricate themselves. The host may direct the target to perform a series of actions, including self-mutilation. When casting a mental illusion, the host cannot perform any other action or it is considered interrupted. The higher the opponent's mental power, the more mental power the host consumes. After casting a spiritual illusion, the host will fall into spiritual internal consumption for a short period of time, consuming a minimum of 10 points of spiritual energy for every minute. The higher the spiritual power, the lower the spiritual internal depletion and the faster the recovery. Hearing the system's prompt, Chun Long couldn't help but spit out his snake letters. He had a new life preservation skill, and it was so powerful, it was very scary. This new skill of his own, when used well, could almost turn the tide against the wind. Seeing those three mysterious fruits on the tree being devoured by the giant python in front of them, that big boar and big black bear let out roars of anger. They were very angry, angry at this very selfish behavior of Chang Long. Not leaving them with any hope at all, simply not putting the two of them in their eyes. And with the roars emitted by the two of them, the rest of the remaining animals also finally came to their senses completely at this moment. However, at this moment, they were almost covered in wounds and in a state of exhaustion. It was almost impossible for them to participate in the next battle. Not to mention that at this moment, they were not in a very mature state, even in their heyday, other than a few survivors, the others could only hide far away. The big boar and the big black bear were also just holding on strongly, holding a hard breath in their chests, their physical condition was no different from the other remaining survivors except for the earliest awake. Especially from the big black snake in front of them just now the speed comparable to lightning crossed their eyes, this has clearly told them, just with the two of them, wanting to take away the three spirit fruits from each other's mouth, is already a fool's errand. Seeing that there was no backup force, they also began to hesitate, and could only let out a feeble roar, venting the anger in their hearts. 
Shang Long squinted his eyes, looking at the humming two generals in front of him as they sang in tandem to play along towards their own incompetent rage, he couldn't help but find it extremely hilarious. If not for the fact that he had already eaten and drank his fill just now, he would have had to eat the two of them as snacks. Turning back to his head, he fiercely looked towards those two with a gaze, just in time to do some experiments with them, verifying the effect of this new skill of his. Seeing the big black snake looking towards his side, the big boar and big black bear couldn't help but hit a jolt, immediately stopping their death-defying behavior. They had no power to fight at the moment, they were just putting on airs, and venting their panic and dissatisfaction in their hearts in the process, carefully staring at each other's movements, not daring to slacken off at all, and even ready to run away at any time. There are still dozens of survivors present, this big black snake can't keep staring at the two of them. For the matter of their own intelligence enhancement, at this moment, they were no longer in the mood to carefully study the ins and outs. And this careful and tight stare just gave Chang Long the opportunity to take advantage of it. At the moment when their gazes converged, a powerful spiritual wave attached with a spiritual illusion directly passed through their eyes and entered the brain in a smooth manner. In an instant, the big black bear and the big boar were instantly exactly the same again as when they were hit by that foreign fragrance, directly turning into two flesh puppets with dull gazes. It worked, although there was only a 10% chance, but I didn't expect it to actually work all at once, not bad. Cheng Long felt a little surprised, yet a little pleasantly surprised. Kill it. After receiving Cheng Long's command, the two big guys suddenly began to kill each other in full view of everyone. For a while, the frightened and unidentified eating beasts backed away and fled the area. The battle between the two of them also caused a chain reaction. In the valley that had originally ushered in a brief period of calm, the predators among the remaining survivors bared their fangs towards the nearest prey. However, no matter how much they chased and ran, none of them dared to approach the area where Chang Long was. It was not only because of its huge physique that told the predators that this big black snake was not to be messed with. More importantly, the big black bear and the big wild boar are still in the present, stating that it is not only not to be messed with, but also evil. The instinctive intuition of avoiding harm made them stay away from this area. Good good, the effect of Gaga. Looking at the two big guys who were fighting for their lives, Chang Long was very satisfied. The initial effect was already remarkable, so there was no need to waste mental energy on these two idiots. The moment he let go of his spiritual power, the two big guys immediately went limp on the ground, panting for breath, and restoring their sanity, their gazes carried extreme panic. Chang Long had not shielded their perception of the outside world just now, nor did he weave a dream for them, but only guided them accordingly after suppressing their spiritual power. This action, this was the root cause that made them fall into an ice cave. After losing control of their bodies, letting them watch their own bodies under the control of others to start a fierce battle, this inhuman feeling, unforgettable for life. Chang Long didn't pay attention to the inner thoughts of these two guys, nor was it possible for him to do so. He thought of the jade pendant on the chest of the dead strong man, the jade eye jade pendant with mysterious power had caught his attention just now. Only in order to snatch the three hallucinogenic spirit fruits, he had to give it up first. And now that the spirit fruits had been swallowed by himself, that mysterious jade eye jade pendant could just be used as a worship gift for the girl Xiaofang, and might be able to help her at some point in the future. Wandering towards the corpse of the strong man that fell on the ground, he happened to pass by the two big guys, staring them with a jolt, thinking that Cheng Long was coming to finish them off. Unexpectedly, Cheng Long didn't even have the intention to look at them, and just slowly wandered past, instantly causing both to let out a sigh of relief. Especially that big black bear, a strange look suddenly appeared in his eyes. It seemed as if it had thought of something and made a certain decision. Taking a deep breath, he wanted to stand up, but realized that his entire body went limp and weak, and he was unable to support himself at all. Once or twice, three times or four times, the big black bear barely supported his body and fell heavily on the ground, until the sixth time, only with difficulty to stabilize the sore and weak feet. The big boar also stood up shakily, looking at Chung Long in front of him with a frightened face. After slightly regaining a bit of strength, it carefully went next to the cliff, avoiding Cheng Long, and then ran away. And at this moment, Cheng Long was utilizing his fiery eyes to check the information about this Jade Jade pendant. Clearing Spirit Pepe, Remnant Imitation, One Time Consumable. It can clear low-level uncontrolled spiritual attacks on its own, and restore the wearer's spirit without interference. Every time it protects its owner, a crack will appear on the Jade pendant, while the color will fade a bit. When the cracks spread all over the Jade pendant, the color becomes white, and it becomes an ordinary white jade. Chun Long looked at the introduction of this Ching Ling Pei in the void, and could not help but slightly stare at this thing, it was not the slightest bit useful to himself, and it was rather chicken ribbed. Perhaps, giving it to that girl Xiao Fong, it could really be put to good use, even if it was just to be a decoration, it would still be considered a good piece of jewelry. A mouthful of jade pendant, pulled it off the neck of that strong man, bit in his mouth, was preparing to leave. After all, 
They had been out for an afternoon, originally thinking of capturing some prey for Gui's father and son to go back as a means to feed their hunger, but now it seemed that it was no longer possible to do so. Moreover, the disciple acceptance gift was also available, and the matter of hunting would be discussed later. Just as Cheng Long was about to leave, the big black bear violently scurried to the front of him, and with a thud, his limbs were bent, his belly on the ground, and he prostrated himself in front of Cheng Long. This big black bear's action directly made him a bit baffled. What does this guy want, is he not afraid to die? Cheng Long's gaze with some doubt looked at the big black bear in front of him, prostrate in front of himself, could not help but slightly froze. Unable to help but raise the head of the snake, looking down from top to bottom at this big guy in front of him. Honestly speaking, it wasn't wrong to say that it was a big black bear, at least in the pile of poisonous insects and beasts just now, its physique wasn't to say that it was the biggest, but it was also considered to be the larger kind. Using his fire eyes, he observed this guy's stats. Race, black bear. Realm, beast, level 10. Body length, 2. 0 meters. Shoulder height, 1. 3 meters. Weight, 250 kilograms. Extreme strength, 100. Ultimate stance, 30. Ultimate physique, 88. Armor, 75. Limit endurance, 60. Extreme nimble, 35. Skills, iron teeth, bronze teeth, tempered bear claws. Yo, this guy's attributes aren't too bad, except for a little bit worse on body technique, the rest of them are all above 60, and the strength has reached 100 points. Chung Long also didn't expect that this big stupid bear that seemed to have been simply manipulated by himself just now, was actually a beast level 10 existence just like himself. Although only one of the attribute columns had reached 100 points, Chung Long was aware of the fact that on his body, this system's requirements for himself were different from other people's detection data. This guy's attributes seemed to be far from his own, but in this forest, that also belongs to the dominant level of existence. What exactly does this guy want to do, unlike that big boar generally hurry to bolt, stop in front of himself has a few meanings. Chang Long left and right thought for a moment did not understand this big black bear has a few meanings, but he never thought, the other side is to submit to himself. When the big black bear saw Chang Long lifting up his head, his body involuntarily wanted to retreat backward. However, it seemed to have thought of something, and nailed itself to the ground, its head even closer to the ground, its body trembling, and its mouth letting out a low roar of whimpering. Chung Long to this moment finally reacted, this guy is obviously to submit to himself, cannot help but heart a joy. Aya, this grandpa is also considered a very charismatic person, no, I should say it is a snake with snake charisma, the king's dominance is leaking sideways ah. To actually have a little fanboy personally prostrate himself in front of him and want to follow him, it's really surprising. Facing this big black bean in front of him, Chung Long naturally decided to accept it, this kind of little companion with free to be a fighter and a little follower, it's not for nothing ah. But, how to communicate with this guy? Chang Long suddenly realized a new problem, he had not actively established a similar communication method with other creatures again for the time being, except for the spiritual connection he had established with that girl Xiao Fong. And that time, it was still Xiao Fong's girl who took the initiative herself, and it was only under a ghost that the two of them signed a spiritual contract. And now, he is ahead of fog, for this novel way, that is completely do not know where to start, just like a blank sheet of paper. Well, white paper on white paper, just gave himself the opportunity to experiment for free, not try how to know they cannot, the method is always tried out. Chung Long looked at the big black bear, the heart cannot help but a joy, here is not a free to do their own experiments on mice, and still free, do not use white not use. That big black bear secretly mesmerized Cheng Long, originally the eyesight is not good, it just vaguely perceived that the other party is observing himself, there is no extra action, so is but pouted high, his head buried even lower. Since it had decided to hug its thigh, it had to have the appearance of hugging its thigh. In its perception, the other party was an existence that crushed itself, and if it wanted to kill itself, it would be an easy task. What's more, if it wanted to take revenge, relying on its strength alone was far from enough. And now, in the face of such a strong existence, as long as one was its little brother, then, exterminating those guys was also more certain. Ding, a creature has been detected actively submitting to the host, is it to be accepted as a servant? Receiving its recognition, the host will gain 100 points of increase in Nian Li value, as well as the ability to gain some of the servant's own feedback, and at the same time, the new soul imprint skill is added. Soul seal, regardless of whether the creature is actively or passively submitted to the host, the host can leave a soul seal in its soul, so that it cannot betray the host for the rest of its life. The higher the target's spiritual power, the more difficult it is to plant a soul mark, and unless it actively lets go of its spirit, the power of its thoughts may backfire on it. There is only one possibility to remove the soul mark, and that is for the host to take the initiative to release it, otherwise there is no other way. A servant who has been left with a soul seal is no different from its usual state, 
except that it is permanently loyal to the host and will automatically share half of the host's attribute aura when it is within the range of the host's spiritual power, helping it to grow and increase its combat power. The first time a soul seal is cast, the binding requirement is 100 points of the conceptual attribute, the second requires 1000 points, the third is 10,000 points, and so on, each soul seal is exceptionally precious, please use the host's discretion. Currently the soul seal is at the first level, more functions and so on can be unlocked by consuming evolution points to raise the skill level. Just as Cheng Long was about to feel out how to go about communicating with this big dumb bear, the mechanical sound of the system came from his mind, followed by these subtitles floating in the void before him. He smacked his lips, in less than half a day's work, he had gained two new skills, this luck was just too good to be true. A mental illusion that could manipulate the opponent, make them lose themselves in the illusion they laid, and even make them sanction, this was already a very terrifying thing. And now, there was actually an additional overbearing enslavement skill like soul seal, directly enslaving the other party's soul, a thought of its life and death, it could be said that it was already strong beyond words. Take it as a servant. Cheng Long didn't hesitate much, but immediately responded to the system and said. To put it bluntly, this big dumb bear was still his own honored person, if it wasn't for its initiative to submit to himself, how could he obtain such a powerful and perverted skill? Therefore, not only to fulfill the other side of this heart, in the future, as their first little brother, in some places, must also take good care of each other. To be a human being, to have a grateful heart, to be a snake, even more so. If you have a favor, you must return it, if you have a grudge, you must report it, and make a clear distinction between grudges and enmities. Just as Chang Long gave his orders, a mysterious force merged into his and Big Black Bear's minds respectively, and both sides felt that certain things had been added to their heads. Boss. After a short while, a naive voice sounded in Chang Long's mind. Chang Long wasn't too surprised when he had the communication with Xiao Feng, but nodded and responded, since you submitted to me of your own accord, from now on, you'll be called Xiong Di. Yes, from now on, I am Xiong Di, and you are my boss. The naive Xiong Di immediately responded. Both sides had actually pretty much digested what the system had input into their minds slowly just now, and that was why there was no communication barrier. These were some basic situations of both sides, and with the existence of the soul imprint, there was no worry about this guy betraying himself, and it didn't matter if he knew some secrets by it. Don't worry, I will definitely help you avenge your death, get up. Chang Long gave Xiong Di this promise, instantly filling his cloudy eyes with light. Just now, he himself was only holding the attitude of trying, but he didn't expect that not only was he recognized by his boss, but it was also such a promising and perverted thigh, how could he not let it be excited? There is no shame in submitting to a strong person, Xiong Di doesn't think he worshipped the wrong mountain. From now on, follow the boss to mix, full three times a day, beautiful. Ding, the host has taken in the first soul servant that belongs to him, gaining 100 points of Nianli value and acquiring the new skill soul seal. Gain the skill powerful, consume energy 1000 points to use, increase strength attribute by 2 times after use, lasts for 10 minutes. Just as Chang Long and Xiong Di were communicating, the system's prompt sounded in his head once again. Warning, the host's attribute breaks through the current maximum limit and is about to break through, please find a suitable location to break through within half an hour, or else the physical body will not be able to withstand the current attribute value boundaries and a bursting crisis will occur. Warning, the host's attribute breaks through the current maximum limit and is about to break through, please find a suitable location to break through within half an hour, otherwise the physical body will not be able to withstand the current attribute value boundaries and a bursting crisis will occur. Warning, the host's attribute breaks through the current maximum limit and is about to break through, please find a suitable location to break through within half an hour, otherwise the physical body will not be able to withstand the current attribute value boundaries and a bursting crisis will occur. Cheng Long ushered in the first time that the system was so nervously urged, and he couldn't help but be shocked in his heart. His own harvest this time was too big, his attributes exceeded the limits of the realm he was currently in, causing the system to prompt him to hurry up and advance. Let's find a safer cave first, it's just as well that with this fellow Xiongde, he can also guard the law properly while he is advancing. Cheng Long immediately opened the heaven's eye map and watched the surroundings. Time was already less than 30 minutes, little by little, one had to race against the clock. His current size was already very large, and it was not easy to find a suitable place for him to retreat and advance. However, very soon, two large green stones that were 10 feet tall and closely next to each other under a hillside a kilometer away caught Cheng Long's attention. Because in the heaven's eye map, there was just a cave underneath these two large boulders. Although it wasn't too deep, it was still good as a retreat for advancement. The location was also very hidden, and there was only one road leading there. When the time comes, Xiong Di will be able to guard the entrance, which is very suitable for the current self. Greeted Xiong Di, all the way towards the destination all the way wildly run. Xiong Di at this moment is also incomparably pleasurable, he found that, 
after he recognized the boss, his own strength in an instant doubled, the strength of the skyrocketed, full of power. And the closer it got to the boss, the more fulfilling the source of this power became, it was very amazing. Even though it didn't understand why this was the case, but this kind of thing that had great benefits, why bother searching for the root of the matter? Moreover, with its current intelligence, it certainly couldn't figure it all out, so it simply didn't think about it and just followed the boss and was done with it. Soon, Shang Long brought Xiong Di to that big green stone side. After receiving the order, Xiong Di said in a very doggy manner, Boss, just go in without worry, if any guy dares to come and obstruct, get me killed first. Shang Long nodded and entered the pitch black cave, but having night vision eyes had no other effect in this cave. There were no creatures here that could threaten him, so he could advance with confidence and boldness. System, start breaking through. Quietly lying on the ground, Chang Long gave an order and immediately fell into the tearing sensation of reorganization of flesh and blood once again. The next thing he sensed was that a breeze swept out around him, turning into a vortex that gathered on top of his curled up body. A slightly familiar thing was continuously attracted from the surroundings, continuously integrating into his torn body, being dispersed in all corners of his body, mending and strengthening his flesh. Is this aura, so pure? Even though he had already endured the pain from promotion many times, this act of promotion that crossed a large realm and broke the level of life, the risks involved, and the rewards, were often directly proportional. This was the Rael Ghost Gate, those who crossed it, carp leaped the Dragon Gate and soared to the heavens. Those who do not cross it can only be turned into dry bones in the mound, and eventually a cup of clay, smoke disappears. However, although the pain has more than doubled, but this time there is a steady stream of spiritual qi supplement, a cool feeling a little bit of nourishment, still in Chang Long can withstand the limit range. Time passed little by little, this side of the movement naturally also attracted the attention of the other beasts and poisonous insects within the 5 kilometers that were drawn from the spiritual qi. Some of the spiritually undeveloped Tao did not have much impact, still eating and sleeping. But those who had awakened some spiritual wisdom during the period of spiritual qi recovery soon realized that this matter was not simple, so they began to run wildly towards the center of the outbreak. However, fortunately, most of the poisonous insects and beasts had basically folded in that valley under the lure of the illusory spirit wood. The remaining ones were also some lucky ones in the outermost part of the valley, so their number was not too large, and they were slightly far away, so they could not find this location for a while. Xiong Di, after receiving Chang Long's instructions, he dutifully squatted at the entrance of the cave, not moving an inch. This is the boss to their first task, cannot do a bad job, would rather die in battle, but also to guard the safety of the boss. Seemingly bored lying there without moving, but a pair of ears are erect straight, listening carefully to the surrounding movements, knows also from time to time to sniff a sniff, very alert. Time passed little by little, after 10 minutes, a group of wild wolves appeared not far from the cave. They were a new wolf family that had wandered into the neighborhood not long ago, and just happened to avoid the attraction of the strange fragrance of the illusory spirit wood. Chen Long's breakthrough this time had made too much of a commotion, and for beasts like them that were already in a state of mutation, this kind of place where spiritual energy gathered was very attractive. However, attraction being attraction, they weren't stupid, they just carefully focused on the movements over here from a distance of several hundred meters. Whether it was the big black bear at the mouth of the cave, or the existence in the cave that emitted invisible pressure, it was telling them clearly that there would be a king of beasts to be born here. If it succeeded, this forest, would usher in their new master. But once the other party fails, the flesh of this existence will be the best tonic for their advancement. So, wait patiently, wait for the outcome of the matter to appear, as an excellent hunter family, they have extraordinary endurance. Those who shared the same intention with them were not limited to this family, in the corners of the hillside outside the cave, different participants appeared in twos and threes. A meter long weasel, four or five meters of snake, a large and small two-tailed fox. The various predators were intimidated by the pressure brought about by Chong Long's advancement, and although they didn't dare to take a step closer, none of them left. Xiong Di also naturally noticed the guys hiding in the shadows in the distance who did not mean well, originally wanting to go and drive away, but ringing the boss's instructions, but helplessly crouched in place and did not move. Just let you guys sneak around and watch for now, when the boss comes out, I'll be the first to clean you up. A hint of ruthlessness flashed through Xiong Da's eyes, in his heart at the moment, any being that dared to be unkind to Chung Long should be killed, not a single one should be left. Just as everyone was quietly waiting for the result from Chung Long's side, a little bit of time crept by. A bright moon gradually rose into the sky, and between the two boulders, Chang Long and the cave had reached a critical moment. His thoughts were very clear at the moment, although he was unable to control the breakthrough situation of his body, the whole time it was the system that was doing the maneuvering and shuffling his body. It was as if there were thousands of huge hammers ruthlessly smashing on his body, quenching the sinews and bones of his body. Coupled with the sharp pain of a steel blade that kept cutting through every inch of flesh and blood, it was almost ten times a hundred times stronger than the kind of pain that crossed the minor ranks before. 
After every severe pain, there would be an influx of aura to mend that location, emitting a cool and soothing feeling. This extreme feeling of ice and fire made Cheng Long want to die, and he couldn't stop. However, Cheng Long realized that his physical body was becoming stronger and stronger as he continued to strengthen it. Moreover, the endurance from the spirit was getting tougher and tougher under the ravages of such severe pain. Finally, there was no longer any spiritual qi from the outside world being attracted to remodel his body, and that intense pain within him instantly disappeared. What was left behind was only a powerless sense of exhaustion, and that sudden emptiness from his spirit. Suddenly, Chang Long felt that all the scales and armor on his body instantly opened up, and he fiercely sucked in the last stream of pure aura that remained in the cave. A coolness instantly swept away his powerlessness and exhaustion, causing Chang Long to instantly become refreshed. So refreshing. This inhalation almost caused him to almost be in a cloud-like state. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully advancing. A leap in life level has occurred. The first perfect promotion, the attributes are raised to the peak of the current level, rewarding an SSSR grade bloodline. The bloodline enhances the speed and efficiency of the host's absorption of heaven and earth's aura energy, gaining a 512x potential boost. Gain the new skill burning blood vein, current level 1, gaining 2x attribute boost for a short period of time. Burning blood vein power requires 500 energy points to be consumed, the maintenance time is 10 minutes, after burning blood vein power it will fall into a weak and powerless state that lasts for 1 hour. The highest level is 9, gaining 512 times the attribute boost. The system has been updated with the new data, please note the changes yourself. Just as Chang Long felt his body drifting and was closing his eyes to enjoy the rare sense of relief, he was pulled back to reality by the system's prompt. Curious, Chang Long opened his current panel and, host, Chang Long, type, snake, bloodline, SSSR, 512x potential enhancement, increase the speed and efficiency of absorbing heaven and earth aura, realm, beast soldier level. Level, 1 third, all 6 basic attributes can advance to the next level. Length, 15 meters. Weight, 300 kilograms. Remaining lifespan, 15 years, breaking through to beast general level increases lifespan by 20 years. Extreme strength, 199 plus slash 200, 1 point of attribute increases attack power by 1 point. Extreme stance, 199 plus slash 200, 1 point of attribute increases movement speed by 1 point per second slash meter. Extreme physique, 199 plus slash 200, 1 point attribute increases recovery power by 1 point. Extreme armor, 199 plus slash 200, 1 point of attribute increases defense by 1 point. Extreme endurance, 199 plus slash 200, 1 point of attribute equals 1 minute of lasting output. Extreme nihility, 199 plus slash 200, 1 point of attribute increases soul pressure by 1 point and 10 meters of distance. Energy, 20 points, 50 points of energy are converted into 1 point of evolution, which changes every time you advance in the realm and can be gained by devouring objects that contain energy, as well as by drawing aura. Evolution points, 0 points. Satiety, 100%, can't get food energy after satiety level is full. Digestion speed, 1500%, satiety level will be cleared within 8 hours after devouring prey. Skills, Venom Spray, April 10th, consumes 400 evolution points to advance to the next level. Toxin Immunity, 1 10th, consumes 400 evolution points to advance to the next level. Toxin Immunity, 1 10th, consume 100 evolution points to advance to the next level, and Eyes of Fire, 1 out of 10, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Eye of Heaven Map, February 10th, consume 200 evolution points to advance to the next level. Spiritual Illusion, 1 10th, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Soul Mark, 1 out of 10, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Burning Bloodline, 1 9th, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Powerful, 1 10th, advancing to the next level consumes 100 evolution points. Sure enough, some subtle changes have still occurred, not only has one's race changed from King Cobra to Snake Race, but there is also an additional attribute column of Bloodline, and more importantly, the digestion speed has also changed, becoming more and more powerful. Cheng Long muttered, before, it was 10 points of energy value to exchange for 1 evolution point, now it's good that 50 points of energy value can only be exchanged for 1 point, the price is quintupled, although there's an additional means of absorbing the aura, but this is too much of a pit. I need evolution points in so many places, I should have known that I wouldn't be so busy leveling up first, it's good to upgrade those skills. Slightly depressed for a short while, Cheng Long couldn't help but mock himself, greed is not enough to swallow an elephant, it's okay. Boss, you've advanced successfully. When Cheng Long's large head appeared beside Xiongdi, it couldn't help but make it slightly stunned, if it wasn't soulbound together, Xiongdi almost didn't recognize how the boss in front of him had suddenly grown more than one size. What's more, Xiongdi also realized that the mysterious power that seemed to be attached to his body was even stronger, which made it very ecstatic. 
The stronger the boss was, the easier it would be to do that thing for himself, in the near future, and the pressure would plummet. And not far outside the cave, those eyeing the guys, in the aura storm disappeared the moment, feel a stronger pressure than just now from that cave, most of the cannot help but feel cozy, began to retreat, do not want to provoke the anger of this horrible existence in the cave. However, there are also a few who are not afraid of death, although backed up some, but did not completely leave, but quietly hidden in a corner, want to know that the big black bear guarding exactly what is a thing. It really fulfills the saying, curiosity will kill the cat. Xiongde, go, finish off those guys who don't know whether they're dead or alive, and drag the bodies back. A cold light flashed in Chang Long's eyes, although he was powerless to move when he advanced just now, and had no intention to be concerned about the situation in the outside world, but how brutal the ferocity of it was, Chang Long himself had a deep understanding of it. If it wasn't for the presence of Xiongde as a guard, if these guys broke in, his own fate would be nine deaths without a life. Therefore, since all have come, then regardless of whether you with what kind of mind, he will not bother, leave a small life as the hard truth, the rest to the hell and Hades to say it. The bear who got Chun Long's instruction immediately came to the spirit. Although it was fully concentrated on guarding the outside world, but due to the Chang Long promotion of the aura storm closest, naturally, followed in the side also dipped a lot of blessings. More or less some spiritual chi was also sucked into its body, enhanced a lot of physical quality, at this moment is also almost close to the peak of the beast level 10. After all, it was close to the water, Chun Long, the boss, had a big mouthful of meat, and it was normal for him, the little brother, to follow and drink some soup. Together with Chang Long's additional attribute aura, it was a piece of cake to deal with those beasts that had yet to advance. Ow! With a roar, Xiong Di immediately began to run down the mountain path on one side like a swift wind towards the nearest wolf pack. Chang Long, on the other hand, slowly poked his body out of the cave, looking up and overlooking the surroundings. The body that was thicker than even a bucket, covered in scale armor like steel, under the moonlight of the night, like a ruthless monarch, coldly looked ahead. Not a single one will be left behind. This was Chang Long's order to Xiongde, and it was also a test. When Chang Long brought the two Xiongde back to the resting place of Xiao Fang's family, Wang Gui's father and son, after half a day of risking their lives to rescue them, had gotten some living supplies out of the collapsed house, set up a temporary rudimentary campsite in a safe location, and were contemplating what to do in the future. Father, grandfather, master, he's back. The father-daughter trio sitting around the firelight were listening to the thundering and snapping of the burning firewood, and their minds were filled with thoughts. Xiao Fang, who was originally bored and had her head resting on her palm, quietly staring at the firelight, immediately stood up and looked towards the side of the mountain in the darkness of the night, saying excitedly, Oh, mister. Chang is back. Wang Gue also stood up violently, so excited that his footsteps couldn't help but slip and trip over an axe that was placed aside. The blade of the axe was illuminated by the light of the fire, revealing some soon dried blood on it. The old man also stood up with great effort, and a glimmer of light appeared in his tired eyes, as if he had seen hope. When Chang Long's figure appeared in front of the three of them, the way it once again grew larger almost made them almost mistake it for some other giant beast. Especially with the bear dead that appeared from behind immediately afterward, the oppressive feeling was so great that Elder Wang almost didn't take a breath. This, this. Wang Yue Wang Gui's father and son were so frightened that their words shivered and their eyes that were originally filled with hope once again revealed dead gray. Father, grandfather, what are you afraid of, this is really my master. Although Xiao Fang was surprised by Chun Long's transformation, she clearly felt that the huge snake that had grown bigger in front of her was still Chun Long. Chang Long also revealed a bitter smile, his own figure had changed too much recently. In just a little over a month, he had already changed from a small snake that was soaked in a wine jar to such a behemoth, if he were himself, he would also be afraid. After a short period of appeasement, especially this girl Xiaofang, has in Xiongda this guy gradually familiar set up. Chang Long also learned what happened to them after he entered the mountain. At night darkness, Wang Gui's father and son happened to set up a temporary campsite, a group of stray dogs and wild cats came out of nowhere and suddenly attacked towards them as if they were crazy. Fortunately, Xiaofang and her three daughters were hidden in a hut made of a few wooden planks. Only after Wang Gui's father and son desperately drove them away, and especially after Gui chopped an axe on one of the strongest big black dogs, did those guys slowly disperse with a bit of fear and unwillingness. Although the stray cats and dogs were dispersed, the father and son duo didn't dare to relax, and they were also exhausted, although they weren't seriously injured, they were still in a sorry state. Especially the old man Wang Yue, his body was even left with several scratches. The mutation is really fast. Hearing Xiao Fang's description, Chen Long narrowed his eyes, after this aura was completely revived, not only himself, but the rest of the creatures also began to mutate on a large scale. By the way, master, it seems like I'm able to control things with my mind power. Just as Chang Long was pondering, Xiao Fang stopped her assault on Xiong Di and instead prepared to show Chang Long her mastery. Oh yeah? 
Cheng Long was also slightly surprised, if this girl was really able to self-figure out the skill of Nianli controlling objects without guidance, that would be considered a genius ah, then he had really picked up a treasure. Yeah, I just watched dad and grandpa fighting those guys outside, and I couldn't help but feel anxious. I don't know how, but the small rocks and branches around me flew up. As if they knew what was on my mind, they just slashed at those darn guys. Father even took advantage of that big black dog's fretting moment to chop an axe on its head. Chung Long's eyes lit up, this disciple he took in, indeed he had picked up a treasure, and would be a great help to himself in the future. Spitting out the jade jade pendant from his mouth, he placed it in front of Xiao Fang. Master, what is this thing ah, so beautiful? Xiao Fang's gaze was immediately attracted by the jade pendant that was the size of a baby's palm. A small thing that can be used for your defense, to protect you and keep you safe, just wear it around your neck, with it, you can stabilize your spirit for a short time. Oh, thank you master. Hearing Chang Long's words, Xiao Fang looked at the small wooden house, and then had an idea in her mind. She picked up the emerald jade pendant, but didn't bring it on right away, instead, she received it in her pocket, and then drilled into the makeshift small wooden room. This girl, still quite filial. Chang Long naturally saw what she went in for. Due to the fact that her mother had gone through the earthquake incident during the day, she was frightened. Coupled with the nocturnal attacks of stray cats and dogs at night, she was already drowsy at the moment and took her little brother inside to sleep in a daze. Xiao Fang heard that this Jade Jade pendant can stabilize the spirit, cannot help but think of her mother in the first place. Only then did she gently place the Jade pendant in the middle of her mother and little brother, hoping that it would help. For this, Chen Long was very satisfied, a person's heart is far more important than a person's talent. Especially this current behavior of his to disciple a human as a foreign beast, if this girl's heart is not pure, then, in the future, it will not be worth his focus to cultivate. A hundred good deeds and filial piety were first, how one treated the people around their parents would tell how they would treat him as a master in the future. Wang Gui's father and son were also dealing with the wolf king's corpse that Xiong De had brought back to them. Time passed and soon came to the next day. Let's go, down the mountain. At Chun Long's command, Xiong De carried the two Xiaofang siblings, Wang Gui supported his daughter-in-law, and the old man followed Chen Long, as the group slowly headed towards the village at the bottom of the mountain. All of the roads were basically in a state of collapse, everywhere there were fissures formed after a landslide. A few people struggled to weave through the mud-filled wilderness. There were even quite a few large and small fish and shrimp still struggling to survive in the various puddles. When they arrived at the village under the mountainside, what came into their eyes was an area full of ravaged ruins, with almost no human presence left. Houses had collapsed, and the water was flooding up to their knees, with a few dead bodies occasionally floating on them, both human and poultry and beast. How tragic, there are no living people left. Although Chang Long had long known about this scene in the sky I map, when he saw it with his own eyes, there were still some slight ripples in his heart. This settlement was the closest to Wang Gui's house, but under the impact of the earthquake and the lake, it was all of a sudden like paper, being destroyed with nothing left at all. Look for it, see what else is usable. Cheng Long took the lead and wandered towards those houses. Since he had decided to support Xiao Fang's family to serve as his spokespersons among the humans in the future. Then, now, when they hadn't gained a firm foothold in this post-apocalyptic world, they would first do their best to help their family settle down before saying anything else. Just as Wang Gui's father and son followed them into this residential area, two kilometers away in another village, a young man close to 30 years old was running frantically with about 10 people. Behind them, five or six red-eyed cows were burying their heads in impact and chasing after them. And such a scene was simultaneously staged all over the world. Half a month later, Cheng Long's body had reached more than 20 meters long, and his realm had also broken through to senior beast soldier last night. His waist was bigger than a normal bucket, and the scale armor on his body was even harder than steel, shining under the sun. Beside him, Berda's head was also a lot bigger. Recently, the food was abundant, and those mutated fowls were hunted by it quite a lot. Coupled with the fact that the aura had become more and more abundant, it had also crossed over into the beast soldier level, becoming a primary beast soldier. Its height was about 10 feet tall and its shoulder height was no less than that of an adult, and it looked very powerful and strong. The two of them were currently following a team of two to three thousand people as they slowly advanced. These people were all the remaining residents of Xiaofang's town, as well as the residents of other villages and towns that had converged along the way. The earthquake had destroyed their homes and killed their loved ones, so they had suffered heavy losses. What's more, they were constantly attacked by mutated fowls and beasts, and this place was no longer suitable for living in peace, so they could only move and transfer. No one knows how the situation in the outside world is, and after waiting for more than a week in the dilapidated town, no reinforcements have come. The only thing left for these people to do now was to save themselves. Under the lobbying of a few people with high prestige and strong organizational skills. These people, old and young, with all kinds of things, big bags of supplies or pick or back or carry, 
like a group of refugees in general to migrate. No, accurately speaking, at this moment, they were now a group of refugees. Their goal was the county town more than a hundred kilometers away, wanting to go there for help. It was impossible to drive on the broken road, and it was a bit of a stretch to move forward on foot, so the speed of the group's advancement was particularly slow, at most a dozen kilometers a day. Some of those who knew how to ride bicycles and motorcycles were in the lead with their luggage, searching for usable supplies, while the rest of the old and the young were slowly in the back of the group. No one dared to act alone, leaving the large troop had only one downfall in this world where the beasts had sprung up, because those who didn't believe in evil, used their lives to tell those who came after them the price of the so-called freedom. Inside most are some women and children and the elderly, 30 or 40 years old young strong man not many, all gray, listless look. A group of people slowly marching on the asphalt road, along the way there are occasionally lucky guys found this big team, all the way to join in, follow the large force to migrate. Around the group, some cats, dogs, pigs, cows, and other mutated fowls with reddish eyes and raised hairs had been following from afar. In and out of the wilderness between the woodlands, ready to attack the former overlord of the earth, their former master. Although these guys are not considered to be beasts now, nor do they have the terrifying strength of Cheng Long who has formally stepped into the beast level. But for these old, young, sick and disabled human beings, it was still not a problem to sneak attack them from time to time. They tend to form groups and leave after a few attacks. After 10 or so days of mutation, these guys have already appeared close to the leader of the mutation, and their intelligence is no worse than that of a 7 or 8 year old human. If it wasn't for the presence of Cheng Long and awakened people like Xiao Fang along the way, I'm afraid that less than 30% of this team of 2 to 3,000 people would be alive and intact. Under this kind of cataclysm, not only did other species have mutations, but amongst humans, rare awakened people also appeared. They were also able to absorb heaven and earth aura to quench their bodies, becoming so fast and powerful that they could lift a sedan with their bare hands without any effort. However, this kind of person was very rare, and there were less than 20 to 30 of them in their team of 2 to 3,000 people. Most of them were teenagers of 17 or 18 years of age, who had established communication with the aura almost overnight. After being baptized and strengthened, they were different from normal people. There's a village up ahead, it's already afternoon, let's rest our feet for a bit, everyone is exhausted. Wang Gui's family was now considered the head of this crowd, the reason was simple, it was because of the existence of the two foreign beasts, Chang Long and Xiong De. Ever since they came down from the village on the mountain, their family had directly searched all the way to the town. After rescuing a number of people along the way, they also came together as a force and eventually joined the group. At first, facing Chang Long, a python-like poisonous snake, and Xiong De, a big bear, the average person still showed fear. After all, since the revival of Aura, there had been an endless stream of foreign beasts attacking humans. Moreover, the poultry and livestock around them also had this kind of devouring condition, so it was only human to be afraid. Chang Long didn't bother with these people either, he just instructed Lord Xiong not to offend me. Other than Xiao Fang's family being able to approach them, no one else needed to pay attention to them. For those berserk beast races that attacked humans, the usual ones were dealt with by Lord Xiong. There was also Xiao Fang, a spiritual psychic, who was playing a supporting role, and almost on the front battlefield, there was no special existence that was their enemy. Only if they really couldn't handle it, Chang Long would step in. With these three powerful bodyguards, the number of people converging around them increased. After a long time, these people also understood who was actually able to be the master in this. Therefore, this girl, Xiao Fang, instantly became one of the backbones of this group of refugees. Of course, the dirty, dirty, despicable calculations and other power struggles are also inevitable. After all, where there are people, there is a Jiang Hu, this is a very normal thing. However, Chang Long has been handed over to the girl Fang to solve their own problems, he is just on the side of the cheerleading for her. This girl also lived up to her expectations, although at first she did some childish things and even didn't know what to do, but at the back, she was able to overwhelm the masses. Just as the group stopped and the people in the vanguard entered the entrance of the village not long after, a mournful cry for help was ushered in. Not good, something's happened. As one of the main forces to maintain the security of the team, they, the awakened, were assigned to guard the masses around the team. Chang Long with Xiong Di and Xiao Fang were mainly responsible for breaking the back and preventing certain uncontrollable sights from appearing behind the team. After 10 or so days of contact, the people of the refugee group also clearly knew that as long as they didn't disturb these two mutant beasts and speak ill of them to their disadvantage, they would not be as unfavorable to the crowd as the other mutant beasts, and would do their best to guard the side. Even some of the bold ones would help handle Chang Long and Xiong Da's food under Xiao Fang's guidance. Occasionally a barbecue, drink some human beverages, a small life is very happy. Chang Long is also not rejected, the reason why he mixed into the crowd escorting the family of Xiao Fang, but also just covet this kind of under this enjoyment. 
shown to this guy, since get their own permission, hasn't a honey seller guy mixed well, every day to mix some honey over the addiction, if there is no order, almost accompanied by that guy side. When a shout of alarm came from the group a thousand meters away in front, Chung Long also found the basic situation in that village on the sky eye map. A Zhang tall black bull was leading a dozen of its two meter tall counterparts in a standoff with the people entering the village, and on the left horn of one of them was a dying unlucky guy. Let's go, there's a situation. Chung Long frowned, this big guy was no longer something that those few doll soldiers could deal with. It wasn't true that they had awakened their strength, but they didn't know how to utilize their skills too much, and they were empty of brute strength but lacked combat experience. What's more, without any weaponry, it was still quite difficult to inflict damage on a beast like the big black bull. Let's eat steak tonight. Under Xiong Da's puzzled gaze, Chen Long slowly uttered a few words. Brother Wu, this big guy can't be dealt with in our current state. The few awakened ones who were confronting the big black bull were looking nervously at the big guy across the street. One of them, a young man with dyed yellow hair and a skinny figure, immediately said towards a tall youth in the very center of the group. Even though they were all holding machetes and steel forks and other tools in their hands, they did not dare to easily launch an attack. Wu Feng in the center of the group couldn't help but gulp, he was the strongest among these people, but he did have less experience, and this kind of life and death battle was also a pressure for him. He was not afraid of death, but there were so many people behind him, so many eyes watching him, in case he also missed, death and injury, there will be more than one person. Therefore, easily, Wu Feng didn't dare to attack blatantly. That big black bull saw that ten or so brats came out from the opposite side, and could not help but open his bull's eyes slightly. Although these guys are not as big as itself, it can also feel the difference between these guys and those old, young, sick and disabled people in the back. More than this rookie on his own horn is comparable, seems to be able to give it a certain threatening force. For a time, the big black ox was also testing, wanting to see some of the reality before making a move. However, this stalemate couldn't last more than a few seconds. At the big black bull's side, a yellow bull that wasn't too small had white gas coming out of its nose, and as a biting cold wind blew by, it blatantly launched an attack. Quickly dodge. Seeing that the stalemate was broken, in the face of the frenzied yellow bull, no one dared to touch it in a frontal battlefield. The crowd immediately dispersed in all directions, looking for positions to dodge. Among them, the teenager who directly faced the bull, but also deftly rolled on the ground, at the same time raised the axe in his hand, and shot at the yellow bull's belly. But at this moment, not only the big yellow ox moved, the rest of the seven or eight oxen are no longer silent, raised hooves, lowered the head, raised sharp horns, to this side of the several people on the wild gallop. The only one that didn't move was the biggest black bull. It seemed to sense an unusual danger, and cautiously looked at that crowd on the opposite side. In its opinion, these few newbie melons in front of it could at most pose some small threats to it, the real big danger, was still behind. Its inspiration was accurate, just as these awakened and the cattle were involved in a fierce battle, at the entrance of the village, Chun Long and Xiong Da's figures appeared, and following beside them was Xiao Fang who had a flushed face. The reason why she was flushed was because, by her side, there were twenty shiny daggers floating around. Ever since she knew that this girl, Xiao Fang, had awakened the ability to manipulate objects, at Chun Long's request and with his help, she searched for this batch of fruit knives that had yet to be sold from a supermarket. Although the texture of this thing wasn't too good, it was still more than enough to deal with the average beast that hadn't completely mutated yet. Now there wasn't much time for them to grow up, the only thing they could do was to practice in real battles. Opening his fiery eyes, the values of this guy's attributes appeared before his eyes. Race, mangy horned bull. Realm, intermediate beast soldier. Body length, 4. 3 meters. Shoulder height, 2. 7 meters. Weight, 2750 kilograms. Extreme strength, 257. Ultimate stance, 112. Ultimate physique, 201. Ultimate armor, 138. Limit endurance, 198. Ultimate nerve, 40. Skills, powerful punch, sharp horn top fly. This guy, his attributes aren't bad, with two items reaching over 200 points, it's considered relatively strong. Chang Long already had a calculation in his heart, however, when compared to himself, it was nothing. However, it was able to spar with this Xiongde guy, the two were between half a caddy and eight tails. Girl, these guys can be handed over to you, whether or not the master can eat grilled steak tonight, can depend on your knife skills. Well, don't worry. Xiao Fang took a step forward, and those twenty daggers flew out in a smooth manner, and set fire on the nearest black bull. The speed of the flying daggers was very fast, a short distance of a hundred meters, before that black bull and the awakened person who was holding it reacted, the daggers had already circled around the large bull's neck. Holy shit, this is too cool. The teenager who originally wanted to stop this big black bull from intruding into the crowd behind him was reaching out to grab the bright black bull's horns in front of him, ready to use brute force to make it stop even at the risk of being injured. However, he felt a sudden loosening in his hand, 
and a large bull's head with a shower of blood landed on him. It wasn't just him, the other few awakened who were tangling with the cows also quickly realized that the cow monster in front of them had instantly lost its life under a phantom attack that was like lightning. Moo. Seeing these companions of theirs instantly fall in half, the largest big black cow couldn't help but retreat two steps, a trace of panic appearing in its eyes. Although it was strong, it was only a little stronger than these fellow clansmen under its command. In terms of single combat, it could easily kill any of its companions, but it was impossible for it to kill so many in just a few breaths like the opposite side so chopping and chopping. More importantly, it wasn't the little girl who struck out that was the most terrifying, with its intelligence, it could see that the snake was the most dangerous. Moreover, that bear, which was about the same size as it, was estimated to be on par with it in terms of strength. Want to run? Cheng Long's eyes narrowed as he said to the bear at the side, I'll leave the remaining ones to you, I'll take the biggest one. Just after the words were said, Chung Long's figure shot out like a bolt of lightning. The snake king has struck. Those young awakened ones had a different emotion for this special alien in the team, it was complicated. It wasn't like there wasn't someone who hit Cheng Long's idea, but that person's end was also very straightforward. Without waiting for Cheng Long to make a move, he was hiccuped by Xiong Da's slap. Previously, the strongest awakened in the team was not Wu Feng, but that guy who didn't know how to die. Wu Feng and that guy had exchanged punches, and while the other guy hadn't retreated a step, Wu Feng had retreated seven steps in a row, and had barely been able to stand still. One should know that he was able to easily lift a small car without any effort. With such a comparison, it was self-evident how tough this snake king was. The moment Cheng Long struck, Xiong De also ran towards the remaining few big black bulls. The battlefield appeared lopsided. The big black bull didn't even have time to escape before it was paralyzed by Cheng Long, losing its life in less than a few minutes of effort. The snake king is mighty. In the team, it was not known who suddenly shouted, then the rest of the people followed suit and shouted. Cheng Long didn't say anything more, Wang Gui's father and son had already shouted for familiar people to come and clean up the battlefield for disposal. As the person closest to Cheng Long, he naturally knew what to do after so many days together. More than a dozen large oxen, except for the largest one that went into Cheng Long's stomach after processing, the rest, a team of a thousand people, everyone got their own share of meat. Ding, devouring a piece of roast beef, gaining 10 points of energy value. Ding, devour a piece of roast beef, gain 12 points of energy value. Ding, devour a piece of roast beef and gain 15 points of energy value. Ding, devouring mangaka beef, gaining a total energy value of 275 points. Hmm, not bad at all, an intermediate level beast soldier, which has lost quite a bit of spiritual energy after being processed, can still gain nearly 300 points of energy, broad to broad. After hearing the system's prompt, Chung Long quietly hovered on the ground, his heart calculating to get more of these for them to handle next time. Compared to the way he ate raw and alive, the days when someone served him were really comforting. Opening his attribute panel and looking at the attribute interface in front of him, Chang Long was still more than satisfied. Host, Chang Long. Type, Snake. Bloodline, SSSR, 512x Potential Enhancement, Increase the Speed and Efficiency of Absorbing Heaven and Earth Aura. Realm, Beast Soldier Level. Level, 3 thirds, all 6 basic attributes can advance to the next level. Length, 25 meters. Weight, 3600 kilograms. Remaining lifespan, 15 years, breaking through to beast general level increases lifespan by 20 years. Ultimate strength, 300 plus slash 400, 1 point of attribute increases attack power by 1 point. Extreme stance, 300 plus slash 400, 1 point of attribute increases movement speed by 1 point per second slash meter. Extreme physique, 300 plus slash 400, 1 point of attribute increases recovery power by 1 point. Extreme armor, 300 plus slash 400, 1 point attribute increases defense power by 1 point. Extreme endurance, 300 plus slash 400, 1 point of attribute equals 1 minute of lasting output. Extreme nihility, 300 plus slash 400, 1 point of attribute increases soul pressure by 1 point and distance by 10 meters. Energy, 1175 points, 50 points of energy are converted into 1 point of evolution, which changes every time you advance in the realm, and can be obtained by devouring objects that contain energy, as well as by drawing aura. Evolution points, 0 points. Satiety, 40%, cannot get food energy after satiety level is full. Digestion speed, 1500%, satiety level will be cleared within 8 hours after devouring prey. Skills. Venom spray, April 10th, consumes 400 evolution points to advance to the next level. Toxin immunity, 1 10th, consumes 100 evolution points to advance to the next level. Eyes of fire, 1 10th, consume 100 evolution points to advance to next level. Eye of Heaven Map, February 10th, consume 200 evolution points to advance to the next level. Spiritual Illusion, 1 10th, next level consumes 100 evolution points. 
Soul Mark, 1 out of 10, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Burning Bloodline, 1 9th, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Powerful, 1 10th, advancing to the next level consumes 100 evolution points. Since breaking through into a fey beast, with the power of the bloodline, one's passive exhalation of aura between one's breath and inhalation can gain roughly one point of energy value per minute, and a day's counting would be about 1,400 to 500 points of energy value. Adding to the fact that as one's size grew larger, previously devouring around 400 points of energy value reached 100% satiety, now it had also doubled, and could probably devour a maximum of 800 points of energy in one go. Calculating like this, as long as there is enough food energy, just like this bout, and you can hunt enough food sources every day, harvesting at 2000 plus points of energy a day is still not a problem. Cheng Long's mind silently calculated his progress in acquiring energy value in these recent days, not a single day was wasted. Following the group of humans, using Xiao Fang's family as a medium, he also had his own plans. In terms of strength, at the moment, no matter if it was a human or a foreign beast, for the time being, there was no emergence that could threaten his existence. As the saying goes, there is no tiger in the mountain and the monkey is the king, at least for the time being, he himself is still the boss, the undisputed Rambo Bay. As for whether or not humans or foreign beasts that would threaten his safety would appear in the latter part of the journey, Chun Long couldn't say. However, he wouldn't be afraid either. It had only been so long since the aura recovery, everyone was at the same starting line, Chun Long still didn't believe that there were so many demons that could leave him behind. He couldn't be much stronger, so if he couldn't beat them, he would run. With his current comprehensive attributes, it might be too early to say that he was invincible, but in terms of escaping, Chung Long felt that it shouldn't be a problem. It's better to keep this 1000 plus points of energy value as a base card for burning the power of the bloodline first, it can't be used. Thinking of this, he already had a plan in mind. A person without far-flung worries must have near worries, although at the moment, there was no existence that could threaten his little life for the time being. But after all, in this unknown world, who knows what fatal crises are waiting for him. In the end, they can have the existence of the system as a plug-in, then other creatures may also have a chance to belong to them waiting for it. Never underestimate the heroes of the world, there is always a strong hand among the strong, there is nothing wrong with being cautious. Xiong De leisurely licked the honey in the iron basin, closed his eyes and enjoyed this cozy life. Since he followed the boss, his life has changed drastically, and he no longer needs to live a life of fear and trepidation all day long. As for revenge, he hadn't forgotten. However, the boss had said that he would help it when he finished this current matter, so what was the harm in waiting some more days? After waiting for so long, there was no rush. Therefore, Xiong Dei is quite leisurely, cannot use the brain to not use the brain, follow the boss to mix, a day full of three meals. Eat and drink, sneak a peek at the Chang Long hovering not far from the opposite side, Xiong Dei cannot help but feel happy for his choice. This kind of day now was something it hadn't even dared to think about before. Not only did someone clean its fur and serve it exclusively, but there were also so many delicacies that it hadn't eaten before, in Xiong Da's opinion, it was being in paradise. Sensing Xiong Da's prying eyes, Chang Long couldn't help but roll his eyes, this guy was completely overjoyed, indulging under the sound and color, he had fallen. However, seriously, his own luck was still considered good, the moment this guy became a fey, he also purposely used his fiery eyes to check out its attributes, and the result really took him by surprise. SS grade bloodline talent, just a little bit worse than himself. Although he didn't know about the specific requirements for Bloodline Awakening, he had recently hunted and killed quite a few alienated foreign beasts, and even killed quite a few true foreign beasts, but in the end, he hadn't seen a few existences that had awakened the power of their bloodline. Even these awakened people around him, Cheng Long did not let go of his observation, and in the end, he only found the existence of an SS class, a D class, and a C class bloodline. One of the SS class bloodline power was the girl Xiao Fong, while the one with C class bloodline was Wu Fong, considered the lucky one. 26 human awakened people have only awakened 3 bloodline power owners, enough to show that this thing is not everyone can have, its representation is precious. Chen Long also sort of understood the benefits of this bloodline rank from the system, like his SSSR rank, compared to an awakened person without bloodline power, under the same aura environment, the speed of obtaining energy was a full 512 times faster. While SSS rank was 256 times, SS rank was 128 times, S rank was 64 times, A rank was 32 times, B rank was 16 times, C rank was 8 times, D rank was 4 times, and E rank was 2 times. The gap here could be described as sky high, so Chung Long couldn't help but be thankful that he was still considered the chosen one, at least, at this point, he was already in a distant lead. More importantly, he still had the existence of the system as a plug-in, so if he still lagged behind those who were inferior to him in the future, he could only say that he was the waste of wastes. A few kilometers away, a group of 100 armed squads were advancing slowly towards Chang Long and their side, heavily armed. 
Everyone, seize the time to rest, this time our mission is to search the northern area of this county. The disaster situation here is the most serious, and there are more mountains and forests, the situation is complicated, and the people must have already died and been heavily injured. Our mission is to take away as many as we can, and never abandon any of the civilians, understand? Understood, company commander, you can rest assured, we soldiers, isn't it just to protect the family and defend the country, this kind of critical time we don't go on don't we still want those unarmed civilians to go on? One of the soldiers gripped his lance tightly, his eyes covered with blood, his voice hoarse. Company commander, you say, can we still get through this this time, are we humans still saved? One of them, a skinny little soldier said faintly, the moth that was gnawing on the dry rations was already slightly white and dry. There is salvation, monkey, I can firmly tell you that we have salvation, and we have to save ourselves, not abandoning or giving up on any of our compatriots. The captain said firmly. It had been more than half a month since the great catastrophe, and every powerful country around the globe was carrying out their own self-rescue journeys in an organized and orderly manner. This time, the disaster was not just a localized area in a certain city or region, but the whole world. Although the disasters triggered by the earthquakes were different, both strong and weak, those mutated creatures would not give the remaining human beings a little chance. They not only killed each other, devoured each other, but also constantly attacked humans. And as the spiritual chi becomes more and more dense, the speed of their mutation and their ability to reproduce becomes stronger and stronger. As one of the strongest countries in the world, Dashiao was naturally the strongest presence in the area of disaster relief. All the major government agencies, under the command of the heads of each region, the military and the police were united and operated efficiently, setting up one self-help unit after another, organizing the people for self-help, and establishing safe zones. This company, on the other hand, was one of the most ordinary companies under the southern military region of the Great Summer Kingdom, and their mission was, as a forward guard, to search for survivors on this side and escort them to the nearest safe zone. Company commander, there's a situation. It wasn't long after this company had stayed in place for arrest and recuperation, the soldier in charge of sentry duty at the front hurriedly ran back. What situation? Xiaofeng hurriedly stood up and looked at Hei Zi, who had come to report, and couldn't help but inquire. One kilometer ahead on the mountain road, was blocked by a group of alienated pig beasts, those beasts are tearing the dead bodies on the ground, each with long tusks, the number is almost two to three hundred, roaming the mountains everywhere. I purposely observed that this is the only road leading to the townships inside, there is no other way to make a detour. Pig beasts, there are really as many as two to three hundred? Xiao Feng's face stared, and he couldn't help but ask in return, with a few moments of incredulity between his faces. Since the cataclysmic change, although the time has passed only half a month or so, but as a soldier, he knows more about some of the government's research information on the beasts than some ordinary people. Because since the aura slowly recovered since this period of time, in front of the huge state apparatus, they know of no less than dozens of types of beasts. And the pig beast this kind of by domestic pig wild boar alienation into the most common alienation animal, has the skin thick meat, sharp mouth fangs, strength, the speed of the thief's characteristics. It was not too much to say that they were the tanks of the beasts, so this kind of alienated creature had another name, the tank pigs. General firearms are almost difficult to form a fatal injury to these guys, thick skin and flesh, if they do not have a direct hit in the vital position, without a dozen or so shots it is difficult to solve the problem. What's more, once the sprint speed of these guys is turned on in full force, it can reach about 50 to 60 meters per second, maintaining this speed to run continuously for 1 to 20 kilometers, it's very terrifying. There really are this many. I roughly estimated, those guys crowded between that mountain road, densely piled up in a piece of foraging. There are a lot of shanties next to them, guessing that it was a pig farm before. And there's still a lot of movement in those shanties, the number of them should only be more or less. Blackie also had a very unattractive face, as a reconnaissance, bringing back this kind of heavy news, his mood was also very depressed. Dry, whether it's for the sake of the people alive ahead, or for the sake of these dead folks, we must finish them off and open up this passage. Xiaofeng thought about it and then said. Company commander, but we don't have any heavy weapons, these pig beasts are so numerous, can we deal with them? Hazy couldn't help but question, then said, should we send a telegram to our brother troops behind us, requesting for their support? Just do it and be done with it, where is all this nonsense? Support forces are needed all over the country right now, and the surviving people can be waiting for us to help them out of danger. One more minute's delay may result in one more innocent person losing their life. We have a company here, we still can't deal with a few swine. Hearing Xiao Feng's words, Hei Zi didn't say anything more, but gathered his team and started the deployment. Cheng Long naturally didn't know on their side that a company of soldiers was coming towards their side and was already close to exchanging fire with a group of pig beasts. His heaven's eye map could only detect a two kilometer radius centered on himself, while the company in the firefight was still four or five kilometers away, so naturally no one knew what was going on over there. 
Time passed little by little, the camping crowd each found a suitable place to build a simple hut for themselves, except for the crowd on guard duty, most of them went into a state of rest. Xiaofang's family was the same, they were right next to where Chang Long was resting and built a shack for themselves. Xiong De, Xiaofang, follow me to the front to explore and take a walk. Chang Long, who had just finished eating, was ready to go ahead and take a stroll, digesting his food in the process, and it would be even better if he could capture a foreign beast. After all, at this moment, he was still only half full, and the big black bull just now, hadn't completely filled his stomach either. As he got bigger, he became more and more able to eat. Xiong De, who had received instructions, came to Chun Long's side without saying a word, and Xiao Fang also came out from her own shack. Master, I feel like I'm about to completely awaken as well. On the broken highway, Xiao Fang rode on Xiong Da's back, while Chang Long wandered to the side, to be honest, it was only on a whim, as if something was going to happen in front of him, that he called up the two fellows and himself to come and do some rounds. Hearing Xiao Fang's words, Chang Long wasn't surprised, this girl possessed the same SS-class bloodline as Xiong Di, it wasn't surprising that she had broken through even now. Although there was no method of cultivation, and it was now completely on the self-finding stage, but Xiong Di this guy was able to enter the alien beast level, Xiao Fang this girl should also be on the verge of awakening in terms of her physical body. After sending you guys to a safe area, I'm ready to leave. Cheng Long looked at the sky, his heart was also very complicated, after this period of time, in fact, his heart had long had an answer. Himself, in this life, he was ultimately a snake, not a human. Even though he was staying in love with human life, but if he wanted to integrate, it was still as difficult as heaven. Master, you're leaving? Hearing Chang Long's words, Xiao Fang was slightly stunned, and couldn't help but say in a hurry, is it possible that my disciple has done something wrong this while, making you unhappy? Silly child, it's not you. There's no such thing as an unending feast under the sky after all, now that you also have the ability to protect yourself, it's not possible for the master to accompany you for the rest of your life, and I also have my own things to do. It's not like we're not going to see each other anymore, we're just leaving for a while. Alright. After a long period of silence, and after Xiong De carrying Little Fong accompany Cheng Long to walk leisurely for a long distance again, Little Fong finally uttered two words with a reluctant face and wiped her eyes. After this period of time together, she is really Cheng Long as their closest and dearest relatives, the thought of soon to be separated, she is still in her heart a lot of reluctance. Cheng Long looked at Xiao Fan's expression, why would he not treat her as his sister, or even as his daughter? But parting, after all, was a lesson she had to learn to face, just as the air suddenly went quiet, an explosion came from the distance. There's a situation, go check it out. The three guys immediately got in the spirit, and under Chang Long's leadership, they ran furiously towards the source of the explosion. Company commander, there are too many of these guys, the amount of ammunition we have might be a bit insufficient. Blackie looked at the opposite side of the humongous pig beasts that had been charging forward at high speeds actually had no intention of retreating under this rain of bullets, and couldn't help but reveal a color of worry. For this rescue, they were relying on their two legs to move forward, without heavy weapon support, just carrying basic marching rations and basic ammunition, everything was lightly loaded. After all, they didn't expect to encounter so many alien beasts, these guys launched an attack that was as good as a small beast tide. After a 10 minute firefight, although the rescue company had already killed quite a few pig beasts, there were more and more swarms of pigs rushing over from the mountain road ahead. With reddened eyes and extremely fast speeds, they defiantly stormed the firepower net laid down by the company. Damn it, there's no other way but to fight. The warriors guarding around the mountain road used various bunkers to continuously clear the pig beasts that were coming from the mountain road. However, these guys were not only thick-skinned but also extremely fast, making it basically difficult to kill them. Although the firepower network on this side was also very fierce, it was helpless that there were too many of them, and for a while they were in a stalemate, making it difficult to clear them. There were already two fire points at the forefront that were destroyed by the pig beasts, and the fighters there were unknown to be alive or dead and there was no response on the walkie-talkies, so it was obvious that they were in a dire situation. Fortunately, the only ones that had truly mutated among these pig beasts were the three Zhang tall pig kings. They hid in the back and from time to time made grunting sounds to command their own people, consuming the firepower of the warriors, and currently had no intention of doing it themselves, which was good news for the rescue company. The rest, although a few points tougher than the average boar, were not bulletproof. Under strong bullet fire, they would still fall in a pool of blood and die as usual, it was just a matter of firing a few more shots. However, every guy needs to fire a few more shots, which requires quite a bit of ammunition consumption. There could be hundreds of pig beasts here, and the amount of ammunition consumed to kill one pig beast would require more than a dozen rounds of bullets, or even more than two dozen rounds in order to completely hunt it down. Then five to six hundred pig beasts have completely exterminated, the ammo base consumed, was also very huge. This would naturally seem a bit insufficient in terms of the amount of ammunition for their company, which was traveling light. 
After all, there were no supplies here, and every additional elixir consumed, the road behind them, would add one more danger. Just as the fierce firefight was going on here, Chung Long also finally knew what was going on ahead through the sky eye map. It's the soldiers of this world and a group of mutated pigs engaging in a firefight. With a few shades of surprise, Chung Long couldn't help but pause in his steps. Looking at Xiong Di, and then at Xiao Fang on Xiong Da's back, he was a little torn as to whether or not he wanted to go and help. This was a soldier, not these unarmed civilians he had recently guarded. In this team of refugees, he was still able to use his strength to overpower the rest of the awakened and ensure his own safety. That was because those guys had brute strength but no combat skills or experience, so they were not a big threat to themselves. But the soldiers were different, they were all experienced in combat, well equipped, and fought as a team. Although they might be able to crush each other in a single unit, once they were in a head-on confrontation, with their current strength, Cheng Long wasn't sure if they could survive the siege of hot weapons. If they once turned on themselves, the ones in front of them might still be able to be resolved, but the power represented behind them, if they really wanted to deal with themselves, it would be hard to say ah. Don't look at the fact that these people were blocked on the mountain path by a herd of pigs that hadn't been completely alienated. However, Cheng Long believed that if this company wanted to completely break through the attack of this herd of pigs, it would only cost them some money. Therefore, before determining the other party's attitude towards an alien beast like himself, Cheng Long was a bit hesitant. He also didn't know what kind of fate would greet him if a soldier participated in this escort of the refugees behind him. Although Cheng Long had thought about this problem before, he had not given it much thought. And now, being faced with this problem, he hesitated, but had to think carefully about this issue. Even if he really wanted to cooperate with humans, he still had to have the qualifications to do so, and that was only if both sides had similar strengths. But the current self, did he really have the qualifications to coexist peacefully with humans? In his previous life as a human, he naturally knew clearly that most people only had two modes of dealing with the alien, one was worship plus submission, and the other was an iron cage with razor blades. This period of time himself was indeed lost, indulging in the human's ministrations unwilling to wake up. Being supplied with good food and drink every day, comfortable is comfortable, but forgetting the saying that a gentle land is a hero's mound ah. Master, what's wrong with you? Seeing Cheng Long stop his advance, Xiong De followed suit. Xiao Fang who was sitting on Xiong Da's back was already able to hear the sound of the firefight in front of him, even though it was a bit weak, the frequency of the firefight was still transmitted to this side. Together with Cheng Long stopping his steps, it could not help but draw Xiao Fang to ask with curiosity. Nothing, just thought of something. Cheng Long looked up and looked ahead, and finally made a decision in his heart, help, afraid of a ball. When it comes down to it, you need to be bold, the big deal is that when the time comes, when it really isn't accepted, you just take Xiong Din and leave. Although I have no way to confirm that the current realm can deal with the attack of the human army, also not willing to easily try. But if he really wanted to leave, I'm afraid it wouldn't be that easy for the other party to leave him behind. Not to mention that with the presence of this fellow Xiao Fang, these soldiers might not be the kind of people who were good and bad. Let's go. Soon, the three of them appeared after the battlefield. Company commander, look, what's that on the opposite side? When this strange combination of the three of them appeared in the company's field of vision, not only did all the soldiers on the scene pause in their firepower, even the alienated pig beasts that were going crazy and making a sprint felt uneasy. 25 meters long, with a waist that an adult couldn't even hold, and lifting his body up to a height of two or three stories, Chen Long was like a giant, blatantly appearing in everyone's field of vision, filled with a sense of oppression. Moreover, although Xiong Da's figure was large, it still appeared somewhat petite in front of Chen Long. However, the same attracted the eyes of those present, for no other reason than carrying little fawn on his back. A little girl, actually with such a big snake and a giant bear, I didn't see anything wrong. Xiao Fong who was watching with binoculars could not help but freeze, facing such a strange combination, it was also the first time he saw it. Capture the thief first, you two deal with one, leave the remaining two big ones to me, just in time, I haven't eaten enough. Just as the battlefield had completely ceased fire due to Cheng Long's and their arrival, Cheng Long had already made arrangements with Xiao Fang and Xiong De. The dragon used his fiery eyes to observe the three thoroughly mutated pig beasts across the street, and the strongest of them was only a mid-level beast soldier. Race, tank swine. Realm, intermediate beast soldier. Length, 3. 6 meters. Shoulder height, 2. 5 meters. Weight, 1570 kilograms. Extreme strength, 225. Extreme stance, 136. Ultimate physique, 189. Ultimate armor, 218. Limit endurance, 166. Limit nerve, 44. Skills, hog surge charge, sharp tusk tear. This guy's attributes are almost the same as the manghorn bull that was killed by himself, both of his two attributes have reached over 200, which is considered to be a stronger existence in the intermediate beast soldiers. 
Shang Long's figure quickly headed towards the biggest and strongest guy, like a bolt of lightning, leaving a loud sonic boom in the air. With an extreme speed of 300 meters per second, to the naked eye, it was like an instantaneous movement, making it almost difficult to catch its figure. A short 2 to 300 meters, less than two breaths of time, before the biggest pig king could react, Shang Long's figure had already appeared in front of that guy's eyes. When the pig king reacted and opened his reddened eyes to look at this big snake that was eyeing him intently, he was ready to launch a sprint. However, he found that a huge spiritual force instantly entered his brain along his reddish eyes, and then his body uncontrollably launched an attack on another partner aside. Good fellow, actually dare to lock eyes with Master Snake, count your kid as having balls. Chang Long wanted this effect, he was originally prepared to use his own attributes to be stronger than this guy for body crushing. However, since the other party is so bold, then he is just the right person to perform this skill and fulfill it. That Xiong Dei also sprinted to the distance of about 100 meters from the pig king, just put down the small fawn on his back, and was about to launch an attack. However, he saw the scene that he knew so well, and could not help but shiver, silently feeling sad for that pig king. Boss is casting that weird skill again, good lord, this is to make the other party follow in his footsteps. Thinking so in his heart, Xiong De, however, did not hesitate and blatantly charged at the other pig king who was in a state of consternation for a while. If he didn't seize this opportunity, Xiong De wouldn't be Xiong De anymore. The pig king that wasn't affected was a little confused as to why his own boss would suddenly launch a surprise attack on his second, instead of dealing with the big snake in front of him. The pig elder who was caught off guard was also confused. This violent impact from the controlled pig boss caught it off guard, and it was fiercely sent flying over a dozen meters away. It smashed into a group of five or six pig beasts, and a wail was heard for a while. Company commander, this pig king is possessed, right? Why don't you go deal with that big snake instead of killing each other within yourself? Hey Z was about to shoot, but saw such a wonderful scene, and couldn't help but open his mouth wide. That Xiao Qing also did not know why, when the big snake launched an attack towards that pig king, he seemed to have guessed what was going on, a vague feeling was telling him that these three strange combinations seemed to be on their side. Just when his brain was on standby and he hadn't figured out the doorway for a while, he saw such an absurd scene. It's a bit bizarre. It wasn't just Xiao Cheng who sensed an unusual new turn of events in this battlefield, those soldiers who were also preparing to launch an attack also instantly stopped their fingers on the triggers. Xiao Fang who was put down had a stream of thoughts rise up, and the twenty new daggers hanging on her waist and back instantly floated around her body. The last time she dealt with that mang-horned bull, some of the daggers were naturally scrapped under the high-speed collision but fortunately there were spares, and she who returned to the team promptly replaced the broken ones. After these days of bonding, this master and disciple trio team also had a certain tacit understanding. While Chang Long was controlling the pig boss to deal with Xu Lao Er, Xiong De was entangled with the pig boss. Xiao Fang then realized that some resourceful pig beasts were returning to help, preparing to sneak attack the motionless master Chang Long. In a flash, the twenty daggers moved. They charged at the pig beasts in front of them, and like a phantom, they divinely slashed the neck of the nearest one of them, while the other one stabbed into the eye of a fat pig behind it. Holy shit, this little girl is so fierce. Those soldiers were sort of stunned. It was the first time they had seen someone who could actually maneuver flying daggers like a mythical sword fairy, launching deadly attacks on their targets with more precision than the guns in their hands. And not just one, but a dazzling ten or twenty, is this still a human being? Kill, don't hurt that little girl by mistake. Xiao Cheng immediately reacted, worthy of being a company commander with rich combat experience, he immediately seized the opportunity to attack and gave the order to attack. Without the command of the three pig kings, coupled with the aura emanating from the battlefield mileage dragon and Xiong De, those remaining pig beasts for a moment had felt an unprecedented pressure, not knowing what to do. Both the front and back were pinned down, and under the rain of bullets, the remaining three to four hundred pig beasts were blinded. Losing their command, some of them continued to attack towards the soldiers of the company, some were ready to go back to help their own pig king, and some wanted to escape. All in all, the balance of the war began to tilt towards one side. Under Chang Long's control, the pig boss fearlessly attacked the blinded pig elder with all his might. Even though the other party reacted later, there was nothing they could do. Originally, there was a huge difference in strength between the two. What's more, the sneak attack at the beginning made Zhu Lauer lose a large portion of his combat power, it was simply adding insult to injury. And Xiong Di and that pig Lao San were also fighting fiercely together. Originally, the strength of the two was almost equal, but the sudden change on the battlefield made pig Lao San lose his heart to fight and kill, and only wanted to escape. Because, it can see, even if the pig boss did not go crazy, their three brothers together, is not the opponent of this big snake and black bear. What's more, there was that evil two-legged beast at the back, manipulating that flying dagger that was harvesting the rest of his subordinates. Under that kind of powerful offense, Pig Laosan felt that even if he faced the black bear or any of the two-legged beasts one-on-one, -on -one, he might not be a match. 
The situation on the battlefield quickly ended with Pig Lao San's struggle to escape, as well as the mass escape of the pig beasts, and soon, after leaving behind numerous corpses, it was completely over. Boss, sorry for letting that guy escape. Xiong De lowered his head and came to Chung Long's side, trembling slightly like a child who had done something wrong waiting for his parents' discipline. Forget it, if it ran away, it ran away. Cheng Long didn't say anything more, that Pig Lao San actually risked losing one of his own legs in order to stay alive, brazenly coming at Xiong De. In order to avoid injuring himself, Xiong De could only dodge, but let it find an opportunity and took advantage of it to run away. In Cheng Long's own shoes, he would have chosen to ensure his own safety, there was nothing to say. Go on, girl, deal with these soldiers. Cheng Long led Xiong Di to stare at those soldiers from a few hundred meters away, but instructed Xiao Fang to go up and communicate. It couldn't be helped, his current identity was after all a fey beast, and his decision to support the girl in the first place was also for this day. Moreover, just now Chang Long also discovered one thing, that is, the stray bullets on the battlefield could not break his armor, which had to be good news. That guy is really your master. Hei Zi's mouth opened wide enough to stuff down the largest goose egg. The soldiers on the side also revealed unbelievable looks, but they slowly got over it. After all, the recovery of Aura, the rampage of foreign beasts, and the great disaster of the human race were all laid out in front of them one by one, one by one. A human who could communicate with the beasts and learn from their masters was not an unacceptable event. Moreover, they also knew that under the recovery of Aura, there were awakened people among humans, and this girl should be one of the lucky guys. Yeah, master isn't like those crazy guys who attacked us. If it wasn't for his existence, the team and clansmen behind us would have died and been seriously injured long ago during this time, and I probably wouldn't be able to survive now. Seeing each of these soldier brothers showing a look of surprise, Xiao Fang couldn't help but explain, incidentally briefly saying some of the things that had happened since she met Chun Long. Looking at the innocent looking little Fang, coupled with the fact that the two behemoths on the opposite side stayed right where they were and didn't launch an attack on their own company, the people present eventually forced themselves to accept this fact. After a while of communication between Xiao Fang and Xiao Qing, even though the things in front of them looked a bit unbelievable to them, things were right in front of their eyes, saving people was important, and everything else was just minutiae. However, as a soldier, as a leader, Xiao Cheng was also very clear. The current situation was to unite all the forces that could be united to help mankind through this catastrophe. No matter what the other party's identity was, as long as they were on the side of the human race, they were their friends. Hello, I'm the company commander of this company, Xiao Cheng. Thank you very much for your help. Xiao Cheng followed Xiao Fang to Cheng Long's side, although he had learned from this girl's mouth that the behemoth in front of him was not going to harm him, he was still a million times more apprehensive. However, as the highest level leader here, this greeting, Xiao Cheng knew that he could not avoid it. Cheng Long heard Xiao Qing's words and nodded, as a response to the other party, after all, although he understood the words of the Dasha people of this world, he was unable to express them, so he could only do so. In fact, his heart was also quite apprehensive. Despite the fact that he had escaped from the human's wine jar, despite the fact that he had encountered those hunters, in his heart, Cheng Long still didn't want to make an enemy of the human race. Especially after getting to know Xiao Fang, a disciple and sister in general, and spending this period of time together, he still hoped that, in the depths of his soul, he wouldn't be completely bestialized and turn into a beast that could only kill. Xiang De was lying beside Cheng Long in boredom, after receiving Cheng Long's command, it naturally wouldn't attack these people in front of him, it just narrowed its eyes and watched silently. Xia Qing was also secretly amazed when he saw the behavior of the two giant beasts, he could see that no matter it was the little girl beside him or this big black bear, they all had this big snake in front of them as their backbone. After greeting and meeting, both sides cleaned up the battlefield and headed towards the refugee camp. Chun Long dragged the biggest one, the pig boss, and Zhu Lao Er was carried on the back by Xiong De. The rest of the warriors after learning about the large number of old and young people in the camp and the lack of food. They also had groups of three or five people carrying a mutated pig beast, step by step towards the back. After the soldier squad entered the camp, the remaining humans each shed tears of excitement. The motherland hadn't given up on them, and the government hadn't given up on them either. The pain of suffering, suffering, and losing their homes and loved ones during this period of time finally had a channel to vent. The pig beasts that were brought back also went through the process of entering everyone's stomach. After all, there were almost 3,000 people here. In this kind of post-apocalyptic world where supplies were not sufficient and could not be replenished accordingly, even if there was more food, it would not be enough for everyone to eat. And with the arrival of the rescue company, the people here finally knew what was going on in the outside world. The whole world has been destroyed and torn apart under the great earthquake, with heavy human casualties, all kinds of infrastructures have been destroyed, not many roads and bridges are intact, and it's a mess. The Dasha government reacted at the first time, and all over the world entered the self-help section, establishing safe zones, not only to resist the attack of the foreign beasts, 
but also to rebuild their own homes. Time passed quickly, five days passed, with new forces joining in, the advancement of the refugee group became faster, they were also eager to enter the safe zone to rest, to reorganize, to help the people there, to build their own homes. And during these five days, Chang Long with Xiao Fang and Xiong Dei also kept on cleaning up the alien beasts that came to attack the crowd in the periphery. Those awakened ones, after the company took over the task of the team's security, also began to hunt those ungrateful mutant animals in the neighborhood. Ding, devour a piece of iron skin savage beef, gain 20 energy points. Ding, devour a piece of blood tooth boar meat, gaining 15 energy points. Ding, devour a moon shadow spirit cat and gain 50 energy points. Constantly hunting and killing, one by one, the prey was gotten back to the camp by Wang Gui and the others to be processed. Not only did they provide rich food for some of the refugees, Chun Long himself followed suit and ate the processed delicacies. This big snake turned out to be a foodie, no wonder. After these few days together, Xiao Qing had also thoroughly figured out this big snake's temperament. In his opinion, Chang Long was not only very psychic and humanized, he was also a foodie, a non-food eating existence. Despite its appearance, this guy had a fierce look, but it was very loving, many bold children in the camp dared to come close enough to stroke its scales, and this big snake wasn't annoyed. Company commander, not only is this big snake a foodie, that big black bear by its side, have you noticed, also especially likes to eat food. Day after day, it slithers around the campground without anything to do, as long as it finds the existence of delicious food, it relies on the other side, not snatching it, but only pampering it, it's too funny. Blackie took his own rifle and sat beside Xiao Qing, looking at the black bear not far away that was pleasing a soldier, wanting the chocolate in the other's pocket, he couldn't help but be amused. Everything has a spirit, this time the heaven and earth change, it's normal for some weird beasts like the big snake to appear, not every beast that changes will attack humans. Therefore, this time when we go back, I will suggest to the leaders that beings like the great snake and the black bear, even if we can't strive to use them for us, we must not make enemies with them. Xiao Qing's face looked very grave, although he was only a company commander in the district, in the eyes of those higher-ups, he was a minion-like existence. But for the sake of the safety of the human race, no matter what, he would report what he had seen and thought, one by one. Yes, a foreign beast like the Great Serpent, once it is pushed to the opposite side of our human race, with the current situation, even if we are able to annihilate the other side, we will have to pay a considerable price, that kind of consequence, non-essential not to bear off. Blackie's heartfelt words were also the heartfelt words of those warriors on one side. Ding, devouring a blizzard rabbit, gains 60 points of energy, satiety has reached 100%, unable to gain any more energy value. After Chang Long swallowed the last of the roasted and oozing foreign beast blasted wind rabbit, he burked deeply. Looking at the grill that was put away, Chang Long's eyes revealed a hint of determination. It was time to leave, listening to that Xiao Chang, he would be able to make it to the nearest safe zone by tomorrow morning. Once there, Xiao Fang's family would be completely safe, and with a new place to settle down, he would be able to live up to his promise. Good people do in the end, send the Buddha to the west, finish this thing, the next should be given to Xiong De this guy to deal with its problems. Opening his attribute panel, looking at the data in the energy value column had reached 12,375 points, converted down, he could exchange another 240 points of evolutionary value. However, Chang Long did not intend to exchange them now, at least the energy value column, for now, there was no such thing as overflowing, store them first. Not only did he need evolution points for the increase in attribute points, but he also needed evolution points for the increase in skill points. It seemed to be very abundant, the energy acquired every day was acquired to the fullest with unremitting efforts, without wasting a bit of the ceiling. But in Chang Long's own opinion, it was still not enough. Unlike other fey beasts and humans, the biggest problem that plagued him was his lifespan. He was now a senior beast soldier, but in terms of longevity, it was only 15 years. Even though Chang Long didn't understand why he was still restricted to the age limit of ordinary snakes even though he was already a fey beast now. Even if his lifespan was limited, he should still live longer than ordinary snakes. To know, as a snake catcher in his last life, Chang Long clearly knew that a normal king cobra, living in the wild, the longest living almost had a lifespan of nearly 30 years. The ones that had been artificially bred would still have some increase in lifespan but it wouldn't be a measly 15 years. From the time he occupied this body, he was at most 5 or 6 years old. Obviously, this piece of longevity, obviously the system from which to do tampering, only do not know this chicken thief system actually have what intention. Thinking so much why, well at least the system has no malice towards himself, but chose himself to become the host. Without it, perhaps I would still be soaking in that wine vat right now. It's already good enough to have a 15 year lifespan, at least it will increase after promotion. To be a man, one must know how to repay kindness, and to be a snake, one must not be ungrateful. Chang Long muttered in his heart, he was a grateful person, if not, he wouldn't have lost his life and his last life for rescuing a child who fell into the water. Boss, are you getting ready to leave? 
Xiong De licked the last remaining hint of sweetness at the corner of his mouth in boredom, after so many days of ingratiating himself, the honey that the man was carrying had almost been consumed. Originally fleeing, bottles and jars of items carried not much, showing the every day to go wool gathering like consuming a bottle, any more honey can not withstand this guy so eating. Fortunately, the man did not care about this. After all, the people in the refugee team after so many days together, also know that these two big guys are constantly guarding them, and every time can also help to hunt a lot of food. Therefore, with this distribution of supplies and provisions, the honey was not one person's and belonged to the property of the masses. Giving a little back to the black bear, a big, big cutie, would be the default. Well, it's time to leave, haven't you guys always had your heart set on revenge, don't think I don't know. Chang Long raised his head and looked at the stars in the sky, reborn this month or so, before that, he had been in a state of flight, and had not thought much about the meaning of this snake life of his. After encountering Xiao Fang's family, he was more interested in repaying the favor and then having more strength to protect himself and the partners around him. And during this escorting journey, he was also thinking about a question. What did he really want to do? Was it simply to live? Live this two words seem very empty, and involves too much scope, but in fact, do it, but not so simple. Day after day, year after year, there must be a goal of one's own. Especially in a complicated situation like your own, obviously a human soul, but hidden in the body of a snake. Whether it was to be a human being in the true sense of the word, or a veritable snake, in Chang Long's opinion, it was all very difficult. Therefore, these days, even though he was deep within the crowd, he felt unprecedentedly lonely and empty as well as bewildered. Speaking of which, in his previous life, he was a guy who had no ambition and waited for death, not looking for great wealth and prosperity, but looking for peace and quiet with the mentality of a small citizen. But in this life, the simple wish, in his opinion, want to realize, very simple, but also very difficult. This sentence seems to be contradictory, and can even be said to be very nonsense, but in the current Chang Long seems to be his current situation, the truest portrayal. To say that it was simple, it was because with the existence of the system. At the very least, the current him, compared to the previous life of the kind of no education, no background, no backing, spelling father did not, spelling their own capital is not capital to the state of a hundred times thousand times or even ten thousand times stronger, is not a level of existence. Said difficult, the reason is even more simple, just five words, they are not people. Being the boss to see through the heart, Xiong De also slightly embarrassed. At that time, he did not hesitate to submit to the boss, but also just valued the other party's strength, not only can help themselves to revenge, but also can be a fox, tiger, dog and manpower a bit. The current happy life, is not precisely the boss to bring their own. If it is not in the bottom of the heart of that hatred has been hidden in the reminder of their own, Xiong De to almost now this good life and a kind of happy flavor. Xiao Fang sat in her own shack, silently sensing the mysterious aura in the air. After following her master these days and eating a lot of blood and meat of exotic beasts, she suddenly realized that her small body had not only become more and more powerful, but it was also particularly agile. Although Chang Long also didn't have a systematic gong method to tell Xiao Fang how she should cultivate, he still passed on some of the tricks he had figured out to himself without any reservation to this opening disciple of his. This was also some of the techniques Chung Long had summarized after this short period of continuous sensing and groping to attract aura and cause resonance. After all, in terms of sensing and affinity for aura, in this team, Cheng Long thought of himself as number two, and there should be no one who dared to claim number one. A little bead of sweat was rising on her forehead, and even though spring had already started, the temperature was still not too high. In the midst of this somewhat slightly chilly night, Xiao Fang was bubbling with heat, it could only be said that her cultivation was already getting better and on track. Ah Gui, girl this won't be something wrong. Don't worry, she's entering a state of cultivation, she should be about to make a breakthrough. We have an awakened person in the Wang family too. After these days of traveling, Wang Gui who was in the management of the team also naturally knew some knowledge about breakthroughs from the mouths of some awakened people. Chang Long also sensed the fluctuation of spiritual energy around him and couldn't help but look to the side at Xiao Fang's family's shack. It wasn't just him who sensed the fluctuation of spiritual energy here, the awakened in the camp also sensed this. This girl, finally awakened tonight. Half a month later, a giant python, a ten-foot-tall black bear, and a little girl with a ponytail leisurely arrived at the edge of a large river that was a hundred meters wide. On both sides of the riverbank, there were rolling mountains with cliffs nearly a hundred meters high, and the only thing that could lead to the opposite side was this long riverbank full of reeds. Boss, that big guy is hidden in the middle of this big river. Mama Bear was here to buy me time to escape before she was dragged down into the water by the other party. Xiong Da's eyes were filled with rage as well as deep hatred. Even though at that time he was even slightly larger in size than Mama Bear, he was only about half a year old because of his rapid growth. Whether it was life experience or combat skills, it was still lacking compared to Mama Bear. Although it can live independently without its mother, it is still a cub that is full of dependence on its mother. 
watching the mother bear in front of their own eyes by the other party suppressed without the power to fight, and finally in the river water did not even bubble out on the disappearance, its heart is full of helplessness and hatred. Only, Xiongde understood the gap between himself and that guy very well. Not only was there a huge difference in strength, but especially since the other party had been perched in the water and hardly ever went ashore. As a black bear, although it knows water, but once in the deep water, simply cannot play out the proper power, can only look at the water and sigh, want a revenge cannot help. In the riverbank waiting for many days, has been looking forward to the bear mother can still live, fantasy bear mother can still appear in front of their own eyes of the bear big, and ultimately can only with a full stomach of loss and hatred began their own wandering road. And everything along the way, Xiong did deeply engraved in his mind, dare not forget, looking forward to a day with the strength to come back to revenge and forget the road. Until finally, because of the mysterious fragrance of the hallucinogenic spirit fruit, met the boss, only to bring new hope to their own path of revenge. Big crocodile, and from the system's feedback of Xiongda's memory screen, that guy's head was very huge. According to Chang Long's estimation, it was almost 6 or 7 meters long, counting it as a giant in the crocodile world. However, even if the other party was a big guy, Chang Long would not feel afraid. After all, with his current strength, dealing with a big crocodile would not be a big problem. This location is very remote, is this where your enemy is, Xiongdi? Xiaofang jumped down from Xiongda's back and gently patted Xiongda's face and said. Xiongdi nodded, after spending so much time together, Xiongda was also able to simply communicate with this girl Wang Fang. The current one, it had also reached the intermediate level of beast soldier, and had also improved a lot in terms of wisdom. Chang Long didn't pay attention to the conversation between these two guys, but opened the heavily eye map and began to scout the situation in this neighborhood. In particular, the middle and both sides of the river were the key objects to check. Soon, Chang Long found an extra large blue dot that was at the edge of the sky eye map nearly two kilometers away. A yellow to, it's been a while since I've encountered such a hint. Chang Long spat out his snake's letter and made a hissing sound. After scrutinizing the data of the blue dot, a huge crocodile presented itself to his eyes. The huge body that was more than 10 meters long was quietly lurking in the water, its broad back was like a small island, and the thick scale armor looked like steel armor, very thick. And beside this big crocodile, there is a smaller crocodile, almost 6 or 7 meters long, that guy should be the culprit who sneak attacked mama bear to death. However, under the data analysis of the heaven's eye map, this guy's color was white, and it was almost not dangerous at all. Opening the data of that big crocodile, it clearly showed. Race, ancient imperial crocodile. Realm, primary beast general. Body length, 16 meters. Shoulder height, 4 meters. Weight, 7,255 kilograms. Extreme strength, 425. Ultimate stance, 168. Ultimate physique, 289. Ultimate armor, 388. Limit endurance, 199. Limit nerve, 65. Skills, death tumble, giant tear. Sure enough, primary beast general level, no wonder he can pose some threat to himself. Chang Long looked at his opponent's data, not only had his strength reached the level of a junior beast general, but even his armor had reached the peak level of a beast soldier, which was a state where attack and defense had almost reached the standard. However, he has not been idle in the past half a month, all the way to hunt and kill and now the energy value can be exchanged for 845 points of evolution value, at any time to break through to the beast general realm. As long as one's strength reached the beast general level, this guy's threat to oneself was a joke. With his full attributes up to standard, he would easily be able to strangle this guy. However, the priority now was to find a safe place to break through first. Of course, there is another method, that is the spiritual illusion, the other party's Nianli value is far lower than their own, if they use the spiritual illusion, basically able to control it. However, there were no comparable opponents in the neighborhood that could match it, even if the other party was hit by his mental illusion, it would not be easy to hunt this big guy. Therefore, the safest way was to break through to the beast general level himself. After all, with the existence of the system guy, not to mention anything else, under the same level, he himself was an invincible existence. Master, is there a discovery? Xiao Fang looked at the monstrous river in front of her, and then looked at Chun Long who was at the side, she felt the gravity in the air at the moment. Well, there's a little trouble. Chang Long nodded his head, his eyes looked to Xiong De on the side, and then said. I did help you find your enemy, however, there is a small price to pay if you want to face it now. Tonight first find a safe place, you two help me to protect my magic, when I break through, that guy can be easily solved. Hearing his boss's words, Xiong De couldn't help but see his eyes light up. As long as we find the enemy, it's fine, as for being a little slow it's no big deal. After waiting over for so long, it wasn't too bad for a day or two. Boss, it's still the same sentence, you can rest assured that you will break through, with me here, and with the girl here, if others want to disturb you, they will first step over my dead body. 
Xiongdi immediately said excitedly, this day it had waited for a long time, as long as it avenged Mama Xiong's death, he himself would be able to follow his boss to break through the sky without any worries. Master, you're going to break through again. Xiao Fang also immediately said with a smile, while marveling at Chen Long's demonic level. He himself was only at the level of a junior warrior in his master's mouth until now, although he was able to control the flying blades in Xiongdi to slice and dice. But in the physical body, Xiao Fang understood very well that her body was too frail. Although this journey, since following master and leaving his father and the others, he had also eaten quite a lot of alien beast blood and meat. But compared to the degree of absorption of Xiongdi, as a human body, in this aspect, it was still much worse. If it wasn't for the fact that one's enlightenment and cultivation was considered high, and the speed of absorbed spiritual qi was slightly stronger than bare big, otherwise one simply wouldn't be able to keep up with the other party's progress. A human being, actually lost to a big dog bear, Xiao Fang's heart also has a climbing heart, very unconvinced. Not to mention that compared to master, a demon, one was simply heaven and the other underground. Yeah, I should have broken through a few days ago, only I've been suppressing it. Pervert, worthy of being my master. Hearing Chang Long's words, Xiao Fang couldn't help but roll her eyes. Chang Long actually had another killer skill, which was burning bloodline power. However, this skill, for the time being, was also limited in boosting battle power. It only doubled the attributes and consumed quite a lot of energy, 500 energy points at a time, enough to exchange for 10 evolution points. If used hastily, it still felt a bit painful for Chang Long. After all, now every bit of energy value are hard to come by, and consume energy value evolution points are too many places. Good steel is used on the edge of the knife, cannot be wasted, not waste ah. And the side effects are great, use 10 minutes, week 1 hour, is really too pit. Unless it is absolutely necessary, absolutely do not use this skill. As a man, no, as a male snake, how can I tolerate myself to be weak and powerless, must be firm ah. Let's go, find a safe place, let's hunt for food on the way, when I succeed in my breakthrough tonight, tomorrow I will give Xiongdi your revenge, and eat a roasted crocodile on the way. Hearing his boss's words, Xiongdi nodded, he looked at the wide river in front of him, as well as the river that was gushing eastward, his mood was as cheerful as the water waves. As long as this enemy is found, plus with the assurance of the boss, the revenge is but in these two days, what's the hurry? Creeping down, carrying Xiaofang with some of her carry-on luggage, leisurely following Chang Long's back, towards the mountains behind him unhurriedly and unhurriedly. Along the way, the sky eye map was fully opened, trying to avoid places with people. However, in this post-apocalyptic environment now, there were ruins everywhere. In some villages, only those beasts and fowls that were on the verge of mutation, as well as completely alienated fey beasts remained. It was also very difficult to encounter a living person. Under the cataclysm, the aura has recovered, and all beings are equal. Cheng Long sighed quietly, the previously prosperous villages, the towns where chickens and dogs were heard, at this moment, were so desolate. Along the way, white bones were tired and lifeless. With the loss of human habitation, coupled with the aura flooding the heaven and earth, the most benefited instead were the plants, which grew wildly. Even though it had only been a month or so, in the cracks of the roads and under the crumbling walls, there were seedlings of all kinds of plants that had begun to attack the city. Cheng Long could imagine that perhaps it wouldn't take a year for these unoccupied villages and towns to turn into a sea of plants. And these ruins surrounded by plants would provide a residence for the foreign beasts. With their ability to reproduce, losing the interference of humans, regaining the homes that belong to them would no longer be a dream. Master, it's so desolate, it's too quiet. Xiao Fang, who was riding on Xiong Da's back, looked at the dilapidated village in front of her and couldn't help but frown. Although at this moment, her family members were already living in the safe zone, but as a member of the human race, facing such a dilapidated scene, she couldn't help but feel some trepidation in her heart. Girl, this is something that can't be helped, the survival of the fittest. If you want to protect your family, then you need to have the strength to protect your family. Under this kind of heaven and earth change, the strongest person is honored, and the one with a hard fist is the king, do you understand? Xiao Fang nodded, but did not say much. Even though she had been doing her best to pretend to be happy in front of Chang Long over the past half a month, the depression in her heart could be clearly sensed by Chang Long. For this not, Chang Long is not a psychiatrist, cannot go too much to dissolve, people are to grow, just like himself, reborn this more than a month, is not the same as there are not able to unravel the knot. Among the three people, the most spiritual baggage is Xiong De this guy. Now see the big revenge is also almost avenged, follow their own boss to mix, carefree like a child. A heartless attitude of mingling, either here to see, is there to see, don't mention how happy. Xiong De, you go, clean up the clutter in that room, we'll rest here tonight. Chung Long said grimly, this boss of his own is not happy, how can he be so heartless as a little brother, this is absolutely not allowed. Okay, boss. Xiongde said naively, he was still intoxicated in the state of mind of having his great revenge quickly avenged, 
he did not hear Chang Long's displeasure in the slightest. Work is work, anyway, what the boss commands is holy orders to it, resolutely complete it is. At night, with the fire in the courtyard lit, some hunted small beasts or exotic beasts were set up on the suggested barbecue grill, and after being handled by Xiao Fang, a Nianli master, the fragrant meat aroma spread throughout the entire small village. But no matter how charming the aroma was, it didn't attract any of the foreign beasts. The reason was simple, within a one kilometer radius, anything that could be hunted, almost no one was spared. Some of them went into Chang Long and Xiong Da's stomachs, and the rest were all here, waiting for the moment to turn into barbecue. Boss, save some for me, it's so delicious. Seeing a piece of barbecued meat being swallowed by Chung Long one bite at a time, Xiong Da was anxious, he hadn't finished a piece of meat himself, but as a result, Chung Long had devoured three big chunks, isn't this bullying the bear? No way, absolutely not, such delicious roast meat, say what you want the boss to be merciful, leave a little more for yourself. As for snatching the food, the bear didn't have the guts. I do not want to be roasted bear paw, although I know that basically will not appear this thing, but cannot rule out this possibility ah. After getting along for some time, Xiong De also roughly knew Chun Long's temperament. As long as it is not a matter of principle, other basic casual. Xiong De now also dares to splash around in front of Chang Long, selling cute and pampering. Look at you bear, alright, no more food, the rest is all for you, I have to break through. Chang Long looked at the small eyes in front of him, the dripping eyeballs blearily looking at himself, a pitiful appearance of Xiong De, could not help but be a little amused. This guy, the surface looks naive, in fact, is not really a big stupid bear, but careful eyes, is also a lot of. Not only was Chang Long amused, but Xiao Fang also covered her mouth and couldn't help but giggle. With the experience of the last breakthrough, Chang Long could be said to be familiar with it. After coming to the packed room, exchanging enough evolution points, and filling up all the attribute columns, the system's promotion prompt resounded in his head. A tribute value has reached the breakthrough threshold, host can find a safe place to break through, the outside world's aura density reaches the standard. This breakthrough will take 2 hours, and will draw in a large amount of aura within a 10 kilometer radius to form an aura storm to wash the host's physical body. Hearing the system's words, Chen Long was slightly stunned. The last breakthrough was 1 hour, drawing in a 5 kilometer radius of aura. This time, it had turned into 2 hours, and the range had turned into 10 kilometers, so it was true that every major realm breakthrough would become more and more difficult at the back. Begin the breakthrough. With some confirmation, countless spiritual qi began to be crazily attracted towards Chang Long's location, sweeping over a 10 or so kilometer radius. Master is starting to break through. Xiao Fang had prepared the alloy blades that she had gotten from the safe zone, which was specially given to her by that chief Tong when she registered her information in the security bureau of the safe zone last time, as a very rare Nianli master. Whoever it is that wants to disturb the boss's breakthrough, step over my corpse first. Xiang Dei also looked back at the house where Cheng Long was, and immediately stopped eating and began to carefully stand on guard. When most of the aura within the 10 kilometers was pumped towards Cheng Long's location, it couldn't help but attract the attention of some of the nocturnal alien beasts. The closer to Cheng Long's location, the bigger the spiritual qi vacuum formed, but it was also getting thicker. Xiong De had the experience of the last time, and was no longer surprised by this kind of commotion of his boss's breakthrough, but silently guarded it. At the same time also Su Su absorbed the residual spiritual qi, between one breath and one inhalation, it felt that the body was full of power. And Xiao Fang had never seen this kind of breakthrough stance from Process Dragon. Last time when he himself advanced to primary warrior, as well as when Xiong De broke through to intermediate beast soldier, there didn't seem to be this kind of aura storm created. Although this aura was the same as air, an invisible and untouchable existence. But as an awakened, Xiao Fang could clearly feel that the surrounding aura was very thick at the moment and even formed an aura vortex. And the center of the vortex was where Master Chang Long was. This couldn't help but make her very surprised, it was really her big brother plus master, a breakthrough was different. However, the more so, the more Xiao Fang also felt the crisis at this moment. She also knew very well that such a fluctuation in aura would really attract many extraordinary beasts. It was impossible to be distracted during a breakthrough and could not be disturbed, so Chang Long's current state was resolutely not to be disturbed. Time passed little by little, and the originally emptied small village slowly saw the appearance of some mutated creatures as well. They were guided by the aura fluctuations and approached Chang Long's location little by little. Even though they somewhat didn't understand what exactly was happening here, there was a magical feeling in the underworld that was telling them that there was something here that attracted them. Driven by that mystery, instinctively, they carefully approached this place and peered. However, under the breakthrough, the soul pressure emanating from that huge nimbus on Chang Long's body also covered an area of about 4 kilometers in a circle. The closer those peepers got to the center, the more they felt a deep sense of unease. Some timid foreign beasts couldn't stand this huge pressure after advancing a short distance and turned their heads to flee the scene. 
Only a small number of guys who didn't fear life and death and were of a higher level held onto their luck and explored towards the front carefully step by step. Among them, rushing at the forefront was a ten-foot-tall Herculean ox, as well as a blizzard green sheep. Behind them, there was a group of other beasts advancing. Nowadays, among the wild beasts, the most common ones are pigs, cows, chickens and sheep, cats, dogs, ducks and geese that have been raised by human beings, and they are numerous in number, so the chances of mutation are greater than other wild animals. At this moment these two guys, stayed on a hillside one kilometer from the village. As two intermediate level beast soldiers, when they thoroughly approached the place, they already understood that there was a big guy making a breakthrough. Especially that huge spiritual pressure made them very uncomfortable being able to hold out until here already showed that the two of them had a very strong resistance to pressure. A new king is about to be born. The fey beasts scattered around the village already had a guess in their hearts. Even though each of them had ill intentions, none of them dared to act without authorization at this moment, nor did they have the ability to do so. If the other party succeeded in advancing once, they would immediately flee themselves. After all, not every high-level foreign beast had the habit of accepting little brothers, some guys, but the existence of a solitary. Especially in the other party breakthrough when breaking into its core range, this is a naked provocation, immortal existence. However, once the opposite side of this mysterious big guy failed to break through, then the next step is to suffer a backlash, not dead but also seriously injured. This gave them the opportunity to hunt down an existence that was even higher than their own rank realm, which was almost whimsical. However, if the other party was seriously injured, then there was a certain chance. The blood and flesh of a high-ranked foreign beast was a great tonic for them, and it was even possible that it would not be impossible to advance themselves on the spot. As for the big black bear and the two-legged beast guarding the opposite side, in the eyes of them, these foreign beasts, it wasn't a matter. There were already dozens of large and small foreign beasts of different levels gathered here, and it was almost impossible for those two guys to stop them, these existences. Breaking through a realm was a very risky thing, not only did one have to face immense physical pain, they also had to face threats from the outside world. Therefore, the advancement of each great realm, whether it was for a foreign beast or a human, was a matter of nine deaths. However, once that bottleneck was crossed, the rewards were also enormous. Not only was it a great increase in strength, but in longevity, it could also increase by decades. This was a fatal temptation for every awakened and exotic beast. Chang Long left a trace of his consciousness to pay attention to every move in the outside world, this breakthrough could have attracted not a small big guy, more importantly, he had a feeling of uneasiness. The mysterious sixth sense was telling him that this breakthrough was no more than the last one, and that there was a great danger. As for the source, it wasn't these shrimp soldiers and crabs that surrounded the village, while there was also no abnormality currently found on the heaven's eye map. However, that mysterious sense of crisis never dissipated, instead, his heart was beating faster and faster. Despite the sour feeling brought about by the advancement that made Ching Long want to die at the moment, he was desperately focusing his spirit and trying his best to analyze the source of this crisis. In the end, Chen Long could only think of one possibility, and that was the ancient imperial crocodile that he had reasonably observed during the day. The only one he could think of that brought him a crisis seemed to be this one fellow at the moment. Of course, Chen Long wasn't very clear if there were any other beast general level existences within a 10 kilometer radius. In this area, it was only the places he passed by that he used the heavenly eye map to detect. Other areas, for himself, were also brand new locations to be explored. However, according to Chang Long's speculation and knowledge, no matter if it was in his previous life or in this life, the higher the level realm of existence, the bigger and more territories and resources they would occupy. This was because only a large enough territory could supply the consumption of an existence of corresponding strength. Just like the current self, if he wanted to dominate a region, he would also need a large enough territory to do so. As far as eating was concerned, if the territory area was too small, it wouldn't be able to support an exceptional exotic beast like him at all. After all, it was undesirable to dry up the pond. If you wanted to obtain resources to enhance your strength for a long time, you could only grab territory with other guys. So, unsurprisingly, this uneasy sense of crisis should be brought about by that guy. Not only did Chen Long feel uneasy, Xiong Di and Xiao Fang also felt that there seemed to be a few more depressing sensations in the air, causing a chill to rise from the soles of their feet. Chen Long's guess was right, even though the village he chose to land in was far enough away from the great river where the ancient imperial crocodile was located. However, coincidentally, the distance from here to the big river was just about 10 kilometers. The ancient imperial crocodile that had originally come out to hunt for food was slowly wandering on the other side of the river, searching for tasty prey. When it was half full, crossing the great river and coming to this side of the riverbank, ready to hunt some more nearby, a faint aura fluctuation drew attention to it. As a beast general level existence, its perception of aura was naturally more sensitive than that of an ordinary beast soldier level. With a bit of curiosity, the ancient imperial crocodile walked towards the source of the aura fluctuation a little bit. 
Incidentally, it also hunted a few more prey for its half-full stomach. The closer he got to the center of Cheng Long's breakthrough location, the more familiar the ancient imperial crocodile felt this aura fluctuation. Carefully recalling where he had seen it before, he nibbled on an unlucky little boar. But after pondering for a long time, until it gnawed the entire little boar's flesh and blood. Only then did it remember, wasn't this kind of fluctuation exactly what it had experienced during its previous breakthrough? Could it be that in this neighborhood, there were other lucky people who had begun to break through the realm? One must know that when it had advanced to its current realm, it hadn't caused such a wide range of aura fluctuations. Ever since ghostly and inexplicably appearing here from its original world, it had realized that this place was simply heavenly. Apart from the fact that the aura was very thin, it was almost said that it had no rivals. Other than that, with its realm of strength, it could be said to be an absolute overlord, no longer a minion in the world it was originally in. It wasn't until this recent period of time, with that sudden earthquake, that the aura began to recover, slowly approaching the level it was familiar with. As a hegemon in this neighborhood, the ten or so mile radius was its territory of activity. In this area, it would absolutely not allow any competitors that existed at the same level as it to appear. Therefore, it couldn't help but raise its four short legs and accelerated its speed, quickly running towards the center of the aura fluctuation. Time passed little by little, and Chang Long's side had also reached the critical moment of breakthrough. When the blue dot representing the ancient imperial crocodile appeared on the sky eye map, almost an hour and a half had already passed. It couldn't be said that the ancient imperial crocodile was slow, when it discovered the aura fluctuation caused by Chang Long, Chang Long had already entered the breakthrough bottleneck for almost an hour, and it also took quite a bit of time to prey on that little boar. If it wasn't for the fact that it was quite fast and had resisted the soul pressure from Chang Long's mind range, it would probably still be halfway there at this moment. The heart of the ancient imperial crocodile was also very surprised and hesitant, the closer it got to the center of the aura fluctuation, it found that a tremor from its soul made it hard to breathe and move forward. Every step forward was very heavy as if it took more chi than before. The body's instinct to avoid harm was telling it that it had to turn around, it was very dangerous ahead. But another voice was telling it, if it didn't take advantage of the fact that this promoted guy had no time to interfere with it, once the other party officially succeeded in promoting, then there would be absolutely no good fruit waiting for itself. The ancient imperial crocodile finally chose the latter, it was not willing to get its own home paradise by other beasts, nor was it willing to go back to the kind of weekdays of being bullied. This was its territory, and it would never allow another fellow to overrun its home. Not good, there's danger. When Xiongde saw the giant crocodile that appeared in the village, it couldn't help but feel its heart tighten. This was because it realized that this giant figure was quite a bit larger in stature than its current self. The oppressive feeling that the other party brought to itself, in Xiongde's opinion, was no better than even the boss, if not more so. Xiaofang also couldn't help but be subdued, apart from Master Cheng Long, so far, this was the first time she had seen such a huge beast. Although the blades around her were spinning rapidly along with her nimbus, there was a vaguely unsettling trajectory. After all, it was a child who was just in her teens, and to be able to remain calm when seeing such a large beast was already very good. If other children of the same age, it is even possible to be scared pants, while cry. Chang Long was also anxious in his heart, this ancient imperial crocodile really wasn't blown away. In the face of their own spiritual pressure, those eating and watching the show of the beasts are just far away hiding in the dark, see the opportunity to act, ready to pick up the advantage or to escape at any time. But none of them dared to blatantly approach themselves against the spiritual pressure. But this ancient imperial crocodile not only broke through its own spiritual pressure and rushed to the village, but also saw that it was now a paper tiger and was ready to launch a fatal strike. Those foreign beasts hiding in the shadows were also surprised, for this ancient imperial crocodile, they were still quite familiar with it, the overlord of the neighborhood, an almost invincible existence. I didn't expect the aura fluctuation here, even this guy was lured out, this aura center breakthrough guy, it is also considered to have fallen into 8 lifetimes of bad luck ah, uh, hurry up, hurry up. Cheng Long secretly prayed in his heart that his breakthrough speed would be faster, Xiong Di and Xiao Fang couldn't stop this ancient imperial crocodile at all. Even if they rushed up, they would just be adding casualties in vain and giving away food. After all, with his own strength as a senior beast soldier, he was no match for it in this piece of flesh, let alone the two of them. Facing this big black bear and that mysterious two-legged beast that stopped in front of him, a hint of disdain appeared in the eyes of the ancient imperial crocodile. It didn't see any fatal threat from the two of them, they were just two small fishes, so it would be over if they were cleaned up. Xiong Da's eyes were dead set on the big crocodile on the opposite side, but he didn't dare to rashly launch an attack, he just kept roaring lowly and letting out a warning. And Xiao Fang also forcefully calmed down her panicked heart, the blades flying around her also finally did not wobble around, but turned into a meteor like, around her, ready to strike and launch an attack at any time. Nervous as she was, she must not let this guy break into this courtyard, she must intercept it outside. 
After all, Chang Long's breakthrough had reached a critical moment, it could not be undone. This was what Xiong Di and Xiao Fang were really thinking. The ancient imperial crocodile also seemed to have seen the thoughts of the two little ones in front of them, and after glancing at the house that was guarded by them, a murderous intent appeared in his eyes. One couldn't wait any longer, if one waited any longer, the one who was finished could be oneself. Kill. The ancient imperial crocodile murmured in its heart, raising its front claws, it charged at Xiong Di. Kill. Xiong Da's eyes saw this big crocodile charging towards him, so he could only charge up against it, while not forgetting to look back at Xiao Fang, signaling her to cooperate with him. After this period of bonding, Xiao Fang nodded, and the blades around her transformed into a path of light and shadows, rushing towards the giant crocodile's body from all angles at an extremely fast speed. While Xiang Di and Xiao Fang were intercepting the ancient giant crocodile, Chang Long also felt the speed of his advancement speeding up the process. As if the system had sensed his urgency, a steady stream of aura was greedily absorbed by his body. The flesh that was constantly tearing and reorganizing was getting bigger little by little. Xiao Fang was secretly anxious in his heart, seeing Xiong Di struggling to avoid the impact of the giant crocodile over and over again, and even being thrown away by its tail several times to a distance of 20 to 30 meters. Although his own flying blades were able to interfere with it to a certain extent, they were unable to break through its tough leather armor, and could only leave a shallow mark on it. There were even a few blades that chipped open. The ancient imperial crocodile was also annoyed, this big stupid bear was like it didn't want to die, and even at the risk of being seriously injured, it lunged towards itself again and again. Even though his realm was higher than the other parties, in terms of stance, it seemed to be about the same. Wanting to launch an all-out attack against it, he was overwhelmed by the two-legged beast in the distance controlling those 10 or 20 flying blades that appeared at his side time and time again from all sorts of tricky angles. And whenever it had a murderous intent towards Xiao Fang, wanting to kill the two-legged beast first regardless, that big stupid bear was blocking the front again. Obviously, the other party was already bruised and battered all over, and it could even be said that it could fall down at any time, but time and time again, it stood up again. Xiong De was also almost at the end of his rope at this moment, although he was not far from the boss and was able to share his attribute aura to enhance his combat power. But this big guy in front of him is after all a beast general level existence, even if he has the battle power of a senior beast soldier at the moment, but in the end, it is not the opponent's opponent. It could only engage in stalling time and time again to buy time for the boss's breakthrough. It was holding on to a strong breath, insisting on not letting itself fall, the other party's random strikes were not something it could withstand. Chang Long watched his number one junior brother Xiong Di and disciple Xiao Fang struggling to block this giant crocodile, time and time again in danger, his heart couldn't help but be tense to the extreme. But helplessly at this moment he has the heart but not the power, simply cannot move. Just when the giant crocodile had already come to the front of the house, and Xiong Di and Xiao Fang were powerless to stop its advance, Chang Long finally absorbed the last stream of aura, and succeeded in his breakthrough. Ding, congratulations to the host for successfully advancing, a leap in life level has occurred. One time perfect advancement, rewarded with one system space. The current space volume is 100 cubic meters, level 1, and can be upgraded by consuming evolution points. System space belongs to the vacuum state, and can only store dead objects, which can keep items permanently intact. Reward a cultivation technique spirit secret, after comprehending it, it can increase the speed of spiritual chi absorption, and the effect can be increased by up to 10 times. By channeling spiritual chi to quench the body, it increases the strength of the physical body. This technique can be learned by any race and can be taught through spiritual thoughts. As long as one comprehends the mysteries of it, one can get started, and its effects vary from person to person. The system has been updated with new data, so please note the changes yourself. Open the attribute panel. Chang Long said silently in his mind, and then the familiar attribute interface appeared in the void in front of him. Host, Chang Long. Species, Snake Race. Bloodline, SSSR, 512x Potential Enhancement, Increase the Speed and Efficiency of Absorbing Heaven and Earth Aura. Technique, Spirit Decree. Realm, Beast General Level. Level, 1 third, all 6 basic attributes can advance to the next level. Length, 40 meters. Weight, 8000 kilograms. Remaining lifespan, 35 years. Breakthrough to Beast King Level can increase lifespan by 50 years. Extreme Strength, 400 plus slash 500. 1 point of attribute increases attack power by 1 point. Extreme stance, 400 plus slash 500, 1 point of attribute increases movement speed by 1 point per second slash meter. Extreme physique, 400 plus slash 500, 1 point of attribute increases recovery power by 1 point. Extreme armor, 400 plus slash 500, 1 point of attribute increases defense by 1 point. Extreme endurance, 400 plus slash 500, 1 point of attribute equals 1 minute of lasting output. Extreme nihility, 400 plus slash 500, one point of attribute increases soul pressure by one point in distance by 10 meters. 
Energy, 725 points, 100 points of energy are converted into one point of evolution, which changes every time you advance in the realm, and can be obtained by devouring objects that contain energy, as well as by drawing aura. Evolution points, 245 points. Satiety, 60%, cannot get food energy after satiety level is full. Digestion speed, 2000%, satiety level will be cleared within 4 hours after devouring prey. Skills, Venom Spray, April 10th, consumes 400 evolution points to advance to the next level. Toxin Immunity, 1 10th, consume 100 evolution points to advance to the next level. Eyes of Fire, 1 10th, consume 100 evolution points to advance to next level. Eye of Heaven Map, February 10th, consume 200 evolution points to advance to the next level. Spiritual Illusion, 1 10th, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Soul Mark, 1 out of 10, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Powerful, 1 10th, consume 100 evolution points to advance to the next level. System Space, 1 out of 10, advancing to the next level consumes 100 evolution points. Not bad, another new skill, and a step of feats, the rewards from this promotion are just extraordinary. With the System Space, one can store more food and not have to go hunting every time one gets hungry it's indeed much more convenient. With this gong method, this was also a good way to be a veritable master. After being a master for such a long time, there has been no good things to pass on to little Fong the girl, in fact, the heart is not a taste, now it is considered to have an explanation. Moreover, this time, the upper limit of the energy value that could be eaten was also raised to 1200 points, and the digestion time was only 4 hours. Then, as long as there was enough food, the energy value one could obtain every day would greatly increase ah, this was something to be congratulated. So many places needed to use evolution points, before, I had been despondent about not having enough energy value, now it seems that all the good things are in the future ah. However, after this promotion, the ratio of energy value exchange for evolution points is actually 1 to 100, the system is too stingy, it's simply a robbery. Chun Long couldn't help but feel happy in his heart, and then complained, which was nothing more than a spat. Even though every realm breakthrough was a life of 9 deaths, it seemed that the rewards were now full of both risk and opportunity. Filled with power, Cheng Long's body hovered so much that it was on the verge of crowding the entire room. The door of the room could barely force his way through at his thickest point, so one could imagine how huge his body was now. There were still 245 points of evolution value left, so fill up the strength. Cheng Long immediately had an idea, at this moment, he didn't want to use any other skills, he just wanted to have a naked physical fight and crush the other party. Just now, not only Xiao Fang and Xiong Di were in danger, even he himself, his heartbeat was also up and down, fluttering and fluttering. Now, the time had come for revenge. That ancient imperial crocodile also sensed a terrifying aura suddenly appearing in the house in front of it, making it feel a threat of life and death, so it couldn't help but stop in its footsteps. Raising its large head, it cautiously looked towards that house, that mysterious sixth sense telling it that it had to retreat, or else, there would be disaster. Trying to run. Just as that ancient imperial crocodile wandered and retreated a step back, turning around and wanting to go back, Chung Long's huge body directly broke through the window, opened its bloody mouth, and charged at that ancient imperial crocodile. Holy shit, this guy, why is he so big? The ancient imperial crocodile couldn't help but freeze when it saw Cheng Long's massive body. Coming to trouble such a huge beast by himself was really an old man eating arsenic, he was too old to live. There was no doubt about what happened to the ancient imperial crocodile. The moment Cheng Long broke the window, it was doomed to become nothing but food in its belly. Perfectly crushing attributes, no matter in any aspect, the ancient imperial crocodile was no longer Cheng Long's opponent. Boss has finally advanced. As Cheng Long's huge figure appeared in front of Xiong Di and Xiao Fang's eyes, the two of them were also slightly stunned before turning to surprise. Master's figure has gotten a lot bigger again. Xiao Fang was also shocked for a moment, but she quickly let it go. At this moment, her whole body was sore and weak as she leaned on a pole by the road, panting and panting, recovering her strength little by little. Maneuvering 20 flying blades for such a long attack was also a very strenuous thing, and it was extremely taxing on the Nianli stamina. Especially when facing a beast like the ancient imperial crocodile, the loss of body and spirit was huge compared to normal battles. Chang Long glanced attentively at the injuries of the two of them, Xiao Fang was still fine, at least he could still stand firmly. Xiong Di could clearly see that not only was its wretched body scarred with skin and blood, but also its ears, nose and mouth were overflowing with a trail of blood. Go to hell. Chung Long's heart was completely enraged. If it wasn't for the system ending his advancement at just the right time, at this moment, he should be what Xiong Di currently was, and possibly even worse. His huge body looked clumsy, but his body style was exceptionally sensitive, and his speed was so fast that it was almost difficult to discern with the naked eye. That ancient imperial crocodile didn't even have time to react. Chen Long's large snake head had already appeared in front of its eyes, 
fiercely biting down on it, while his body wrapped around the giant crocodile that was even more massive than him. It was only then that the ancient imperial crocodile reacted to the fact that it was being sneak attacked. It immediately did a death roll, wanting to get rid of Cheng Long's bite and binding on it, but where would Cheng Long go as he wished? In that instant just now, he had already injected a large amount of venom into its body. These venoms, not to say fatal, could still cause great damage to it and affect its mobility. As expected, as the giant crocodile was about to exert itself, it felt its body give a lurch and become numb uncontrollably. It was startled in its heart and tried to bring itself back up. But under this kind of life and death battle, Chung Long would not give it so much time to react. The immense power continuously compressed the ancient imperial crocodile's five organs in six bowels, causing it to become hard to breathe. Still boss is powerful, just starting the battle let this big guy be defeated and have no power to fight back, Bula. Xiangde couldn't care less about the severe pain on his body, instead, he stared at the battle between his boss and that giant crocodile with wide eyes, and couldn't help but sigh in his heart. Xiao Fang was similarly watching the fight between the two giant beasts in front of him. There was no battle as grueling as the one they had just had, there was just quiet abuse. And the one being abused was the ancient imperial crocodile that beat her and Xiangde without the power to fight back. As for those guys who were waiting for the opportunity to pick up the pieces from afar, when they saw that Emperor Crocodile being suppressed like this without the power to fight back, they already understood the next ending. So without thinking, they began to retreat backward, fearing that they would become the second of the giant crocodile. After all, the main master out of the gate, and the two tigers fight for supremacy, regardless of how they end, their turn, absolutely no good fruit to eat. Scattered quickly run is, run as far away as possible. How happy they were when they came, how wretched they were when they ran. As the resistance of the ancient imperial crocodile became smaller and smaller, a little bit of time passed, and in the end, that imperial crocodile lost its voice, its body completely cooled down. Under Chang Long's one thought, the system space was like a small black hole, directly engulfing the body of that ancient imperial crocodile in a flash. Not bad, this system space is just good. Chang Long couldn't help but give a nod to this system in his heart. Huh, where did that guy go? Since the black hole formed by the system space only appeared for a split second before disappearing, in Xiao Fang and Xiong Da's eyes, that giant crocodile's silhouette just directly disappeared. This would be very amazing for the two of them. However, when they saw Chang Long didn't have any reaction, they both reacted that this should be some kind of mysterious means of Chang Long. Thinking of all the mysterious things about this guy in front of them, they were no longer surprised and strange. Time passed quickly, and a week passed. Due to Xiong Da's serious injuries from the attack of the ancient giant crocodile, he had almost lost the power to act. Chang Long had no choice but to stay in this village for a week until this fellow became alive once again. And in this, Xiao Fang escorted this Xiong Da's safety, while Chang Long himself went all the way out and swept a range of more than 10 kilometers around. The guys who came to spy unsuspectingly that night, one by one, fell down and were solved by Chang Long one by one. With the support of the system space, all the hunted prey were all packed back and handed over to the girl, Xiao Fang, for processing. Master, this spirit decree you taught us is really powerful, with it, cultivating is nothing short of god speed. Yes, boss, although at first this thing was obscure and hard to understand, but once I comprehended the mysteries of it, these two days it feels like, my cultivation is progressing very fast. As they leisurely ate the barbecue, the two little guys bumbled their way through reporting the progress of the past two days with Cheng Long. Ever since he had used his spiritual thoughts to impart the set of techniques, spiritual resolve, to the two of them, Xiong De and Xiao Fang had utilized the opportunity of recovering from their injuries to begin comprehending and learning about it. I don't know if it was because the two of them were originally gifted, the two guys didn't need a day's time before and after, Xiao Fang was the first to enter a good state, and then Xiong De also comprehended the mysteries of it, and they all entered the right track. Effective is good, you two are my closest existence, in the future cultivation path, I can hope that you two have been accompanying me, do not fall behind. Chen Long looked at the two guys in front of him and said sincerely, Boss, but I'm relying on you in this life, I'll go wherever you go. Hearing Chang Long's words, Xiong De couldn't help but immediately say, Master, don't worry, I will never drag my feet or disgrace you. Xiao Fang also immediately guaranteed, the longer she was in contact with Chang Long, Xiao Fang felt that the guy in front of her was becoming more and more mysterious. As if there is a layer of invisible veil, like a mist, surrounded his whole body, but hidden, let a person have a kind of want to explore the impulse. Alright, just be clear in your mind, no need to swear on your mouth. Chang Long interrupted the statement that the two wanted to continue, instead, he narrowed his eyes and stopped speaking. His own strength was now constantly growing, and his longevity was also increasing, which was hopeful for him who had been reborn for nearly three months. Why did he need to enhance his strength? Chang Long now had a new perception. It was not just to obtain longevity and improve his realm, but more to ensure that his normal life was not disturbed. Having no sword in hand and having a sword and not using it, 
these were two different states of life. The former could only be slaughtered by others, while the latter could live their own little life comfortably. Imperial Capital Safe Zone. In a newly built building that rose up from the ground. On the top floor, in a simple but majestic office. A crane-haired old man was currently standing beside the window with his hands behind his back, looking at the busy crowd outside, but his brows were slightly locked. As the head of this country, he could be said to be one of the first people to understand this matter of aura recovery. According to the previous research and judgment of various scientific research institutions, this so-called aura recovery should be the mysterious cosmic energy that originated from the ground. Only, this mysterious energy was hidden in a certain space under the Earth's crust in a way that could not be explained by the current technology. And those mysterious foreign beasts were merely affected by this mysterious power and caused their bodies to mutate. Originally, it was thought that even with such an incredible thing as the recovery of the aura, with the previous progress, mankind would still have at least 10 years or more to adapt. Unexpectedly, a sudden super earthquake broke the original judgment, and even led to a great drastic change in the world. Chief, you haven't slept for a day and a night, why don't you take a rest first, I will definitely inform you in time if there's any latest news. As the door of the room was pushed open, a handsome and tall guard wearing a military uniform walked in. How can we sleep? We've all become an isolated city now, and most of the information with the outside world has been interrupted. Even if we gather a lot of people to build and repair with all their might, we can only contact some places within the last few hundred kilometers, and their situation is not optimistic ah. Uh. As for the situation in the faraway places, there is still no exact information, it's been more than a month, how can we not be worried? The old man's words were filled with worry, despite the fact that he had done his best to maintain the current situation, but facing such an unprecedented predicament, he also had a feeling that his heart was more than capable of doing so. Fortunately, recently, the military region's army still obeyed the command and did not go haywire, and in terms of casualties, compared to the majority of the population, it was still much less. After all, they were well-trained people's sons and daughters of the people, and in the face of sudden disasters, they were still able to hold their ground. But you can't solve the problem by just worrying about it. The current situation is an unprecedented challenge. If you are down, the work here will be in big trouble. The guard obviously had an unusual relationship with the old man. The concern between his words overflowed. Older and older, little Lee, you've also made a new advancement in strength now, haven't you? The world in the future will be the world of you young people. This old bone of mine is a bit of a hit and miss. I luckily promoted a step yesterday, and now I have the power to fight against those alien beasts that are one jung tall in size. Speaking of his own strength, the guard couldn't help but raise his head and look straight ahead, correcting his attitude and saying with a serious and earnest face, not bad, not bad, the old Lee family has produced another marvelous talent, an old friend will be very happy if he is alive in heaven. The old man reached out and patted the guard's shoulder, then said, then I'll go rest first, if there's anything, you have to report to me in time. Understood, you can rest assured and go rest. The moment the old man turned around and prepared to leave, the phone on the table rang. The old man hurriedly went to pick up the phone, and right after hearing a sharp report on the phone, the old man's expression became more and more serious and surprised. Is what you said true? The old man reconfirmed once more, and after receiving an affirmative answer, his hand holding the phone slightly paused. The guard looked at the expression of the old man in front of him and was also incredulous. This was the head of this country, who had experienced things, which one was not a big storm, but was always as stable as a mountain. But now, there was an expression that had never been seen before, so it could be imagined that this matter on the phone, how great the impact on him was. Looking at the old man who finally regained his senses after being stagnant for 10 or so seconds, the guards also came back to their senses. Originally this kind of thing, there was no need to report it to him, with his status, even in this current situation, he was still being embraced as the Fuhrer. The old man then put down the phone in his hand, a smile appeared on his face, then he looked at the guard and told him what happened on the phone all over again. How can that be, these guys are using our humans as rations, even those existences that are not so hostile, at most they keep their distance and don't assault each other. As for this kind of alien beast that guards us humans for a long time, don't even think about it. Hearing the old man's news, the guard was also incredulous, his face full of shock very exaggeratedly displayed. There is absolutely no no impossibility in this world. The old man walked over to the sofa and sat down, telling the guard. Now there is a very difficult task for you, this is a top priority existence, you must complete this task. The guard seemed to have guessed the old man's intentions, but did not say anything more, but listened to the command carefully. You can rest assured that the mission will be completed. The old man was worthy of being a Fuhrer for many years, arranging everything in every aspect. Chang Long hadn't thought for a second that there were people in the Kyoto safety zone, thousands of miles away, who had already begun to pay attention to his existence. However, at this moment, he was walking on the road back to the city with two guys, Xiongde and Xiaofang. Ever since the last time they were about to part ways, little Fong, 
this girl had been softly asking to follow her. In addition, her father and grandfather also on the side of the good words, this only let Chen Long changed his mind, incidentally brought this little girl in his own experience. And now, the time has passed 20 days, although this girl has been strong and did not say a word of hard labor, Chen Long still feel out, this girl is homesick. After all, she is still a child in her teens, living in the wilderness for so long, fighting with beasts every day, far away from human society. Although there were still herself and Xiong Di to talk with her. But in the end, her current identity was a snake, not a human. In some ways, naturally, it was no better than a real human. Girl ah, after I send you back this time, you will cultivate well in the city. You've seen this wilderness life experience, and you've had the experience you should have had. Next, it's up to your own efforts and talent. Master lead the door to cultivate in the individual, for the teacher now to help you is limited. Saying that I'm your master, in fact, more than that, I'm looking at you as a younger sister. Master, thank you for your favor, I know what to do in the future. Xiao Fang didn't pester this time, but responded in a very understanding manner. She also knew that with Master raising his realm so quickly, bringing herself along would ultimately be a drag. Although Xiong Di was similar to herself, she was different after all. Therefore, wanting to follow Master and even provide help when he was in need. Then, the first order of business was to improve his own strength. Only then would one not lose this strange companion who was like a father and a brother. It's good to understand, a temporary separation is for a better meeting in the future. Cheng Long said leisurely. Master, there is a situation ahead. The dusty Cheng Long's three eyes saw that it was only half a day's journey to the Wang Yin safe zone where Xiao Fang's family was located. At this time, it was already late in the day and the sun was all about to set. Through the observation of the sky eye map, there was an abandoned village one kilometer ahead, a good place to land. Originally, he and Xiao Fang had said that they would stay here tonight and rush back to the safe zone tomorrow, but he didn't expect that before he could take a few steps out, the sound of firearms came from his ears. In the small village, a firepower company was in a fierce exchange with nearly a hundred mutated wolves with guns. The smallest of these gray wolves were almost more than two meters tall, and their body length was even three to four meters long. They were thick-skinned and as fast as the wind, and all of them had entered the beast soldier level. Among them, a wolf king with a shoulder height of nearly ten feet had been hiding in a position that was very difficult to kill, commanding the wolves to attack the soldiers around the village through constant howls. It's actually an old acquaintance. Chen Long couldn't help but be slightly stunned, the company that exchanged fire with the wolves was Xiao Feng's group that he had encountered earlier when escorting the refugee team. I didn't expect to actually meet them here, it can truly be said that no one can stop fate when it comes. Company commander, these beasts are too fierce, the brothers can't stand it anymore. Not only are they numerous, but their intelligence is not low, and each one of them is so fast that it's almost difficult for us to aim. Su Mao, the deputy company commander who was assisting Xiao Qing on the side, looked at the fierce firefight in front of him and saw that his own soldiers had fallen into a disadvantage in less than 10 minutes. There were even casualties, so he couldn't help but feel a tightness in his heart and said with worry. I've seen it all, it seems that the guy who provided intelligence to the security bureau provided wrong information, damn it. Xiao Qing also had a face of indignation, and ruthlessly slammed his fist on a sidewall, directly appearing a deep fist mark. Originally, he had come out to establish reconnaissance, paving the way for what was going to happen later. The last super large earthquake had not only changed all of the original mountains and landscapes on the ground, but also, many strange places had appeared. These places were all provided by the refugees who had converged into the safe zone. One by one, they recounted what they had seen and heard, as well as the conjectures they had in their hearts about such strange places. For this kind of mysterious relics, if it was in the peaceful era, there were still quite a few adventure enthusiasts who might dare to go alone or in groups of three or five to explore a bit and learn the truth about it. However, in the face of this sudden cataclysm, almost everyone had loved ones who lost their lives here. With their homes destroyed and their loved ones gone, under grief, who would still be in the mood to explore these mysterious places? Especially since most of these strange places appeared after the cataclysm. Among them, more of them were evil. Because the people who lived there before simply didn't have the slightest impression of the newly appeared strange places, as if it's just appeared out of thin air. The ordinary people who didn't have a guy thing in their hands generally didn't dare to delve too much into the secrets of it, and at most were bold enough to observe a bit in the peripheral part of it. Until they came to the new safe zone, have a new sense of security, some bold people will tell the relevant departments about these strange places seen and heard. It wasn't until recently, when the establishment of the safe zone had just taken off, that the leaders of the security bureau remembered these strange places and were ready to send their living forces forward to scout them out. There were some places that did give the security bureau certain surprises, but more of them were ordinary places. However, facing the pressure of the Fey, and this newly emerged change of circumstances, the leaders of the security area authorities adhered to the principle of killing another by mistake and resolutely not letting one go. 
During this period of time, like dandelions, quite a few vanguards were dispatched under the circumstance of ensuring that the safe zone had living forces. Taking the safe zone as the center, a hundred kilometers in circumference, carpet reconnaissance was carried out. As for Xiao Qing and his company, with the experience of fighting with alien beasts many times, they were purposely arranged to scout this village where the relics were most likely to appear. The officer who provided the information said that there was a group of mutated wolves here that attacked and killed quite a few villagers at that time. They dispersed according to their shifts and surrounded the wolves in the residential area in the center of the village from all sides. After exchanging fire, it turned out that there were more than just 30 to 40 mutated wolves here like the intelligence said, and their specific items even reached a staggering 100 or so. This was not the group of pig beasts from last time, although there were also 2 to 300 of them, but the only real mutated beasts were those three pig kings. Although that time, his own group had traveled lightly, carrying the simplest of weapons and elixirs. But this time, they were facing all the mutated wolf-like fey beasts. Moreover, based on the characteristics of these guys, Xiao Cheng had also given them a nice name, Blizzard Wolves. If it was simply 30 or 40 lowest level Blizzard Wolves, in the face of their fully armed force this time, not to say completely eliminating them, it would still be possible to do so and expel them. But things are often just out of expectation, having made a foolproof plan, they didn't expect the Mantis to catch the Cicada and the Yellow Finch to be at the back, upholding the principle of encirclement and killing, but they didn't expect that they were counter-encircled. Company commander, this may not have anything to do with that person who provided the information. After all, at that particular time, when facing a beast-level existence like the Blizzard Wolf, the other party would still be able to observe the basic data even if it's very impressive, and the general public would have already panicked. Moreover, judging from the situation here, there was definitely something odd about the gathering of so many Blizzard Wolves. If there was no special reason attracting these beasts, nearly a hundred mutated wolves staying here for 20 to 30 days in a row without moving would not be able to fulfill basic survival. So, I guess we've come to the right place. Despite the fact that his comrades and brothers were in a dangerous situation at the moment, as a leader, Su Mao still did not lose his basic judgment. His heart was anxious, but he could not disorganize himself. The company commander was also furious for a moment, worried about the safety of his comrades, it was inevitable that he would speak out too much under the impatience of his heart. As the deputy, he had the right and obligation to help him regain his senses. It's also true that an existence as cunning as a wolf, even if it is turned into a fey beast, the nature of a river and mountain is easy to change. Even though we have fallen into a disadvantage at the moment, we can still inflict considerable damage on them in terms of firepower. Yet these guys are still fighting to the death and not retreating, if there isn't something here to attract them, I wouldn't believe it even if it killed me. Xiao Chang also forced himself to calm down, his mind pondering on ways to deal with it. For a while, he even thought of the last time he fought against that pig beast, those three strange combinations, and he didn't know what happened to them now. Master, should we go help? Hearing Chang Long say it was an old acquaintance he knew, Xiao Fang also quickly guessed the identity of the team and the firefight ahead. Let's go, they are also considered old acquaintances, meeting each other is fate, seeing death is not good enough. Looking at the sky I map, which was full of white dots, it was obvious that no matter if it was the human army or those blizzard wolves, they were unable to form an effective threat to themselves. When Cheng Long brought Xiao Fang and Xiong De Three ready to move forward to support Xiao Chang and their company, then appeared suddenly appeared a scene let Cheng Long stop his footsteps, stop the two of them to move forward, but in place to choose a good observation place began to watch. That Xiao Qing suddenly picked up a long knife from his side, the knife was very ordinary looking, no fancy finishing touches, but it was so cold and shiny that a clear silhouette of a person could be mapped on the surface of the knife. Company commander, you're ready to go in person? Seeing Xiao Chang draw his sword, that Su Mao couldn't help but turn his gaze to him. A worried color appeared on his face, and with a slight frown, he then said, You've only been awakened for a short while, can you deal with these guys? If we can't deal with them, are we not going to go on? Watching these beasts break through our defenses and proceed to slaughter our comrades? Xiao Cheng glanced at Su Mao, with a slight huff on his face. Then he stepped forward, rushed out of the bunker, and was about to go forward to kill. That Su Mao reached out his hand ready to stop, but then let it go. The words came to his lips, and after a final thought, he could only shout in the direction Xiao Qing had left, pay attention to safety. Although the soldiers on the company's side were frantically blocking the blizzard wolves' attacks on all sides, although this hot weapon could pose a certain threat to these guys, in the end, the other side was a foreign beast, not a human. Using the method of fighting with humans to deal with these beasts would not work. Regardless of the physical quality, or the spirit of bravery, the general army basically would not launch such a desperate attack. Xiao Qing was holding a long knife in his hand, which was a special alloy weapon that the security bureau had rewarded him with after his own awakening the other day. Compared to normal swords and knives, this special alloy weapon was much more durable, and it was also much more powerful, blowing off hair was an easy task. The company commander is going up. 
The company members who were struggling to hold on were faced with these huge blizzard wolves, and their faces more or less appeared with varying degrees of fear. It was almost hard to aim with their super high movement speed, and despite their huge size, after all, this village was too big and the houses were denser, which gave them a certain amount of cover. There were already a number of soldiers were brutally killed, and their flesh and blood was even directly dismantled by them on the spot, devouring everything, even the bones were not left, just leaving a mess of blood. When some people saw Xiao Qing rushing towards the battlefield with his long sword, they couldn't help but shout. It should be known that since the cataclysm, their company had four awakened ones one after another, and the strongest among them was their company commander, Xiao Qing. The remaining three, although one could easily deal with more than ten unusual soldiers like them. However, facing Xiao Qing, they could only take a beating, and were suppressed to death, with almost no power to fight back. Upon seeing Xiao Qing's figure appear in the village, already close to the wolf king that was hidden at the very back. In the company, the remaining three awakened guys also drew their own weapons and started charging. They traversed through the wolves extremely swiftly, painstakingly dodging the pack's attacks, aiming straight for that blast wolf king. Capture the thief first, only by resolving this wolf king would it be possible to disperse the attack of the wolves. Three primary warriors and one intermediate warrior. This Xiao Qing is quite powerful, but after 10 or 20 days respectively, he advanced from awakening to intermediate warrior. Not bad, still very talented. Cheng Long used his fiery eyes and slightly observed the basic attributes of these four guys. The remaining three didn't have much that could make their eyes light up. Basically they were all basic attributes that had merely crossed the threshold of awakened. However, this Xiao Qing, the data was very different. Race, human. Status, adult. Realm, intermediate warrior. Extreme strength, 215. Extreme stance, 112. Ultimate physique, 126. Armor, 139. Limit endurance, 99. Ultimate nimble, 69. Skill, fiery 9 blades. Not only had the strength reached the level of an intermediate warrior, even the other four attributes had reached the 100 point ceiling, so it could be said that it was already a more perfect pentagonal warrior. However, just with the four of them awakened, wanting to kill the wolf king surrounded by wolves is almost a fool's errand, it's an impossible thing ah, the power disparity is too great. Chang Long already had the answer in his mind, if there was no external force joining in, just with this group of wolves, this squad would definitely suffer heavy losses today. Blade split Chen Kuan. Xiao Qing shouted, with incomparable fury, a jump, towards the blizzard wolf king in front of him, which was one person taller than him, he slashed head on. This is Xiao Cheng as a soldier before, follow their grandfather to learn a kind of sword method, a total of nine styles, this is the first style. When that blizzard wolf king saw this human in front of him actually slashing towards himself, a trace of contempt appeared in his eyes. However, even though this fellow was not a big threat to himself. However, out of instinct, the blizzard wolf king couldn't help but raise his body, stretching out that huge wolf claw in front of him and slapping it towards Xiao Qing. Xiao Qing's slashes were all blocked by the gale wolf king's huge claws. However, the blizzard wolf king's front paw was also viciously scratched with a wound after Xiao Qing's attack. Even though it wasn't too deep, bright red blood flowed out. Enduring the pain from the wound, that blizzard wolf stepped back slightly. It didn't expect that this two-legged beast in front of it would actually be able to form damage to itself, and it couldn't help but change its eyes, drawing the appropriate attention. The other few blizzard wolves not far to the side saw that the wolf king had suffered an attack, and they couldn't help but start to turn their spears around as well, heading straight for Xiao Chang. Support the company commander. Those three soldiers who were rushing in the distance saw the situation on Xiao Qing's side and stepped up their pace, coming towards his side at a quick pace. That injured blizzard wolf king didn't care about this, it looked down at the forehead wound on its paw, and a hint of ferocious light appeared in its eyes. It opened its bloody mouth, revealing its white sharp teeth, and then lunged at Xiao Cheng again. Xiao Cheng, who had just landed on the ground, saw the attack launched by the blizzard wolf king. Facing such a huge beast, he had to be cautious. Instinctively, he jumped up in the air again and swung his sword repeatedly, slashing at the flailing blizzard wolf. But in the end, it was in the air, with nowhere to borrow strength, and it couldn't stay for too long. Xiao Qing's fiery sword not only failed to repel the blizzard wolf king's attack. In front of that sharp teeth and claws, instead, he was facing the situation of being flattened, and was in danger again and again. At the moment when the blizzard wolf king's huge claws swept towards him, Xiao Qing used his knife to lend a hand on the huge claws extended by the blizzard wolf and quickly lunged out to the side. Although his body dodged the blizzard wolf's huge claw attack, he was caught in the wave of the claw blade that swept out. Luckily, the claw blade wasn't sharp enough, and Xiao Qing tumbled a bit after landing, and also stopped his body. Xiao Qing who was half kneeling on the ground, a trace of blood spilled out from the corner of his mouth, obviously, he was still injured from the fierce battle just now. After all, the gap between the two sides was too great, completely not above a level. 
Just now, it looked like he was attacking ferociously, suppressing the blizzard wolf king over and over again. But all of this was just the effect of the other party's contempt and surprise. If you want to do this kind of offense in the later battles, it is almost impossible. Just in the moment when Xiao Cheng was thinking, his body shook violently. His expression changed from the mute look he had a moment ago to a look of shock. Instinctively feeling that there was something above his head, Xiao Qing raised his head and instantly let out a cry of shock as he once again tumbled out to the side. The blizzard wolf king didn't give him time to think, and its huge front paw slapped towards the character. If it wasn't for Xiao Qing realizing it early and dodging in time, I'm afraid he would have already been slapped away. Xiao Qing who had dodged this claw strike, his heart was filled with grief and anger, could it be that he was going to be accounted for here today? Just then, three familiar figures appeared in his eyes on the road in the distance. Perhaps, we are saved. Chang Long watched the fierce fight between Xiao Qing and that blizzard wolf king, as well as the battle in the entire village, and already had a plan in his heart to step in and help. That blizzard wolf king's stats were also reflected in front of Chang Long's eyes. Race, Gale Wolf. Realm, Senior Beast Soldier. Length, 6 meters. Shoulder height, 3 meters. Weight, 5,075 kilograms. Extreme Strength, 313. Extreme Stance, 158. Ultimate Physique, 209. Ultimate Armor, 188. Limit Endurance, 138. Extreme Nihility, 65. Skills, Iron Teeth, Ferocious Slap. This data, isn't that high, except for a strength that has reached the Advanced Beast Soldier level, the rest, really is also too trashy. Looking at the basic stats of this Blizzard Wolf King, Chun Long then silently said, however, this is ultimately unbeatable for this Xiao Qing fellow. After all, no matter what aspect, it's all crushing level ah. Wanting to turn the tide against the wind, there is almost no such possibility. Thinking of this, Chung Long could not help but smile in his heart. It couldn't be said that this Wolf King was too trashy, it could only be said that, encountering himself as an existence that carried a plug-in. The vast majority, 99% of all existences, were among the trash. As for Xiao Fang who was a human, seeing such a current situation, she could not help but feel some heartfelt anxiety for her own soldier. But if her master didn't open his mouth, the most she could do was to be petulant and beg Chang Long on the side to go and help them earlier. Girl, whether it's saving people or doing something, it's all about a detailing. The things we do in the snow are certainly to be done, but they have to be handled appropriately, you need to grasp the timing of it. For the teacher to help them is certainly, but in the future, you are to live in the safe zone, grace out of the above, this thing of favor, use once less. If the teacher now, certainly can save them, but the love of this help, will seem to be not so sufficient, they will think, you are just a hand up. However, if in their despair, the three of us join the battle at the critical moment to help them out, that is another gratitude. And this heavy feeling will bring you unexpected benefits at some invisible critical moment of yours in the future, understand? Chang Long assiduously taught this little one in front of him, as a master, he had the obligation to tell her some of his life experiences. As for how much the other party could absorb, that was her business. Little Fong seemed to understand Chang Long's teachings, her eyes wide open as if she hadn't reacted to the twists and turns here for a moment. After all, she was still a small child, and for the world of adults, despite being filled with longing, she still maintained that innocent mind. Master, what you're saying seems so to me. But these big brothers are my clan members, people who protect our family. Should I just let them be torn apart by these packs of wolves and die a horrible death at their mouths? To use other people's lives as a bet for my own favors, I'd rather not. Didn't you say that improving your strength is all about protecting the people you want to protect? so why do you still care so much? You should step in and save these big brothers now, it's considered an apprentice disciple begging you. Xiao Fang looked at Chen Long with a well-behaved look in her eyes with a bit of innocence and said as she hugged his body in a pampered manner. Chen Long couldn't help but shake his head, this disciple of his, is just too naive and kind, this look is very easy to suffer. The reason why he told her that passage just now was because he hoped that this girl would think more for herself, and not always hold a style of doing things without thinking of rewards. But now it seemed that she obviously hadn't realized this problem. So be it, who led himself as her master, he looked at this girl as not exactly this point, the heart of a child, not everyone has. At first if he was unconscious in the lake, not this girl reasonably begged his father and grandfather to save himself, I'm afraid that now is what looks like, Chung Long also cannot say. However, let Chung Long comfort is, this girl although always maintain a heart of the heart, but basically can also distinguish the object, not love overflow, and even become the so-called mother of God. Like this period of time to follow in their own side of the experience, and Xiong Da hunting up those beasts, but not at all soft. There is no so-called rabbit so cute. Why do you want to eat rabbit look? Well, since you have said so, then let's strike now. Chang Long said helplessly, he wasn't a saintly mother. The reason why he wanted to help these soldiers, he also had his own considerations. 
The world of adults has too many twists and turns, it's not just as simple as black or white. When the three of them appeared on the road outside the village, the entire village suddenly became quiet. Huge body, beast general level aura, not only the wolves sensed this, those soldiers also felt the same inexplicable pressure added to the air. The Xiongde that followed Cheng Long was much less conspicuous, after all, in this period of alien beasts, it was not surprising that a bear-like alien beast that was about to cross over into a high-level beast soldier was out and about. It's them. Soon, the company sergeant closest to Chen Long's three quickly reacted. Even though Chang Long's size had once again grown quite large, Xiao Fang's presence was announcing that this was an old acquaintance from the last time he had killed the pig beast. Those of them remembered Chang Long's elegance very clearly back then, that brawny combat strength, bizarre abilities, and the strange combination of the three of them really impressed everyone present. With Chang Long and the three of them joining in, Xiong Xiaofang and the two of them worked well together to carry out a combination to kill those primary beast soldier level blizzard wolves, while Chang Long, without saying a word, quickly rushed into the center of the village and carried out an instantaneous kill on that blizzard wolf king. That's right, it was an instant kill. With his current strength, a blizzard wolf king that had only just reached advanced beast soldier strength was simply not Chun Long's cup of tea, and did not even achieve the appetizing effect. Seeing that the blizzard wolf king was killed, the rest of the blizzard wolves could not help but scatter under Chang Long's pressure. But the company's warriors will not let go of this opportunity to beat the dog, they can have many comrades in the battle just died in the hands of these animals, this time not to take revenge more appropriate. Xiongdi also entered the pursuit team, it is aware of, the boss's food is very large, these wolves, if collected, enough to eat for a long time. After all, the boss has that special space, able to store a considerable amount of things, put down some of the blizzard wolf's corpse, or not a problem. Only Xiao Fang stopped her flying blade attack and came to Chun Long's side. Thanks to the three of you for relieving us, this time we owe you another great favor. Xiao Cheng dragged his wretched body to Chun Long and the others, with the joy of being rescued on his face, he heartily said to Chun Long and Xiao Fang, You're welcome, it's fate that we meet again. Chang Long nodded and spoke his meaning through Xiao Fang's mouth. After a brief exchange, he realized why a human army would come to such a remote place at such a critical time. Regarding the matter of the relic, Xiao Cheng did not hide it, for this giant snake, and this girl called Wang Fang, with the experience of the last time they dealt with each other, he did understand very well how much these three strange combinations had unbelievable battle power. Especially this huge snake, not only was it super strong, but it was like a person in snake skin, and its intelligence was so high that it was very scary. A pack of blizzard wolves had made their company almost hate the northwest, hell knows what would be in the ruins behind them. If they could invite the three of them to join, even though they would share out a portion of the benefits, wouldn't the difficulties be alleviated for the most part? After receiving the invitation, Chan Long agreed without thinking. After all, he was also curious as to what would be in the so-called relics. Ancient ruins, that's what we've recently called the several newly unearthed underground ruins. They are all different in size and scale, and the objects that appear in them vary. For now, there are few useful things in these small relics, and they are not very useful. However, with our previous explorations, we are convinced that there are definitely more than these newly emerged ancient relics from this great earthquake. It's even possible that these few places we unearthed aren't even considered true ancient ruins. After Xiongdi returned with those soldiers who were chasing the blizzard wolf pack, everyone began to set up camp in the village. After all, it was already late in the evening, and this was not considered a good time to explore the ruins provided in the intelligence. Moreover, under the night, the activities of the foreign beasts were more advantageous than those of humans, which was why Xiao Chang and the others decided that they would go back when it was tomorrow. Chang Long hovered on the ping ground in front of a house, listening to Xiao Qing recounting some of the things that had happened since they had left for a while, most notably, about the source provenance of these relics. Oh, are you saying that these so-called relics might just be simple ancient treasure caches that are all disposable and expendable? Chang Long couldn't help but ask the question he wanted to know and spoke this query to Xiao Qing through Xiao Fang. I'm not very clear about the specifics, in short, in a word, the more menacing the place, the higher the authenticity of having a relic. After all, what's inside is not only of great attraction to us humans, it's the same to Yufei, but any intelligent being will hog this kind of mysterious place. Xiao Cheng slowly stated his insight, then continued. Last time, in another company, there was a lucky man who was escorting refugees in the wilderness, and went out at night for convenience after setting up camp. Unexpectedly, he accidentally stepped on a foot and fell into a cave, and no one found him. The next day we searched for him for half a day to no avail, and had to give up the search, left the place and escorted the refugees back to the safe zone. But what I didn't expect was that just a few days ago, that guy suddenly came back, and his strength increased greatly. Ordinary soldiers 10 or 8 is not its opponent, easily by him down on the ground, no power to fight back. Ask him the specific reason, is to take a special fruit inside, and then the whole body was intolerable, and finally fell into a coma. 
When he woke up, he felt full of strength, and finally hard with his body accidentally got the strength, in the wilderness to kill a bloody road, safe home. This was a kind of ancient relic, a place that had never been encountered before the revival of Aura. And now, such places were appearing in droves with the superb earthquakes of the last cataclysm. In all sorts of unimaginable ways, they were given chances by humans or exotic beasts. Therefore, for these strange places, the security bureau has arranged a unified name for them, Ancient Ruins. Hearing Xiao Qing's words, Chang Long nodded his head in agreement, for such strange places, he himself had experienced them personally. The blood spirit fruit from last time, as well as the hallucinogenic spirit fruit, were all new things that had appeared in these mysterious places, as well as the various chances brought about under the revival of Aura. Seeing Chang Long nodding his head in agreement with his explanation, Xiao Qing couldn't help but look suspiciously at the super large snake in front of him. Since the last time they dealt with each other, he had been very curious about this big guy, how could an ordinary animal be so intelligent? Even if it was just because of this aura recovery, it was only a few months, how could such a bizarre existence like this big guy appear? It was completely different from the behavior of those foreign beasts, not only was he curious, even the leadership of the security bureau they were in, had done a detailed investigation on this weird and mysterious big snake. After corroborating multiple aspects, they came to the corresponding conclusion that this guy, presumably, had become a legendary goblin or something like that. To know, the entire safe zone for this big snake has the most understanding is Xiaofang family, from the time they just contacted each other, but is a few meters long big cobra. And in just over two months time, this guy had grown into such a shape, and now, it was almost considered a super beast. This was an existence that completely defied the laws of physics. Even with the background of aura revival, other beasts, even if they were growing like crazy, they were not as perverse as this big snake, and with such a high level of intelligence. Therefore, for this special existence of Cheng Long, the several leaders of the security bureau agreed that it was an object that could be fought for, rather than a target to be slaughtered and sliced at will. If they really wanted to round up Chun Long, with the existing capabilities of the security area, they would still be able to eliminate him at some cost. However, there were those who believed that it was imperative to restore the stability of the safe zone and fend off the attacks of the rest of the alien beasts, rather than to wipe out a giant snake that was close to humans. Of course, the voices of opposition were not unheard of, they thought that Cheng Long was an uncontrollable factor that was too perverse. It was a very irrational behavior to gamble the lives of millions of civilians in the safe zone when the source depended on the whim of a giant beast. Therefore, it was necessary to take advantage of the fact that this fellow was still a young beast, an incomplete body, and settle it before it was too late. The reason why Xiao Cheng knew about these things was because he had an acquaintance who happened to be the driver of one of the leaders, and the other party had talked about this matter in the car. In the end, it was that old man who made the decision to seal the file about the big snake in front of him, and made the decision to treat the Wang family kindly, as a way to implicate Cheng Long and pull in his favor. After all, the old man became a savant, Cheng Long's intentions and psychology were judged by the old man. Knowing gratitude, supporting the Wang family, and being close to humans, all these manifestations were undoubtedly telling the world that the great snake had no animosity towards humans. In the end, Cheng Long had underestimated those who had spent years crawling around in the upper echelons. From a simple action, they can draw out some secrets and intentions that even you yourself have not seen or realized. The night passed quickly. After learning some of the information he wanted to know, Chang Long had a clearer understanding of this world. Early in the morning, the sun slowly rose from above the mountains. With the presence of Cheng Long, a super beast general, and the beautiful annihilation battle in the afternoon, the nearby alien beasts didn't dare to come close to the location where they were camping, which gave these hardworking warriors a good environment to rest in. Refreshed and energized, they began to walk towards the huge rift in the village after eating a beautiful meal of wolf meat. Cheng Long also devoured the processed blizzard wolf, and after gaining the appropriate energy, he also followed Xiao Cheng and the others, taking the two, Xiao Feng and Xiong De, along the way. Soon, they arrived in front of a rift. It was a cliff of almost a hundred meters, and underneath the cliff was a piece of farmland. And at this moment, the place had long since been disfigured, and there was a mess everywhere. In that farmland, there was a crack several meters wide, more than a dozen meters deep, stretching for nearly a hundred meters, and eventually reaching under that cliff. And on the rock wall of that cliff, some places had collapsed, and at the location of that fissure, there was a large hole two to three feet high. The dark hole was like the mouth of a flood beast, as if it wanted to devour all living beings that entered it. What an odd cave! Chan Long quickly clarified the situation within two kilometers of this cave through his sky eye map. How come this cave gets more and more evil the further we go? Chang Long's three followed Xiao Chang and his group, and after making sufficient preparations, they began to enter the mysterious cave in front of them. Ever since yesterday, after eliminating that blizzard wolf king and driving away the other members of the wolf pack, no other threatening beasts had appeared within a one-kilometer radius of this village. 
With such a huge gathering of wolves, the rest of the beasts, including the threatening poisonous insects and beasts, would almost never appear in such a core area. Either they fled far away, or they had already fallen into the food of the wolves and turned into wolf dung. The group of people carefully walked along the cave entrance towards the inside. At first, even though the cave's entrance had a tendency to go downward, it was slightly quite flat, with only seven turns and eight bends. The area of that cave was all of a sudden more than ten meters wide, and all of a sudden there was only a few feet. Chen Long's huge body became a bit bloated when faced with such a cave. However, fortunately, he was walking at the very back of the group, and his body was able to shrink, so he didn't feel sad, but only felt slightly uncomfortable. The further back they went, the steeper the slope of this cave became, almost all the way down into 45 degrees or so, and a series of wonders such as dark rivers and cliffs appeared. The atmosphere was eerie, if it wasn't for Xiao Chang and the others bringing a light source, Xiao Fang, this girl, would not have said anything to come to such a place. She carefully touched a protruding sharp stone, the path here was slightly narrow, on one side was a cliff, under her feet was a wall, and there was also the sound of water from the dark river coming from below. Yeah, it's estimated that we're all several hundred meters deep underground, it's very evil in here, normal natural caves basically won't form such a shape. A soldier heard Xiao Fang's muttering and couldn't help but pick up the conversation. How is this cave like an underground labyrinth? Although the road was narrow before, it was still a cave after all, and the sides were clearly visible. Now it's good, as far as the eye can see, it's filled with fog everywhere, you can't see where the other side is at all. Another person whispered, fully armed but looking like he was not safe at all at the moment. Despite mixing in the team, he always felt chilly all over, as if a pair of invisible eyes were staring at him. This soldier was not the only one who felt this way, including Cheng Long at the back, who vaguely had this suspicion. However, on the Heaven's Eye map, there was no living thing that could threaten him, and the system had no specific tips in this regard. Could it be that he guessed wrong? Cheng Long was also puzzled, this was also the first time he had seen such a cave. The soldier was right, from the feedback of the Sky Eye map, the entire cavern was an underground city. Their current position was on the cliff on one side of this underground city. The top to the top had a dome that was dozens of meters high, and the bottom was almost a hundred meters away from the ground. Moreover, the source of that water sound was a dark river no less, but at this moment, it had converged into an underground lake. What they were about to cross was a patch of stone pillars. These stalagmite-like pillars rose up from the lake below, and the peaks above them were either nearly a hundred square feet wide, forming a platform, or as narrow as the tip of a chute, just enough to have a place to land. And the distance between the stone pillars and the stone pillars varied from far to near, with the far ones being almost eight or nine meters away, and the near ones having two stone pillars almost next to each other. Company commander, we have been deep into this underground cave for several hours, bending and twisting, and we haven't seen anything until now, could this place be just an ordinary underground cave? Xiao Qing at the forefront of the exploration of the road beside, Black and Suma two people followed the nearest, which Black cannot help but open his mouth to ask. No, don't you feel anything strange? Xiao Cheng inclined his head to look at Hazy, then he and Suma shared a smile. Company commander, deputy company commander, you two don't be so secretive, I, Hazy, am a big old man, but I can't guess what's in your eyes, if you have something to say, do you just say it, make it so secretive. Blackie was baffled by these two people's expressions, he couldn't help but scratch his head and said, with a monkeyish look, I can only tell you that this place is evil and eccentric, as for the mystery of it, we don't know for now. That Suma used a flashlight to shine down the front, it was black and dark, and then said, since we have come here, let's continue forward. Black saw himself did not ask a 1, 2, 3, 4, also do not say much, follow the two leaders to go is, as for the danger, now regardless of the outside world or within the cave, where is not a lot of crisis. Soon, but half an hour later, through the difficulties, they finally came to a larger flat space. This seems to be a hall. As the crowd looked around, the floor of this cave was very flat, and the dome overhead was also very round and smooth, covering it like a hemisphere. The entire space wasn't very large, the length, width and height were probably all around 50 meters. In front of their door, there were three round arches over 10 meters high, and the edges of each of them were inscribed with some magical runes that seemed to be irregular, yet seemed to have a pattern. These three circular arches together with the circular hole behind them where they came from, together with the mold of this cave hall, it seemed as if there was a circular hole on each of the four sides of a four-sided box. Three doors, how do we get there? It's better to send someone here to return in place and notify the top to send someone before we say anything. Su Ma turned his gaze to Xiao Chang and glanced at Chung Long and the three of them on the side and said faintly. Of course, Xiao Chang knew what this Su Ma meant, however, just now, even though the roads where they came from were all marked, it would still be unsettling to send people back alone. After all, on this journey, although there were no major accidents, it was still a frightening and dangerous journey. If you wait for the top to be notified and to send people, they these people today's adventure is also halfway. But these three round gates, no one knows what is inside. 
With the strength of these comrades around them, in addition to their four awakened people encountered difficulty slightly self-protection strength, the other, I am afraid that the fate is very bad. Xiaofeng thought about it and quickly made up his mind. Since they were sent here to scout, it was not his character to return without accomplishing anything without mapping out the specifics inside. In this kind of world under huge changes, those who support the bold starve to death of the timid, and while there were unknown risks awaiting the crowd if they moved forward, there were also unknown rewards. Let's go, there are so many of us, we don't separate, take a gamble, brothers, what do you say, come all the way here, should we stop here? Xiao Chang asked loudly towards the soldiers around him, the response received was just one word, fuck. With the response from the crowd, Xiao Cheng again looked towards Chun Long in front of him, after all, the other party had saved his company twice, so he had to ask for his opinion as well. My master said, you guys choose one first, we three won't join you. When Xiao Fang got Chun Long's meaning, she immediately related. Alright, I respect your opinions, then this is goodbye, take care. Xiao Qing gave a military salute towards Chun Long and the three of them to show his gratitude, the rest of the soldiers did the same. Chang Long nodded and turned his gaze towards the three caves, he felt that there seemed to be something waiting for him ahead. Master, they went into this cave directly opposite, which way do we go? Xiao Fang saw Xiao Chang and the rest of their large group leave, so she looked at Chang Long who was on the side. Go left. Chang Long gave a slight thought and went in towards the left path. After the three of them traveled through the cave for four or five kilometers, they suddenly reappeared in a cave that was similar to the one they had just been in. The same three cave entrances, the same domed four-sided hall. Chang Long couldn't help but feel that this cave was truly odd, would this then be the same on Xiao Qing's side? Just like what Chang Long thought, Xiao Qing's side also faced the same situation as Chang Long. Company commander, we won't be encountering a ghost hitting the wall right, how come this place is exactly the same as the place just now? Blackie at his side couldn't help but inquire with a few stunned expressions. It's not a ghost hitting the wall, we just now but we have been traveling forward, although we turned a few corners, but none of them were reversed to the back, it should be that there is something odd about this underground cave. Xiao Qing thought about it, looking at this cave entrance in front of him, he couldn't help but reveal a thoughtful look. Indeed there is something odd, company commander, have you seen the writing on these circular gates, although we don't recognize any of them, I always feel that there is some difference between here and the writing we just saw. Sumao stared at the three circular gates in front of him and looked at them again and again, stroked his chin and pondered for a moment before slowly saying, it seems like it's really like what you said, in our company, Sumao you are good at never forgetting anything. Xiaofeng, after Su Mao's prompting, immediately also observed the difference of this round gate, although he couldn't say where there was a difference, but he always felt that something had changed. And while they were observing the gate, deep in the cave, a mysterious statue suddenly opened its eyes, and then let out some inexplicable syllables, which were very awkward. If an existence in the universe that was fluent in the cosmic language heard this, they would understand that the syllables spoken by this statue were, sensing a living thing entering, the test begins. Cheng Long looked at the three identical circular gates, pondered faintly, and led Xiong De and the two of them into the leftmost passage again. However, this time, as Chen Long and the three of them stepped into this passageway, the circular gate that had originally appeared to be plain and uneventful suddenly dropped a gate, blocking their way back. Then, on both sides of the circular passage, densely packed holes appeared, and out of these holes, a mouse beast the size of a hyena appeared. Each and every one of them had a ferocious look on their faces, their hair standing on end, and they were showing their teeth as they looked towards Chen Long and the three of them. Mom, so many rats, each one is so big, at least there are thousands of them. Xiao Fang was stunned by the scene in front of her and couldn't help but instinctively hide behind Xiong Da's body. These rat alien beasts spread all over the path they were advancing on, one by one, they were crowded together, without even a place to lay their feet. For Xiao Fang's reaction, Cheng Long was slightly surprised. Girls are afraid of rats and cockroaches, it's normal. But Xiao Fang this girl is who, since childhood and small animals mingled with the existence of, even when their own are not afraid, will be afraid of this kind of rats. So this girl still has a cute side, huh? Chun Long quickly understood that she was not afraid, but the opposite side had too many, for a moment, this girl failed to accept it. As for why there were so many mouse alien beasts here, and all of them were beast soldier grade primary, Chun Long didn't get it either. However, since they came, these rat alien beasts appeared here and their own path of retreat was closed, so they must have wanted them to kill all these guys. In that case, fuck it and be done with it. Xiong De, you protect in front of Xiao Fang, I'll open the path, the girl is in charge of resources with her flying blade. Xiong Long immediately said to the two of them. Just at this moment, the mechanical sound of the system came from his mind. Ding, detected the image of a foreign beast formed in virtual space, open virtual energy conversion, devouring a virtual foreign beast has a chance of obtaining foreign beast skills, increasing the host's combat power. Virtual space, virtual foreign beasts, are we entering a virtual projection? Hearing the system's prompt, Chun Long couldn't help but be stunned, these guys in front of him are all fake? 
but himself and Xiong did with the girl three obviously entity into Hira, how can it be fake? Ding, the virtual device can be materialized projection. Host at this time the real physical body is still in the position of the door, at this moment you are the same virtual entity, retaining the real memory in the same physical level. The object being projected has all the fighting styles and instincts of the real species, and is indistinguishable from the real species except that it cannot leave the projection range. As long as the virtual projection device is constantly energized, the projected objects can be revived afterwards. They have no exclusive memories and are merely combat puppets with the instincts of their species. They are equally capable of damage materialization, and this realism in battle recovers 100% of everything in the outside world, including the feeling of death. Facing Chang Long's doubts, the system quickly gave an answer. Holy shit, worthy of being an ancient relic, this kind of technological means, the world where he was in his last life didn't even have it, it's simply too awesome. Hearing this reply, Chang Long couldn't help but exclaim. He looked at his current body, which was exactly the same as the original. If it wasn't for the system's reminder, he might not even know up to this moment that his body had been locked to the doorway in an invisible manner, and had been quietly replaced. What a horrible technology, if the other party had malicious intent, it could really do the killing in an invisible way. Those giant rats that were like domestic dogs didn't give Chun Long too much time to think, and immediately surged madly towards the three of them like a tidal wave. Chang Long didn't dare to be careless, although he was now a beast general, it was still his first time facing so many beast soldier level beasts. As the saying goes, many ants bite the elephant, one can't afford to fall in the gutter here. Moreover, the injuries here were the same as in the outside world, Chun Long didn't want to experience the feeling of death once. Just as Chang Long's side started the examination, Xiao Qing's company was also in trouble. They didn't have such a large number of rat beasts on Chang Long's side, but they were equally dangerous. After crossing into the chosen passageway and traveling 2 to 3 kilometers forward, a giant bear almost 7 to 8 feet tall was lying in the middle of the cave. The road behind them was similarly blocked, and if they wanted to continue traveling forward, they could only find a way to pass by the giant bear. But this big guy was just stuck in the middle of the cave, leaving almost no gap. If one wanted to pass through, one could only climb over the other's body, or one could only kill it. Company commander, what the hell is this? The entire company looked at the large bear in front of them and couldn't help but swallow their saliva. Although they had seen the appearance of a processed dragon, both of them seemed to be about the same size, but the feeling they gave off was completely different. One had a smooth breath and no sense of bloodthirsty tyranny, while the other was ferocious and full of hostility. What the hell have we entered? Why is there such a monstrous beast here? That Su Mao's mouth opened wide, they didn't have Chun Long's system where they were, they didn't know that this was virtual space. Thousands of rat-like beasts that were the size of hounds came towards him like a tidal wave, not to mention Xiao Fong, the girl felt nervous, even Shang Long himself was agitated. In his previous life, he was only a human being, not a god, and even though he had been reborn for more than two months with a lot of energy, in the end, he was still experiencing a big scene like this one for the first time. People, after all, need to grow a little bit, and he, Chun Long, was no exception. Facing these beast soldier level guys, Chun Long's huge body formed a wall in front of him, blocking these guys from crossing over. Even though Chang Long knew that this was virtual, he wasn't going to say anything about it. For Xiong Di and Xiao Fong, this was a rare opportunity to practice, as well as for himself. These rats opened their large mouths, revealing their sharp incisors, and one by one, they tore towards Chang Long's body. Even though Chang Long knew that this was virtual, and that these guys couldn't tear through his armor. After all, there were too many of them, Chang Long's body swept his tail forward, opened his bloody mouth and grabbed them one by one and then violently swung them away and even used the venom spray. However, the number of these guys was just too many. Hiding behind Chen Long, Xiong Di formed the second line of defense. Wherever Chen Long's body crossed into the side, Xiong Di directly stood up, his four meter tall body, along with his huge bear paw, slapped one by one, and huffed and puffed towards those guys. As long as they were touched, basically all of them had their skin split open, their brains burst out, and their blood stained the ground red. Xiao Fang controlled her alloy flying blades, 20 flying blades like a meteor, under her control, she launched an attack on those rats, sometimes separating, sometimes combining. A rat facing the attack of the blades was barely able to block the existence of a few rounds. Under every blade attack, there was a rat that had its body broken open, not even leaving a complete body. Worthy of a high-tech existence, it's too real. Chun Long, who knew the root of this, couldn't help but let out an exclamation. There are 5 minutes left in the trial test, killing all targets in the passageway completes the trial. Those who do not pass the trial within 5 minutes will directly exit the level and permanently lose the qualification to obtain the inheritance. Just as Chang Long and the others were fighting hard, a clear and pleasant voice rang out in the passageway. Xiong De and Xiao Fang were bewildered when they heard this voice, but at this moment, the critical moment of the official battle, they couldn't think much about it and just thought that they were hallucinating. 
Cheng Long, on the other hand, knew that this should be some mysterious existence's examination of these people of his own. After all, the system had already prompted himself that this was virtual space. Five minutes. Cheng Long looked at the mountain of corpses in front of him, as well as the five to six hundred large rats that were still alive and kicking, and he couldn't help but have a hint of sternness appear in his eyes. This was forcing himself to use his last watchful means ah, the three of them had killed for nearly ten minutes, but only barely managed to exterminate half of the heavy-eared rats. This was the name Chang Long had given these guys, because they all had four ears, and in the original ear, there was a small ear set inside. These guys had very sharp hearing and extremely fast reactions, and although they were very trashy in terms of biting power and defense, they would need to pay a certain price if they wanted to kill them all at once. I also don't know if it is possible to use the bloodline burning skill in this virtual space. With a few doubts in his heart, Chung Long's tail flicked fiercely, and a few more unlucky fellows were slapped out of the way and smashed hard against the wall. Just try it and see, why think so much? As the thoughts surged up, the system's prompting sound came from his mind. Ding, it is detected that the host wants to use the bloodline burning skill in the virtual space, hereby prompted. This virtual space is not completely detached from reality, but is a simulation channel formed by adopting virtual reality mixing technology. The use of the skill also consumes the body's energy from the outside world, and at the same time, its weak state will be inherited after the host returns to reality, whether to use it or not. Use. Chang Long didn't even think about it, he absolutely couldn't drop the ball at such a critical moment. Fortunately, during this time, he had also accumulated enough energy value to activate the bloodline burning skill. Since obtaining this skill for so long, he hadn't used it himself. 500 points of energy consumption, 10 minutes of duration, all attributes doubled. In conjunction with the infinite strength skill, using 1000 points of energy value, one gained a twofold strength attribute boost that also lasted for 10 minutes. Calculating like this, after opening the two status skills, one would gain four times the strength attribute, as well as the effect of doubling the other five attributes, directly reaching a beast king level attribute. At least, within these 10 minutes, one was at the beast king level of strength, and against these little guys, it would be a sweeping rhythm awe. However, then again, 1500 points of energy value, and 15 points for converting evolution points, could only last for a short 10 minutes. Although it was to save his life, in Shang Long's own opinion, it was ultimately a meaty pain. For the sake of the mysterious inheritance, put up a fight. Chun Long thought of the hint in that voice just now that if this trial was not passed, it would be permanently disqualified. 15 points of evolution value was just a matter of devouring a few more prey in the future and it would come back, while this mysterious inheritance, once it was gone, it would be really gone. In this kind of world under the apocalypse, being able to have one more means of preserving one's life, in Chang Long's opinion, it would be a fool who wouldn't want it. Who would mind if he had one more skill skill, maybe it was useless most of the time, but at certain critical moments, it was the hope of victory ah. As soon as he said it, with a superb warmth rising throughout his body, Chun Long instantly felt filled with power, and an endless burst of power was waiting to be unleashed. Starting to be powerful. After feeling the scorching warmth in his body, Chun Long once again turned on the endless power skill. As the infinite power poured into his body, Chun Long clearly felt that at this moment, in this cave, he was God, the existence that dominated everything. Little rats, are you resistant to a beating, Master Snake? I'm going to turn on berserk mode. Facing the heavy-eared rats that were still madly surging in, Chang Long's scales and armor showed a hint of red light. Boss this is. Xiong De, who had just slapped away a heavy-eared rat, looked at Chang Long in front of him and saw such a phenomenon, and then similarly felt that a very great power seemed to have appeared in his body as well, which was very hot and unbearable, wanting to be vented. This was Xiong De being affected by Chang Long's aura, the stronger Chang Long was, the same way he was able to share part of the attribute boost. At this moment, Xiong De also had a beast general level battle power boost, so it could be said that his strength was explosive, and he experienced the feeling of a beast general in advance. What a strong power, kill. Xiong Da's eyes were red through and through, a jump, two bear paws slapped fiercely, the two unlucky heavy-eared rats in front of him were instantly smashed into meat paste. Xiao Fang also clearly felt the difference between Master and Xiong Di, it seemed that in this instant, the two of them had become a lot stronger, giving her a very oppressive feeling. However, soon she was relaxed beyond measure. The swarms of rats that were originally slightly troublesome to fight against were, at this moment, like pieces of tofu. Facing the attacks of Master and the two of them, there was almost no room to fight back. It's too brutal. In the end, Xiao Fang had to look at the corpses all over the ground and let out such an exclamation. About 10 minutes later, the entire cave was littered with the corpses of the heavy-eared rats. When the last heavy-eared rat that had brazenly rushed towards Chun Long was killed, all the corpses instantly turned into shadows and disappeared. Ha, huh, how come they're all gone? Xiao Fang looked at what was happening in front of her with surprise, feeling a bit incredulous, this couldn't be that mysterious tactic of masters again. 
Xiangde also looked around in some surprise, with a puzzled face, he couldn't help but turn his gaze to Chun Long who was on the side, thinking that this was the boss's handiwork again. Chun Long did not explain, but was waiting for something. Moreover, when the virtual space disappeared, he felt a wave of energy being drained from his body, and a feeling of weakness and powerlessness surged through his body. At this moment, he didn't want to move at all. Is this the price of burning the bloodline, even breathing feels exhausting. Chen Long couldn't help but sigh, just now how brave and majestic he was, now how weak and powerless he was. As the saying goes, passion is cool for a while, and passion is cool all the time, just after the coolness is the price to pay. Just when Chang Long was laughing at himself, that clear and pleasant voice appeared in the passage once again. Congratulations to the three of you for breaking through the first level of the trial, this trial assessment score is barely passing, with a time of 52 minutes and 27 seconds, the reward has been placed at the end of the passageway, ready to be collected at any time. Just as Xiongdi and Xiao Fan were puzzled, they immediately heard the sound that came out of this passageway without discrimination. It's actually not a hallucination, so it's real, I thought it was a hallucination just now. Xiao Fang was slightly dismayed in her countenance, even though she didn't know where the source of this sound was, she immediately understood when she saw the two different looks of Master Cheng Long and Xiongde. Xiongde also felt that feeling of powerlessness from his boss. Because, the kind of aura power that had been added to its body by Cheng Long also instantly disappeared. And likewise, a wave of exhaustion made it sleepy and very sleepy. After all, when this halo brought a tremendous power, it had almost exceeded its own actual attributes. Normally staying by Chung Long's side all the time, Xiongde did not feel this difference, after all, it was used to it. But all of a sudden Chang Long, the owner of the soul imprint, lost his power, and the layer of buff that was originally attached to it was gone. Naturally for a while, the body would experience difficulty in adapting, and would need some time to ease. Rest first, everyone is tired, we'll collect the rewards later. Slowly closing his eyes, after saying these words to both Xiao Fang and Xiongde, he fell into a half-asleep state. Facing this weird trial, he also needed time to think. It was just the right time to take advantage of the time he had to recover his strength to think about the doorway here. On the other hand, that company of Xiao Cheng and Su Mao and theirs was in a situation of heavy casualties. After all, a primary beast general level existence could be even more difficult to deal with than that blizzard wolf they encountered outside. Although those blizzard wolves added up to a large number, in terms of strength, there was still a huge difference between them and this guy in front of them. Due to the narrow space, and all of their soldiers were concentrated on one side, they could not be flanked on all sides like the outside world, and could only attack in a row. However, their bullets against this huge, thick-skinned iron-armored bear were almost difficult to break through its surface defense. Even if some bullets accidentally entered the giant bear's body, they could only usher in even more furious attacks, but were unable to cause fatal damage to it. Fortunately, despite the fact that normal bullets were able to cause powerful damage to this big guy, they still had quite a few armor-piercing bullets, as well as rocket launchers and recoilless cannons. Although they had consumed a certain amount of reserves while fighting the blizzard wolves outside, due to the timely support from Chun Long and the others, the current amount of ammunition was still quite abundant. In the face of the giant bear's attack, these equipments were still able to barely delay the other party's footsteps. But even so, in this narrow passageway, they were suffering heavy losses at the moment. After a short 10-minute exchange, they had almost been lost and slaughtered. Until the last soldier was resolved by the giant bear, there was not a single living person left in the entire passageway, and the giant bear had instantly disappeared. Didn't I die? How come I'm still alive? In that hall outside the cave, the entire company looked at each other. The battle just now was too real, so much so that some of the soldiers were having a traumatic stress reaction at the moment, shouting, don't come over, don't come over. But those who had reacted, not a single one of them laughed at these comrades. After all, the psychological shadow brought to them by that giant bear just now was almost indelible. Truth be told, in so long since the cataclysm, it was really the first time they had encountered such a ferocious and huge foreign beast. More than 20 meters high huge body stood up as a skyscraper look, a palm sweep over, all was touched, almost immediately into a pile of broken meat. Speaking of which, they were able to hold on for 10 minutes or so, but also because the passage was not too big, the beast, it was difficult to stretch out. Otherwise, once they were in a place with a wide field of vision, the people of this company were not enough for that giant bear to stuff its teeth. Could it be, that was an illusion just now? Xiao Qing also slowly suppressed his sense of fear, facing such a huge beast, he had a deep sense of powerlessness. Other than that, just the pack of blizzard wolves that he encountered yesterday, his own company was a bit overwhelmed. If it wasn't for Chang Long's three timely arrivals and his amazing battle prowess, he had directly killed the blizzard wolf king. I'm afraid that the only ones who would be alive right now might be the four awakened ones, and it's not certain. And what he, who had just experienced the path of death once, thought of when he thought he had reached the last moment of his life, was actually the sadness of the human race. Facing such a world where giant beasts were everywhere, 
If the human race didn't have super battle power powerhouses, it would really be too difficult to continue to keep the fire alive. Company commander, look, the passageway we just entered is closed. Su Mao was the first to realize this fact. This. For a moment, everyone didn't know what to say, facing the remaining two passages, at this moment, they had already lost the courage to continue exploring. After all, in the face of true death, there really weren't many people who were able to die generously. Even if there were, the fear of death was certain. It was only that there was some sort of existence that was more terrifying than death that made it open to death. Chang Long waited for his strength to recover almost as much as he could, he also figured out some of the crux of the matter, and next, it was up to him to see if his guesses were right or not. Let's go, let's go see what rewards are waiting for us ahead. Holy shit, what is this, such a strong aura fluctuation, dozens of times stronger than the blood spirit fruit that was swallowed before, and its fragrance is even far beyond the exotic aroma of the hallucinogenic spirit fruit. When Shang Long's three appeared at the end of the passage of this cave, in front of their eyes, there were nine colorless crystals the size of an adult's fist floating in front of them, but emitting an eye-catching white light. Not only Chang Long, that Xiong Dudu couldn't help but ooze out Harry's son, licking his tongue uncontrollably, a strong urge to devour it even appeared in his eyes. And Xiao Fang is also almost the same appearance, obsessed eyes as a small wealth fan in general, so in front of this crystal is like seeing a rare treasure, so want to embrace it into the arms. However, very soon, both guys came to their senses from this state, and coincidentally revealed an embarrassed look. Chang Long did not say anything more about the two guys' behavior. After all, the moment he saw this thing just now, he also had a momentary lapse of concentration. As powerful as he was, he almost didn't resist the temptation, so let alone these two little guys who were inferior to himself in every aspect. Opening his fiery eyes, but very unexpectedly did not observe what was in front of him, the prompts on the interface clearly told him that it had exceeded the observation boundary and needed to upgrade the skill. Good stuff ah, uh, it actually exceeded the observation boundary of the first level fire eyes golden eyes, and based on the fluctuation of the Sora, this thing is definitely not an ordinary existence, it should be a very rare kind of treasure. Chun Long couldn't help but be slightly stunned, most of his evolution points had been used for leveling up. For these skills, in general, it was just enough to get by without the idea of upgrading. After all, one's energy value acquisition was barely enough most of the time, and after using it to exchange for evolution points, there was always a feeling of being stretched to the limit. Good steel is used on the blade of a knife, it seems that now, in order to observe this treasure, one can only upgrade this fiery eyes. After the breakthrough a while ago, he still had 245 evolution points left, 100 of which were used on strength, leaving him with 145 points. As for energy, the energy value that he converted every day after absorbing aura on a fixed basis was 1440 points. And when combined with the tenfold effect boost of the spirit skill, the amount of aura energy gained per minute reached a staggering 10 points. In other words, even if one didn't eat or drink, the energy gained from the aura alone would be 14,400 points of energy per day fixed after entering the beast general level. According to the conversion of the ratio of energy points to evolution points converted 100 to 1, the fixed number of evolution points that one gained every day would be 144 points. And these days, through constant hunting, one was guaranteed at least 2 meals a day, with 1,200 points of energy per meal and 4 hours of digestion time, so that would be almost 3,000 points of energy value. Under the accumulation of 7 or 8 days, one's own energy value did not know without looking, a look startled, one's current attribute panel, there are more than 122,000 points of energy value. The reason why there were so many was also because Chung Long didn't want to get non-stop prompts from the system every time he gained energy, and thus carried out selective shielding. Opening his attribute panel and looking at the interface that he hadn't observed for some days, especially the column of energy value, Chun Long was also very satisfied at the moment. Host, Chun Long. Type, Snake Race. Bloodline, SSSR, 512x Potential Enhancement, Increase the Speed and Efficiency of Absorbing Heaven and Earth Aura. Technique, Spirit Decree. Realm, Beast General Level. Level, 1 third, all 6 basic attributes can advance to the next level. Length, 40 meters. Weight, 8000 kilograms. Remaining lifespan, 35 years, breakthrough to beast king level can increase lifespan by 50 years. Extreme strength, 500 plus slash 500, 1 point of attribute increases attack power by 1 point. Extreme stance, 400 plus slash 500, 1 point of attribute increases movement speed by 1 point per second slash meter. Extreme physique, 400 plus slash 500, 1 point of attribute increases recovery power by 1 point. Extreme armor, 400 plus slash 500, 1 point of attribute increases defense by 1 point. Extreme Endurance, 400 plus slash 500, 1 point of attribute equals 1 minute of lasting output. Extreme Nihility, 400 plus slash 500, 1 point of attribute increases soul pressure by 1 point and distance by 10 meters. 
Energy, 122,550 points, 100 points of energy are converted into one point of evolution, which will change after each major realm advancement, and can be obtained by devouring objects containing energy, as well as by drawing aura. Evolution points, 145 points. Satiety, 5%, cannot get food energy after satiety level is full. Digestion speed, 2000%, satiety level will be cleared within 4 hours after devouring prey. Skills, Venom Spray, April 10th, consumes 400 evolution points to advance to the next level. Toxin Immunity, 1 tenth, consume 100 evolution points to advance to the next level. Eyes of Fire, 1 tenth, consume 100 evolution points to advance to next level. Eye of Heaven Map, February 10th, consume 200 evolution points to advance to the next level. Spiritual Illusion, 1 tenth, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Soul Mark, 1 out of 10, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Powerful, 1 tenth, consume 100 evolution points to advance to the next level. System Space, 1 out of 10, advancing to the next level consumes 100 evolution points. System, all energy converted into evolution points. Chang Long immediately recited in his mind. Ding, evolution point conversion successful, current energy value remaining 50 points, evolution point is 1200 points, attribute interface changed, please pay attention to the host. Cheng Long automatically ignored the latter sentence, 1200 evolution points, other than that, this fire eyes golden eyes should first be promoted to two levels before saying anything else, and for the heavenly eyes map, the current range of two kilometers was still too narrow, it was also promoted to one level. As for the rest, you cannot promote first, these evolution points to save, to the critical moment, at least have a backup storage in. If you have food at home, you won't panic in your heart. Ding, Fire Eyes Golden Eyes advanced to the second level, consuming 100 evolution points, can observe the target's basic information, gain its detail this increased, can't observe the target that is far beyond the host's one big realm. Ding, Heaven's Eye Map advanced to level 3, consuming 200 evolution points, map detection range increased to 5 kilometers. The advancement of the two skills consumed 300 evolution points, and looking at the fact that it was another quarter of an evolution point short, Cheng Long was slightly distressed. However, this kind of auxiliary skill was also a means to increase one's combat power, one needed to use it when it was time to use it, one should never be stingy ah. Master, what is this thing ah, my mouth is dry from looking at it, I want to go and take a bite, it's too tempting. Xiao Fang couldn't help but look towards Cheng Long, her eyes filled with curiosity. When Xiong De heard Xiao Fang's words, he also looked at his boss in the same way, in its heart, there seemed to be nothing that Cheng Long didn't know. Cheng Long also expressed his speechlessness, if he didn't have the existence of the skill of fiery eyes, he would have been in two minds about this girl's question. Especially since the other party was looking at himself with bated breath and that kind of hopeful look, wouldn't it be too humiliating to say that he didn't know? Using his fire eyes once more, at this point, he finally barely discerned some basic information about the guy in front of him. Spirit Crystal, one of the universal energy currencies of the universe. Different regions have different names for it, a special crystal rich in cosmic energy that can be absorbed without obstacles. After absorption, it takes a great deal of time to digest, and it is possible to fall into a comatose state. The energy of a single spirit crystal could directly elevate a beast king level existence to beast god level, which was the planetary level in the universe. However, if the taker's level was too low and his physical quality was too poor, it's possible that after taking it, it won't be able to withstand the spiritual energy in it and absorb it incompletely, while wasting the energy source in it, leading to the failure of taking it. After this synopsis, there was a bunch of hidden, which were obviously not able to be viewed by the current him. Holy shit, this thing, it's definitely a treasure. Especially for his current self, what he lacks the most is access to an effective source of energy. Despite the fact that one's strength has seemingly skyrocketed in just two or three months with the system, there are still certain shortcomings. Cheng Long couldn't help but light up as he looked at the nine fist-sized crystals in front of him. I didn't expect that I would actually be able to obtain this kind of treasure this time, it could truly be called a gift in the snow. Even though it was hinted on here that the Beast King level was able to advance to the planetary level in just one after taking it. But in Cheng Long's opinion, no matter how much energy it had, as long as it was a source of energy, it could not escape the fate of being absorbed. It was just like what was suggested on the Fire Eyes, consuming some time for digestion. Since being reborn these past few days, one had yet to see any energy overflow. Even after swallowing that blood spirit fruit, which far exceeded the upper limit of one's energy at that time, it wasn't still suppressed by the system into one's body and converted into evolution points. That Xiao Fang's eyes are still with expectation looking at himself, Xiong De is also waiting for his answer, so I cannot help but explain to both of them what this thing is. Then came the time to distribute the fruits of victory. Considering the fact that there were some unseen contents behind this thing, in which the specific function and efficacy were unknown, 
Chang Long decided to save the share belonging to them for the two of them first. As for the rest, Chang Long collected all of them into the system space, leaving one alone outside, he was going to have a live experiment right here. Originally, he had planned to leave the remaining 1045 points of evolutionary value for preparation at a critical moment, but now with the existence of this spirit crystal, 1045 points of evolutionary value would at least allow him to advance to the level of a senior beast general. According to the system's attribute advancement requirements for himself, when he reached the senior beast general stage, in all aspects, he was basically infinitely close to a beast king level existence. Perhaps, in certain aspects, it was even stronger than the beast king level. Thus, when the time came to swallow this spirit crystal, at least it shouldn't be so great in terms of loss. Not for anything else, this place was at least safer than the outside world at the moment, and although it was underground, there was plenty of spiritual energy, making it a good place to make a breakthrough. Just in case, Chang Long was afraid of any uncontrollable accidents that might happen to him, he deliberately took out a lot of the reserve food in the system space for the two of them. One was to make them feel at ease to protect themselves. Secondly, it was also lest the two of them would have a better day with these supplies in this mysterious cave that could not be replenished during the period of time when he was making his breakthrough. Boss, why don't I come, if anything does happen, at least you're safe. After learning of Cheng Long's idea, not only was Xiao Fang filled with worry, Xiong De also immediately said to Cheng Long. After all, in its opinion, this kind of risky chore should have been for a junior like it to be a guinea pig, where would any boss try to risk his life? The object that was enslaved by the soul seal was wholeheartedly looking out for its master. Perhaps in normal times, they have some strange fetishes, and even their own small plans, but in critical moments, even if the master to death, also without a little hesitation. You, now the level is too low, I'm afraid you're wasting it, this kind of thing. It's better for me to come in person, you two aren't qualified enough. Chan Long stopped the two guys who wanted to continue to dissuade the look, responded with an undoubted tone. Seeing that Chang Long had already made a decision, the two of them didn't say anything more, and just silently decided that they must escort his safety. Especially Xiong Dei, it was even more grateful in its heart. Following the boss for this period of time, it had also grown a lot. Whether it was in terms of strength or wisdom, compared to the one it hadn't met the boss before, it could be said to be a world of difference. This kind of thing that could have been used as a guinea pig boss would rather risk his own life to stop himself from doing it, despite the tone of voice that he was not qualified, in fact it was also to protect it. Xiong Dei understood very well that the boss not only did not treat himself as a slave, but as his own family, just like Mama Xiong when in order to protect himself, the boss is also protecting himself. Just because of this, even without the existence of that soul seal, he could give his life to the boss without any complaints. Chang Long actually really didn't think so much about it, perhaps subconsciously, but in his heart, he really thought so. After all, this kind of treasure, if it was wasted, it would really be too bad. The current target that was able to start experiments on it was also only himself. If Xiong De really met the requirements, he might also let it be the first guy to eat crabs. Unfortunately for now, it really wasn't qualified. As for the girl Xiao Fang, Chang Long really considered her as his little sister. The magical relationship between the two was tugging at Chang Long's heart, so in the bottom of his heart he wanted to protect her, as well as the heart under his snake skin. With the protection of the two fellows, more than three hours later, Chang Long's strength broke through to the advanced beast general stage after experiencing the sourness of advancement once. Master, your aura is quite powerful again. The moment she felt Chang Long enter the advanced beast general stage, Xiao Fang really wanted to say, Master is really a demon, he is just different. Even though Chang Long had told the two of them the corresponding intentions before, and Xiao Fang had also seen the extent of Chang Long's demonic nature. But every time, Xiao Fang thought that she could keep up with her master's pace, but she realized that no matter how she tried to catch up, she could only look at his back, and even his back was a little out of reach. This feeling, for her at the moment, was a gray moment full of pale powerlessness, as well as spurring motivation. No, I will definitely follow in master's footsteps, never be a laggard. Xiao Fang couldn't help but ignite a blaze in her chest at this moment, Cheng Long was not just as simple as the role of master to her, but also a kind of spiritual big brother, a companion. Alright, next, I'll go and try to see what unexpected things this thing can bring us, it's still safe in this passageway, but we can't let our guard down, understand? Chun Long's gaze went to the two guys, and only satisfied when he saw them nodding. To be honest, it wasn't that he was making a big deal out of it, but the pile of question marks after that spirit crystal briefing had no choice but to make him do this. It was the unknown that was the most unsure and the most terrifying in existence. The reason why people were afraid was the suspicion and uncertainty of unknown goals. In the face of this next unknown test, if there was no crushing strength, he was determined not to take the risk. Slaying those heavy-eared rats, if he hadn't burned his own bloodline, perhaps the three of them would already be standing outside the passageway at this moment. Therefore, in order to prevent unnecessary trouble, enhancing one's strength was the way to deal with all means. You guys shouldn't be too tense, 
perhaps I'm making a big deal out of it, but it's always right to be cautious. After seeing the two of them looking as if they were in danger, Chang Long couldn't help but be touched and amused, so he immediately said, Boss, Master, just go ahead without fear, unless we all die, nothing can threaten your safety. The two guys responded in unison. Chang Long didn't say anything more, instead, after looking at this adult fist-sized spirit crystal in front of him, he opened his bloody mouth and devoured it in one bite. Immediately afterward, the spirit crystal that melted in his mouth transformed into a huge stream of warmth that filled his body. Holy shit, this energy, it's too much. As the tremendous energy surged into his body, Chung Long felt an inexhaustible amount of qi throughout his body. The energy was spreading rapidly, and Chang Long felt like he was going into a boiling state. No wonder the fire ice hinted at the possibility of entering a state of unconsciousness, with this huge influx of energy, an average being would literally fall into a coma. After all, a good physique is not just as simple as increasing the flesh's ability to recover from external disturbances. Chang Long closed his eyes tightly and silently followed the route of spiritual energy operation in the spiritual secrets as he began to absorb this tremendous power. The spiritual secrets was not just as simple as increasing the speed of absorbing spiritual energy, it was a very comprehensive basic technique, which even contained some answers to various difficult questions regarding cultivation matters. However, there were many things in it that the current self was unable to view, after all, it was sealed. Master should be fine. After seeing Chang Long close his eyes, Xiao Fang was observing Chang Long's movements while diffusing her spiritual thoughts to perceive the surroundings. Seeing that after Chang Long had devoured that spirit crystal, a strong warm current erupted around him, and then he closed his eyes, he couldn't help but be slightly worried. Even though Chang Long had spoken very breezily when instructing matters with himself, in the end, this was a risky behavior. It should be fine, the boss is so powerful and has a good heart, the lucky ones will have their own heavenly destiny. Xiong Dei had also learned quite a few things from staying with Chang Long during this time. These were the contents of some of the memories that had been fed into Xiong Da's head when the system had bound the two of them at that time. Aha, uh -huh, that's true. Xiong Da's response made Xiao Feng feel satisfied, in her heart, other than the fact that Master was not human, everything else was quite good. Time passed day by day, in the middle of this passageway, Chang Long silently digested the enormous energy brought by this spirit crystal. Even with the help of the system, it took him a full 10 days or so to completely convert the energy contained within. And during these 10 days, after that Xiao Chang and the others informed the security bureau outside about the situation here, the large force immediately marched to the entrance outside the cave and set up camp. This time, the troop strength that had been deployed was as much as a reinforced regiment, enough to see how the powers that be in the security zone valued this newly discovered relic. Oldly, how's the situation? A South Central man with the rank of colonel was setting up a mission. At this time, another man wearing glasses but not a military uniform but a white coat walked over and couldn't help but open his mouth to inquire. The man known as Oldly did not return his head, but looked at the information in front of him while saying. The information reported from the advance squad side we summarized here. It can be seen that this relic, and the ones we discovered before, have a clear difference. Oh, this is a good thing. Even though we have established a safe zone now, we seem a bit powerless in the face of these increasingly stronger alien beasts. If we are able to uncover some more ancient relics, no matter if it's for our own safety zone, or the entire Desya, or even global humanity, it would be a great feat to increase our battle power. This relic in front of us, 9 times out of 10, should be something left behind by alien technology. This is an existence that can enhance our technology tree, we must take it down. Hearing Cheng Long's words, the white clothed man looked at the cave in front of him, and after glancing at the information laid out on the desktop, he made the appropriate conclusions after a slight bit of contemplation. Old Kaya, don't be too happy too early. Right now there is a tricky matter, someone may have already gone ahead of us. If it's that fellow who got the treasures inside, it could be a bit annoying. Oldly raised his head, looked at the man in white, and slowly said, Oh, who is it that would actually run ahead of our advance team? Old Kai immediately became anxious when he heard Old Lee's words and couldn't help but inquire. See for yourself. Old Lee was also frowning as he reached out and picked up the information on the desktop and handed it to Old Kai. Old Kai, who received the information, couldn't help but scrutinize the report. As his eyes kept scanning, his expression became more and more grave, even with a few moments of skepticism and disbelief. This, how is this possible? After a while, Lao Kai somewhat agitatedly pointed at the contents of the information with one hand, while looking back at Lao Li. This is the truth, those above have known about this matter for a long time, and have also silenced the relevant knowers. Therefore, although there are many people who know about this guy's existence, it hasn't been circulated in the safe zone, and it's between common sense that you don't know about it. It's too unbelievable. However, even if that's the case, it doesn't mean that guy has already obtained the treasure inside one step ahead of us. A big snake in the district, even if it's intelligent again, it's probably difficult to compare its intelligence with us humans. 
After all, on the piece of wisdom, on this planet, we humans have never lost. That white-robed man could only find a reason that he felt was far-fetched to comfort himself in the end. After the heaven and earth changed and the aura recovered, all the people felt that those foreign beasts that changed had changed their appearance. Unlike the original beasts that only acted according to their animal instincts, each one of them also appeared to act in ways that were hard to figure out. I hope so. Old Lee also knew what Old Kai meant, then immediately said, we don't care about anything else first, even if that guy takes the top spot, we still have to follow and drink the soup, don't we? Also, those guys are right in their considerations. If we really win it over to our human camp, then, in some sense, it would be considered a new situation. At that point, it would be enough to show that not all the foreign beasts are on the opposite side of our human race. Chung Long was not the least bit aware of the situation in the outside world, at the moment, he was in a state of being half asleep, half awake. Although the heaven's eye map was upgraded with a 5 kilometer range detection, he sensed the existence of superimposed space in this mysterious place. That's right, during this period of time, he hadn't given up on scouting this magical area. But what made him a bit puzzled was that no matter whether it was within the passageway or extended towards the ground, there seemed to be a mysterious force interfering with this exploration. If one were to say that from the perspective of the flat structure, apart from the fact that the passageway was just rocky dirt, it would be common sense that there would not be much response in the perception. But when he extended towards the ground, wanting to observe the situation above, he found that apart from the dirt, it was still dirt, which made Cheng Long very puzzled. It wasn't true that they were deep into the ground, but it was far from 2 or 3 kilometers deep. According to Cheng Long's own judgment, at most, they were about 2 kilometers deep into the ground, and this was still a high estimate. Could it be that there really is a folding space here? However, at this moment, even though Chang Long felt the evilness of this place, he was simply powerless to explore everything here and uncover the doubts in his heart. At this moment, he had completely lost control of his body, and this feeling was very suffocating. Even though he could clearly know everything in the outside world, he could only silently digest the energy in his body. Master Ah, when exactly will you be able to wake up? Xiao Fang silently guarded Chen Long by his side, even though the light in here was gloomy and he couldn't see anything else from more than 10 meters away. However, for an awakened person, clear perception and sharp awareness were different from normal people. Even if there was no light, they were able to see things farther away in a dim place than ordinary people. What's more, as a rare spiritual nihilist amongst the awakened, Xiao Fang's perception was even stronger than the average awakened. Under the quiet passage of time, while she was on guard against unexpected situations, she also silently practiced the spiritual skill. Xiong De was the same, and in the first two days was still very dutifully guarding the surroundings. But there seemed to be no other living creatures in this airtight cave other than the sound of their breathing. The boss didn't know how soon it would be able to wake up, so it used half of its spiritual energy to indulge in the path of cultivation. Although this place was deep into the ground, the spiritual energy was a bit more dense than the ground seemed to be, making it a good place to cultivate. Yeah, this time, the boss has been cultivating for a lot longer than before, that guy's energy doesn't look like it's ordinary, no wonder the boss insisted that he come to experiment and didn't allow us to make a move. After Xiong De heard Xiao Fang's words, his heart also muttered, he couldn't help but look towards that curled up Cheng Long, his eyes were very complicated, they were touched and worried. Time passed day by day, the reinforced regiment that Xiao Cheng was in, almost explored the entire cave. After all, there was strength in numbers, and exploring in multiple batches was indeed a lot more convenient than Chang Long and the three of them being weak and having to rely on choices. However, chance was chance, and after Xiao Chang and Chang Long respectively crossed into the place of trial to make a breakthrough, the entire mysterious area activated its due trial rules. Before Chang Long and the three of them failed to break through, this place was like a labyrinth, and every time the sergeant who entered the passageway from a different cave, he would soon walk out from another exit, without exception. Evil, how could this place be so weird? Li Hongfeng's brows were furrowed as he looked at the confused-looking soldiers in front of him, and he also had a headache. The situation that Xiao Chang and the others had encountered before had never occurred again after most of the members of their team had come in, leaving only a portion outside the cave for protection. If it wasn't for the fact that Xiao Chang and their company, all of them, after being questioned through being separated, had said that the scene inside was exactly the same, with little to no disparity outside of it, Li Hongfeng would have almost thought that they were telling lies. It wasn't that he didn't trust the soldiers under him. After all, this matter was of great importance and beyond their knowledge. One had to figure out the truth of what was going on inside in order to make a better exploration of this place. It's quite evil, Xiao Chang and the others we can be sure that no one is lying after questioning them. But why by the time we came in, this mysterious passageway has never seen the monsters they encountered, nor that miraculous event of coming back from the dead, it's a question worth pondering. Old Kai also rubbed his hands together with his fingers interlocked on one side and said, his eyes revealing a thoughtful light. The other soldiers were also whispering and discussing about this mysterious place, 
Almost every soldier who had entered inside had gone to the three different cave passages in front of them to explore them. Apart from being no different from a normal cavern, there was almost nothing special about it. But this kind of the more you couldn't see where the problem was, itself was the biggest problem. After all, every time they entered the passageway less than a few miles away, they would walk out of another passageway entrance without exception. But it was clear that everyone present was certain that they were walking in a straight line, and even if there was the occasional turn, they would quickly return to the right path. Could it be related to those three guys? Li Hongfeng eventually thought about it and finally voiced the speculation in his heart, and thoughtfully locked eyes with Old Kai. Perhaps, that's the only possibility. Old Kai also glanced at Li Hongfeng, and finally Yo said, after all, this kind of place, it's also the first time we've come into contact with it. What exactly is in there, no one knows, what problems will be encountered, no one can be clear. Stop exploring, let's arrange for some people to continue waiting here, the rest like return to the ground to stand by, it's not a good idea to all harbor here. It's been several days, if there are results, we'll know sooner or later. In the end, Li Hongfeng ordered his ministry accordingly, waiting helplessly and passively for news. Just as they left only a small team to continue observing the movements here, the large force returned to the ground to set up camp for supply standby. In the middle of the cave, Chun Long finally opened his eyes. I didn't expect that digesting this spirit crystal with the help of the system would actually take the better part of a month's effort. It's worthy of being an energy source that can allow a beast king class to directly advance to the beast god class. This high-level beast general of his own, if he wasn't balanced in all aspects after all to be able to withstand the medicinal power in it, otherwise he would have really wasted this energy. Cheng Long muttered leisurely. Don't look at the difference of just one rank between a senior beast general and a junior beast king, but in fact, the gap inside was still very huge. Regardless of whether it was in terms of aura absorption or physical quality, a junior beast king was almost crushing a senior beast general. It wouldn't be a problem to solve seven or eight of them in a single fight, without taking a breath, unless the other party was also Chang Long, a pervert with a plug-in. However, this absorption was also a huge gain, the huge energy had been sufficiently dispersed by the system and sealed in one's body. Just waiting for the moment he advanced to primary beast king, he would be able to break through to late beast king in one fell swoop. If it went smoothly without any mistakes, advancing to the beast god level, or the planetary level, would be an instantaneous matter. 1 million energy points, even if a point of attribute at the beast king level requires 2 to 300 points of energy, one would be able to exchange at least 3000 plus evolution points. Not only will he cross a large realm and level, those skills will also get upgraded, it's really too sour. Chang Long was overjoyed in his heart, knowing that crossing over to the planetary level meant that he was completely transcendent, no longer a mortal flesh. According to the basic introduction in the spirit decision, a planetary level powerhouse is able to fly in the air without the aid of any props, and the consumption is also very tiny. Like birds although able to fly, but that is with the help of wings, and every flight a distance, need to take a break, but also to use the rising cyclone. Viable stars were different, their flight was even able to enter deep space, free from the bondage of gravity, and without the need for oxygen, they were able to enter the internal circulation, which was something that flying birds could not do at all. Soon, planetary level, the day is not far off. The degree of spiritual thought power development is actually completely up to par with the quality of the physical body, it's the first time I've seen such a perfect native on this planet. Although this guy isn't too perverted when placed in the vast universe, he also belongs to the excellent category. On this planet, that's almost the most demonic one. And the most interesting thing was actually that this guy actually had traces of taking over the body, the soul of the human race and the flesh of the serpent class were not completely fused, it was obvious that the taking over of the body hadn't been long. And the power of the bloodline has even reached the SSS level, this kind of bloodline is placed in the vast universe, that is also the top of the noble bloodline, this is still a so desolate planet can produce the natives? If it wasn't for the fact that my master was recognized by the laws of the soul back then, and that I was given some law fragments, I might not have been able to see the secrets on this guy. This is obviously the handiwork of a great power behind it, should I interfere from it? Just as Chang Long was sighing his good fortune, obtaining such a large amount of energy resources, Deep within this cave, on that mysterious statue, that pair of bizarre eyes was staring at Chun Long in death, then fell into silence. Half a million years, it's been half a million years since I stayed in this shitty place, if it wasn't for the master's inheritance, I've really had enough of these lonely days. The mysterious figure couldn't help but growl, for more than half a million years, not even a single intelligent creature that matches the master's inheritance has actually appeared on this broken planet. Now finally comes such a guy who is qualified in all aspects and is so excellent that he makes my heart flutter. Even if I have to pull teeth out of a tiger's mouth and risk offending that great power. As long as he passes the trial at the back, no matter what, I'll choose him. However, the girl next to it isn't bad either. Even though her physical qualities aren't up to par, the spiritual power of thought, when looking at the entire planet, 
aside from this weird guy, is considered the second best one. If there is no him, I may also choose this girl, after all, short people in the pole high, that is no choice. That voice was filled with anxiety and loneliness, as well as a little hesitation. At this moment, it only wants to find a suitable inheritor to completely inherit the legacy left by its master's lineage. In this way, it would be worthy of the old master who created it. For half a million years, even if it was able to enter slumber mode most of the time, leaving only a self-created AL intelligence to scan and monitor. But ever since it awakened its emotional consciousness, it realized that the feeling of loneliness without company could really drive intelligent beings crazy. Before, there was still the master and a few of them that existed, so the days weren't too lonely. It was only since the master's fall that it felt the loneliness and emptiness and loneliness. However, during these half a million years, it couldn't just find a random guy to receive the inheritance left behind by its master. Therefore, it could only wait so dryly, waiting for a miracle to happen. Now that this miracle had finally appeared before its eyes, how could it not be moved? Hey, as an intelligent being, there are too many concerns in the end, if I were to change to the previous emotionless me, I definitely wouldn't have these complicated hearts, just choose from the best. That mysterious existence said leisurely. Let's go, let's go to the next level. Chang Long shook his head, this promotion had taken so long and was a first time experience for him. Even though his body was filled with power at the moment, yet, in his mind, he still faintly felt a hint of exhaustion. Master, how does it feel? Xiao Fang, the girl, asked curiously, after seeing Cheng Long safe and sound, she knew that Master could be quite rewarding this time. Xiong De was also very curious, only, it wasn't as direct as Xiao Fang, but the curious eyes still deeply betrayed its heart. Seeing the two curious babies in front of him, Cheng Long couldn't help but say, What are you two fellows in a hurry for? Get to the point where you're working hard to advance to the next level. When you guys also reach the king level, the share that belongs to you guys, I will give it to you one by one, don't ask so many questions now. After saying this, Chang Long's eyes rolled over and a large blank stare appeared in a very playful manner. Seeing Chang Long's unwillingness to speak, the two guys were at their wits end and had no choice but to helplessly follow Chang Long as he continued to break through the levels behind him. Second level, third level, the fifth level, the sixth level. Time passed little by little, and in the blink of an eye, two to three months passed quietly. If it wasn't for Xiao Fang's presence of a smartwatch, it would be almost difficult to clearly perceive the alternation of the sun and moon and the passage of time. The three of them could be said to have overcome obstacles along the way, although they were also in a sorry state when faced with some of the levels, and even had some close calls in some places, and were almost eliminated from the game. However, in the end, they were also able to reverse the situation in general, and successfully arrived in front of the sixth three-choice passage. The reason why it took so much time, not to break through the barrier to consume so much, and most of the time, Chang Long he was used to summarize an enlightenment of the insights. This trial journey, for Chang Long and the three of them, was an excellent tutorial for practicing. After all, in the outside world, one would not be able to encounter such hard-to-find opponents and opportunities to defy life and death. Here, one could fight to their heart's content and display all of their abilities without fear. In the battle, to discover their own shortcomings, so as to constantly improve, optimize. If it wasn't for the fact that the timing of the later levels had a much tighter sense of rhythm, as well as the fact that taking rewards was no longer time unlimited, Chung Long felt that he wouldn't have a problem staying here for a year. Ha, huh, what's going on? Why can't the two of us get in? After Chang Long chose a passageway and prepared to enter, Xiao Fang and Xiong De seemed to be stopped in place by a large invisible wall. No matter how hard they tried, they were unable to break through the barrier in front of them for a long time and couldn't cross out of this step. This invisible barrier, on the other hand, did not have that sense of resistance for Chang Long. In the end, Chang Long decided to let the two of them stay where they were, and go face the next barrier alone. Finally, I'm no longer bringing these two dragons with me. This guy, he's also really inked. The hallowed introductory trial is only 7 levels. With his physical quality, even though it's also somewhat difficult, is it necessary to make it so tense? Deep in the cave, that mysterious figure muttered faintly. Your lordship, is it easy for me? In order to guide you here, I went through a lot of trouble and risked defending the great power behind you. It's a big deal to have a backer. In the universe, there is no rule that there can only be one master. When you're initiated, I'll bludgeon you with a couple of chestnuts before I let you dilly-dally, humph. Chang Long didn't know in the slightest that he had already invariably offended an existence that wanted to knock his chestnuts out, but instead slowly approached the final destination. This place, it actually took me so long, but the harvest is also quite fruitful. The second level he gained 12 spirit crystals, 18 pills for the third level, 25 pills for the fourth level. The fifth and sixth levels added up to 80. For these six levels, the spirit crystals that he had collected into the system space amounted to 135. One could produce a planetary level powerhouse, 135 spirit crystals, no matter if he used them to devour them or used them to cultivate his men, 
it was enough for Cheng Long to use himself for a long, long time. Mom no longer has to worry about me not having enough energy. At this point, Cheng Long still didn't forget to flirt with himself, his heart was happy. Dirtbag, a mere 130 or so spirit crystals can make you frown and smile, I really doubt that there are any mighty and powerful people behind you guy, this looks like you have not seen the world at all ah. Uh. Although this spirit crystal is also considered a rare item in the universe, for masters and their level of existence, they almost don't bother to use it, as much as they want. Unfortunately, now that the master has fallen and his homeland has been destroyed, here, there aren't many spirit crystals left. Seeing Chang Long's frown and smile, the mysterious existence in that stone statue couldn't help but spit out, even revealing a skeptical gaze. Of course Chang Long didn't know that this guy behind the curtain was spitting on himself, but continued his own musings. Thinking back on the experience of these six levels, Chang Long however was also shuddering. Fortunately, he had quite a lot of means and counted on an orderly response, otherwise, at this moment, he might not be able to stand here. These six levels could be described as an abuse of oneself. Each of the latter levels, the difficulty was at least one level stronger than the previous ones. If it wasn't for the fact that it was possible to come back from the dead here, only to lose the qualification to obtain the inheritance if one failed, Chung Long himself might not have had the courage to break through the levels so carelessly. However, even so, with the two fellows Xiao Fang and Xiong Di in tow, he was still feeling very overwhelmed and tough. When Chang Long entered the seventh level, this time, his opponent changed. In front of his eyes, a snake appeared that looked exactly like him, and could be said to be a perfect replica of everything he was doing right now. For this trial, defeat the self in front of you. The opponent's strength will be you at your peak state. Aside from the same level realm, combat skills, experience, and so on will be the existence that crushes you. You will have 50 chances to break through the level, unlimited time, and if you die, you will respawn in the same place and be resurrected at the entrance of the level. You will not exit the level until you have lost your qualification for the trial, and you can start at any time. As long as you pass the current level, you will be given the opportunity to receive the inheritance. Just as Chang Long was slightly stunned, throughout the passageway, that familiar voice appeared. Looking at this giant python on the opposite side, Chang Long was also frozen. To be honest, after being reborn for so long, he hadn't really taken a good look at his appearance. After all, under constant advancement, his body was also changing all the time. And now, even though the opposite side was a duplicate of himself, Cheng Long couldn't help but say, handsome. That's right, that's the feeling, just like the first time he saw this python just now, he knew that it was a duplicate of himself, perhaps it was a biological instinct. Just as Cheng Long was still admiring the self in front of him, the countdown in front of him had entered the countdown three seconds. Chen Long immediately got energized and prepared for the attack launched by his immediate self. However, the opposite python was simply too fast. Even though their physical qualities and attributes were almost identical, the difference was like a martial arts master and a small child who had never learned martial arts before, the disparity was huge. Holy shit, how can this acceleration still be like this, it actually turns on the maximum horsepower without even warming up, is this the limit of what I can do? The distance between the two sides was only 500 to 600 meters in this space, but the other party had already opened its bloody mouth and appeared in front of his eyes in less than a breath of effort. Without even leaving himself time to react, Chang Long was viciously bitten on the seven inches of his neck. In a short while, Chang Long was completely abused under the attack from the opposite side and lost his first qualification. Chang Long who was reborn and resurrected looked at this strong self in front of him with palpitations, and couldn't help but doubt his life, was this an attack that he could do, was it possible? Master in this introductory seven trials, when it comes to this level is the most difficult. When countless geniuses and demons of the major planets in the universe wanted to join the master's door, most of the previous six levels could be taken without any danger. However, the seventh level, which only a mere five had passed so far, was the true trial. Defeat others may be able to rely on strength to crush, rely on the wisdom of the encounter, rely on conspiracy means and other things that can be used. But to defeat oneself, especially oneself who is stronger than oneself in every aspect, that is as hard as heaven. 50 chances, according to the master himself, when he worshipped the master back then, he also used 51 times before completely defeating that replica that was stronger than himself. This is the rule he set for his disciples, the one who is a disciple can only be stronger than the master, not worse. Little one, although I also want you to inherit your master's legacy, and even risk being targeted by that big brother behind you to guide you here. Whether or not you may be able to pass the trials here and receive the inheritance still depends on your own creation. After all, the rules were set by the master before his body, I won't break them even as an intelligent being, I will only enforce them thoroughly, go for it. Outside, the two Shaofang Xiong Di who didn't enter the passageway just looked at Chun Long's huge body blocking that passageway and didn't move a muscle. Although the two are not far apart, only a short distance of a hundred or so meters, but as a rift valley, not in a time and space in general. Master will be alright. 
The gray-haired Xiaofang had followed Cheng Long out for training for almost four months or so, especially the period of time when they went deep into the underground, it was more than three months. If it wasn't for the fact that as an awakened, her physical quality was different from normal people, and she had the meat carried by Cheng Long to replenish her energy. I'm afraid that at this time, not to mention the gray face, even if there is still a breath is unknown. However, during these two to three months of trials and tribulations, Xiao Fang and Xiong Da's growth was also amazing. Although they couldn't compare to Chun Long, a pervert with a hang-on, compared to those awakened in the outside world, both of them were almost at the top of their game at the moment. Xiao Fang's physical strength also advanced to the level of senior warrior, coupled with the spiritual power, to deal with the general intermediate generals, it should not be a big problem, even if it is a senior general's, there is also the power of a battle. Their nature needless to say, not counting Chang Long's subsidiary aura, according to its own strength, now also broke through to the beast general primary, also awakened a bear's roar sound wave skills. The two of them have also sparred with each other, and the winners and losers are all between 4 and 6, of course, Xiong Di is 4 and Xiao Fang is 6. Spiritual numinaries, it was very normal to challenge at a higher level. If it was combined with Chang Long's affiliated aura, this win rate would have to be reversed. After all, they were all SS-ranked bloodlines, and it made sense to have this kind of cultivation progress. Moreover, they didn't have to develop all aspects like Chen Long, as long as one or two attributes reached the peak of the rank, they would be able to break through. Don't worry, boss will be fine. Xiong Da's message to Chen Long was more sufficient than Xiao Fang's. I don't believe it, I still can't defeat myself? Chen Long started another round of attacks. No, we can't continue to be abused like this, we must think of a way. Once, twice, three times, five times, ten times. Fifteen times, Chung Long was crushed almost lopsidedly when he faced the guy in front of him. Whether it was speed, strength, or skill utilization, the other party had shown himself a wave of extreme and perfect operations with the same physical quality and attributes being equal. It could be said that under these more than ten battles, Chung Long was shocked time and time again and also learned a lot of things. So it's actually possible to operate like this. It's actually possible to attack like this. Such words resounded in Chang Long's heart after every time he was defeated. As the battle went on further and further, the longer it took for him to carry out the next trial. In order to not let the two guys outside wait outside, Chung Long directly told Xiong to buy soul transmission to let the two of them leave this place first and return to the safe zone. After all, there were no supplies here. It had all come down for such a long time, and all that food that had been stockpiled in the system space before had been pretty much consumed in these two to three months of trials. To be honest, he didn't know just how much longer it would take to defeat the self in front of him. Xiong Dei, who had received Chung Long's instructions, obediently took little Fong and left the place. The moment Xiao Fan left, she couldn't help but turn back again and again, her footsteps stopping and stopping. After being away from home for a few months, especially under this kind of post-apocalyptic world, there were alien beasts everywhere, and she had experienced it firsthand. On one side was her master, on the other side was her family, how to choose, she was also torn. Report, someone came out of the cave, a little girl and a bear. Just as Xiao Fang and the two of them exited the trial level, they were spotted by the soldiers who stayed behind. Ever since Chang Long and the others had conducted the trial, the legions outside had tried everything they could to enter this mysterious place, but they were slow to unlock the secret key of this place and enter the true place of trial. Even during these two to three months, they had utilized all sorts of advanced equipment that had been preserved under the cataclysm to probe the cave, but still found nothing. What was left for them was nothing more than a winding labyrinth. The large forces above had all withdrawn, and what remained here was nothing more than a battalion of troops, guarding against the attacks of the alien beasts while incidentally protecting the experts and scholars conducting research on this place. A little girl, a giant bear. Hearing the report, Li Hongfeng finally revealed a smile and couldn't help but say, that's right, it's them, they're out. Having a clear understanding of Cheng Long, then naturally, he would not let go of the investigation of Xiao Fang and Xiongde. After all, the two of them were the existences that had the closest contact with Cheng Long, and it was only natural that the safe zone authorities would map them out. What about that snake? Old Kai on the side immediately asked the question of the key department. Moreover, there was even one more person in this command department, Li Hongfeng's own family, by the name of Li Gua. It was sent from above, rumored to be from the capital side. Li Gua also couldn't help but look at Li Hongfeng who was communicating on the side, he arrived more than a month ago. That is, after Chang Long and the others entered the land of trials, they trekked all the way through the mountains, traversed the passes and mountains, and came to this side of the safe zone not far away. On this journey, if it wasn't for the fact that he was an awakened and had good strength, he really wouldn't have been able to reach the side. It could almost be said that most of the time, he had rushed here through his own legs. The major transportation routes in the outside world had almost all collapsed under the great earthquake, and there weren't too many intact road surfaces to drive on. 
As for airplanes, there was even less to think about, the ground was littered with all sorts of alien beasts in the wilderness, and the sky wasn't exactly in the same place. Those bird-like alien beasts were numerous despite their low strength now. Even if the most advanced airplanes were able to take off through the cleared runway for fire suppression, it would be difficult to fly freely in the clouds like before. The entire world, almost all of it, was not spared. The major safe zones were nothing more than the last safe spots established by mankind. Behind the high walls, not only did they protect the people in the safe zone, but they also lost the right to rule the outside world. Humans built cities to defend themselves and entered the base era. And the safe zone is not safe, some small bases, in this short few months, also have been broken by the beasts. And the people in there, naturally, without much thought, most of the end, became the rations of the beasts. Therefore, right now, the humans desperately wanted to improve their strength, and use it to defend their last home. When he learned that the target he was looking for actually appeared in this kind of ancient ruins, Li Guo followed without hesitation. Thinking of the words that the old chief said to himself, in this time of national disaster and human crisis, we must unite all the forces that can be united to guard our homeland. Li Guo was well aware of that responsibility he bore on his shoulders, it wasn't just the old man's mandate to himself, it was the true thought in the hearts of the majority of the people. That snake didn't show up, we only have the two of them here. Xiong De looked at this heavily armed human soldier in front of him, if Xiao Fang hadn't stopped him, he wouldn't have waited here obediently. In Xiong Da's heart, apart from the boss being able to command himself, it was only this little girl. Because the other party was not only the identity of the boss's disciple that made it scrupulous. More importantly, after such a long time together, this girl is also very much to his liking, that kind of natural closeness, and even something that is not found in the boss. The soldier who stayed here was also trembling with fear, if it wasn't for Xiao Fang being here, he might have run away a long time ago. Facing the giant bear of his nightmares, although it was not the same one, it still made his heart tremble. That's right, he was also from Xiao Qing's company, and during this period of time, it just so happened that it was their company that was on duty here. Xiang Long once again began his journey against himself. After a long period of experience and learning, he was finally able to fight the guy in front of him for three or five rounds before he was killed instead of being abused as soon as he started on the field. Not bad, not bad, there's progress. After Chang Long was revived once more, he finally found one of this guy's breakthroughs. That was to deal with the fact that although it was stronger than himself in every aspect such as experience and skill, the only thing that it had miscalculated, or its fatal shortcoming, was that it was too rational. Machinery is machinery, copy body is not the body, no growth to speak of. It was still the original it, but itself, after being abused over and over again by this, the room for progress was no longer as simple as a little bit. It's getting more and more interesting, even if I don't manage to pass this trial this time, my own harvest is just as full. Chang Long didn't start this trial, he was repeatedly reviewing his own inadequacies and the opponent's breakage under the fight with this guy in front of him over and over again. Gold has no bare feet, no one is perfect, let alone a replica. There were still about 30 more chances, as long as he found out the opponent's flaws, then it would be only a matter of time before he defeated it. A month later, outside the reinforcement regiment camp. Not good, a giant beast is attacking. Xiao Fang brought Xiong Di to follow a portion of the soldiers outside the camp escorting supplies in preparation for returning to the camp. Their mission was to clear this area of the beasts and then escort the soldiers responsible for transportation to safety. It was obvious that the authorities of the Wangyan safety zone were planning to establish a more permanent base here. It was also understandable that the authorities were thinking this way, after all, this place was only half a day's journey from the safe zone and there was such a relic in existence that had not even been detected and understood at the moment. In the face of such a critical location, the authorities would not evacuate until they understood what exactly was in this relic. Before coming out, Master Chang Long had instructed her that some secret things concerning the three of them could not be told to outsiders, while other things could be selectively said to be true or false. This was also one of Chang Long's precautions, after all, Xiao Fang herself was relatively simple and didn't have much heart. In the face of those cunning old foxes among humans, it was actually not easy to keep some secrets. Although he himself had always been close to the humans and maintained a neutral attitude, he had only wanted to support Xiao Fang's family and have a place in this world for him to rest his soul. For the others, it was still the same saying, if people don't offend me, I don't offend them, but if they offend me, I will kill them. Originally, for Chang Long's instructions, Xiao Fang was also in a bit of a dilemma, according to her nature, she would either keep quiet or tell the truth, it wasn't her own style to let her go and lie. But in the end, in the face of Li Hongfeng and Li Gu's questioning of them, she still chose to remain silent on some key issues and said nothing. After all, after this cataclysm and all the changes she had gone through, Xiao Fang had also become mature. People, after all, had to grow up, and the price of growth often meant losing certain things. Seeing that they couldn't ask too many questions, then Li Hongfeng and Li Guo and the others weren't good at pressuring them more. 
A beast general level beast, a spiritual master whose combat power was comparable to that of a senior general, if the other party really started the fire, all of their soldiers here would be annihilated. This kind of situation, this kind of cost, as leaders, was something they never wanted to see. What's more, that mysterious python was in the underground crypt. These two guys had grown to such a point in just two or three months. Then, as their leader, that giant python, how strong it was now was anyone's guess. It wasn't that there weren't any awakened in the camp, but most of them were only at the level of low-level warriors, intermediate-level warriors were relatively few, and high-level warriors, there were only a mere two or three of them in the entire camp. Xiao Fang had also sparred with them, facing twenty flying blades, no one had gone around under her hand. Faced with this kind of powerful helper, Li Hongfeng that was earnestly retained as well as invited her to be the instructor of the entire strength and regiment of awakened warriors. After all, although this girl is not very old, no matter whether it is her own strength as well as the one behind her, but it is quite uncomplicated. In particular, her understanding and knowledge of auras was currently unrivaled in this area. Those awakened people who have no direction at all, only instinct to absorb under her guidance, just this month of work, cultivation can be said to have soared, strength a day a change. Xiao Fang also recognized how perverse the spirit skill technique that her master had taught her was. To know, she had only passed on some of her own experience from the spirit technique to these big brothers and sisters, and it had such an effect. If the spiritual recipe as a whole was truly published, it would be a ray of light in the darkness for the entire human race. So, in the end, little Fong chose to stay and wait for master to come out of the gate. After all, this kind of big matter, without master Chang Long's permission, she wouldn't make a decision without authorization. Respecting one's master was more than just words. Three general great urchin pigs, actually appearing here, I wonder if it's a coincidence or... Xiao Fang couldn't help but frown slightly and said with a sense of steadiness that didn't belong to only her age. Don't be afraid, you guys back off. Xiao Fang looked at the three urchin pigs in front of her that were taller than a one-story building, and couldn't help but immediately activate the flying blades on her body. Xiongde didn't need Xiao Fang's command and naturally pounced on the biggest of them. Those soldiers, however, were nervous, and despite holding firearms in their hands, they did not immediately launch an attack. They slowly escorted the provisions back a bit, cautiously looking at the three big guys in front of them. For one thing, the distance between the two sides was less than four or five hundred meters when they discovered these three woolly gold pigs. With such a short distance, if the other party launched a sprint, it would be very easy to pull in the distance between the two sides. Secondly, this was a long and narrow valley, surrounded by mountains on all sides. Only a small portion in the middle was an abandoned residential area and fields, and a dilapidated highway became the main transportation route connecting the camp to the safe zone. Although they had about a hundred people here, most of them, however, were responsible for the safety of the supply wagons. And even if they went up, they couldn't do much to help, it was just adding to the casualties, and they might also accidentally injure Xiongde, their ally. A handful of flying blades built from beast general level wolverine bones mixed with special metals flew like meteors towards the two remaining pig beasts under the control of Xiaofang's spiritual thoughts. These flying blades were no longer the same set of alloy flying blades from last time. In order to enlist Xiao Fang and the Chang Long behind her, the leaders of the Wang Yan safety zone authorities had put in a lot of blood this time. One must know that beast general level existences were not so easy to kill, especially since there weren't many strong general level strengths amongst the current human population either. To want to hunt and kill a general level beast, it was a considerable price to pay. Wolverine Wolverine, from this name, we know that the other parties is a defensive fey beast, and it is also quite powerful in terms of strength. In the ranking of human beasts, this kind of beast, the Wolverine Wolverine, was ranked as the third existence in the wolf type beasts. And this Eugen pig is also a name that has only been called up recently. Their fur color is like ebony gold, and their skin is as hard as iron, so it is difficult for ordinary bullets to break through their defense. For the time being, there were no species below the level of beast general, and those that appeared in the human field of vision were of the beast general level. The moment Xiongde pounced on the largest Yujinbog and Xiaofan launched her flying blade attack, the three Yujinbogs also moved. They also seemed to have sensed that these two guys in front of them were more of a threat than those two-legged beasts, and that they could only devour those two-legged beasts if they settled these two guys first. One of them even had eyes filled with anger and resentment. It clearly remembers, back then in a pig farm, many of their kind, was these two-legged beasts captive, and then killed. If it wasn't for this great earthquake, it was lucky to have survived and swallowed a fruit by mistake, it would have followed in the footsteps of those family members. Therefore, devouring the two-legged beast became its obsession. Revenge, revenge, make the two-legged beast pay. Even though Xiao Fan was very calm on the surface, she was still under pressure when faced with these two beast general level urchin pigs. After all, in the previous battles, she had been assisting master in Xiongde, and was responsible for strategizing on the side. Even during this period of time, 
being the instructor of this strength and regiment of awakened, being the C position, the core position, however, most of the hunts were still intermediate beast soldiers with a small portion of high-level beast soldiers. It was the first time she had faced a beast general level beast on her own, and there were two of them at a time. With a grave expression on her face, she didn't dare to be too gullible and dealt with it carefully. The defense power of that wooling pig really wasn't something to sneeze at. Even though the alloy prop in Xiao Fang's hand was forged from Wolverine's skeleton combined with special metal, in a short period of time, it was very difficult to completely break through the defense of the Wolverine. What's more, Xiao Fang couldn't retreat, she could only attack from one side, because behind her, were those company soldiers. If she couldn't stop these two big guys and intervene in their direction of attack through assault, then the end of those soldiers, was self-evident. The twenty flying blades, whose speed was as fast as meteors under Xiao Fang's maneuvering, shuttled back and forth in mid-air, splitting into two parts, each attacking the two Ugwe pigs in front of them. This kind of operation, the degree of control of the spiritual master has a very sexual requirement, good thing that Xiao Fang these days and Chang Long together under the experience, in this aspect, grew a lot. The two ebony pigs faced the attack of Xiao Fang's flying blades, they also did not dare to be distracted, and dealt with it carefully. Even though the other party did not break through the thick defense on their own body for the time being, the strength of each impact of the flying blades was not trivial. Not only was it able to delay their counterattacking footsteps, but also in terms of force, it was extremely painful. Just like a huge hammer, it ruthlessly smashed on them, causing them to grimace and grunt in pain. Moreover, even though they had thick skin and flesh, they were faced with these flying blades that attacked at high speeds, and with the passage of time, a scar appeared as well. Only, at the beast general level, not only were their body defenses stronger than the average beast soldier by more than a single star, it was the sinews and muscles in their bodies that were also far more than eight blocks away in terms of defense. Xiongda's side is also fierce, the two beasts collide together, like two small hills, that fight as the sky and the earth. There wouldn't be much excitement between them, a sprinting attack from you, a bare paw slap from me, even the houses that were originally in ruins were once again completely destroyed under the exchange of blows between the two of them. Platoon leader, should we support a wave? A warrior stared dead ahead at the battle situation, although only a minute or two had passed since the battle, they felt like a century had passed, it was very long. Heartbeats became tense with every attack and defense of Xiao Fang and Xiongdi, and their bodies were covered in sweat. That black bear and the biggest one, the ebony pig, had fought equally, and had even vaguely gained the upper hand, and there wasn't too much that was disturbing to people. But the little Fong in front of them, in their view, it was full of pressure. Because, in terms of strength, in the end, her physical body still did not enter the battle general level. Compared to a body like the urchin pigs and theirs that had been baptized after promotion, it was still a lot worse. If it wasn't for her weird flying blades that were delaying the opposite side's attack, I'm afraid that she would have already lost at this moment. More importantly, anyone with a discerning eye could see it. If the little girl was facing an urchin pig, winning would only be a matter of time. But here, her opponents, were two. These guys were thoroughly killed from the pile of monsters, and were very old-fashioned in terms of experience. Find favorable terrain and spread out your fire. We must attract the attention of one of the beasts and share the pressure of the little instructor. This way, when that big bear triumphs, we'll have a chance to turn the tide. The platoon leader immediately said towards the warriors behind him. What about these provisions, they are the supplies for the brothers in the camp. At this time, a soldier couldn't help but ask. The platoon leader glanced at him and didn't blame him. After all, in this post-apocalyptic environment, all of these kinds of supplies didn't come from an easy place, they were all plucked from the teeth of the people in the safe zone. Under the cataclysm, it wasn't just human habitats that were destroyed, many of the facilities that were finally there were destroyed under the super earthquake. Despite the fact that the humans had fought to save themselves and build cities to defend themselves in the past few months, they were still on the verge of dying, living a precarious life. Let's put it aside for now, kill these three beasts and then talk about it, their purpose is to hunt us, these supplies are obviously not attractive enough to be much of a problem. Hearing the platoon's words, the soldiers did not dwell on it, and they all began to look for favorable terrain, and began to fire out at one of the urchin pigs. With the soldiers holding it back, the pressure here on Xiao Fang was immediately reduced by quite a bit. Although the long and narrow valley was not conducive to her defense and attack with the help of the buildings, it also limited the strength of the piglets. Even though the beast general level beasts had the appropriate intelligence, they were still inferior to humans. Xiao Fang moved around, narrowly avoiding the charge of one of the pigs. At the same time, she didn't forget to maneuver her flying blade, and when the other Eugen pig was about to open its fanged mouth at a warrior on the side and start arching its body, a small black blade the size of half a palm instantly pierced into its eye. The soldier who originally thought that he was about to be finished was closing his eyes and waiting to die when he realized that a fierce fury came from that huge beast, and then slammed hard into the wall on one side, letting out a fierce and miserable scream. On the other hand, 
Xiong Du was stronger than his opponent after all, and after realizing that he was not Xiong Du's opponent, the pig actually chose to escape. Originally wanted to chase the bear suddenly stopped in his tracks, turned his head to look at the not far away Xiao Fang, immediately ran all the way wildly over, set off a burst of dust, to the eye injury of that a bear pounce on the attack over. In the end, after 5 or 6 minutes of fierce fighting, in addition to the largest of the ebony pig escaped, the remaining two, fell in the wreckage of this residential area. And the human side of the cost, paid the lives of two warriors, as well as seven wounded warriors, provisions are more intact, did not receive much attrition. And these casualties of warriors were basically to delay the footsteps of that Ugwe pig, preventing the supply wagons from being destroyed and being affected by the waves. Xiaofang was in a sorry state, panting as she looked at the two warriors who hadn't left any complete skeletons behind, her eyes couldn't help but show sadness. The big living people who had been talking and laughing together a few minutes ago were now gone, and her heart blamed itself. If she was a little stronger, this wouldn't have happened. In fact, when those two warriors were attacked, Xiaofang wanted to give help, but she was dragged by the other urchin pig and couldn't get out of the way, so she could only watch as it was killed. Be saddened, it's not your fault, you did your best. They died an honorable death, if it wasn't for the two of you, we might have all been wiped out. Although the platoon leader was just as grief-stricken, his comrades sacrificed in front of his eyes, no one would feel good. However, looking at Xiao Fang's sad and self-blaming appearance, he couldn't help but open his mouth to comfort. What he said is also in his heart, although Xiao Fang is strong, but she is still a child, do not blame her. Not bad, not bad, worthy of being my Chung Long's disciple, this time has greatly improved. Just when Xiao Fang was frustrated, a familiar voice sounded in her mind. Master. Xiao Fang's eyes couldn't help but look in all directions, but she didn't see that familiar figure and couldn't help but shake her head, thinking she was hallucinating. Silly girl, I'm still underground and will have to wait before I come out. However, I was able to watch your battle just now. Even though there are some beauty flaws, it's already quite good for the current you. However, those two big brothers died. If I had tried my best, perhaps they wouldn't have died. Xiao Fang's expression was a bit downcast, although she had seen a lot of life and death since the cataclysm, but from the bottom of her heart, she was unwilling for those around her to be harmed. Silly girl, isn't death a common occurrence under this chaotic world? You've also followed me for so many days, and you've seen so many lives and deaths. In the future, there will be more births and deaths waiting for you, you should get used to it. Underground, in a very bright hall, Chang Long hovered in the center of the hall, comforting little Fang's emotions. At this moment, he was in a great mood, the harvest this time was truly unexpected. Therefore, in the face of his little disciple's frustration, he immediately used his spiritual thoughts to comfort. This little girl is indeed good, if not for your special existence, I might have chosen her to receive her master's inheritance. In midair beside Chun Long, a little girl over a meter tall floated. The little girl had a pair of black wings growing behind her back that flickered with poofs. A pair of curved, diamond-like horns grew on both sides of her ears on top of her head. Combined with that delicate face and evil eyes, the beauty was suffocating. The whole body was covered in a tight silver-colored dress, but the skin that was exposed was dotted with starlight. Behind the arched buttocks, a mechanical metal tail swayed slightly, which could be described as sensual. However, it was a pity that this fellow was a shadow-like existence, without entity, the kind that could only be seen. Chang Long also froze when he saw her for the first time, and couldn't help but praise the perfection. Oh, little Simeon, if there was no existence of me, you would have chosen the little girl? Little Bell's words aroused Chen Long's curiosity and he couldn't help but inquire. Call me Demon Lord Simi, before I recognize your master status, you are not allowed to call me Little Simi, understand? Simi rolled his eyes towards Chen Long in a good way and hummed softly. Alright, Little Simi, I get it. Chen Long looked at the guy in front of him with a breathless expression in his heart, and couldn't help but think, Simi, isn't it just a senior sister? This inherited teacher of his own was indeed in existence with a story. Guess it's another one of those dog-blooded love triangles, where the senior brother is in love with the senior sister, but the senior sister is married to someone else. I've waited for more than half a million years on this broken planet of yours, but I haven't been able to wait for the right person. I didn't expect that this time, I actually accidentally found the two of you qualified to exist, I was shocked and delighted. More importantly, the two of you are actually still together, which makes me even more surprised. After all, Beings that are able to awaken in the brain domain and develop their spiritual thoughts to 80 are originally very rare. And not to mention the existence of those who reached 100 and became spiritual numinaries. Such beings are rare in the universe, not to mention the fact that two of them have actually appeared in the same era on this crappy planet you're on. Especially this guy of yours, with his huge spiritual numinous power, it's as if he's a freak of nature. A mere apprentice level existence possesses such strong numinous power that is comparable to the quality of the physical body. It's enough to show that your soul power is also very powerful, completely capable of practicing martial arts and soul at the same time, 
and is the disciple candidate that the master most wanted to find back then. That little girl, despite being a bit worse in the physical body, and her soul thoughts are far worse compared to a freak like you, is still a ceiling level existence on this planet. You said that if I don't choose you guys, who else can I choose? Chung Long couldn't help but feel a bit smug as he listened to this guy praising himself. In the end, he was the chosen one, and he himself was an existence of overwhelming luck after all. Not only had the devouring system taken a liking to himself, but even the legacy of this predecessor, who had already fallen hundreds of thousands of years ago, had been obtained by himself. If this wasn't the chosen son, an existence loved by heaven and earth, then what was the real chosen son like? Looking at Chang Long's complacent appearance, Si Miao directly knocked a chestnut on Chang Long's snakehead, then said, This is complacent la, but gently praise you a few words only, your current level, in the universe of the same level of existence, even the dregs of glory cannot be counted, cannot be complacent. To know, when the master across the universe, is also considered a gifted existence, but also dare not be complacent. The vast universe, so large that I do not know the boundaries, I do not know how many beings and races have been bred. With the old master when the universe tens of millions of years, but also traveled the universe of the tip of the iceberg. His insights, but only a drop in the ocean under the dome of the sky. Young man, on the journey of cultivation, one must have a heart of reverence, understand? Xiao Ximia Ta Chen Long in front of him with an old-fashioned look. You have to know that talent, bloodline, and these innate things are certainly important, but chance, heart, and diligence, what you humans call acquired qualities, are also existences that can't be ignored on the path of cultivation. Even if you become the first strongest person on your planet in the future, you will still be a scum and gray level existence in the universe. After all, as small as galaxies, as large as star districts, clusters of galaxies, cosmic countries under these geographical divisions, geniuses, but also will become the dust of the multitude of people. In your human words, there are people outside the sky. Cheng Long couldn't help but fall silent when he heard Si Mei's words, she was right, his own insights or his cultivation level was nothing more than a frog in the bottom of a well. One must keep a humble heart and a tough pace in order to step out step by step, step into a higher rank, and guard everything that one wants to guard. Seeing Cheng Long fall silent, Si Mei couldn't help but smile, and continued, you shouldn't be presumptuous, I can select you as a legacy on behalf of the master, that also means you're good enough. You should know that back then, there was no shortage of people who wanted to join the master's door and become a member of the Cloudness Star, there was no shortage of elites from the cosmic countries, but they simply couldn't make it into the master's eyes. And among those people, there was no shortage of strong people at the universe level, domain lord level, or even sector lord level, so you are considered a lucky one. Cosmic level, domain lord level, realm lord level, is this the hierarchical division above the stellar level? Chang Long couldn't help but ask, he had previously known about the existence of the stellar grade in the system, but had no clear knowledge of the grades above it. It was because when those ranked realms and such above were present, the current ones were still sealed. This was the first time that I knew this from Simei's mouth. Suppressing the inner urge to ask, waiting for Simei to continue to speak, after all, after so many years of repression, it is not easy to find a person who can communicate, this kind of mood he understands very well. One's own continue to listen is, after all, this guy in their ears have been blah 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 for a long time. The topic returned to a day ago. Chang Long, who had experienced 42 failures, already had enough to support himself for dozens of rounds in front of that replica. Even, there were several times when he was so close to being able to completely defeat his opponent. But in a real life and death battle, this little bit is a billion points, not sloppy. Chang Long, who had once again recovered, looked at his body and couldn't help but marvel. My current strength is completely capable of crushing my previous self, even though it's also a senior beast general, the gap here is incomparable. The level of the rank realm can only illustrate the most basic gap between individuals. However, when it comes to winning or losing a battle, especially in a life and death battle, those demons who are able to kill strong people over the ranks, each and every one of them is a top-notch fellow in every aspect. Whether it was equipment, skills, personal combat awareness, or even the timing and surrounding environment, they were all able to utilize it perfectly. Even a single blade of grass, a single tree, and a single drop of water are all magic treasures for winning the battlefield. Cheng Long once again hovered in place, closing his eyes as the battle process between himself and the replica surfaced in his mind. The virtual space of this trial was very user-friendly, and for every battle, there was a different scene, and it could be said to be 100% of that real environment. Every blade of grass and tree in it had an important influence on it during the battle. Especially his spiritual power attribute was originally high, under the replica's attack, Cheng Long was learning time and time again, and also finally comprehended Xiao Fang's skill of manipulating flying blades. Before, he was merely strong in spiritual numinous power. Although there were two skills in terms of the attributes of spiritual thoughts, spiritual illusion, and soul seal, most of the time, they didn't have much effect and were just a supplementary means. 
But now, having been abused dozens of times, he had a clear perception of all the existing means. Come on, let's fight one last time. Cheng Long closed his eyes for a long time and finally opened them, this time, I will definitely kill this duplicate of myself. After carefully observing the simulated environment this time, this was a narrow canyon. The canyon was about 2 kilometers long, the widest part was about a mile or so, and the narrow part was 20 to 30 meters wide. On both sides were several hundred meters high cliffs, a bare piece of land, except for some strange rock projections, there were no trees or plants. And the position of himself and that guy just happened to be at the two ends of the canyon. Ding, the trial continues, countdown begins. As the prompt sounded, a crisp voice broadcasted the rhythm. Three, two, one. Right at the moment the countdown started, Chung Long moved. Strike first and suffer later. His figure was like a phantom, and a sound explosion was heard in the air. That replica certainly wouldn't be a sitting duck, similarly his body moved and disappeared in place. The most primitive and passionate physical collision began immediately. The attributes and physical quality of both sides were the same, and what was being competed for now was nothing more than combat skills and awareness. Shang Long, after dozens of rounds of being defeated, also found that the guy in front of him, every time he started, he would inherit the memory of the last battle. It was like an AI that would generally self-learn, and although it didn't have its own emotional memory in this regard, it was incomparably spiritual in battle. If you want to defeat him, you have to start from this point. A number of times, when fighting with this guy, Chung Long realized that the other party would always attack his own weaknesses, making him busy running for his life, but was firmly grasped the rhythm. Therefore, under these later battles, Chang Long was trying to save the day by trying to regain the initiative of mastering the tempo and not being brought into the ditch by it. When Chang Long saw that the other party was also rushing towards him at a phantom-like speed with only less than 20 or so meters to go, instead of choosing to tangle hard, Chang Long slammed towards a rock wall protruding about a dozen or so meters from the cliff on one side, dodging that replica's entanglement. That's right, it wasn't drilling, after all, there were no holes in this simulated cliff for Chang Long to drill, but rather, he directly crashed through it. This action, could not help but make that replica body froze, then opened its bloody mouth and tried to bite over towards Chun Long's body. It was just a program, and those combat skills and experiences were also based on Chang Long's physical qualities after scanning. After being empowered through the reinforcement in the background, this replica, only then, became so powerful. With a distance of several dozen meters, Chang Long's speed was already as fast as his body's extreme. Seeing that he was about to hit the raised rock wall, but Chung Long inclined his head, and his body was immediately like a 90 degree angle. The scale armor of his entire body opened up, attaching itself to that rock wall, and his body was nailed to it with death. And at this time, that replica body just arrived right below Chung Long. Chang Long made a split second decision, twisted his head, and sprayed a mouthful of venom at the replica that came with its mouth open. To be honest, at his current level of senior beast general, although a level 4 venom spray had a certain amount of power, it was unable to cause fatal damage. However, Chang Long's venom spray, he originally did not expect to have much effect on the replica, but rather to influence its movements. As long as the other party dodged his venom spray, then there would be a short gap in time, just like now. And this kind of gap, between the master's moves, would undoubtedly be a huge crack, a critical moment that could determine life and death. As expected, although that python was an AI, it was a copy of itself and had to abide by animal instincts. The moment it twisted its head to avoid the venom, it gave Chang Long an opportunity. In the nick of time, Chang Long on the rock wall immediately opened his bloody mouth towards the same below, and with a swift and swift momentum, he directly bit the replica's seven inches. The replica body wants to struggle, and the thief will not stop, was bitten by the back part of the body or toward Chang Long winding. Chang Long had long been familiar with this tactic, and could be said to be very familiar with it. After all, both sides were at the same level, and it was almost impossible for a replica to hoop itself to death. More importantly, he had already bitten it seven inches. The seven inches of a snake was the neck of a human, no matter if you had a world-class martial arts skill and super strength, as long as your neck was pinched, you almost had the life of surrendering your weapons. Therefore, in this battle, this guy lost. Looking at the gradually disappearing replica, as well as the surroundings, Chan Long exhaled deeply. Don't look at himself as winning easily this time, it seemed like the process was just a so a so, but this was exchanged for 40 times of failure. The other party had fed himself moves over and over again, sending combat experience and improving his combat skills, and could also be said to be his mentor. Only, this mentor was a bit ruthless, not charging tuition, only charging for his life. If this wasn't a virtual simulation space, the grass on one's grave would have grown tall. Congratulations, you have passed the seventh level of the trial, move forward along the passageway and come receive the inheritance. Just as Chang Long was booing, the surroundings changed drastically and that familiar voice rang in his ears. I'm. Here. 
Cheng Long looked at everything in front of him and couldn't help but be stunned, despite his previous guesses, he didn't expect this place to actually be like this. What appeared in front of Cheng Long's eyes was a hemispherical spaceship that was nearly a thousand meters and meters high, and its diameter was even four or five kilometers long, like a big pot lid. Cheng Long's current position was in the outer part of the spaceship near the inner passage. However, the passageway of this spaceship was full of traces of battle, marks left by all kinds of swords and weapons, and even a few fist marks that were comparable to the size of his head. To know, the current him, not a small snake, up to 50 or 60 meters long body, its tonnage has even reached a staggering 25 tons. Opening the attribute panel, he looked at his current data. During these three months or so of underground life, he himself had naturally fallen behind quite a bit when it came to cultivation because he had spent most of his time in trial break-ins. However, despite this, in terms of the level realm, he had actually entered the advanced beast general level, and he could be said to have skyrocketed in terms of combat experience and skill. Host, Shun Long. Type, Snake. Bloodline, SSSR, 512x Potential Enhancement, increases the speed and efficiency of absorbing heaven and earth's aura. Technique, Spirit Decree. Realm, Beast General Level. Level, 3 thirds, all 6 basic attributes can advance to the next level. Length, 60 meters. Body weight, 25,000 kilograms. Remaining lifespan, 35 years. Breakthrough to Beast King level can increase lifespan by 50 years. Extreme Strength, 600 plus slash 700. One point of attribute increases attack power by one point. Extreme Stance, 600 plus slash 700. One point of attribute increases movement speed by one point per second slash meter. Extreme Physique, 600 plus slash 700. One point of attribute increases recovery power by one point. Extreme Armor, 600 plus slash 700. One point of attribute increases defense by one point. Extreme Endurance, 600 plus slash 700. One point of attribute equals one minute of lasting output. Extreme Nihility, 600 plus slash 700, 1 point of attribute increases soul pressure by 1 point and distance by 10 meters. Energy, 5750 points, 100 points of energy are converted into 1 point of evolution, which changes every time you advance in the realm, and can be obtained by devouring objects containing energy, as well as by drawing aura. Sealed Energy, 1 million points. Evolution Points, 13215 points. Satiety, 10%. Cannot get food energy after satiety is full. Digestion speed, 2000%. Satiety level will be cleared within 4 hours after devouring prey. Skills. Venom spray, April 10th, consumes 400 evolution points to advance to the next level. Toxin immunity, 1 10th, consumes 100 evolution points to advance to the next level. Eyes of fire, 2 out of 10, consume 200 evolution points to advance to the next level. Eye of heaven map, 3 out of 10, next level consumes 300 evolution points. Spiritual Illusion, 1 tenth, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Soul Mark, 1 out of 10, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Powerful, 1 tenth, consume 100 evolution points to advance to the next level. System Space, 1 tenth, next level consumes 100 evolution points. The reason why Chang Long could see his position clearly was that, for one thing, the passageway under his feet was the completely transparent kind, and he could see his surroundings perfectly. Secondly, his spiritual numinous power already had 600 attribute points when he advanced to senior beast general, and its perception range had reached an astonishing 6 kilometers or so. Although he couldn't thoroughly perceive in detail every living being in the range as accurately as the heaven's eye map, he was still able to do a cursory observation of the target. If one wanted to accurately search every target in the range of perception like the heaven's eye map, the amount of mental energy it consumed was terrifying, so, in general, Chang Long was not in the habit of this sadistic habit. After all, with the low consumption existence of the heavens I map, there was no need to do so himself. There's no need to wonder, come in, you've passed the test and are already the master's inherited disciple, I'll answer your doubts one by one. Just as Chang Long was curiously looking at all this in front of him, the voice said again. When Chang Long came to the central part of the airship, which was the core control room, he was dumbfounded by the technological gadgets that he recognized and did not recognize in front of him. Then, Sime appeared in front of Chang Long's eyes. Chang Long, you're finally here. Introduce yourself, my name is Si Mei, I'm an intelligent being and the current owner of this spaceship. Chang Long was slightly stunned, how did this guy know his name, and this guy was too evil. For a moment, Chang Long was actually lost in thought. There's no need to be surprised, the entire world is under my surveillance, knowing your name isn't that difficult. Si Mei explained, then continued with a slightly grumbling tone. The natives of your planet are also too bad, this honored one waited for half a million years before waiting for you. In your words, the flowers have blossomed an unknown number of times. Chung Long quickly came back to his senses, looking at the little man in front of him, he couldn't help but freeze. Half a million years, it couldn't be bragging, right? 
But on second thought, he didn't feel anything strange, he had a system, he had been reborn as a snake, it really wasn't too much of a surprise that someone else had lived for half a million years. You don't believe it? Seeing Cheng Long's skeptical eyes, Si Miao smiled slightly. It's normal for others to not believe it, the existence of you, a snake body and human soul, is so bizarre in itself. For me to live for half a million years, compared to you, it's not necessarily rare. No, I believe it. Cheng Long replied with his thoughts while nodding his head, then inquired, How did you tell that I am a snake-bodied human soul? Could this also be monitored by you? Even though he didn't understand how this guy connected with his mind, he didn't look deeper. However, when this guy said his biggest secret, the snake body and human soul, he immediately became surprised and couldn't help but inquire. After all, he had encountered enough various weird things since he was reborn. This strange and weird world had all sorts of strange and weird things. One must know that Xiao Fang had also miraculously established divine contact with himself in the first place, and was able to carry on a conversation at once. The other party utilized some special means to communicate with his own spiritual thoughts, and knowing his own name wasn't too much of a surprise. Before in Xiao Fang his father Wang Gui they have talked about this thing, be monitored is also normal. But the matter of himself being a snake body and human soul, has been rotting in his stomach, never said to anyone, how did this guy know? This secret, if you are sure to worship the master and become the heir of our cloud mist star lineage, I will tell you thoroughly, otherwise you don't need to know. However, don't worry, the existence that can tell this secret of yours, on this planet, there is no one else but me. Hearing Si Mei's words, Chang Long was slightly relieved, in fact, for this matter, he was just unwilling to advance, really even if he was seen by someone at that time, so what? Stronger than himself can't help it, weaker than himself, just don't know how to shut up. Thinking about it, there is no need to be concerned. However, Chang Long quickly thought of another thing, this guy said that he was an intelligent being, and wanted to worship himself, in connection with all this that he had encountered. Obviously, this intelligent being called Si Mei was also desperately looking for a qualified successor. However, he was also curious as to what would happen if he didn't agree to become an inheritor, so he asked. If you don't agree, you will be directly obliterated, Si Miao said in a very domineering manner. Good overbearing Si Mei, is there such a thing as you forcing someone to accept the inheritance? Chen Long was also slightly exasperated when he heard this. Despite entering this place and passing through the trials after a lot of hard work, it was for this mysterious inheritance, in order to enhance some of his cards for himself. But to be forced to accept the inheritance in such an overbearing manner, that was another thing. Overbearing? I don't think so. I did give you two choices. Either accept the inheritance, become the master's disciple, and inherit the cloud mist star lineage. Either that or die, I'm already being very nice, okay? What's more, so what if you are overbearing? Now you are in my territory, is a dragon you have to give me lie down, is a tiger you give me lie down. That's how I am, so what can you do? Sini's eyes revealed a trace of disdain as he leisurely said. Our cloud mist star lineage is so overbearing, this is the inheritance, and the lesson I gave you before you formally pay your respects. Chang Long was speechless for a while, this girl is not only evil and suffocating, and so unreasonable, no wonder it's called Devil Si Mei, it doesn't live up to the word devil at all. Say it, how do you choose? Si Nini waved his right hand in front of his chest and said carelessly, Do I have a choice? Chang Long rolled his eyes helplessly. Seeing Chang Long's appearance, Si Mei couldn't help but heave a smile, then shrugged. Right? You people here have a saying, it's called the one who knows what's right is the one who knows what's wrong, and that's the law of survival in the universe. Si Mei's delicate little hands touched Chang Long's snake head, flapped the little wings behind her, then flew ahead, twisted her head, and said in a very serious manner, Come, I'll take you to pay homage to the master. Chang Long followed Si Mei, passing through different rooms of different sizes, and then came to the most central part of the entire airship, which was also the largest room. To be precise, it was a very large hall. The height of the entire great hall was around a hundred meters, and its length and width was even five to six hundred meters, making the internal space very huge. This is the command cabin of this airship, and it's also the place where the master spent most of his time stranded when he traveled through the universe and ventured into the vault of heaven back then. Sini began to introduce the airship. Traveling through space in such a large spaceship, shuttling through the various parts of the sea of stars, what a getaway. Chang Long also sighed leisurely, his eyes filled with envy. Yes, this spaceship was purchased by the master only after he spent almost 70% of his wealth and took out a lot of loans in the star bank. Unfortunately, after that battle half a million years ago, not only did the master and his seven immortal servants fall, including this ship, his favorite ship, it was also almost 70% destroyed. Most of the functions were destroyed, unable to fly again, leaving only some functions that don't serve much purpose anymore. Even I, who lost my previous body, slept for a long time before I was able to awaken. Seven immortal servants, 70% of the wealth, starry sky bank, pay back the loan. Chang Long was also very surprised to hear this information. 
To be honest, even though he had the system as a divine artifact in existence, but currently, he knew very little about this world, so it could be said that he was blind. And now, he was able to know a lot of things he didn't know before through Simei's existence, which was also rewarding. There are some things you don't need to know right now, and talking to you would only dampen your self-confidence. Next, let's worship the master first. Simei clapped her small hand, and the entire hall violently went from a dim color to bright and incomparable. Then, with a sound the operation of various machinery rattled. About a minute later, in the middle of the hall, seven coffins of different heights, made of unknown materials, resembling glass and completely transparent, appeared. The center of the hall is also the largest coffin, somewhat similar to the bronze general, very ancient and solemn. The entire coffin is about 12 or 13 feet long, 10 to 10 meters wide, and the height is about 7 or 8 meters. Next to the six coffins, lying creatures are also very strange, five of them are similar to humans, but not the same as humans, at least look out or flesh and blood. But the outermost one on the left, bright and shiny is completely different, body similar to Transformers General, is a pile of complex metal components. Seven coffins did not lie flat, but all standing, very peculiar. Moreover, Cheng Long just slightly swept down a few mysterious existences in this coffin, especially when he saw the eyes of one of them, that stern look seemed to pull himself into the cosmic firmament in an instant, and a giant comparable to the size of the sun appeared in front of himself, whose face could not be seen, emitting a scorching light that made it impossible to open one's eyes. With a wave of the other party's big hand, he was like a mole cricket, feeling as if there was a mountain pressing down on his body and there was no way to avoid it, so he could only wait for the arrival of death. Luckily, at this time, a cool force came from his own body, forcibly dragging himself out. After coming to his senses, Chun Long seemed to feel that the moment just now was as long as if a century had passed. The tremor that came from his soul caused him to move his eyes away, not daring to continue scrutinizing the other existences. Immortal level powerhouses, even in death, are not something that ordinary beings can observe. Fortunately, the spirit machine coffin in front of you has bound most of their pressure. Otherwise, if they were truly placed in the outside world, at this distance, not to mention you, even a stellar level existence would already be dead. Si Miao looked at Cheng Long in front of him, and couldn't help but reveal a few curious colors. A little guy who was not even at the planetary level, faced with this kind of powerful pressure, actually only went into a trance and did not suffer any other damage. If it were an ordinary living being, at least some undesirable symptoms would have appeared at this moment, ranging from bleeding from the seven orifices to mental disorientation. This is also I just forgot to remind the guy, cannot look at the eyes of these corpses. However, the process of the dragon has such a performance, but also out of her surprise, not worthy of the existence of a great power behind. So strong? An existence that has been dead for half a million years can still have such an amazing pressure? Chun Long's curiosity was sufficiently aroused, and he couldn't help but look at Si Miao. Immortal immortal, you should have guessed from the name that existences that have reached this realm are almost always immortal. Just like the master back then, even if his body really died and his soul perished, as long as he still retained a trace of soul fragments, he would be able to be resurrected, this is immortality. But didn't Senior also die? Chan Long instantly blurted out, but immediately realized that he seemed to have said the wrong thing. There was no blame in Si Mei's eyes as she looked at Chang Long at the moment, there was an endless sadness. She slowly said, yes, even after reaching the master's realm, one is still dead after all. Immortality is not immortality, after all the enemy's power is too powerful. Even back then, the master used all of his means and fought with all his might. Even if the two souls of the servants under him, Desolate River and Suotian Mingshuite, blew themselves up, it was still difficult for the master to escape his fate of falling. I'm sorry, I just did. Seeing Si Mui in such grief, Chung Long couldn't help but feel pity, a sense of guilt rising up in his belly. It's alright, come on, worship the master with me. Si Mei revealed a trace of indescribable fatigue and wiped a tear from the corner of her eye. After half a million years, I can finally give an account to my master today. She floated in front of that coffin in the very center, her small hand gently touched the bronze-like shell, and then a magical scene appeared in front of Chang Long's eyes. Only to see the entire shell of that coffin slowly disappearing like starlight, to be precise, it became transparent, revealing the true face of that senior inside. With the experience from earlier, Chang Long didn't recklessly observe this time, but carefully narrowed his eyes into a slit, ready to close his eyes immediately if there was an accident. After all, spiritual pressure Chang Long was still aware of, just like his spiritual illusion and soul pressure, both of which needed to be cast through his eyes. Don't be afraid, the master won't make it hard for you like they did, be bold and rest assured in your worship. Chang Long looked at the strong man in the giant coffin, the appearance of this senior was a bit cool like the demon race in the novels of his previous life, not only did he have two golden horns on his head and simian on his ears, but he also had four arms. The height of the entire body was around 30 meters, if you look at the whole thing, it was even bigger than his own physique. 
This made Cheng Long think of the news he had watched at Xiao Fang's house earlier. That giant that was unearthed at the bottom of the sea had the same four arms, but that didn't have a head. And in terms of stature, compared to the senior in front of him, it seemed to be a lot smaller. That skeleton was only about 10 meters high. Cheng Long couldn't help but voice out the doubts in his heart and look towards Si Miao. The guy you're talking about is nothing more than a casualty of that great battle. A domain lord level existence is nothing more than a minion level. At first, I don't know which one of the few of them clipped his head with a sword. Only the guy who could be seen by his master's enemy was also an extraordinary existence. That guy's life core wasn't hidden in his head, but in the location of his heart, which is why such a corpse was left behind. Domain master level, life core, what the hell is this? About the upper limit of the level I only know about planetary level and stellar level, and I don't know much about the specific stuffs inside, can you tell me about it? Cheng Long respectfully bowed his head and saluted three times like a human to the giant senior in front of him, who was half as tall as he was when he raised his body, and then said, since he was going to get the other party's inheritance, then, as a late learner, paying homage to a master and learning the art, the salute could not be abolished. Let me put it to you this way, in terms of the hierarchy in the universe, according to the language of your world, the lowest is the apprentice level like you now, who have just stepped into the path of cultivation. Existences like yours can basically only live on their home planets, and most of you, for the rest of your lives, will have difficulty leaving the planet under your feet, except for being very developed cosmic kingdoms. At such a level, you are not even a cultivator in the universe, knowing that cultivators are divided into two different cultivation paths, martial artists and spiritual chanting masters. Regardless of which race in the universe, the general division is actually like this, it's just called differently. And above the apprentice level is what you know as the planetary level. Existences at the planetary level were only qualified to become cultivators. They are already able to actively absorb cosmic energy, what you now call aura, forming an energy sphere of their own in the illusory consciousness of their minds. With this sphere, planetary level cultivators were worthy of becoming transcendentals. They must not survive without the help of the outside air. They can form a new energy cycle within their bodies to counteract the gravitational pull of their home planet's magnetic field, and thus fly through the air with their physical bodies without the use of any props. At the same time, planetary level practitioners could also initially master the use of aura, so that they could release aura at a longer distance to attack their targets. This aura has attributes, and the first step to become a practitioner is to master and awaken their own energy attributes. In the vast universe, the universe rules affect the whole universe, all the energy attributes are categorized into nine kinds, which are gold, wood, water, fire, earth, wind, thunder, poison, and light. These nine energy attributes are also one of the nine most fundamental laws that construct the entire universe, and are also the laws that can be mastered by all intelligent beings. Planetary level practitioners are considered to be just starting out in the universe, and can barely make ends meet if they utilize spaceships to travel through the major galaxies. Chen Long was listening in awe. Although he knew that the realm of cultivation couldn't only have a few existences like beast soldiers, beast generals, beast kings, and beast gods at the planetary level. However, he also did not expect that the planetary level ones were actually so miserable in the vast universe, barely making ends meet. This is too bad. Chang Long couldn't help but say. Poor, that depends on who you compare it to, you think a planetary level cultivator is that worthless. On a living planet, it's estimated that not even a single planetary star level existence may come out in a few hundred or even a thousand years. In the universe, planetary level existences are protected. The fate of a planet with a planetary level cultivator and a planet without a planetary level cultivator was very different when they were discovered. Planets with planetary ranks, if they were lucky, registered their cosmic accounts first and purchased ownership of their planets. No one else could make an open invasion, after all, it was private territory. Once someone messed around in someone else's private planet without permission, they were subject to disciplinary action by the virtual universe company. A light case would be compensation or exile, and a heavy case would be direct killing. This was the virtual universe corporation's protection for every cultivator, and it was an iron law that could not be changed. And the fate of a planet without the presence of a planetary star level powerhouse, when it is discovered, is quite miserable and can only be sold as a slave planet. So, you now know the benefits of a planetary star level cultivator. Hearing Chang Long's words, Simei immediately explained to him about the ways in it. Oh, there's still such a gap. Chang Long then realized that his knowledge was still too shallow. As for things like what Simei said about not being able to invade on the surface anymore, there was no need to say more. Whether it was in the Pale Universe, or in his previous life or this world he was in now, it was all about the naked law of the forest, the weak was just the strongest. Virtual Universe Company, is it awesome? Chang Long quickly realized the word that Simei mentioned and couldn't help but inquire. Let me put it to you this way, in the vast universe, there are millions of races, big and small, but the ones that stand at the top are only six. 
Those are the human race, the beast race, the mechanical race, the insect race, and the spirit race and crystal race. These six races occupied 70% of the known rich territory of the entire universe. The other thousands of large and small races, either dependent on these six races, or alone in the remote corners of the universe to find a barren place difficult to survive. The Virtual Universe Corporation is the biggest power of your human race. If you compare the power of the human race to a kingdom, then the Virtual Universe Corporation is the court of this kingdom. It controls the destiny of countless humans as well as subordinate races, and is the Supreme Emperor. Now you understand. As for the rest, right now, you don't need to know that much. Knowing more is stressful. Such an awesome existence, no wonder you said that this is the iron law of the universe, no one can go against it, not that at all. Chang Long nodded, it was worthy of being an intelligent being that had followed a super existence like senior for countless years to break through, it was really knowledgeable. Let's move on to the planetary level part, after all, this is the closest level to you, having an understanding of it will also allow to help you during this time in the future. Simi changed the topic and continued, the sign of becoming a planetary level is to awaken your energy attribute, an individual's physical body is no longer strong, but in fact, the power that can be utilized is still limited. But once you have awakened your energy attribute, you can absorb and utilize the surrounding cosmic energy for your use, which is an exponential enhancement to your combat power. Moreover, using your planet's time rules to calculate, a planetary level powerhouse, if nothing unexpected happens, the limit lifespan is a thousand years. In other words, if you are not killed in the middle of your cultivation, even if you don't advance to the stellar level and die of natural old age, you can live for a thousand years. Hearing Si Mui's words, Chung Long was slightly blinded, a thousand years, this lifespan, it was too long. His own current lifespan was only 35 years, even if he broke through to the Beast King level, it would only add up to 85 years. And planetary level, a thousand years, wasn't this precisely one's greatest pursuit? What was the purpose of cultivation, the ultimate goal, was just longevity. He didn't know how long those distant realms could live, and they were too far away. Viable star level, can be very close to oneself. This thousand years of lifespan, I'll take it. Look at you, a thousand years is nothing. Compared to the lifespan of this planet under your feet, it's not even a blink of an eye. Not to mention that for the vast universe, it's just a mayfly's dream. Have some ambition. You're embarrassing our cloud mist planet, understand? Even if the master had reached the realm of immortality. But compared to those old monsters that existed since the beginning of time, they are just newborn babies, too young. Cheng Long couldn't help but cry and laugh when he heard Si Mei's words and can only say, this person can't eat fat in one bite either, one has to take it step by step. I'm currently not even at the planetary level, the realm behind me, that's really too far away, it's better to be down to earth and realize it little by little. Sini couldn't help but nod and chimed in, you're right on this point. You have just kowtowed before your master as well, and are now considered an official initiator. Then from now on, you, Chung Long, will not only inherit the legacy and wealth left to you by your master, but you must also take on the responsibility of carrying forward the Cloud Mist Star lineage. If possible, I hope that you will be able to avenge your master's death sometime in the future. Of course, this possibility is almost non-existent. At least for the time being, I don't see how you can become immortal. Moreover, even if you advance to the immortal level, the gap within is still desperate. Don't worry, I, Chung Long, am not that kind of ungrateful existence, if there really is that day, I will avenge my master's old man's death for him. Chang Long nodded his head in a very solemn manner, then asked another doubt in his heart. A thousand years is nothing, then, I want to know, how many years did master, his old man, live in the first place? Moreover, this stellar level, cosmic level, domain master level, realm master level, how long can a strong person of these levels live if they live to the end of their life? I knew you guys care about this. Hearing Cheng Long's question, Simei glanced at him with a smile, and answered. The reason why intelligent beings cultivate is not only to pursue strength, but also to live forever, which is the truest portrayal. The planetary level has just been told to you, if one does not advance to the stellar level, the lifespan is roughly around a thousand years. And once you advance to the stellar lineage level, that longevity, is an increase of tenfold, without accident, ten thousand years is still there. And in the universe, ten thousand years is almost an epoch, and the timekeeping of high-level powerhouses is often measured in epochs. From the day the master was born to the day he fell, he almost lived for around 7,500 epochs, or 75 million years. My god! Cheng Long sucked in a breath of cold air, 75 million years, that could really be considered an immortal existence, what a long time. There's no need to be surprised. I've just said it all, in the eyes of some old monsters, a master who has lived for 75 million years is nothing more than a baby who has just babbled. Those old immortal powerhouses are all existences that started at a hundred million years. Chang Long was really opened up inside at this moment, the universe is so big, I really want to go and take a look ah. 
There was more to life than what was in front of us, there were also poems in faraway places. That deep longing in his eyes was revealed without any concealment, Si Miao smiled in his heart, this was the effect he wanted. The reason why he wanted this guy to worship the master's door by all means, fancy, there are two reasons. One was this guy's mysterious origin and the big brother behind him. So far, one could only speculate on the clues, but it was roughly certain that this intuition of his was right. Secondly, this guy was indeed a person who knew how to repay kindness and had a touching heart, not a white-eyed wolf, and this was also the point that Simei recognized the most in Changlong. When he traveled the universe with his old master, he could be said to have seen all kinds of worldly grudges and feuds. Some people, for the sake of a small profit, could betray their masters, betray their loved ones, and abandon everything around them. This in her did not become intelligent life before is not understand a kind of behavior, can only go to the logical analysis, is nothing more than two words, the pros and cons. And at the time when she had intelligence and completely advanced into an intelligent life, Simei understood, as a life, not before a logical program, in front of her eyes, there are many more colors that could not be seen before. This color taught her to think, taught her to judge, and at the same time, she also knew that living beings did not only exist in the two colors of black and white. There was also a very important thing, feelings. In Simi's perception, an intelligent being that could abandon its feelings at any time would not be worthy of being called an intelligent being, or even a human being. This was something that she was also deeply influenced by her master. Of those guys who followed the master back then, the ones who were most valued by the master, other than these guys in front of her who were placed in the spirit machine pavilion to be loyal, were those disciples of the master. At the very least, in that battle, all of them died in battle without a single defector. At this point, it shows that vision of the master when he accepted his disciples back then. By the way, what's the master's name, how do I address him? Chun Long looked at the upright and magnificent figure in front of him, whose appearance immediately became taller than ever. This kind of super existence had a day to fall, it was hard to say exactly how far one could go in the future. You can call it D-Lin, this is the name after translating into the language of your world, his old man's real name is too long to say, and you won't understand it. D-Lin, cloud mist star so to speak, I am also nominally considered to have a legacy. Chun Long leisurely said, as for the system, the big plug-in, apart from that mechanical panel, it seems to be just like that at the moment, and it's hard to say if it might become more powerful in the future. However, if it was considered an inheritance, the system couldn't be talked about right now. This treasure is an illusory shape bead, which the master got from killing a spirit race immortal who infiltrated the human race territory back then. This thing is a chicken rib for the master, the reason being that it is too cold left and right, and was casually thrown away in the storage room of this airship, otherwise it would be really hard to come across. It could be an absolute treasure in your current situation. What it does is just as the name suggests, illusionary shape, changing appearance. Although it can't fundamentally change your race, it can reorganize your physical body so that your appearance is the same as the target race. Of course, this was a disguise, so it wasn't like you could change shape with it. A powerhouse below the immortal level wouldn't be able to tell the difference, and even an immortal level existence would have trouble noticing it without a closer look. The conditions for activating it are simple to say and complex to say. You just need to get a little bit of the genes of the race of the object you want to change, such as a drop of blood, or a hair, or something like that. The higher the level of the object you get the item from, and the more supplies you get, the more like the shape and inside you simulate. Moreover, this guy consumes a lot of energy every now and then, and even though immortal level powerhouses don't care, it's a bit scary for you. Cheng Long looked at an adult fist-sized treasure pearl floating in Si Mei's hand that was covered in nine colored streams of light, and listening to her introduction, he couldn't help but get excited. This treasure, it was really what he wanted. He had always hated his current appearance, and after turning into this king cobra, although he was a lot more powerful, it was ultimately not as convenient as the person he was used to in his previous life. No matter what, I thank you. Chun Long said this from the bottom of his heart. Although this baby had too many restrictions and requirements in terms of usage, but in Chang Long's opinion, this was a priceless treasure for himself. At the very least, it was able to satisfy such a need in his heart that yearned to be reborn to obtain a human body. Don't be too happy, this thing, just like its name, is only an illusionary form. Once a strenuous exercise or battle occurs, and there is not enough energy in your body to sustain it, you will change back to your own form. Sini reminded once more. The reason why he gave this to Chun Long in the first place. Sinimi was that it could see that longing in his innermost being, and this was also the conclusion it came to after observing Chang Long for a long period of two to three months through this time of the trial. With a thought rising, Chun Long directly used the system space to put away this illusory shape bead. Worthy of being in existence with a great power behind it, even an item like a spatial ring which is relatively rare in the universe. Sini couldn't help but mutter, to her, Chang Long himself was only so worthy of study, but that mysterious existence behind him was what attracted the most attention. 
However, she wouldn't ask Chun Long directly. With regards to the knowledge of strong beings, she could be much more cognizant than Chang Long. There were some mysterious existences whose names were a taboo in the universe. Moreover, Simu could also see that this guy, perhaps didn't know much about that mysterious existence. Curiosity would kill the cat. After all, with her vision, in observing Chang Long for the past two to three months, she hadn't even been able to determine what level that mysterious existence behind this guy was, what exactly the other party wanted to get on this guy, and what kind of blood and effort had been put into it, Simu had no idea at all. The only thing that could be used as a basis for judgment, with her insight, wanted to make a person take over another life and change race without his knowledge. This was something that very much set off one's own strength, at least the master back then was unable to do so. From this point alone, this great power behind Chen Long was stronger than the master, that was for sure. Originally, the master left you a space ring, but seeing that you guys already have one, then this one in my hand, I'll keep it for now, so that in the future, when I arrive in the cosmic stars, I can also sell it for a good price. Although the master left you enough wealth to support your cultivation to the domain master level, but this thing called wealth, no one is too much. A space ring? Hearing Simei's words, a trace of confusion appeared in Chang Long's eyes, then he quickly reacted and couldn't help but say, you're talking about system space, right? System space? This time, it couldn't help but make Simei freeze, then quickly thought of something else. Then he said, you have a system on you? An intelligent being like me? It's not true that there's a system, but it's not intelligent like you and has become an intelligent being. It is just a system data that can make me stronger, it can be said to be very simple. Chung Long leisurely said, the reason why he was willing to confide this huge secret in himself with this Sime, he had also done some thinking. After all, since he was now accepting the inheritance of this master who no longer existed, this Sime would definitely follow him. With the two of them living together night and day, trying to hide certain things on his body, especially the piece of the system, Chung Long found it somewhat difficult. Because, what he was facing was not an ordinary being, but an intelligent being evolved from a virtual program. To cover up such things in front of the other party would be like making a big axe in front of Ruben's door, it would be better to be frank. A more important point was that this guy, Xing Yao, had absolutely no intention of scheming against himself. At least for now, one's own feelings towards Xi Nini were defenseless. This kind of feeling of letting people get close, currently Chang Long had only experienced it on Xiaofang in this. No, not simple, not simple at all. Hearing Chang Long's words, Sime couldn't help but shake her little head. Then flying a fist around his body, a small hand touched his chin, his eyes staring dead at Chang Long, frowning slightly, he said. When you entered that trial level, I scanned your entire body, but I didn't find any of the so-called systems present in you. Even though I saw something special and thought-provoking on you, it wasn't a system. A system that can escape the observation of an intelligent being like me would not be that simple? There are things in me that you find to be extremely frightening? Chang Long couldn't help but ask in return. He himself didn't have anything other than this super-devouring evolution system Ah, How could he make Si Mei, an old monster who could be said to have seen a lot of things, feel thinly veiled? There is, perhaps you yourself didn't even realize that behind you, there is a pair of invisible black hands, guiding you and observing you in the underworld. To put it bluntly, the other party should be scheming against you. After my judgment for such a long time, I have only come to one conclusion. That mysterious existence is even stronger than the master back then. Even this spaceship you came to may not be all about me influencing your subconscious in an invisible way, but rather in the calculations of that mysterious existence. Saying this, Simi couldn't help but carefully observe the surroundings, a trace of imperceptible fear appearing in his eyes, a little bit, he said. Originally, I thought I was taking food from a tiger's mouth, and that mysterious being was snatching a disciple from his master. Now that I think about it, every step you and I take is under the other party's scheming. That's why I feel fear, and you guys, you're just ignorant. Chun Long couldn't help but be dumbfounded, he was nothing more than a traveler reborn, he did consider all this in the beginning, but so what? Fear of what, I, a pawn in the vortex is not afraid, you, a participant, what is there to be afraid of? This being a human being, not afraid of being utilized, just afraid that you are useless. I feel so, I was originally a bachelor. Anyway, no matter what, there is nothing to lose. As the saying goes, the barefoot is not afraid to wear shoes, why think so much? A good day is a good day and when it really comes to that time, it's nothing more than a word of death. Also, maybe I'm overthinking it. Si Miao nodded, and also couldn't help but reveal a trace of embarrassment. This Chung Long fellow had also said that he was barefoot and not afraid of wearing shoes, wasn't he himself exactly like that now? The old master had died, everything around him was gone, and the cloud mist star no longer existed, what did that mysterious being have to plot against himself? As for the master's wealth, I'm afraid that even if all of it is taken out and offered to that person, it won't cause that person to fluctuate, and may even be disliked. Therefore, as long as one doesn't clash with the other party and there's no dispute of interests, why worry about this? 
To be honest, if it wasn't for the master's search for an inheritor, during these half a million years, it might have destroyed itself long ago. After all, after losing its old master, Simei she also felt that life had no meaning. By the way, what kind of space ring are you talking about, I've never even seen it. Chung Long looked at the slightly embarrassed Simei, and couldn't help but turn back to the topic just now. Space ring, this is it. With a wave of her small hand, a bracelet-like object appeared in her hand. This thing looked very inconspicuous, covered in gray, and didn't know what material it was made of. This is a ring? Cheng Long's head didn't turn for a moment, was there such a big ring? However, immediately after he saw these giant corpses in the hall, the smallest of which were taller and more powerful than normal humans, and instantly felt that this was very normal again. After all, one of their fingers was bigger than a normal human's arm. A spatial ring, which is changeable, can be large or small, adjusting it will according to the wearer's figure. This thing is not particularly rare, but it is still considered rare. Not everyone who is strong in the universe has one, and it is considered a luxury item. After all, its manufacturing is very difficult, and it's considered a good treasure, at least for domain lords and strong people below domain lords. Hearing Sini's answer, Chang Long seemed to understand, and couldn't help but wonder, why don't realm lords use them? But he remembered that Si Mei had just said not long ago that above domain lords was the boundary lord level, and above boundary lords was immortality. Sector lord sector lord, that is the lord of the world. Every existence that reaches the realm lord level can have their own internal world. Do you think such a strong person would still need to use something like a spatial ring? Simu couldn't help but blankly stare at Chun Long. Faced with this kind of stupid question, if it were in a more developed place in the universe, one would definitely be treated like an idiot. Oh, so that's it. Chang Long couldn't help but reveal a look of longing, having his own world within his body, that would mean the creation of the world, the legendary Pangu opening up the heavens and the earth might be like this. If only I could advance to the realm lord level. He couldn't help but look at this nominal master in front of him, immortality was something he didn't dare to think about right now. Even with the existence of the system, even after obtaining the inheritance of this master who had died many years ago, he would not go for this beautiful dream for the time being. But, boundary master, perhaps one has that chance. After all, no matter if one is a human or a snake, one has to have a dream doesn't one, otherwise what's the difference with a salted fish? Boundary Lord, with the resources that the master left behind for you, with your qualifications, it's almost 50,000 years or so. 50,000 years. Hearing Si Mui's words, Cheng Long was also a bit dumbfounded, the Chinese kingdom where he was in his previous life was only 5,000 years old. And for himself to cultivate to a realm lord, in Simi's mouth, it actually took 50,000 years, this was too long. Do you feel that this time span is a bit too long to accept? Looking at Chen Long's eyes, Simi guessed what this guy was thinking. Chen Long subconsciously nodded his head, his two lifetimes combined were only about 30 years old, 50,000 years, he really didn't dare to think too much about it. Do you know what a realm lord means in the pale universe? You actually think it's too long. Simi did not laugh angrily, then felt normal, after all, no matter what, Chen Long this guy, is really too young. Means what? It means that you are an absolute hegemonic existence in nearly a thousand galaxies around you. Nearly a thousand galaxies, hegemon level. Cheng Long's snake mouth opened wide, his eyes almost numb. In this short period of less than a day's work, here in Simui, he had already forgotten how to write the word shock. In his previous life, when he was studying, he was well aware that the sheer size of a galaxy was already beyond his imagination and cognition. If you put it in one sentence, it would be that if every person on the blue star in his previous life was assigned to a planet in the galaxy, there would still be a surplus, and each person could even be assigned several or even a dozen of them. But here, a sector lord level powerhouse could actually manage to be the overlord of nearly a thousand galaxies, what kind of scenery and impunity was that? Let's briefly explain to you the division of power and forces in the universe. Lest you go out like a bumpkin in the future and lose the face of your master in Cloudmist Star. Sini was already not saying anything more. It was also unknown what that mysterious existence saw in this guy, and he himself had chosen him as his master's successor. Wasn't his head hot and burning, he he? Cheng Long nodded seriously, his curiosity pulled full, like an obedient schoolboy, obediently looking at the scene now in front of him. We've already talked to you about the basics of the planetary level earlier, so let's move on from the stellar level. Aha! Cheng Long nodded, signaling for Si Mei to continue. The stellar level, in the cosmic stars, is already considered a strong party. The biggest difference between him and the planetary level is that he is able to completely detach himself from the gravitational pull of the planet and physically roam the skies, which is also the hallmark of the stellar level. To break away from the planet's gravity and roam the skies. That's right, in the universe, if the planetary level ones go to be some servants, wage earners, cannon fodder, and so on to barely make ends meet. 
Stellar-level existences can call themselves ancestors, kings, and overlords on remote and undiscoverable planets like the one under your feet, and their days can be considered a bit more relaxed. As long as you can come to things and don't cause trouble at will, in fact, no one usually goes looking for your trouble, this is the true picture of most cultivators in the universe. This is also not bad, traveling towards the North Sea and twilight of the vault of heaven, if you don't have too much strength and ambition, this kind of days of getting away like a god, soothing. Chung Long couldn't help but comment. Cosmic level, a little more comfortable than stellar level. Roughly, a galaxy, in a few epochs, will only produce a cosmic level, which is also considered to be a party's true hegemony. Moreover, when one reaches the cosmic level, one can also choose to go to a cosmic kingdom to become an envoy, with dozens or even hundreds of life planets as territories under one's name. It wasn't like the stellar level, where one had to be sneaky like that. As for the domain lord level, basically by that time, they had reached the middle of the universe in terms of strength. As long as they didn't mess around, the average inferior universe country wouldn't mess with them, and would even draw them in. After all, a lower universe country might not have a few domain lord level existences. And domain lords, let me put it to you this way. If you, Chun Long, really became a realm lord level in the future, no matter if you were to open up a universe kingdom or a free universe, you would basically be an absolute hegemon. Even if you have a little bit of talent and are able to get into the eyes of those powerful immortal level powerhouses, in your lifetime, you will already be able to lie flat. However, you're really greedy and fearful of death, and still want to enter a higher immortal level. Then you wouldn't know that it's as simple as needing talent and resources, opportunity and luck are also paramount. After all, realm lords also die and cannot withstand the ravages of age. A realm lord, roughly, has a lifespan of around nearly a thousand epochs. Only at an immortal level like a master could one truly live forever between the heavens and earth, free under the firmament. Even if one's body died and their soul perished, their physical body would not be damaged and would last forever. Moreover, the abilities and skills of an immortal level powerhouse are far beyond what you can imagine. Master this kind, is purely an exception, that is the enemy is too strong. Otherwise, even at the center of a stellar explosion, it would be like a fresh breeze on your face. In your words, it would be a sprinkle, no pain, no gain. Cheng Long fell slightly silent, and after a long time, leisurely said, after hearing these explanations from you, I feel even more like a frog at the bottom of a well. A frog at the bottom of a well, you are right to have this perception. Even when the master reached immortality back then and traveled the universe. When faced with all sorts of strange locations, he also felt like a frog at the bottom of a well. Cheng Long nodded, a person's life is like this, as one's experience increases and their knowledge expands, they will instead feel more and more narrow-minded in their perceptions. Since the spatial ring is so precious, then you keep it for now, after all, I already have the system space, this thing can't be used for now. Alright, anyway, this is something that the master left for you, the inheritor. Exactly how to deal with it, that's your business. Since you can't use it for now, I'll keep it for you for now. However, there are still some resources inside that you will need for your future cultivation, but for a short period of time those aren't so urgent for you, after all, you already have quite a few. A white light flashed in Simi's hand and that spatial ring instantly disappeared into thin air. Cultivation resources, I have them? Chen Long immediately thought of spirit crystals when he heard this, and out came the doubt in his heart. That's right, it's exactly spirit crystals, this thing is a universal currency in the universe and an essential treasure in the early stages of cultivation. Whether it's used to raise your own pets or cultivate your men, it's extremely versatile. A single spirit crystal, when taken in as little as a month, or as much as a season, is enough energy to allow an apprentice seventh order or above to advance to planetary first order, and even more. Its absorption effect and duration varies from individual to individual, with some being able to absorb 20 to 30 percent, some half, and some about 70 to 80 percent of the energy. You've experienced this one as well, so I'm sure there's no need for me to say more. Xinyao smiled and said slowly. Chang Long nodded, he had experienced the effects of spirit crystals firsthand, and it was indeed as Sime said. Let me ask you a question first, you just said that that system is a system program that can make you stronger, so what ability does it give you and how does it make you stronger? Simu was also curious. After all, in the universe, things like systems were really common, especially for some strong people, which didn't have 10 or 8 systems of various aspects. Like what life assistance systems, battle analysis systems, intelligent monitoring systems, etc but they had never heard of a system that could directly increase the strength of its owner. After all, Simu himself was an intelligent life evolved from an intelligence system. In the universe, intelligence was also divided into grades. From basic logical computing programs, to intelligence systems that were comparable to intelligent beings and possessed some thinking ability, to intelligences that possessed feelings, and intelligent beings like her that had evolved by chance. 
Therefore, when she heard Cheng Long say that the system in his body was able to make him stronger, Si Miao's curiosity was already aroused. Devouring, as long as you devour things that contain energy, you can become stronger. Cheng Long thought about it, and in fact, Si Mei was right. Although he himself was greatly relieved that she didn't need to care. But deep down, that subconsciously, he still felt that this mysterious strong man, or mysterious power, that made him cross over and be reborn, had the feeling of a breeder. Just like the farmer in the turkey, he would choose the best and most conducive youngster to grow, and raise it from a young age, and on Christmas Day, that would be the end of that turkey. Cheng Long didn't want to become that turkey and resisted, but, at this moment, he had no choice but to move forward along this established track. The reason was simple, it was just the most primitive desire, not wanting to die. So, right now, he also needed certain allies to help him. In order not to become a turkey killed on Christmas Day in the future and try to have his own power to fight against this black hand. To unravel that mystery. Devouring, in the universe, when it comes to devouring, one must also talk about the star beast. After all, this heaven-defying ability is only possessed by two of the nine peak races of the starry sky beasts. Hearing that Cheng Long possessed the ability to become stronger just by devouring it, Si Miao looked at Ah with two eyes as if he had seen a rare treasure, and after circling around it twice, he couldn't help but say, Star Beast, what the hell? So when you say it, starry sky giant beast this in the existence of your teacher, lived so long years, but also saw a, or in did not become immortal before encountered. At that time, the master was a realm master level, that starry sky beast is really domain master level, your old man is but used all the means, want to enslave or seize it. But the thing that people didn't expect was that the master of that year, the hallowed universe level existence, but couldn't deal with a domain lord level starry sky behemoth, and even almost seriously injured at the back, and could only run away. Speaking of this, Simei also couldn't help but reveal a hint of horror. After all, back then, it was still an intelligence by D. Lin's side and had emotions. Everything that D. Lin had gone through back then was something that Simi had witnessed with his own eyes, so how could it not be fresh in his memory? Cosmic level, can't deal with domain lord level, what exactly is that star beast, so powerful? Chang Long was also listening with a surging heart. The talent that he possessed was something that only this kind of super powerful existence possessed. Thinking about this, how could one not be excited? Star beasts are divided into many branches, just like you humans. Just like the orcs, dwarves, and elves that you said exist, in the universe, they are all considered to be a part of the big family of the human race. According to their bloodline, star beasts can be categorized into ordinary beasts, advanced beasts, and peak beasts. The one that was able to force its master to fail and escape is the star-swallowing beast of the peak giant beasts, which can also be described as the gold-swallowing beast, also known as the crystal horn beast. Crystal Horned Beast, Star Swallowing Beast, Gold Swallowing Giant Beast, so many ways to call it, it's worthy of being an existence that can be hostile to a realm master level just at the domain master level. Yes, it's very normal, some very demonic guys in the universe, not to mention domain lord level can still win against boundary lord level, or even kill. However, this kind of existence that can fight and win over the rank, in the universe, so the phoenix feather, thousands of galaxies, may not be able to come out one. So, you now know why the master wanted to enslave or take over that crystal horned beast in the first place, right? Moreover, the rarity of this ability in you, I can only say this. Even in the magical talents possessed by various races in the universe, it's still considered to be ranked in the top 100, and that's still my estimation. Simei patted her chest with her small hand, then came very close to Chun Long's snake head. Putting her hand on his face, she said very seriously. Chung Long, you must remember that about you having this ability as well as the mysterious system, from now on, you must not say anything to anyone. This is an existence that can make quite a few realm lord level powerhouses blush. If they find out about it, the consequences will be unimaginable. Even me, to be honest. If it weren't for the lack of a soul, I would have the urge to take over you, understand? Understood. Chang Long also sort of recognized how heaven defying this system he possessed was. It was also considered very risky for him to confess to Simei. However, the good thing was, the other party really had no malice towards himself. Otherwise, thinking of this, Chang Long couldn't help but shiver. It was good that there was no danger of being surprised, and one learns from one's mistakes. Alright, don't be afraid, although what I just said is true, if you were to encounter a boundary lord level existence so easily, it would be spending all your luck in this life, you might as well go buy two lottery tickets. Especially this recessed corner planet you are on, the basic probability is infinitely close to zero. Just be careful when you venture out into the universe in the future. Alright, even if you have the ability to devour, it's stronger than an average existence. But the gift of devouring in itself can only accelerate your cultivation time, but it can't change the amount you devour. At least with the existence of these spirit crystals, it's always much less troublesome than if you go out hunting and looking for targets to grow yourself. 
So, in the future, if you can use spirit crystals to obtain energy, don't waste that time. After all, if you want to advance to a higher realm, energy acquisition alone cannot support it. The enlightenment of techniques and secrets, the acquisition of equipment and treasures, all of these need to consume a lot of your time. For cultivators, time is the least cherished but also the most precious, understand? Chang Long understood Si Mimu's words very well, not to mention anything else, the system rewarded him with the Gongfu spirit skill alone, although it was given directly in his mind. But in his own opinion, wanting to study it thoroughly was not a simple matter. Just like what Si Mei said, to comprehend comprehension was a learning process in itself. From recognizing it, to knowing it, to understanding it, and finally eating through it, was something that required a lot of time and effort. However, it was a good thing that one had the bug of the system in existence, otherwise, like an ordinary cultivator, one might only be able to study and understand part of it in their entire life. Instead of saying that he lacked time, what he lacked the most, was energy. As long as there was enough energy, according to the system's current progress, it was hard to say when it would be able to give itself a function such as comprehending a secret technique, just like the current skill upgrade. But this was just his own speculation, hell knows what kind of convenience this pissy system would grant himself when he entered the next stage. Alright, after talking so much with you guy, a long time has passed outside, you and I will have a lot of time to communicate in the future. Your master has left you a large amount of spirit crystals as well as enough resources at the cosmic bank for you to advance to the realm master level. The third item is the core technique that your master cultivates, which is also the core inheritance of Cloud Mist Star. Of course, this must be given to you when you grow to the planetary level, right now it's just a waste of time to pass it on to you, there's no way for you to cultivate it. So, cheer up, little one, I am quite optimistic about you. Being called a little guy by someone so petite and delicate, Cheng Long was very odd. Judging from the size of the two, a 60-odd meter long serpent of his own, lifting up his body was 10 or so stories high. And this appearance of Si Mei, it was just a 5th or 6th grade elementary schoolgirl. However, thinking that the other party had lived for countless years with Master Di Lin, older than his own old ancestor, or to be precise, older than the origin of mankind on the blue planet, it was also very normal to call himself a little guy. Just these three? Cheng Long couldn't help but ask. He had fought his way through seven trial levels, and in the end, there were only three things. And the second and third things were now out of sight and out of mind, so it could be said that it was still a blank check, which was a bit unreasonable, right? What? Then what else do you want? The master did leave you a weapon and armor, but is that something you can use? Speaking of which, two pieces of equipment floated in front of Chang Long's eyes. A flywheel with a diameter of 70 to 80 centimeters with a dense and very bright starry sky mapped on it. Composed of more than 70 detachable circular blades, it looked very exquisite and small, and was incredibly sharp, not knowing what material it was made of. The other was a wrist guard type of equipment, covered in black, with some mysterious silver runes engraved on it, and it was not known how to use it. Astrolabe, a mentalist weapon, use requires a minimum planetary level of mental energy. Slices meteorites like tofu, and is also one of the top and most popular in the spiritual numinaries community. Silver Star Armor, planetary level equipment, able to withstand attacks emitted by the Stellar First Order, and as long as it isn't completely shattered, it can be recovered instantly. But each of these two, requires a human body to use. You're frankly a snake now, a naked man with no arms or legs, so you can't use them at all. That's for the human race, and when you have a human body someday, I guess you won't need these two things. Hearing Chang Long's words, Sine couldn't help but want to give him another burst of chestnuts, and couldn't help but growl, what a greedy snake swallowing an elephant. The old master had made a thousand calculations, but he just hadn't counted on his last disciple being a snake. Though in the universe looking at races was not divided by flesh, but identified by soul. But was he really making the right choice? Simu didn't know either. Although Chang Long could also go for reclaiming in the future, it depended on chance. And the chances were very low, and the perils involved were hard to describe in words. Simei's words made Chang Long suffer a great blow, especially the word bachelor, it was simply a blitzkrieg. It can be said that in his previous life, he was an old bachelor when he was 30 years old, and in this life, he is still a bachelor in the flesh. Thinking of this, the heart that was originally very happy instantly fell into the ice cellar. Alright, you guy, don't be unhappy, wanting to have a human body in the future is not an impossible thing. As long as you cultivate the inheritance left to you by your master, it's still very possible to have a human flesh doppelganger. What's more, don't you have that mysterious system, maybe that great power behind it has a way? Si Niao looked at Cheng Long's somewhat depressed heart and couldn't help but feel relieved. Split, it's possible. These two words made Cheng Long overjoyed, if he could have a human body, even if it was a bilocation, that would be enough for Cheng Long to be excited. Besides, this body he had now wasn't his own, it wasn't even a dove's nest. One's real body, probably decayed a long time ago, it all fell into the river and fed the fish, it still doesn't make sense. 
Your little disciple is considered good, you can teach her well, and in the future be one of your right-hand men. After all, hanging out in the universe, fighting alone isn't a thing. A good man has three helpers, and a fence has three stakes. I can see that you also want to cultivate your own forces, this is a very right idea. The master didn't have the same realization as you back then, and suffered a certain amount of losses before he enslaved a few of their soul servants and took in your senior brothers. Cherish the people around you, even if they grow old and leave one by one in the future, you still have good memories of yourself in them. Good memories are the source of power to carry your life direction. Otherwise in the future, you will only be left with loneliness in the endless years, without even fond memories. Saying this, Simei turned her head towards Di Lin's corpse with endless thoughts in her eyes. Chang Long looked at Simei's appearance, he understood very well how she felt at this moment. At the very least, even though Master was dead, this immortal golden body was still accompanying Simei. As for himself, he and his family were long gone from the same world, and in this world, he was an abandoned loner. That's why he desperately searched for that comfort in his heart, until Xiao Fang's appearance, which allowed his soul to get a temporary place of deposit. Though he understood that it was emotionally unfair for himself as well as Xiao Fang. But he was that helpless person who fell into the water, even if he knew that it was a straw that couldn't save his life, he still had to deeply grasp it. Master, I will definitely cultivate Cheng Long properly, so that he can inherit our Cloud Mist Star's legacy, carry your mastery forward once again, and recreate the great fame you had back then. Si Miao respectfully saluted at Di Lin's corpse, then with a wave of his small hand, the dozens of meters high spirit machine pavilion in front of him once again sank into the ground. What about the few of them? Cheng Long watched as Si Mei hid Di Lin's corpse once again, and couldn't help but look at the other few. The corpses of immortal level existences, as I told you, are immortal and indestructible. The six of them have followed their master for endless years, and although they didn't say that they lived together, they did manage to die together, so let them continue to accompany their master here. As for him, you can choose to take him away, after all, in the universe, the corpse of an immortal level existence is also very valuable. With a wave of Simei's small hand, the six coffins in the entire hall also slowly sank into the ground, and at the same time, a very special corpse surfaced. This guy was completely different from those cosmic people Chun Long had just seen. If those few still had human features, this corpse was completely detached from the human body structure and instead looked like a legendary demonic beast. Standing there, it was more than 20 meters tall at the shoulder, and its body, counting the length of its tail, was 50 to 60 meters long. Growing three heads, sharing a body, but with nine tails, very peculiar. The three heads resembled a wolf's head, a lion's head and a tiger's head respectively, yet they were different in details. Because each head was bare, not only was there no hair, there were some strange inscriptions on the forehead. The nine tails, however, were very consistent, snow-white fox tails. Although this guy was dead, the ferocious aura emanating from his body gave Chang Long a bloodthirsty urge to go ahead and carry out some killing. What is this thing, so weird? Chang Long muttered, if it wasn't for the cool power coming from his body just now, he almost didn't control the killing intent in his heart. The Tigga Devouring Race, translated into your world's words is this. A type of spirit race, possessing part of the beast race bloodline, it is considered to be a mutated race that came from hybridization. It's also an immortal level existence, yet it can only be considered the lowest kind, and even most of the immortals that have been counter-killed by realm masters are among them. At first, this bastard thought that his master was seriously injured and wanted to enter the airship to pick up the advantage. But I didn't expect that instead, he was directly silenced by the master himself, and ended up with a dead body and soul, but he also deserved it. Simei stared viciously at the guy in front of him and said through gritted teeth, if it wasn't for this guy, it's possible that the master wouldn't have expended his last ounce of soul power back then, and ended up with an incurable death. If it wasn't for an immortal level existence, its body would have been immortalized long ago, I really want to thwart it in order to solve the hatred in my heart. Speaking of this, Simei directly put it away into a spatial ring, and then said, wait until you break into the universe in the future, when you have a certain ability to protect yourself, we'll sell this guy. Alright, I'll listen to you. Chen Long also sort of roughly deduced something. Back then, Master T. Lin didn't die on the spot under that powerful enemy's pursuit, but he was seriously injured. Just hanging on to his last breath, he piloted this broken spaceship and escaped. However, he didn't expect that this immortal of the Tigga devouring clan who wasn't afraid of death and wanted to pick up the advantage also entered the airship, wanting to pick up the advantage. Unexpectedly, he was countered by Master T. Lin who used his last breath to kill him. The ending was naturally that both were defeated and the spaceship crashed onto this planet, leaving only Simei, an intelligent being, to be spared. Little Simu, is there really no way to use this spaceship? Chang Long couldn't help but hit on the idea of this spaceship. One must know that this was a treasure that cost Master D. Lin 70% of his wealth at the time, and he also took out a lot of loans to buy it. If he could use it for himself, he would be one of the prettiest boys in the airship world in the future. 
At the very least, there's no way to repair it on your planet, and, if you want to repair the Cloud Mist ship, you'll have to be in a higher universe kingdom at the very least. See me aside, the name of this Cloud Mist ship was also based on the Cloud Mist star, and he himself was also considered to be the pilot of this ship at one time, to say that there was no affection, that would be a lie. Nowadays, old friends can only be left behind in this underground, can't travel the cosmic dome again, have to say it is also a kind of sadness. Then is there any good stuff that can be taken away? Like that virtual reality space you used to test me, I think that thing is pretty good. At least it can be used for exercise workouts if nothing else. Cheng Long couldn't help but say that he was salivating over that mysterious trial level. When faced with something good, who wouldn't want to hide it in their pocket? So you're looking at that function ah, a very small program only, it's not a function of the spaceship, it's a scenario I set up. As long as there is enough energy for replenishment, you can play inside for as long as you want. Simi was slightly amused, then said, this thing, virtual reality, is very common in the universe, as long as it is a high-level intelligence, it can be set up. Only, the degree of realism and the scope of the arrangement is not only related to the intelligence's own ability, but also to the energy source supplied. Just like the trial level I set up for you, the one I used was a spirit crystal, capable of simulating all real attacks below the stellar level. Moreover, you have to understand that a simulation is a simulation after all, and at my level, the degree of simulation is only about 95% of the level. If you go into the universe and have a virtual universe account, you will find that the simulation level of the virtual universe is only horrible. Infinitely close to the real world, the degree of simulation reached 99. 99,999% of the infinite loop. You can barely tell which one is real and which one is virtual. When he said this, a hint of admiration appeared in Sini's eyes. The supreme being who created the virtual universe is the one who is bullish. The most terrifying thing about the virtual universe is not its degree of realism, but the fact that you can be anywhere in the universe and be able to enter the virtual universe at any time. You have to realize that even as an intelligent being I can only create a LAN in a small area, and that's only if there's enough energy to maintain it. Cheng Long just numbly him, the information he received this day was just a bit too much, and every piece of it impacted his worldview, refreshing the bottom line of his heart's cognition. Well, your little disciple is fighting, you can pay attention, back to God. Simi also knew that he had some words down, these powerful disappearance, enough Cheng Long he consumed for a long time, but my spiritual power can't probe out of the ground ah. Cheng Long heard Simi's words and couldn't help but say, he had tried to observe the surface of the ground in the outside world several times before, but he kept feeling a fluctuation similar to folding space interfering. Thinking about it this way, it should be the work of this fellow Simei. You were in a trial break-in, and it was in a spaceship. All of your perceptions were blocked by the energy shroud I laid down with the help of my master. Now that the shield has been removed by me and the skylight has been opened for you, you can naturally observe the outside world. Si Nini bristled and said helplessly. Cheng Long then curiously unfolded his spiritual energy and extended it towards the top of the ground, and sure enough, having lost that weird energy shield, he could see the situation on the ground very smoothly. The battle situation of Xiao Fang's group was naturally seen. Master, you finally came out, I've missed you to death. Cheng Long's huge figure couldn't help but startle the crowd when it appeared outside the cave. It was fortunate that the crowd retreated in time, the collapse of the entire mountain peak was so powerful that it was no better than an earthquake. The reason for this was simple, it was Simi who told Cheng Long to have Xiao Fang notify Li Hongfeng and the others to evacuate the soldiers stationed outside the spaceship in time. Otherwise, with the cloud mist ship being stowed away in the system space, the mountain range would naturally collapse after there was no support. Cheng Long didn't talk to Xiao Fang about the spaceship and the inheritance, he just told her to relay to Li Hongfeng and the others that the cave was about to collapse. Originally, Si Miao did not care about the life and death of these people, in her heart, this even if the living beings on this planet died out, as long as Cheng Long was fine. However, Cheng Long, with respect for the military, and Xiao Feng and their slight friendship, still issued a kind reminder, and left half an hour of retreat time. Li Hongfeng and Li Guo originally intended to go forward to say hello, but after seeing the performance of Xiao Fang and Xiong De, very consciously led people to leave, leaving enough space for their master and disciple. Even if there were too many questions they wanted to ask Cheng Long, there was no rush for a moment now. Especially Li Guo, who had come with a mission, but he didn't say much. What, a large beast tide is preparing to attack the safe zone? and it's already gathering. At most, they will all arrive outside the safe zone in half a day. There are also Beast King level existences, how is this possible? Just as Chang Long and Xiao Fang were talking with the three Xiangde, Li Hongfeng, who had just left, received a call from the Wang Yun security base. Beast Tide? That's not rare. Since we established the secure base, we have experienced nearly a hundred small Beast Tides. There have also been eight or nine medium level Beast Tides in the past half year. But this is a large Beast Tide. And there is also a Beast King level existence. 
even if the beasts are far ahead of us humans in terms of cultivation. But so far, the strongest human is only at the level of a high war general, and there's a beast king among the beasts? Li Guo on the side couldn't help but open his mouth wide. His own strength was currently at the war general level, but he was only so fast because of some encounters. What to do, that's a beast king level existence. And with an army of hundreds of thousands of fey beasts, are we going to be finished with the Wang Yun safety zone? Upon hearing this news, old Kai also panicked. One must know that the safe base was the spark of civilization left behind by mankind under this apocalypse. In the short span of half a year, countless warrior populace had gone forward and backward, in order to create a safe and stable home for themselves and their future generations, facing the attack of the alien beasts, but they had paid countless blood and tears. No, our safe zone won't be destroyed just like this. Li Hongfeng ruthlessly slammed his fist on the table in front of him, directly smashing a hole in the entire tabletop. The beast tide is fine, even if we pay a certain price, with Wang Yun base's current strength, we can still barely cope with it. But if we add the king level foreign beasts, then the outcome will be hard to say. The destruction of a king level alien beast was not something that a beast general could issue. Even from those data released not long ago, a being that has just entered the beast king level can easily deal with the siege of a dozen or so high level beast generals. Li Guo frowned and couldn't think of a good solution for a while. From the cataclysm until now, only half a year had passed, and regarding the division on strength, it was also a guideline that was announced not long ago. In fact, on the eve of the cataclysm, the governments of various countries had already discovered the existence of some ancient relics. It was only after a long period of excavation and deciphering that a clear understanding of the aura revival was gained not long ago. Why do I say a clear understanding? The reason was simple, it wasn't as if there hadn't been some words about alien civilizations that had been deciphered before. But those were incoherent, unable to form a perfect systematic theory. And with the arrival of the global earthquake, many ancient relics that were far underground surfaced. And the Dasha Capital Division Security Zone, also unearthed to a spaceship, which had an intelligent program in it, before it learned about some of the relevant cosmic knowledge. Why don't we ask for help from that one? Just as several people were at a loss, Li Hongfeng couldn't help but look at the giant beast not far away. In their perceptions, if Xiao Fang was that powerful, then the one who was the master must be extraordinary. What's more, all the weirdness in the underground cave also indicated that this time, this being had gained a lot. Didn't hear the information provided by Xiao Feng and the others before, this being was only about 40 meters long, but now, it was a full 60 to 70 meters. This was a great indication that its strength had increased greatly after this period of time of adventure, and that it had gained a lot. We can give it a try, after all, the other party's attitude towards us humans, from all indications, is favoring our human side, only. Li Guo couldn't help but say, then wanted to stop talking. But Li Hongfeng and Lao Kai understood what the other party wanted to say. Originally, they wanted to find a good opportunity to probe the mouth of this strange existence, and perhaps harvest some important information from just a few words. And now, with the phone call from the base, all of this fizzled out and could only wait until later. Alright, don't think about that, the safety of the millions of people at the base is important. The top priority is to find all the forces that can be synthesized to deal with the crisis at hand. Li Hengfeng finally clapped his hands, with the arrival of the phone call from the base, he understood very well that he had to rush back to the base now with every second counting, and bring back all the forces here. Although their numbers were small, facing the beast tide might be a drop in the bucket. But even if it was against one battle force, then the safe base would have one more hope of victory. Seeing Li Hongfeng walking towards Chung Long's three, that Li Guo and Lao Kai couldn't help but follow. After all, although the other party was inclined towards humans, they were facing the Fei clan and were themselves a member of the Fei. If it wasn't for the presence of Wang Fong, this little girl, they really didn't dare to go in front of Chun Long alone. The only way was to play the emotional card, and through this relationship of Wang Fong, there might be a ray of hope. Their hearts were filled with bitterness at the moment, they didn't expect that as a hostile force of the Fei, they actually had to put down their stature to beg a Fei to carry out help now, how ironic. But once they thought of the millions of compatriots in the safe zone, what was this bit of face of the three of them? Beast Tide, Beast King. Learning of Li Hongfeng's three intentions, Chang Long was also a bit surprised, but on second thought, there had to feel admiration for these three and could understand their behavior. Chang Long, it depends on how you choose, you now have three choices. One is to help the humans against your current fellow alien beasts, this will also result in many things that you would not expect. Either you will be thanked, or you will be crossed, or nothing will happen. The second is to help the Fei to attack the humans and devour them. But from what I know of you, you're not going to do anything like that. The third is to not help either to sit on the mountain and watch the tigers fight, secretly practicing. The result of this is that you will always be a loner. Little Simeon, then what do you say, how would I choose? Shang Long felt the intelligent chip located on his neck that was integrated into his skin, 
and this was where Simei was accommodated. In the virtual space, Simimi who was lying on the beach eating snacks and looking at the waves could not help but roll her eyes. This guy, small Simimi is called on the mouth, the warning is also ineffective, he is just a virtual existence without any combat power, take him also cannot help, let him go. You ah, uh, I think that with your urine, you will choose the first one. However, there is no free lunch in the world. You have to be paid for helping humans. And that payment has to be heavy, not cheap. Otherwise it will look like you are very weird. Literally rice is not a good thing. After all, the current you is not a human, it's a foreign beast, for you to understand this. Got it, that's what I think too. It's not impossible to help, but the other party that's a beast king level existence. You guys want me to deal with the king level, just empty words, why don't I see a bit of sincerity? Hearing Xiao Fang's relay, Chung Long also nodded his head signaling that this was the case when Li Hongfeng and Li Gui as well as Old Kai's three faces coincidentally revealed a color of surprise. They had originally thought that they would need to go through a lot of talking and persuasion before this giant beast would agree. But what they didn't expect was that after Li Hongfeng opened his mouth and said the first sentence, this mysterious being smoothly accepted without hesitation. This was simply out of the trio's expectations, and even thought they were dreaming. What conditions do you need right, as long as it's something that I or those of us can make the call on, within our terms of reference, you can mention as much as you want. Soon the three of them instantly reacted and couldn't help but be happy, as long as the other party was willing to make a move, this would be fine. As for the conditions, this was not a problem. This was something that could be talked about and negotiated. You guys can't make this decision, it's not that I'm looking down on you, let the people above you agree before you do. Shang Long voiced his opinion. Anyway, he is not as good as, a loner, unattached. In this world, there is nothing to worry about except for Xiao Fang. He was willing to get close to humans, but it didn't mean that humans could be whored out for nothing. Okay, then tell us your request, we will now contact the top in front of you. Since you think we can't make the decision, then we'll find someone who can, what do you think? Shang Long nodded. In his previous life, he was nothing more than a small fart, and as long as he was an official, he had to be respectful. And now, despite turning into a python, he was able to say in front of these hard-to-reach people of yesteryear, you're not qualified to talk to me, call someone more powerful. This feeling was truly exhilarating. In the end, the former self. One was not some sophisticated big boss. Two was not a politician who knew the way of the officialdom. Having dealt with them personally, the biggest characters were just these public officials at the grassroots level. You say so ordinary people, the kind of throw when the pile of people cannot find the existence. Now that there was an instant shift in identity, how could one not put on a good 13? My request is very simple, that is, your base city promised me three conditions, but now temporarily think about it, and then mention it later. And don't worry, it's definitely not beyond your capacity, and it's something you can do. Clarifying Chen Long's requirements, Li Hongfeng immediately began to make contact with the base city. As for Wang Yun Base City, in a building that was located in the highest position in the city and possessed a height of more than 20 floors, this was the command center of the entire security base city. A middle-aged man in his 50s stood on top of the tall building, overlooking the busy people in the distance. From here, he was able to have an unobstructed view of the entire base city area. Underneath the traffic, in the middle of the bustling city center, the appearance of the eve of the cataclysm could already be vaguely seen once again. And now, the little bit of life that had been recovered with great difficulty was about to be broken. With the restoration of contact between the various safe zones, some of the engineering equipment salvaged on the eve of the cataclysm was also moved into the new safe zone. After all, the wilderness wasn't safe either, it was the world of alien beasts. Various technological means also gradually began to be restored. He looked at those city walls built on the mountains in the distance, high walls as high as 30 to 40 meters stretching for dozens or even a hundred kilometers, forming a super defensive position. The base wall, which was as wide as a hundred meters thick, had many holes, large and small. In these holes, a variety of long guns and giant cannons, curved bows and crossbows, and other things that could be seen were all here. On top of the city wall, an avenue nearly 60 meters wide stretched for dozens of kilometers, not being able to see the end of it at a glance, encircling the entire security base city within it. Countless people were still carrying out construction work in all corners of the security base at this moment, especially the construction of the city wall, which accounted for more than half of the population of the entire safe zone. Not only were the young and strong all on the construction site, even the old, young, women and children, as long as they still had the strength and could move, they were all under the command of the management personnel, spontaneously carrying out their labor. After all, such a large project, as well as the materials and manpower required, that is a huge amount. Even in a peaceful era, it was not easy to build such a project. Not to mention the fact that this was rebuilding a new home from a crumbling ruin. The good thing was that even after a few months, 
There were still some people who didn't know how to live under the hardships of the wilderness who had gone through a lot of hardships and came to the base city from various distant places. Although there weren't many such people, there were hundreds and thousands of them every day, and with the addition of these new forces, the construction of the entire base city naturally went much faster. The entire security base was a large operation base at the moment, everyone was working feverishly, bleeding and sweating without tears for this new home that belonged to them. Mayor Zhang, it's time for the meeting, they're all here. Just as Mayor Zhang was out of his mind gazing at the scenery outside the window, a secretary with documents in hand appeared in the doorway as the door was opened. Oh, they've all arrived right, let's go then. Mayor Zhang once again looked out the window. Nowadays, humans could only hunker down in these safe zones and build cities to defend themselves. And even then, it was still precarious, with no clear days of peace to live in. Especially this time, the situation that was detected by the satellite was even more disturbing. This hurdle, not easy to pass off. This was the first time after the aura recovery that mankind had dealt with a beast king level existence, and behind the other party was an army of millions or even tens of millions of alien beasts. Although most of the beasts are at the level of primary beast soldiers, and these beasts are said to be beasts, but in fact, they are more just animals that are about to be alienated in a frenzy. The true number of fey beasts should not be much, according to the estimation it should be around several hundred thousand. But even if these hundreds of thousands of alien beasts were added to those alienated animals that were dispersed as cannon fodder, they would already be able to drink a pot of water at the security base. Not counting that beast king level high ranking combatant. Thinking of this, the middle aged man couldn't help but reveal a bitter smile as well as a hint of sadness. Just as Mayor Zhang, along with his secretary, was preparing to go forward to the meeting, a man in military uniform hurriedly ran over. Old Zhang, wait, there's a matter here that needs to be discussed with you. Old Wu, the alien beast army will soon arrive under the safe zone, there's something that needs to be discussed in the meeting first. A matter of great urgency, and it concerns the safety of our safety zone, especially this beast tide. Wu Long, the current security bureau's war commander, the highest military leader. Hearing this, Mayor Zhang stopped his hurried steps and looked at Wu Long. About a few minutes later, after a long-winded narration, Mayor Zhang's tightly frowning brows slightly loosened, and finally said, Promise it, no matter what the other party's demands are, we'll promise it and cope with this crisis. Moreover, with that person's wisdom, since he said he won't raise excessive demands, it won't be beyond our tolerance. It's just a matter of asking for some favors with a lion's mouth, and when the time comes, we'll just pay back what we ask for on the spot. Yes, that's what I think as well. Although I can also make the decision alone and agree to the other party's demands. But after all, you are the mayor of the base city, and at this particular time, it's not good for me to rule alone. Wu Long said humbly. The two of them smiled at each other, then Wu Long took out his communication device and started contacting Li Hongfeng and the others, replying with the words we promise. After getting the reply he wanted, Chang Long was very satisfied. To be honest, he wasn't afraid that the three promises he needed wouldn't be honored. With his current strength, if he really wanted to stand against the humans, he would still be more than capable of defending himself, not to mention anything else. What he wanted was just an attitude from the upper echelons of those security bases in power. Moreover, he was now fully capable of advancing to Beast King at any time. When he reached the Beast King level and unsealed the 1 million points of energy value that the system had been sealed with, it was estimated that it would not be a problem for him to at least advance to Senior Beast King. So, once one reaches the Advanced Beast King realm. On this planet, not to mention anything else, for now, it was basically an invincible state. However, to advance to Beast King, one must find a safe place to do so. The things caused by the previous promotion were still fresh in Chang Long's mind. He didn't want to take the risk under non-essential. Simi, aren't you able to monitor the entire planet, help me see if there's a safe place nearby, I'm going to advance a bit first, I need to have a good place. Chang Long immediately thought of what Si Mei had said before, that the entire planet was under its surveillance, and couldn't help but inquire. Surveillance of the entire planet, I that also relied on the intelligent programs in the small spaceships that the Cloud and Mist had launched in various parts of the planet before to do so, and they would launch back the data they had collected at certain intervals and I just analyzed the useful ones from the large amount of data videos. My own detection range isn't really that great, especially after the cloud mist was put away and I switched into the smart core, this thing barely provides me with a place to stay. The only way to get more functionality would be to go out into the universe and buy a better enhanced version. As for those signal sources in the outside world, basically all of them are cut off I'm just able to contact you now. See Mimi's voice was slightly helpless, it was an intelligent system, but it had to rely on external equipment to be able to do more functions. At this time, it was left with the most core virtual digital existence, and the range it could detect was drastically shrunk. Just like a human being, without the composition of the physical body, there was only a pure soul that could not do anything. Okay, then I'll go and look for it myself. 
Chen Long could only say helplessly after hearing that Si Mei had no way out. Let's go. After having the exact instructions, Li Hongfeng and the others immediately started ordering the troops to make a start. Time was running out, if they didn't rush back to the safe zone, once they waited for the wave of beasts to encircle the entire safe base, those of them who wanted to go in then wouldn't be able to return. As for attacking the beasts outside, that was simply a pipe dream. Chief, what to do with these supplies? We won't be able to transport them for a while. Xiao Qing couldn't help but come to ask after getting the order to leave. As the direct company of the regiment, Xiao Qing was able to directly report on his work with Li Hongfeng, the regimental commander. This was also something that happened not too long ago, for various reasons Li Hongfeng made this troop adjustment. Supplies, whatever, we don't have time to get these things, if the security base is breached, these supplies are meaningless even if they are saved. Li Hongfeng looked at the warehouse not far away, originally he had planned to establish a base here for a long time. But the plan was not as good as the change, with the disappearance of the relics and the appearance of Cheng Long, this stronghold that was most of the way away from the safe base already seemed meaningless. Lost? Xiao Chang inquired again with a look of pity. Leave it alone if I tell you to leave it alone, a big man, grating, if you don't carry out the order, I'll remove you from your post. Li Hongfeng was also enraged, this guy, before was not like this, how did he become an awakened person, but like a different person? Cheng Long looked at the storage not far away, and then looked at Li Hongfeng then turned his gaze to Xiao Feng, so he said with her, girl, go back with them first later. After all, it's been three or four months since you came out, your family should also be remembering your well-being, and you must have missed them as well. Ah, uh, okay. Xiao Feng looked worriedly in the direction of the secure base, not understanding Chang Long's meaning for a moment, and nodded suddenly. But soon, she reacted, and couldn't help but ask, what about you, master, didn't you promise to go to the support base? Master is preparing to advance a bit, if things go well he should be able to return soon. Then when that time comes, your master I will have increased my strength greatly to deal with this beast tide, and your security base will be safer as well. Master you're going to advance again? Hearing this news, Xiao Fang couldn't help but jump up and down with joy, and the gloomy look on her face that she had just had was instantly swept away. You girl, what do you call being promoted again? Master has been in the underground cave for three or four months, if you don't increase your strength at all, isn't that a shame to say? Chang Long also snickered, there are beast king level existences in that beast tide, your master I'm so powerful, yet I'm still a beast general, if I don't refuel and advance a bit, how can I go and blast hammer the other side? That's true, then master, you cheer up. Little Fong stretched out her small fist and waved it in front of Chang Long's eyes in an encouraging gesture. Little Simeon, I'm asking you something. You say it. Sini responded with some slight annoyance. Little Simeon little Simeon, where are you small, you're the one who's a big dumb ass. You said before that there is no system in the universe that allows creatures to advance their cultivation levels. But why is this system of mine not only able to visualize my own strength in all aspects, but also able to observe the basic data of others? Even the energy transformed by the spirit crystals that I swallowed before has been sealed up and can only be used when I reach the level of Beast King. You help me analyze and analyze if this system is an intelligence just like you, but purposely shows a mechanical appearance. After all, you are an intelligent being, and as a kindred spirit, you should understand this thing better than I do. No idea. Didn't I also tell you before that the pale universe is simply boundless? I only traveled a few thousand epochs after my master back then. What I have seen and heard, the places I have traveled to, I think it is just a drop in the ocean in terms of the cosmic firmament. I can't analyze what kind of tactics that great power behind you has. But I can say with certainty that among these things I know about the system, there is none of this set that you are talking about. Perhaps, this thing on your body is not a system but a treasure of some specific kind. After all, in the universe, there are some treasures whose efficacy comes with the function of a system program as well. Xin Niao's words couldn't help but make Chang Long a little slightly disappointed, but he didn't lose much ground. The road was still long, there was plenty of time, and if he wanted to know the secrets of the system, there would always be a chance in the future. Master, why don't I stay and protect you as well? With the experience from last time, Xiao Fang was well aware of how much of a stir that heaven and earth vision could cause when Chang Long made his breakthrough. Especially with the emergence of such waves of foreign beasts, it was not good to say that Chang Long's breakthrough would attract the attention of those foreign beast armies. No, you follow back, it's too dangerous to stay here. Chang Long shook his head, and Xiao Fang continued. Seeing Chang Long so determined, Xiao Fang also did not insist, just nuzzled her mouth, and finally relayed the message to Li Hongfeng according to Chang Long's meaning. Li Hongfeng, they also do not care about Chang Long's decision, first returned to say, the reason why called on Chang Long, but also just one more layer of insurance. Watching Xiao Fan follow the large group to leave, but Xiong De stayed behind. Let's break through first and find a safe place. Beast King level, no, to be precise, there is a possibility that it will be a beast god soon. Thinking about this, Chang Long was still excited. 
By the way, if we're talking about the safest place, I thought of something that's perfect for you to be able to use right now. Just more than half an hour after Chang Long watched Chao Fang and the others leave, and after doing some hunting in the surrounding area, having a beautifully full meal, and burping comfortably, Si Miao's voice came from his mind. Perfect for something I can use right now, what's that? Chang Long couldn't help but ask. A frigate, an interstellar warship that was originally equipped on the cloud mist. But the owner of that thing has never used it before. Whether it was from the speed or function, it seemed a bit chickenish to the master, so it had been abandoned in the battleship cabin of the Cloud Mist starship. If it wasn't for you talking about helping to find a safe place just now, I wouldn't have remembered this thing for a moment. Star battleship, spaceship, isn't this the relationship between an aircraft carrier and a carrier? A breeze blew by. At this moment, the world outside was already a scene of everything recovering. The blue sky and white clouds, green mountains and green water were as very soothing as Cheng Long's heart. It can almost be understood like this. A star battleship is a sub-mothership of a spaceship, and its general role is to be used for escort and transportation. After all, a spaceship is too big, and traveling between planets is still not as convenient as a star battleship. The technological level of humans on your planet is still too low, not even a first-class civilization has been reached. Naturally, they haven't seen these things, and it's still considered relatively okay to have the current level of technology. Chang Long had only seen such a large spaceship in sci-fi movies and novels apart from seeing the massive Cloud Mist starship, hence the kind of shock he felt when he entered the Cloud Mist starship. Simi had scratched out something like a black hole in the virtual space it had formed, half of its body was stuck inside, constantly picking at something. And in front of it was the interior of the spatial ring, an empty, gray world with a scaled-down version of the Cloud Mist starship spaceship. Soon, she was able to figure out a similar miniature version of the Cloud Mist starship from the Cloud Mist starship. I've found it, and I don't know if it'll work. Simi looked at the floating amount starship and couldn't help but immediately launch a scan. It's okay, fortunately the vast majority of the functions have not been affected by that battle. After all, with the protection of the cloud mist starship as the mother body, there are still very few damaged areas. The lack of energy is also an important reason, it's almost impossible if you want to carry out interstellar flight. Muttered Simi with a wave of her small hand, with the appearance of a spatial crack, the interstellar battleship and the spatial ring disappeared. In front of Cheng Long in the outside world, a 40 to 50 meters high, with a radius of around 100 meters, covered in pitch black, and the hole was even more without a single seam of the universe battleship appeared in front of his eyes. It was good that at this time there were no more outsiders here, and Xiao Fang and his party had also arrived at least a few kilometers away. Moreover, under the barrier of mountains, basically no one would discover the situation here. This. Cheng Long was all taken aback by this situation. Xiong De on the side was even more startled, and with that splash of dust, he hurriedly dodged to the side. This is an interstellar battleship, besides being pitch black and non-reflective, plus not too small, I don't see anything else for now. However, this kind of high-tech stuff is definitely not simple. Nonsense, do you think that the equipment in this kind of spaceship that cost the owner 70% of his entire wealth at the time to buy would be rags and bolts? Simei immediately said, that tone filled with unquestioning doubt. This is a star warship capable of sailing between the stars and traveling through space. In addition to not being able to compare it to a spaceship full of black technology like the Cloud Mist Starship, after all, it is itself a part of the above. Some of the other features were even stronger than most of the Universe Kingdom's spaceships in some aspects. Did you see the gun ports on it? With that one shot, as long as there is enough energy, asteroids thousands or even tens of thousands of kilometers away can be shattered. So bullish? Cheng Long saw at this moment that directly in front of him, a hole of about 3 to 4 meters suddenly appeared, revealing something like a cannon barrel right in front of his body. When he saw this thing, Cheng Long instinctively dodged away towards the side. The reason was simple, Cheng Long felt that if that cannon muzzle had just taken a shot at him, the end result would be four words, hiccup on the spot. However, you shouldn't think about these functions now, this guy is just a pile of scrap metal without the support of energy. It's not certain if it can fly now, the only thing you can be sure of is that the folding space inside is still usable, it's still more than enough to accommodate your current form. Not enough energy, what kind of energy does this thing use to support itself? It actually has folding space. Chung Long asked curiously, if one can find the right energy, does it mean that one can also travel the stars? Do your spring and fall dream. If this crap can travel the stars, do you think I would still stay on this chatty little crap ball for half a million years? You'd still be left to carry on the master's legacy, would you? As for energy, on your planet, at the moment, the only two suitable energy sources are electricity and nuclear energy. And even if you have the conditions to fill this guy's energy, the most you can do is to fly to the most marginal planet in the nine galaxies. If you want interstellar travel, don't even bother dreaming about it without a suitable spaceship. Simi's words immediately pulled Cheng Long back from fantasy to reality, and its sharp words struck him hard, 
which was also a response to him calling his little Simi. No wonder it can only be a battleship, not a mothership, that's the difference. Cheng Long said leisurely. All right, don't you want a breakthrough, I've already opened the permission for you, just go in. On your planet, I can say this. There is this guy's in, even if there is no energy, just this shell left, it is in the center of the explosion of atomic bombs and these nuclear weapons, you just drill in, I will keep you safe and sound. Without the strength of domain master level, want to break through this guy's defense, fool's dream. Saying this, Simiao's voice was very high pitched. Alright, alright, I know you're bull, but this thing won't block the entry of aura. Nonsense, interstellar flight is as short as a few months or even a few years and decades. Longer hundreds or thousands of years, even 10,000 years long, along the way you don't cultivate, how will the time pass? Chang Long immediately shut up and didn't say anything, after getting the answer he wanted, he looked at the open 20 meter gate and brought Xiong Di along to drill in. As expected, the space inside was just different from what was seen outside. Advancement, Beast King level, here I come. Old Li, we're just leaving? Old Kai was halfway there when he couldn't help but look back behind him, the location that was blocked by the mountains was the relic base that they had been working so hard on for the past few months. What else, what else do you want? At this moment, even though it was already spring, Li Hongfeng felt the lingering coolness in the air. Looking around at these buildings that were only remnants of buildings, as well as the team that was alerted to the movements around them, marching all the way in a hurry, he had an indescribable bitterness in his heart. Humanity, is there really still hope? However, the bitterness in his heart was not easy to express at this moment. As the head of this army, no matter what time, in the face of these soldiers under his command, these comrades, must not show a panicked and uneasy appearance. Let's go, we have already lost a large portion of our former home. If today, even the last safe base is overrun by the alien beasts, I can't think of any hope for the future of our humanity. Li Gua patted Old Kai's shoulder and looked at the white clouds on the blue sky again, smelling the aroma of the mixture of flowers, grass and earth coming from the air, he couldn't help but take a deep breath. This feeling mesmerized him, taking advantage of this moment and a moment of leisure to enjoy it. Once he arrived at the safe base and the war started, it would be hard to say if there would be any chance in the future. Xiao Fang also kept quiet, following the three of them. As a special character in this team, she was very conspicuous. Not only was she the youngest, but her strength was also high, and her background was equally extraordinary, so it was hard to want to keep a low profile. What's wrong, girl, not happy? Li Hongfeng touched old Kai who was on the side with his arm, and then gave Li Guo a glance, the two of them quickly stopped dwelling on anything else and turned their attention to Xiao Fang. No, just worried about master. Also worried about my parents and grandpa and them. It's been several months since they came out, I don't know how they are doing at the safe base now. Xiao Fang lowered her head, while quickly following the troops forward, she picked a dog's tail grass by the side of the road with her hands, holding it in both of her hands, boringly tearing at that dog's tail grass. Worrying about your master, there's no need for that ah, uh, your master's so big in size, his strength is even more not comparable to the ordinary alien beasts, why are you worrying about that? As for your family, there is no need to worry about that. Although the base is still in its infancy, and many parts of it have not been perfected, the government is very concerned about awakened people like you. But the government treats awakened martial artists like you and your families very favorably. No one dares to bully them, you can rest assured of that. What's more, soon you'll be able to meet your family, and their situation, won't you know it when you arrive home? The three of them were talking, but there was a tacit agreement not to mention the upcoming beast tide. At this moment, there were still some troops like them who were heading back towards the base city. Most of them were guards stationed outside to take care of the security of some relic strongholds. In order to deal with this beast tide, the Wang Yin security base city had mobilized all the battle forces it could muster back to the city to prepare for the battle. In the base city, with the quick deliberation of the meeting, the deployment went down, and all the people in the entire safety zone entered the shelters. On the ground, apart from the troops guarding the city, there were only awakened martial artists left. After the majority of the year's collection as well as planning, after merging the populations of several small bases, the population of the entire Wang Yun security base city had reached around 10 million, becoming the largest security base city in the entire Lingnan province. Nearly a million combatants might seem like a lot, but it was still too much to guard a huge base city under such a large-scale beast tide. On the walls of the city where the various barrier strongholds were located, the combatants had entered a state of combat readiness, overhauling their weapons and verifying their equipment. Brother Miao, do you think we can win this time? Outside a main city center, in a war fortress that was responsible for one of the agricultural region's security, a young soldier tightly gripped the lance in his hand, his eyes staring deathly at the wilderness outside, without even turning his head, he asked a slightly older veteran at his side. I don't know, according to satellite reconnaissance, this is a large-scale beast tide, it is said that the entire Lingnan province's surrounding alien beasts are coming towards us, there are millions of them. 
Miao said with the same forced composure in his heart, but the hand that gripped the handle of the gun was slightly trembling. Millions, so many, isn't this killing us? Hearing these words, the young soldier couldn't help but panic a little. Taking lives, you're right, these beasts are here to take our lives. Without waiting for Miao to speak, one of the soldiers apart from Miao couldn't help but say, Last time, during that small beast tide, tens of thousands of alien beasts came towards us. As a result, of the thousand or so people in our troop, less than a hundred were left in the end, and the rest all died in battle. This is because those strong warrior generals came in time, or else we would have been dead that time. I thought that I wouldn't be able to see the sun tomorrow, but in the end, I managed to survive. Speaking here, that soldier's eyes couldn't help but reveal a hint of fear, now recalling it all with a palpitation in his heart. But this time, it's a large-scale beast tied, 10 million level number of alien beasts launched an attack on the base city, without any accident, we are 9 to 1 this time. I've written my suicide note, in case I'm honorable when the time comes, all those words that I didn't have time to say, as well as the ones I wanted to say on a regular basis but didn't, all of them are in my last words, leaving them for my wife and children. Xiao Xiao Ah, you still have a wife and child to account for, I am the last words do not even need to write, die clean, no more worries, hey. The fighters began to narrate as you and I spoke, easing the tension before the station, this was one of the most common ways for them, the veterans. Outside the entire secure base city, there were not a few soldiers chatting like the ones in this stronghold. Of course, there were also the kind that were safe and silent, their eyes like wolves, staring out in death, the bullets and their guns loaded, waiting for the arrival of the alien beasts to deal them a fatal blow. Inside the shelter, the atmosphere was equally tense. In front of their eyes, there was a screen, and the scene in the screen was what the soldiers looked like and what was going on outside. This was the first time since the establishment of the safe zone that the entire shelter had been activated, and it was also a real-time broadcast facing all the residents. This was a way for the powers that be to tell these people that it was not easy to build homes, it was not easy for the soldiers to guard them, and it was not easy for the awakened to be under pressure. Everyone, young and old, women and children, must clearly know what awaits them once these walls are breached. In these guards, there were children of parents, fathers of children, and siblings. In order to guard the homeland behind them, they were willing to be on the most dangerous front line, braving the rain of bullets and bullets, braving the bloody mouths, iron claws and copper teeth, and fighting to the death with the foreign beasts. Daddy, mommy, I see daddy. A little girl said as she pointed to a scene that crossed over on the screen in front of her. Brother Wu, cheer up, if you return safely this time, we'll go get a license. A beautiful woman also saw the man she cherished on the screen. All of them were staring at the screen in front of them with dead eyes, even their breathing was careful. The entire safe base city was shrouded in the shadow of war at this very moment. Even though nothing appeared at the moment, everyone knew that this was just the tranquility before the war, the eve of the storm. Entering the interior of the star battleship, Chung Long saw that it really wasn't as cramped as it looked from the outside. With his current stature, a space of around a hundred meters was indeed like a cage. But what met his eyes was not like that at all. The entire internal space was not to mention several kilometers in scope, at least in Chang Long's perception, a kilometer-sized radius was still there, without a bit of that oppressive feeling of a narrow space. It really is a folding space. That's right, folding space technology, it's a common technology in most of the cosmic ships and interstellar battleships in the universe. Just like what you see inside the Cloud Mist Starship, that's already the smallest appearance displayed in front of you after the vast majority of the functions have been damaged. Once the Cloud Mist Starship's folding space space is enlarged, it is a world that is tens of light years long. Therefore, this folding space in front of you is also the most energy efficient state that the battleship can barely maintain after running low on energy. Dozens of light years of folded space. Chen Long's eyes widened, but then returned to normal, reassuring himself. Not bizarre not bizarre, with people at master's level and theirs, it's normal for anything to appear. Right, thus realizing is just fine. Immortality is a realm after realm lord even realm lords have internal worlds. The universe ships used by immortal level existences have a folding space of a few dozen light years, that's the standard ah. When you reach that level you'll know what it means to fly at the speed of light. Hmm, got it, I'm going to start advancing. Chen Long silently and breathlessly whispered him, then said helplessly. Opening his attribute panel, he looked at his current attribute data. Host, Chen Long. Type, Snake. Bloodline, SSSR, 512x Potential Enhancement, Increase the Speed and Efficiency of Absorbing Heaven and Earth's Aura. Technique, Spirit Decree. Realm, Beast General Level. Level, 3 thirds, all 6 basic attributes can advance to the next level. Length, 60 meters. Body weight, 25,000 kilograms. Remaining lifespan, 35 years. Breakthrough to Beast King Level can increase lifespan by 50 years. Extreme Strength, 600 plus slash 700. One point of attribute increases attack power by one point. Extreme stance, 600 plus slash 700, one point of attribute increases movement speed by one point per second slash meter. 
Extreme Physique, 600 plus slash 700, 1 point of attribute increases recovery power by 1 point. Extreme Armor, 600 plus slash 700, 1 point of attribute increases defense by 1 point. Extreme Endurance, 600 plus slash 700, 1 point of attribute equals 1 minute of lasting output. Extreme Nihility, 600 plus slash 700, 1 point of attribute increases soul pressure by 1 point and distance by 10 meters. Energy, 5750 points, 100 points of energy are converted into 1 point of evolution, which changes every time you advance in the realm, and can be obtained by devouring objects containing energy, as well as by drawing aura. Sealed Energy, 1 million points. Evolution Points, 13215 points. Satiety, 10%, cannot get food energy after satiety is full. Digestion Speed, 2000%, satiety level will be cleared within 4 hours after devouring prey. Skills. Venom Spray, April 10th, consumes 400 evolution points to advance to the next level. Toxin Immunity, 1 10th, consumes 100 evolution points to advance to the next level. Eyes of Fire, 2 out of 10, consume 200 evolution points to advance to the next level. Eye of Heaven Map, 3 out of 10, next level consumes 300 evolution points. Spiritual Illusion, 1 10th, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Soul Mark, 1 out of 10, next level consumes 100 evolution points. Powerful, 1 10th, consume 100 evolution points to advance to the next level. System Space, 1 out of 10, advancing to the next level consumes 100 evolution points. The evolution points have accumulated to over 13,000 points. During this period of time even though I've been in the underground cave and in the cloud starship, I haven't devoured much prey. But this subtle passive absorption of aura, even between simple breaths, can be absorbed and transformed into energy. Accumulating so much without even realizing it, not bad, not bad. It was still the attribute panel that put himself in a happy mood. Every time he talked to this guy, Simui, Chung Long would realize that he was as ignorant as a blank sheet of paper. Apart from being shocked or sighing, there was no point at all. Apart from looking like a frog at the bottom of a well, the only gain was that he had grown in insight. Chung Long couldn't help but sigh at this superb bloodline power that the system had given him. Going to actively devour prey on his own, although it was much faster than this passive acquisition, he couldn't withstand the fact that he didn't have to go through the hard labor of this thing. In Chang Long's opinion, there were just two words when lying flat, comfortable. After some maneuvering, Chang Long spent 600 evolution points to directly fill up all six attribute columns. Ding, the attribute value has reached the breakthrough threshold, the host can find a safe place to make a breakthrough, the outside world's aura density reaches the standard. This breakthrough will take 4 hours, and will draw in a large amount of aura within a 20 kilometer radius to form an aura storm to wash the host's physical body. As the familiar voice rang out, Chung Long felt like he was about to begin that wonderful journey of lust again. This time, however, it wouldn't be like the kind of crisis he faced when he broke through to the beast general level last time, when he was faced with an incoming imperial crocodile. The reason why he left Xiong De by his side, Chang Long was also trying to prevent some unforeseen circumstances from happening. But with this star battleship, Simi had said that after he came in, unless he obtained permission, basically no one on this planet would be able to break through its defenses. This was a fortress that was as solid as gold, ah, then one was completely able to make a breakthrough with all one's heart. Just stay on the sidelines. Chang Long instructed Xiong De before familiarizing himself with the state of advancement. Time passed quickly, and Simei was also paying attention to Chun Long's advancement process. Outside, some nearby alien beasts with slightly stronger perception had appeared around the star warship. Only, this black and unkempt thing made them hesitant, and for a moment they couldn't figure out what kind of thing was in here that could cause such a large fluctuation in aura. However, they wouldn't just leave so easily, but instead surrounded the fringe, on guard against each other and also keeping watch. For a promotion at this level to cause such a large aura vortex and attract so many foreign beasts, it's no wonder that this fellow wants to find a safe place for his promotion. With such an attraction, if one fails to advance, one can imagine what will happen. For those foreign beasts, this guy's body was a piece of flesh brushed with honey, anyone would want to take a bite. After all, the higher the bloodline level, the more dense the energy in the body of the creature's flesh and blood, for any need to devour the flesh and blood of the living beings, is a fatal temptation ah. Moreover, this guy's body seemed to be an ordinary king cobra, but it seemed to be hiding the genes of a starry sky beast. Only starry sky beasts could change in size every time they advanced. Most of the general cosmic creatures, most of their individuals were constant, growing to a certain extent and then not growing. But a king cobra this big, even if it is a return to its ancestor, the titan python that has existed on this planet doesn't have a massive body like him. Simei looked at Chun Long outside the intelligent core, that frowned slightly, then relieved. This guy has a big brother level character behind him, it's normal for something outside of regular perception to appear. What Cheng Long didn't know was that not only had he been struck and educated time and time again in front of Simei, 
but actually Simei looked at Chun Long and was also filled with fog. The more unknown it was, the more it could arouse Simei's interest. Only, in order to show the side of a strict teacher in front of Chang Long, Simei had to pretend to be high and mighty, while whipping with honey dates, using both hands. Boss's promotion this time has been much longer and more dynamic, and his size is also getting a little bit bigger. Xiong De, the guy closest to Cheng Long was also full of rewards, a small portion of the aura that was drawn by the aura vortex, was also absorbed by it. In Xiong Da's opinion, in this short one or two hours, the progress of its absorbed spiritual qi energy to strengthen its own body could be enhanced by several times compared to its usual effect. Even, he had the feeling of being on the verge of promotion, and could clearly feel that this progress was not far off. Ding, congratulations to the host, he has successfully advanced to the Beast King level. Ding, the host has obtained the new skill stash invisibility. Consuming 1000 points of energy value, you can be invisible for 10 minutes, as long as the energy value is sufficient, this skill can be used continuously and seamlessly. In the state of invisibility, it is immovable, the body blends into nature, it can escape spiritual perception, and once it moves, it will be exposed. Skill level is currently at level 1, upgrade for more enhancements and to unlock new features. Ding, sealed energy unlocked, host can use remaining energy value at any time. Ding, the ratio of energy exchange for evolution points has changed, please pay attention to the changes in the host's attribute bar. Nothing? Cheng Long waited for quite a while of effort, that mechanical system voice no longer responded. No way, this guy is so stingy. When he advanced to beast soldier, he rewarded the power of the bloodline, and at the same time raised his attributes to the pinnacle of beginner beast soldier. When advancing to beast general, not only did he have system space, but he also rewarded the spirit decision, a non-cultivation technique. Although it didn't have the one-time boost in attributes, it still had two benefits didn't it? But this time when he was promoted, he was given a stealth skill. Although there is also a sealed energy unlock, but that is also their own previously obtained, and the system simply does not match well. Worthy of being Joe Pickpocket, stingy and stingy. At least there is another chanting, even if it is not useful, it is also a comfort ah. Cheng Long couldn't help but spit. However, he couldn't change all of this, so he could only accept it silently. Cheng Long looked at the notes on the attribute bar regarding the energy value and couldn't help but let his nose go ask you. This, this, this. Cheng Long couldn't believe his eyes for a moment, this was too dark. Originally, he was thinking that the ratio when advancing to the beast soldier level was 1 to 50, the beast general level was 1 to 100, and the beast king level should be around 1 to 200 according to this projection. But the virtual panel, that is clearly written, this time the energy exchange ratio, that is 1 to 500 ah. This goddamn system, simply treat yourself as a wage earner, worthy of being a black-hearted capitalist, afraid of being too idle. 1 to 500 energy exchange, not as good as going to rob a bank is still comfortable. Is it easy for you to work hard to get some energy value? Chun Long's heart was rippling at the moment, unable to calm down for a long time. The color of joy that he had just gained from the reward was instantly gone. Boss, what happened? The Xiongde on the side saw Chang Long awakening, but the transformation from frowning and smiling to lifelessness only took less than a minute or two, watching it in a daze. It's fine. Chang Long was brought back to reality by Bear's inquiry. The wood has been turned, 500 is 500, well at least it's not a thousand point exchange ratio. Silently comforting himself, he thought about how to use the remaining energy value and evolution points. Originally had 13,215 evolution points, in the promotion of 600 points, now there are still 12,615 points left. With 1 million newly unsealed energy values, plus the 5,750 points from before, he was only able to redeem 2,011 points. Then after redeeming, one's remaining redemption value would be 14,626 points. To advance to the peak of Beast King, one would need to spend 1,800 evolution points. Then the remaining evolution points were just enough to advance these skills. As soon as he said that he would do it, Chang Long immediately exchanged all of his energy value for Chang Long evolution points, leaving only a balance of 250 points that could not be exchanged. 250, this number, Chang Long was really piercing when he looked at it. It was as if he saw the ridicule from the system, the spirit crystals that he had worked hard for several months and risked his life to get, one was actually only worth 2000 evolution points. This is obviously the naked irony of his own joy. However, the good thing is that there are enough spirit crystals in his hand, even if this guy is black-hearted, for the time being, he is still a rich young man. Shongde, you wait for me for a while, I'm making a breakthrough. Hmm, got it, feel free boss. Breaking through a bit more, this sentence could be said too lightly, as if eating and drinking water was as simple as that. Placed on others, the bear would directly choose to give it a big pussy pocket. But this was the boss in front of him, that would be normal and incomparable. Having only just advanced to Beast King, this guy is about to break through again. 
Obviously like he said, after taking the spirit crystal before, those energy values were not consumed, but sealed. The handiwork of that great power, this is the tip of the iceberg. In the intelligent core, Si Mui was generally bored playing the virtual game, while separating a sliver of her consciousness to focus on Changlong. Ding, congratulations to the host for breaking through to Intermediate Beast King. Ding, congratulations to the host for breaking through to Advanced Beast King. Ding, the host's attributes have reached the peak of Advanced Beast King and he is unable to increase his attribute value in. Breaking through to the planetary level requires comprehending one's aura attribute and then condensing and collecting enough aura essence to accommodate into the flesh before advancing. Just after Chang Long had spent roughly an hour or so raising his attribute strength to the peak of Beast King, he was greeted with this system prompt. Simu, what is the essence of aura? I'm prompted by this system that I'm no longer able to make a breakthrough, and I need to obtain enough essence of aura to incorporate into my flesh before I can advance. With a question, Chang Long couldn't help but ask Si Mei, the pundit. I knew you were going to ask this, didn't I tell you before, that planetary level powerhouses have all comprehended their own aura attributes. And in order to comprehend the aura attribute, one needs to sense the aura element in the universe that is most affinity to them, that is, one of the five elemental attributes and the four different attributes. For this step, some people could do it in 10 days and half a month, while others would have to spend a quarter, half a year, a year on the process. There are also those with poor perception affinity, it is normal for it to last for 3 to 5 years or 10 to 20 years, and even the ultimate lifetime may not be able to touch this threshold. When you sense an element of aura that belongs to you, you will be able to attract it to enter your body voluntarily and cleanse your body. The process of cleansing also varied from person to person. Some people could be cleansed in a few minutes, a few hours. There are also people who spend days or even months of effort. However, the process, all I can say to you is that the duration is the opposite of the effect of the previous step. The longer the process of cleansing, the stronger the ability to sense aura. This is a foundation, the more solid your fleshly body is, the stronger your affinity with the aura, the more it absorbs, the faster it recovers, and the more powerful the aura attacks that it emits will be. When your physical body is all cleansed once, it will naturally condense in your mind, and then condense into miniature planets, also known as spirit spheres. Similarly, the condensation of the spirit orb is the same, some are initially like the size of a grain of rice, while others are like citrus apples, and the master, in the beginning, was as big as a basketball. However, according to the master, there are some geniuses and demons who are able to hold back spirit orbs with a radius of several meters or even several zhang in size. Such a person, as long as they don't fall, is definitely a character. It was also easy for a planetary rank 1 to violently beat a 3rd or 4th ranked powerhouse, and it was also possible to overcome against a 5th or 6th ranked powerhouse. In front of a 7th or 8th ranked person, not to mention defeating them, there was still a chance to escape. Fighting beyond the ranks would be a common occurrence. At this point, you could become a planetary level powerhouse in the true sense of the word. This is the essence of aura, understand? So troublesome. Shang Long didn't expect that the process involved in wanting to advance to the planetary level was so complicated. However, there was a big gap in it as well. What kind of aura attribute he would be able to sense in the future and what kind of spirit orb he would be able to condense, Chum Long didn't know. However, the meal should be eaten one bite at a time, and the path should be taken one step at a time, he was at the peak of Beast King, right now was to adapt to the current new abilities. Let's upgrade the skills first, anyway, for the time being, I won't be able to break through to the planetary level. After Chang Long learned from Si Mei that this was something that couldn't be rushed, he didn't pay too much attention to it anymore, and instead put his attention on his attribute panel. The previous 8 skills, plus the new stealth skill, totaled 9. Among them, the three skills of Venom Spray, Fire Eyes, and Heaven's Eye Map were upgraded. And the rest of the Toxin Immunity, Mental Illusion, Soul Seal, Forcefulness, System Space and Stash Invisibility these six, can still be very bare bones as a one. Now that the family was rich, they couldn't be allowed to be benched again. However, after scrutinizing the description that had been hidden after these few skills, Soul Seal could not be upgraded at the moment, after all, if you wanted to use it, you had to reach 1000 points in terms of spiritual thoughts before you could do so. After all, the first spot had already been given to Xiong De on the side. The remaining few, for now, could be upgraded a bit. Ding, consuming 100 points of evolution value, toxin immunity advanced to the second level, reducing the effects of toxin invasion by 20% and increasing the host's immunity to toxins. Ding, consuming 200 points of evolution value, toxin immunity advances to level 3, reducing the effects of toxin invasion by 30%, increases the host's immunity to toxins. Ding, consuming 300 evolution points, toxin immunity advances to level 4, reducing the effects of toxin invasion by 40%, increases the host's immunity to toxins. Ding, consuming 400 evolution points, toxin immunity advances to level 5, reducing the effects of toxin invasion by 50%,
increases the host's immunity to toxins. Ding, consuming 500 evolution points, toxin immunity advances to level 6, reducing the effects of toxin invasion by 60%, increases the host's immunity to toxins. Ding, consuming 600 evolution points, toxin immunity advances to level 7, reducing the effects of toxin invasion by 70%, increases the host's immunity to toxins. Ding, consuming 700 evolution points, toxin immunity advances to level 8, reducing the effects of toxin invasion by 80%. Increase the host's immunity to toxins. Ding, consuming 800 evolution points, toxin immunity advances to level 9, reducing the effects of toxin invasion by 90%. Increase the host's immunity to toxins. Ding, consuming 900 evolution points, toxin immunity advances to level 10, reducing the effects of toxin invasion by 100%. Increasing the host's immunity to toxins. As the evolution points continue to be consumed, in the end, Shenlong advanced the skill of toxin immunity to its final effect. 100% immunity to toxins, which could be said to be invulnerable to all poisons. And the cost was a full 4,500 evolution points spent, looking at Chun Long that heartbreaking ah. After all, evolution points rubbing like running water generally fall, this is their own heart earned. But the harvest well, naturally good, every promotion level, it feels like the body more than an inexplicable force. The next thing was the skill of infinite strength. Ding, consuming 100 points of evolutionary value, forcefulness is promoted to the second level, for every 10,000 points of energy value consumed, the host's strength attribute is raised 4 times, duration 20 minutes. Ding, unlimited power is currently unable to advance, the next level requires the host to reach the planetary level before advancing. Unable to advance? Cheng Long didn't care, having a fourfold surge in strength attributes was not bad, so let's look at other skills. Ding, system space advanced to level 2, gained 1000 cubic meters of space, consumed 200 evolution points. Ding, system space advanced to level 3, gaining 10,000 cubic meters of space, consuming 300 evolution points. Ding, the system space cannot be advanced at the moment, the next level requires the host to reach the planetary level in order to advance. Changing. Ding, spiritual illusion advanced to the second level, the success rate increased to 20%. As long as a being whose mental power is inferior to the host's engages in a stare down with the host, there is a 20% chance of being caught in a mental illusion. A target caught in a mental state can be given a beautiful dream or nightmare based on the host's subjective will, causing them to become enthralled and unable to extricate themselves. The host may direct the target to perform a series of actions, including self-mutilation. When casting a mental illusion, the host cannot perform any other action or it is considered interrupted. The higher the opponent's mental power, the more mental power the host consumes. After casting a spiritual illusion, the host will fall into spiritual internal consumption for a short period of time, consuming a minimum of 20 points of spiritual energy for every minute. The higher the spiritual power, the lower the spiritual internal depletion and the faster the recovery. Ding, spiritual illusion advanced to level 3, success rate increased to 30%. For every minute of maintenance, a minimum of 30 points of spiritual energy is consumed. Ding, spiritual illusion advanced to level 4, success rate increased to 40%. For every minute it is maintained, a minimum of 40 points of spiritual energy is consumed. Ding, spiritual illusion advanced to level 5, success rate increased to 50%. For every minute of maintenance, a minimum of 50 points of spiritual energy is consumed. Ding, spiritual illusion advanced to level 6, success rate increased to 60%. For every minute it is maintained, a minimum of 60 points of spiritual energy is consumed. Ding, spiritual illusion advanced to level 7, success rate increased to 70%. For every minute it is maintained, a minimum of 70 points of spiritual energy is consumed. Ding, spiritual illusion realm advancement to level 8, success rate increased to 80%. For every minute of maintenance, a minimum of 80 points of spiritual energy is consumed. Ding, spiritual illusion realm advancement to level 9, success rate increased to 90%. For every minute it is maintained, a minimum of 90 points of spiritual energy is consumed. Ding, spiritual illusion advanced to level 10, success rate increased to 100%, can be used on the move. And the target can be within the coverage area of spiritual thoughts, and cannot be interfered with by the outside world unless the host wishes to do so. For every minute it is maintained, a minimum of 100 points of spiritual nimbus is consumed. Damn, not bad, originally this skill was already quite evil, plus now this perfect 100% success rate and the convenience for oneself as a spellcaster, it's simply overbearing. However, the loss of spiritual power is very large, their current power limit is only nearly 1000 points, every minute to maintain 100 points to be consumed, is also quite strenuous, or the use of caution. Even so, at this moment, Chenglong's heart was ecstatic. After all, these skills are his own cards, 
although they can't directly increase his attribute strength, but in other aspects, it is a super strong auxiliary means. Ding, stealth invisibility advanced to level 2, consumes 5000 energy points, can be invisible for 1 hour, as long as the energy value is enough, this skill can be used continuously and seamlessly. Ding, stealth invisibility advances to level 4, consuming 10,000 energy points, can be invisible for 10 hours, as long as the energy value is sufficient, this skill can be used continuously and seamlessly. Ding, stash stealth advances to level 4, consumes 20,000 energy points, can be invisible for 100 hours, as long as the energy value is enough, this skill can be used continuously and seamlessly. During this time, you can move, you can escape mental perception, that is, you will not be detected even if you thrust your shoulder next to the other party. Ding, stash invisibility cannot be advanced at the moment. The next level requires the host to reach the planetary level before advancing. It's enough to use, it's just that the energy value consumed is a bit much. 20,000 points, in today's conversion, it's a full 40 points of evolution value. Although it can be activated all the time, seamlessly. But this is a defeat skill, too extravagant, don't go playing with it until you have to. Ding, Venom Spray Skill Advancement Level 5 Successfully, Current Spray Distance Minimum 24 Meters, Venom Enhancement Enhanced to 20 times the effect, those without toxin antibodies must die. Ding, Venom Spraying Skill Level 6 Success, Current Spraying Distance Minimum 48 Meters, Venom Enhancement to 25 times the effect, those without toxin antibodies will die. Ding, Venom Spraying Skill Level 7 has been successfully promoted, Current Spraying Distance is at least 96 Meters, and Venom Enhancement has been increased to 30 times the effect. Those without toxin antibodies will die. Ding, Venom Spray Skill Level 6 successfully advanced, current spraying distance minimum 192 meters, Venom Enhancement enhanced to 35 times the effect. Those without toxin antibodies will die. Ding, Venom Spraying Skill Level 6 has been successfully promoted, current spraying distance is at least 384 meters, Venom Enhancement has been increased to 40 times the effect. Those without toxin antibodies will die. Ding, Venom Spray Skill Level 10 success, Current spray distance minimum 768 meters, venom enhancement to 45 times the effect. Those without toxin antibodies who are hit will die. There seems to be a difference from before, before there was no such word as minimum, could it be that the system is undergoing repair? Cheng Long was the first to notice the keywords in the note about the description venom spray skill. Up until now, after advancing 6 skills, he still had 1426 evolution points left. For more than 14,000 points, it had turned into more than 1,400 points in just a few minutes, which exactly confirmed the saying, work hard for a year, and go back to liberation overnight. A large number of changes were also occurring on the attribute panel. Host, Shun Long. Type, Snake Race. Bloodline, SSSR, 512x Potential Enhancement, increased the speed and efficiency of absorbing heaven and earth's aura. Technique, Spirit Decree. Realm, Beast King Level, Peak. Level, 3 thirds, all 6 basic attributes can advance to the next level. Body length, 99 meters. Body weight, 99,000 kilograms. Remaining lifespan, 85 years. Breaking through to the planetary level can increase your lifespan by 1,000 years. Extreme strength, 999 plus slash 1,000. 1 point of attribute increases attack power by 1 point. Extreme stance, 999 plus slash 1,000. 1 point of attribute increases movement speed by 1 point per second slash meter. Extreme Physique, 999 plus slash 1000, 1 point of attribute increases recovery power by 1 point. Extreme Armor, 999 plus slash 1000, 1 point attribute increases defense by 1 point. Extreme Endurance, 999 plus slash 1000, 1 point of attribute equals 1 minute of lasting output. Extreme Nihility, 999 plus slash 1000, 1 point of attribute increases soul pressure by 1 point and distance by 10 meters. Energy, 250 points, 500 points of energy are converted into 1 point of evolution, which changes every time you advance in a major realm, and can be obtained by devouring objects containing energy, as well as by drawing aura. Evolution points, 1426 points. Satiety, 10%, cannot get food energy after satiety level is full. Digestion speed, 2000%, satiety level will be cleared within 4 hours after devouring prey. Skills, venom spray, 10 out of 10, cannot be advanced can be strengthened by consuming evolution points. Toxin immunity, 10 out of 10, cannot be advanced, can be strengthened by consuming evolution points. Eyes of fire, 2 out of 10, consumes 200 evolution points to advance to the next level. Eye of heaven, 3 out of 10, consumes 300 evolution points to advance to the next level. Spiritual illusion, October 10th, cannot be advanced, can be strengthened by consuming evolution points. Soul mark, 1 out of 10, consumes 100 evolution points to advance to the next level. Powerful, 2 tenths, consumes 100 evolution points to advance to the next level. 
System space, 3 out of 10, consumes 100 evolution points to advance to next level. Invisibility, 4 out of 10, next level consumes 400 evolution points. One size has increased again, this time it's even more terrifying at 99 meters, and even one's weight has reached a staggering 99 tons, one didn't even pay attention to this matter just now, one was focused on something else. However, with such a large harvest, this day is also considered to be full of achievements. Not only did he reach the peak of the Beast King, but his skills improved greatly. War cards are also battle power, so naturally, it's normal that I inevitably overlooked something in a moment of happiness. Shun Long couldn't help but snicker to himself. I promised to support the Wang Yin security base, but now I've been delayed for 4 hours, I don't know how things are going over there, let's go take a look. Under Cheng Long's contact, Si Miao opened the door of the Star Warship, as Cheng Long's huge body appeared, those guys in the outside world who were waiting for an opportunity started to flee. Good guy, so big, originally thought that there was a treasure, this time it would probably become a prey. Some of the slow running beasts feel that their four legs are not enough to use, just hate parents gave two less legs ah. But a one meter long centipede on the side of the heart also secretly anxious, they are so many legs, or feel slow. Damn, I knew that there are so many idiots will be surrounded here, wanna run, the door is not there, just as the snake master I'm hungry again. Cheng Long looked at these ill-intentioned people scurrying around and decided to hunt down a few to fill his stomach first. Since he dared to come and crotch himself, then he definitely didn't mind leaving his little life behind. It's not polite to come but not to go. With that, Chun Long launched his hunting operation. Among these guys, the highest rank was just a little bit stronger than that emperor crocodile at the beginning, and it was just a junior beast general. Compared to Xiongde on one side, Xiongde had the strength to fight with an intermediate level battle general with the training he had done in the past few months. Boss this is a massacre. Xiongde watched from the sidelines and didn't make a move, for the simple reason that he didn't have a chance to make a move. In less than two short minutes, Chung Long's ghostly figure, super strength, and strength of peak beast king level in all aspects was completely abusive to these guys. More than 10 beast general level beasts were all killed in seconds. Vidra wolves, savage cows, mountain penetrating mastiffs, blood toothed pigs, and moon shadow cats. These, all of them, were the more powerful and common existences among the beasts, and also had the highest base number. Among them, there was even an unlucky golden crowned black eagle that originally wanted to come to take advantage of the fire for a while but didn't expect to be the first to be killed by Chung Long, and didn't even have the chance to open its wings. Master Snake I hate you Flatford beasts the most. Chung Long but clearly remembered that time when he was sneak attacked while sunbathing by the lake, it was also considered one of the few close calls he had when he came to this world. Chang Long didn't bother with those high-level beast soldier guys in the distance. Using his spatial ring to collect these Zhang tall corpses, he directly devoured the smallest one inside, a moon shadow cat that was about a meter in length. Ding, devouring a moon shadow cat, gaining 480 energy, satiety increased by 30%, current satiety 40%. Hearing the system's prompt, Chun Long thought back. Last time, that beast soldier level moon shadow spirit cat provided almost around 50 points of energy value. This time, this beast general level 1, however, also had 480 points of energy value, almost doubling about 10 times in terms of energy acquisition. A beast general ranked existence, it was true that the energy in its body was still much stronger than that of a beast soldier. Yet when converted, the evolution points were still about the same. The beast soldier level moon shadow cat, which was also a beast soldier level itself at the time, had a conversion ratio of 1 to 50, which was one evolution point. And the energy points gained from this beast general grade beast seemed to be more, but in fact, in terms of evolution points, it was still one point. After all, the current self had an exchange ratio of a whopping 1 to 500. Damn it, it seems that after advancing, the upper limit of the energy value gained per day appears to be higher, but actually less in terms of evolution points instead. This damn 500 exchange ratio, pitiful. Chang Long's heart flooded with whales. Extrapolating from the satiety level, the upper limit of energy that he could obtain from each meal was 1600 points when he entered the Beast King level, and converting it into evolution points, it became 3. 2 points. Even with 4 hours of eating apart, a day of no sleep and nothing else, 24 hours would only be 19. 2 points, not to mention that it was impossible. And the daily energy gained from passively absorbing aura was a fixed 14,400 points, before the ratio of 100 was still able to exchange 144 points, now it had directly shrunk 5 times to 28. 8 points. Calculating like this, the evolution points that one could normally obtain in a day was only about 30 or 40 points, a serious shrinkage. Although now that one's longevity had been raised to 85 years, one might not be able to enter the planetary level yet. But that doesn't mean that one doesn't need it, the skill upgrades are not even full, and that body transformation system, each and every one of them, requires a large amount of evolutionary value. 
especially that body transformation system, snake teeth, snake scales, snake wings, etc. The evolution points needed for each is not a small amount. From Sini's introduction, it was a matter of chance and enlightenment. However, the good news was that now, as one strength entered the peak of the beast king, the need for evolution points wasn't as great as before. Moreover, with the treasure of the spirit crystal, it could also provide himself with a large amount of extra energy value. The last time he absorbed it, it took half a month, and the harvest was 1 million points of energy value, which when converted down was 2000 evolution points. On average, that was about 133, 3 points per day, and with the passive aura absorption portion, one would be able to earn a net income of around 160 points a day if one purely relied on devouring spirit crystals for energy. No wonder the stronger the existence, the longer they spend on cultivation, the piece of absorbing energy with one hand takes a lot of time to invest. Chang Long couldn't help but lament. On the piece of evolution points, Chang Long never had too much. Just, just, don't want to think about this, one step at a time. Letting Simei put away the star battleship, Chang Long looked at the sun that was about to go down in the distance, and then brought Xiong De all the way towards the safe base. Coming, get ready. At this moment, outside the security base, with the visual range, one by one, the alien beasts came out from the mountains, forests, fields, and flatland in large numbers, a black pressurized piece, towards the security base city in order to come over. Motherfucker, these guys have gotten smart, they know not to gather together, but to spread out, so that the killing power of our weapons against them is about to be drastically weakened, what a cunning alien beast. On the city wall, a man wearing a general's uniform fiercely slammed his fist on the wall. Under his field of vision, a dense variety of alienated creatures appeared on the earth in front of him as far as the eye could see. Most of these were chickens, ducks, geese, cats, pigs, cows, sheep and dogs, the common poultry and beasts. Among them, there were also tigers, wolves, foxes, weasels, and other beasts that had mutated. As well as some centipedes, poisonous snakes, spiders and other poisonous insects and so on. But all of these existences, one by one, were detached from their previous appearance, and from the size alone, it was astonishing. Centipedes that were tens of centimeters tall, giant frogs that were more than a meter tall, bison that were ten feet tall, and pig beasts that were like tanks. Each one of them, individually, looked creepy, not to mention this black pressurized swarm. With that kind of oppressive feeling, the more timid ones were close to passing out. More importantly, the distant mountains and forests were very silent at the moment. The general, however, clearly knew that the incoming wave of foreign beasts did not only include these pavement troops, they also had the presence of air forces. As expected, just when he was worried. With the vibration of countless wings in the forest, a fierce wind blew up. It even directly swept its large amount of smoke and dust, transforming into a dark cloud-like, blackened mass that appeared in front of everyone's eyes. One by one, bats, sparrows, cuckoos, finches, etc. formed their own groups, each numbering in the thousands. Among them are also mixed with this hawk, golden eagle such raptors. These guys also compared to the previous appearance of the size has not been a model, not only become a lot bigger, and the eyes are reddish kind, full of bloodthirsty desire. At this moment, regardless of the ground beasts, or airborne bird legions, our very rare did not start the infighting between natural enemies, but very harmonious together. And their target was the Wang Yun security base city in front of them. On guard, meet the battle. With the command, a silver-white aperture appeared in the sky above the entire security base. And the aperture was emitted by five large pillars that were four to five hundred meters tall in the base city. It was a pure grid of light, like an inverted pot lid that surrounded the entire base city. On the walls of the city, there was a white stick thicker than a thigh stretched diagonally all over the city, and there was a special device at their upper end that connected to one end of the light shield. This was what formed the pot lid. Each of the pillars in turn channeled the conducted electricity to the ground at the root of the city, stretching out over several meters to form an electric field of protection. As long as the electricity kept going, this light curtain would always protect the safety of the entire base city. This was the power of technology, and a new means that mankind had obtained from the remains of an ancient civilization, black technology. Master, how is it on your side? Xiaofang was similarly standing on top of the city wall at the moment, looking at the black pressurized army of alien beasts in the distance, her heart was more concerned about Chen Long's safety. Their group had also just entered the base city before the arrival of the beast tide army. Along the way they could be said to have had a scare, as almost all of the alien beasts in the wilds of the base city were assembling towards the designated points on the outskirts of the base city. This is a premeditated action. Zhong Fan, the mayor of the base city, was similarly standing on the city wall at this moment, his brows couldn't help but furrow as his eyes stared dead ahead. The hand that was resting on the wall bricks was clasped in a deadly grip, and those nails were bleeding before he even realized it. Yes, the fey beasts that can awaken are all intelligent, they are not like those red-eyed beasts that are about to be alienated who can't control their minds and can only act on instinct. 
Especially the higher the realm, the more the beasts can control their bloodlust, and the higher their level of intelligence. The intelligence of a beast general level existence is already no less than that of our human children in their teens. This time, the fact that these beasts of different races were able to gather together and not fight is due to these beast general level beasts. Having been cleansed under our guns some days ago, and with the mapping of those small beast tides, the escaped fey beasts will naturally retaliate. It's just that, I didn't expect that the retaliation this time would actually be so large, looking at this situation, the number is at least 10 million in number. Wulong's face had the same look of worry, and at the same time, there was also some self-blame. It was the first time that the entire human race was faced with a beast tide of such a large scale. Although they had high walls and sharp cannons, the weapon side had likewise been replenished a lot during this recovery time. It didn't matter if it was bullets or artillery. Under the test of those small alien beasts attacks, they realized that the higher the level of the alien beasts, the less threat this kind of thermal weapon posed. One of the reasons for this was that not only were their individuals extremely fast and able to easily dodge the bullet's trajectory, but their defense was extremely high. Even if a bullet was shot into their body, their hard bones were even harder than steel. The muscles of their bodies also have strong toughness and explosive power, able to clamp the high-speed armor-piercing bullets, causing the damage caused to be greatly reduced. And the recovery power is also very high, it is difficult to cause fatal damage to them. As for cannons and missiles, it wasn't like no one had ever used them. Although this missile wash did manage to kill the vast majority of alien beasts. But it was still the same problem, it was only effective against low-level alien beasts. For those at the war general level, even if they were able to kill them, they would still need luck. After all, the higher the rank, the higher the perceptual acuity. Before the missiles even hit the ground, they were already out of the blast range. Even the Beast King class that came this time was a product that was spawned by the launch of the super nuclear missile three months ago. It was named the Extreme Shadow Blood Wolf and was extremely fast and incredibly powerful. At that time, the safe zone didn't have such a high wall and could be accessed from everywhere, so they could only rely on guards to be on the alert. The other party took advantage of the night to sneak in and killed a large number of civilians and soldiers. In the end, it was only after dozens of martial artists stepped in and surrounded the beast that it was barely defeated. Because humans did not have war general level martial artists at that time, most of those dozens of people were intermediate level warriors, and only a dozen or so were advanced level warriors. This extreme shadow blood wolf, however, had already broken through to the primary beast general level, and its strength was not on the same level at all. Therefore, there was no way that the humans could only rely on numbers to win. Even if they won, this was a war between two races, there was no right or wrong. Even so, two senior warriors were sacrificed in it, and a dozen intermediate level martial artists were injured. In the end, Wulong was furious and personally ordered to track down the beast's whereabouts and launched a small supernuclear missile. But the result was that even though it was seriously injured, it was not completely killed and caused a mutation, prompting it to enter the beast king level. Old Wuwa, don't blame yourself, at that time anyone else would have done so, it's just that the result, was something no one could have imagined. Now that this beast has swept in an army to attack, it's here for revenge. We humans and foreign beasts, originally are races that are hostile to each other for the sake of survival space. Even without your missile baptism, so many people who died at the hands of the foreign beasts as well as the foreign beasts that were killed by the humans, it has long been an immortal relationship. Zhong Fan looked at his old friend who was somewhat self-condemned and couldn't help but speak out to comfort him. I understand what you're saying, but this time, if the city really breaks down and we don't hold it, the sins of this, the lives and deaths of the countless people behind us, can all be attributed to my decision in the first place. Wu Long couldn't help but sigh, only around this old buddy of his would he reveal such worries. In front of those subordinates of his, he was a great general who stood above the heavens and could not be questioned. Beast King Beast King, in the beginning, a beast general made us lose our troops, now that that beast has reached the beast king level, we don't know how powerful it is. Although our human martial artists have also increased substantially in these months, and their strength has increased quite a bit, but these beasts, they are also increasing their strength by leaps and bounds, this time, it's still unknown who will die. As one of the highest level leaders of the whole base city, Zhong Fan was also under great pressure, he was not worried about anything else, but that beast king, who will deal with it then? Just as the two of them were looking ahead worriedly, the beast suddenly became quiet. In the distant mountains and forests, a giant wolf with a height of more than 10 meters slowly appeared in the battlefield. The hairs on that giant wolf's huge body were erect like steel wires, and under the afterglow of the lingering sun, the black body was like a god of death in the night, full of oppression. Every step of the four limbs and steel claws left a deep footprint on the ground, just like the pace of the god of death, and the hearts of the soldiers thumped along with it. A pair of eyes the size of a lantern revealed a ferocious gaze, staring dead ahead at the city wall. Wherever that gaze reached, a chill ran down one's back. It's coming. 
In the face of such a huge foreign beast, not only did the soldiers on the city walls feel breathless and oppressed, even the people watching in the shelter held their breath and nervously watched the images on the screen. The children who were howling and crying also immediately stopped crying and howling, but hurriedly buried their little heads into the chest in front of them. Outside the entire security base city, with the arrival of the extreme shadow blood wolves, driven by those fey beasts, the cannon fodder troops at the front began a suicide attack on the security base city. Kill. As the first shots rang out, countless bullets sprayed out from the chambers of the guns under the knocking of the soldiers. For a time, the entire base was under the sound made by the guns and ammunition. The deafening battlefield was filled with blood and flesh for a while. Half an hour later, Wu Long, who had returned to the combat command center, looked at the large screen in front of them with a deadpan expression. This is a tentative attack, order it down and tell the soldiers to save their bullets, the vicious battle is still ahead, right now there aren't many supplies in the safe zone, we can't shoot indiscriminately. Wu Long looked at the ammunition that kept pouring out from the city walls as well as from within the walls. Despite the constant killing force on those beasts outside, causing a large number of bullets to fly across the area, they did not injure the vitals of the tendons and bones of the alien beasts. After all, the ones that were driven out were just cannon fodder. Yes. As Wu Long's order was given, the people in the command center began to contact the troops in front of them and gave them a new mission. Motherfucker, now that most of the resource supply places in the wilderness have all fallen to the alien beast's territory, it's very much a struggle for us to get normal steel and other resources. If we were in the pre-cataclysm kind of situation with sufficient logistics, I would just say one thing, just give it to me to the death, aim, meow the hell, fire coverage. As the highest military officer of the base city, Wu Long clearly knew how much home base the current troops had. In the face of such an extinction crisis, to actually convey the order to save the elixir was not stupefying, it was also a matter of necessity. The base city that had been established with great difficulty, in this post-apocalyptic environment, there was not much left of the human resources just like the remnants of the human race. Only after recapturing those resource gathering places would it be possible to recover to half of the level on the eve of the cataclysm. Xiao Fang controlled her spiritual thoughts, the twenty flying blades were sharper than normal bullets and were recyclable. An alienated beast that approached the city wall was often cut open by the flying blades in a single glance, unable to react in time. In a moment, with her as the center, a flying shadow appeared in a range of about a thousand meters in front of her. Those flying shadows were the trajectory of the flying blades movement, it was just that the speed of flight was too fast and it was difficult to capture with the naked eye, which formed the flying shadows. Xiao Fan, who had reached the level of senior warrior, had also made a lot of breakthroughs in her spiritual thoughts. The range that spiritual thoughts could cover was not as wide as Cheng Long's, but it could still be controlled at a distance of about a thousand meters. That girl is that one's disciple Wang Fang, isn't she, so powerful? Xiao Fan's behavior was naturally seen by Wu Long and the others. On the city walls, there were surveillance cameras everywhere, and Xiao Fang was naturally able to draw more attention to her with such an excellent performance. Yes, this girl is considered a child of heavenly destiny. Not only did she have that strange encounter, her own talent is also good. In just a few short months of work, now not only has her physical body reached advanced warrior hand quasi, combined with the spiritual power, it has a strength comparable to that of a general, which can be called a genius. And with great respect for that person, it is now considered a mainstay among our human martial artists. Zhong Fan nodded and looked at Xiao Fang in the distance, unable to help but marvel. Listening to Li Hongfeng from the reinforcement regiment below, this guy can be acting as an instructor for those awakened people in their regiment. And with his shocking words and unique ideas, his understanding of aura far exceeds that of ordinary people, and he is often able to hit the nail on the head and point out what is wrong with those awakened ones. So it seems that it's already more than just a mainstay, the future achievements are unlimited. Just as they were exchanging words, there was a new change in the entire battlefield. Awakened ones like Xiao Fang who were able to provide support assistance from a distance could be considered rare. Most of the awakened could only wait on the city walls, or likewise shoot with long-range weapons just like those soldiers. As for the close combat, under such a large-scale beast tide, unless the other party has killed on the city wall, otherwise it is no different from looking for death. Their role was the second line of defense, in case the army's firepower couldn't suppress the attacks of the beasts and the defense of the grid was breached, they would be needed for close combat. Of course, when it came to this kind of point, the security base would really be facing an official existential crisis. In just 10 minutes, the battlefield under the city wall left behind countless chickens and ducks. If this was placed on a normal day, it would definitely be a delicious meal, but at this moment, the warriors were not in the mood to think about this. Each and every one of them knew clearly that this wave was nothing more than an appetizer, although the humans appeared to have won and slaughtered quite a few alienated beasts. But on the ground a few kilometers later, there was still a large black mass. The ones that were hunted down were only one of the nine cows in the entire wave of beasts. 
That extreme shadow blood wolf raised its voice to the sky, and the sound not only broke through the sound of the bombardment and pouring of artillery and ammunition on the battlefield, but also spread to several other places dozens of miles away. For a time, outside the base city, in all directions, the various cries of the foreign beasts resounded, one after another. These beasts are going to officially attack. As the roars of these beast generals slowly ceased, some small beast soldier level existences began to personally lead the group, mixing into the ranks of the alienated beasts and launching an attack towards the side of the city wall. This is about to get real. Those with sharp eyes quickly realized that the low-level beast soldiers who had all just been only supervising the battle from the back were personally taking to the battlefield at this moment, which meant that those roars just now were joint orders, this was the main course, and it was also a hard course. At the same time, those bird clans in the sky also began to cooperate with the ground for action. A bat, Kingfisher, under the leadership of their respective leaders, fearlessly began to impact the mid-air power grid shield. Humans naturally wouldn't let these guys go unchecked, one by one, the turrets mounted on the city walls began to fire indiscriminately at these bird-like alienated beasts. For a moment, whether it was the ground or the sky, the entire night sky, which was already about to turn dark, became bright at this moment. Don't stay back, fire indiscriminately. These alien beasts aren't comparable to the cannon fodder that haven't been thoroughly alienated, once we let them get close to the city walls and break through the grid shields, the consequences will be really hard to predict. Yes, after losing the protection of this shroud, we will completely become the fat meat by the mouth of these alien beasts. On the city walls of the entire base city, for a while, the complete firepower was unreservedly poured out crazily towards the alien beasts in front. And at the back, under the city wall, a vehicle of ammunition supply was constantly being transported to the city wall. However, this time, although the human camp's firepower became ferocious, with the beast soldiers mixed in the ranks of the alienated beasts, the humans suffered casualties. Those bullet holes on the city walls were not only able to export firepower externally, but likewise, the alien beasts' various venomous saliva and other means of attack were also able to enter through the holes. After all, there were too many fey beasts, and as powerful as the power grid protection was, there were some lucky fey beasts as well as altered beasts. After carrying over the protection of the power grid, they came directly to the foot of the city wall, they climbed the tall city wall, jumped, and utilized their own advantages or drilled into holes, or poison needles, or sharp claws, or pointed beaks. All means that could be spatial, began to unfold a return attack on the human soldiers. For a time, the number of injured warriors suddenly skyrocketed. With injured warriors, the fire point where they were located would be temporarily missing, which gave the foreign beasts a chance to get close to the city walls. If it was a simple one or two locations, it was inconsequential, but this was the case for a large area, and the grid shield had become shaky under the countless suicidal attacks of the alien beasts, and it could break at any time. The real crisis had come. Get the martial artists out, close the power grid shields, the soldiers are responsible for shooting the alien beasts in the distance, leave the close ones to the martial artists. As the power grid shut down, on the city walls, a large number of martial artists began to direction the guns in their hands, taking out their own handy weapons, ready to start fighting. The battlefield began a short battle. As soon as the battle situation entered the close quarters state, it fell into a stalemate, and even vaguely, the human side of the martial artists, gradually fell into the wind. The warring ones were now warrior level existences, and the general level powerhouses were not invested on either side. Although the number of martial artists on the human side is as high as 200,000, there are only a few more on the beast side. More importantly, martial arts this thing, with the development of the technological era, martial arts basically became a kind of calisthenics to strengthen the body, rather than killing techniques. After a long time of peace, most people, except for soldiers in service, rarely cared about the practice of martial arts. However, after the cataclysm, the world pattern had changed, and martial artists, this kind of awakened special existence that could sense the aura, became the meat and potatoes for a while. But it was only at this time that people realized that on the eve of the cataclysm, the martial arts that were not seen as martial arts, played a major role for a time. The same as awakened spiritual sense of the martial artist, a practice of martial arts and it did not practice martial arts on both sides, can play out the combat power, is a world of difference. Despite the fact that the base city authorities had created quite a few martial arts schools in the past half year, practicing martial arts, this was not something that could be refined in just half a year or a year. We still realized this too late, but after this battle, if we can hold onto the secure base, we must start a campaign for all people to practice martial arts. Looking at one of the images of the battle on the screen, some martial artists had empty brute strength and speed, but no skill to speak of, and were even weaker in terms of body awareness. So many times if in the reaction a little faster, can avoid the attack of foreign beasts, but because of that little bit, the distance between life and death, is a billion points. Time is too short, not only do we need to build a base, rebuild our home, get supplies, hunt foreign beasts, all aspects need time and manpower, there is always a neglected place ah. 
Looking at the picture of those martial artists struggling to fight against the attacks of the alien beasts and bleeding to death, Zhong Fan likewise did not feel good in his heart. A fresh life just faded away in front of his eyes, whoever else would have a blocked heart. Even if this kind of thing experienced dozens of times or even more than a hundred times, even if the heart how nearly numb. But as a living person, after all, is not a stone, or will rabid death fox sad things hurt. Dad, dad he's hurt. Shelter, a five or six year old child snuggled in his mother's arms, suddenly wow cry. The reason was simple, he saw a familiar figure in the picture switching on the screen. It was the child's father, aged 30 years old, but right now he was struggling to cover his left arm with his right hand, wailing in pain. His arm had been bitten off alive by a foreign beast, and although the other party had been killed as well, he had ultimately paid a heavy price. A medic on the side pulled him inside the city wall and was wrapping it. Such scenes were numerous at the moment on the battlefield outside. As the battle became more and more intense, so many foreign beasts and even alienated beasts had broken through the human defense line and attacked the city walls. There were dead bodies everywhere, not even a place to land, and the blood became a river, coloring the entire battlefield red. Wailing sounds, miserable screams, and unwilling roars. Both sides, humans and alien beasts, had paid a terrible price. Under the dozens of meters high walls, corpses piled up, both human and fey beasts. Above the sky, a different kind of heavy rain was falling, those were flying fey beasts that had been shot down by the air defense system. Of course, there were also a small number of turrets that were destroyed by the invading fey beasts, and there was a vacuum of firepower. Quickly, activate the backup batteries, the maintenance department's grabbing the repairs, we can't let these guys break through our defense line. Medics, medics, come to the rescue. Kill, kill these beasts. As the battle line became more and more precarious, and several of the outer strongholds were breached, many people were shouting, where are the reinforcements, where are the reinforcements, why aren't they coming yet? In the combat room, Wulong's fists were pinched to death, he clearly knew that it wasn't that there were no reinforcements, but that he couldn't go on now. What the other party was putting in now was just cannon fodder and the lowest level foreign beasts, those main forces were not on yet. Especially that beast king extreme shadow blood wolf, his own side had almost no blocking power, and could only rely on a handful of intermediate level battle generals and individual high level battle generals to carry out a siege. Therefore, right now, even though the battlefield was in a fierce battle, and the human defenders were losing ground, it seemed to be a lopsided battle. Wu Long, however, still believed that they would be able to resist and carry on even if they couldn't. After all, behind them are their wives, children, children, friends and family, there is no way to retreat, they can only defend and fight to the death. Xiao Fang is also exhausted at the moment, from the beginning of the war to now, up to dozens of minutes, she has not remembered how many beasts she manipulated the flying blade to kill. And at the back, she was the main target of most of Cheng Long's fey beasts. After all, being too conspicuous in killing more fey beasts naturally drew the attention of those beast general level existences. Under their command, quite a few beast soldier alien beasts preferred to give up attacking elsewhere, but also desperately launched an attack on Xiaofang here. Fortunately, the human side also saw the intentions of the alien beasts, and most of the soldiers and martial artists who were not far away from Xiaofang carried out blocking attacks in an orderly manner, fighting for a certain amount of space for her to unleash her attacks. But even so, with the prolonged load of energy, Xiaofang was unable to eat anymore. Even though her strength was already able to compete with a battle general level existence, she was still unable to withstand such an intense battle. Even those adult soldiers and martial artists were all panting at this moment, struggling to fight and engage with their will. Master Ah, are you still coming or not, if you don't come, you may never see me again. Xiao Fang, who had been very conflicted, finally put her hopes on Chang Long. In her perception, Master was a great pervert, there was no peril that could not be solved. However, at this moment, Chang Long was still on the road, taking Xiong Di to rush with all his might. On one hand, he had made a deal with the humans, and on the other hand, he was still worried about Xiao Fang's safety. Boss, I don't know what's happening to that guy Xiao Fang now. That safe base of theirs, I've been there last time, it's hard to resist the attacks of our fey beasts. What, are you worried about her? Chang Long turned his head and looked at Xiong De, saying with interest, Could it be that you're not worried about her, boss? Xiong De didn't answer Chang Long's question and asked instead. Worried, but so what, we are so far away, it will take time to rush over. Later on, there will even be a big battle to be fought, you guys protect yourself well you know. Do not seek to kill the enemy, self-preservation is the first, understand? Chang Long was very fond of Xiong De, the first little brother who took the initiative to obey him. Although he was usually naive and gluttonous, his loyalty was unquestionable. Got it, boss. For Chang Long's concern, Xiong De became more and more touched after his wisdom grew higher and higher. Then Xiao Fang won't be in danger, right? For Xiao Fang, who had been with him for a few months, in Xiong Da's heart, apart from the boss, she was the second closest person to him. 
Don't worry, with the level of human technology, the beast tide won't be able to break through the base city in a while. Chung Long inwardly analyzed a lot along the way as well, and at the same time talked to Si Nini about the situation as well. Si Nini then replied with a sentence, the human base city may be breached, but not in a short period of time. Because even if the beast king is powerful, if the human race really breaks through and activates the nuclear explosion, it still has some threatening power. With the analysis of Si Mei, an advanced intelligent being, Chan Long became more clear in his mind. Time passed little by little, half an hour later, the two Chan Longs finally appeared on a mountain peak on the outskirts of the battlefield. Master is here. Cheng Long and Xiongda stood on a not-so-high mountain peak outside the city, looking at the dense foreign beasts in the distance and the humans fighting hard on the dozens of meters high city wall. Boss, it looks like the human side has been in a disadvantageous position. Xiongde also saw the posture of the entire battlefield. Cheng Long did not answer Xiongda's question, but instead looked towards an area several kilometers away in the distance. There was likewise a small hilltop there, and it was also one of the best places to overlook the secure base city. And up there, stationed, was that extreme shadow blood wolf king. The two of them had already arrived a little while ago, and instead of hiding their tracks, they stood very high above the peak, looking down at the battlefield below. If it was an ordinary fey beast that had entered this tide of beasts that numbered up to tens of millions, it definitely wouldn't have attracted a single ounce of attention. Even if it was that they were in a state of siege on all sides, an army of alien beasts that numbered up to tens of millions, spread out, there were still thousands of them in each place. With so many alien beasts surrounding the periphery of the secure base city, the several kilometers outside the city walls were all occupied by them. A peak beast king level fey beast with a beast general, such a combination, was too conspicuous. When Cheng Long's turned his gaze towards the extreme shadow blood wolf king, the other party also sensed Cheng Long's gaze. There was no way around it, both parties were king level existences, their aura was too strong, even if they were in the midst of tens of millions of foreign beasts, they were still like the sun, a radiant existence. When the gazes of the two met each other, they collided with intense sparks. Battle. This was the idea of the king meeting the king. That extreme shadow blood wolf had spent months of hard work for this revenge feast, only to subdue the beast general level leaders of these races along the way. Under the hard work of running around, all kinds of coercion and lure means were used, only to make these guys temporarily obey their own orders, organizing this magnificent scale of the beast tide. Originally, he had thought that in the thousands of kilometers of land, there was only one king level existence. Even after the end of this beast tide, it was still the undisputed king of the thousands of kilometers. But the sudden appearance of Chang Long made it alert. The birth of a king level was not this easy, and the other party was clearly stronger than himself from his aura. Such a potential rival suddenly appeared in his own hard plan bureau, how could it not make the extreme shadow blood wolf alert? One mountain could not accommodate two tigers, in a territory, there must not be two kings. Chang Long's idea was even simpler, hunt it down, devour its flesh and blood, and obtain a large amount of energy. Since he didn't want to be enemies with humans, the energy could only come from these foreign beasts. There was no right or wrong, only positions and needs. Just as the two kings were engaging in a stare down, in the combat command post, a soldier sitting in front of a computer screen in charge of monitoring also discovered the presence of the red dot representing Cheng Long. Report, another king level foreign beast has been discovered, and its aura is even stronger than the extreme shadow blood wolf king that appeared before. What, there's another king level foreign beast? Wu Long immediately looked at the image that was pulled up on the large screen, only to see that there were countless densely packed dots on it, with the yellow ones being the most numerous, the blue ones were also present in large numbers, thousands and thousands of them, while the battlefield that originally only had one huge red dot was currently displaying two. Temporarily shield the detection of the yellow dots at the beast soldier level, and mainly collect the trajectory of the blue dots that represent the beast general level, now pull up the image of the other red dot for me. Yes. As Wu Long's order was given, the soldier immediately operated in a burst, and a hundred meter long giant snake appeared on the screen, and next to the giant snake stood a seven or eight meter tall black bear. Oh my god, this is. The people in the combat room couldn't help but suck in a cold breath when they saw the surveillance on the screen. Is it destined for our base city to be overrun this time? Someone couldn't help but look panicked and muttered in a very low voice, while not forgetting to look at Chun Long on the side, as if he was afraid of being scolded. The data analysis has come out. When Wu Long looked at the python on the screen, the personnel on the side had already input the analyzed data on the screen. The estimated strength is as follows. Titan Python, Peak Beast King Strength, Comprehensive Combat Index of 9 stars. Giant Bear Monster, Intermediate Beast General Strength, Comprehensive Combat Index 5 stars. Next to the two pieces of data, there were various parameter indicators, some of which were already labeled, while others were still a question mark. 9 star level battle strength, that extreme shadow blood wolf king is only 7 stars according to judgment, 
This is really over if it really came to assist in the attack on our base city, this time it's really over. All of them were ashen, and extreme shadow blood wolf king had made all of them feel tricky, now there was such a giant python, what to do? Shen Long was keenly aware of an inexplicable surveillance, and couldn't help but raise his head to look at the distant base city. This is satellite surveillance, you appear here so unobtrusively and in such a high profile, you are definitely under their surveillance. Sini couldn't help but remind. I'm to the point where I forgot about this thing, whatever, so what if I see it? Chen Long said disdainfully, then turned his head to look at Xiong De on the side. You go help the little girl, she needs support there, be careful yourself, I'll go and hunt that guy down. Capture the thief first, as long as you get that extreme shadow blood wolf king killed, this beast tide crisis will naturally end by then. Okay, boss. Bear Nature also saw Xiao Fang, who was surrounded by concentrated firepower on the city wall and was already in danger, and with Cheng Long's order, it didn't hesitate to rush down the mountain peak and kill towards the group of foreign beasts. No, why is this guy killing against the foreign beasts? In the command center, Wu Long, who was suffering from a headache, immediately saw this image under the monitor. It wasn't that he didn't associate this python as Chen Long, it was really that there were too many changes between the two. Although the security bureau has collected a lot of information about Chun Long, also know that this guy mutated quickly, but the latest information, but also only 50 or 60 meters in size, the strength is only beast general. But compared to the 100 meter python in front of him, the two were not on the same level at all. After all, the wild is now everywhere beasts, especially snake beasts quite a lot, who knows when will appear other high level existence. Xiao Fang looked all the way towards their side of the rampage as if breaking through the bear big, cannot help but excited bad, instantly become full of energy again, the spirit is violently become jittery. The speed of the twenty flying daggers returned to its optimal state, harvesting the lives of the beasts that surrounded them one by one in front of them. Be careful, that's a beast general level fey beast. Unknown teammates saw Xiong De charging over, and although he slapped one and smoked away quite a few fey beasts that were in his way, he thought that it was nothing more than a frenzy, and didn't even realize that it was coming to support his side. Cannonball lock, can't let that guy charge over. There were already some unknown commanders who started to order the turrets to calibrate their guns to aim at Xiongde. Don't, that's a comrade on our side. Xiao Fang couldn't care about controlling the flying blade to kill the enemy, so she hurriedly shouted out. On our side, one of our own. Hearing Xiao Fang's shout, that commander couldn't help but pull out his ears, thinking that he had misheard, he turned his gaze to Xiao Fang and asked with a suspicious face. That's right, one of our own, my partner. Little Fang hurriedly nodded her head. Trying to block me, don't think you're capable of it. The moment Chang Long launched his charge, his figure was already fast to the limit. The opponent's stats he simply didn't need to use his fire eyes to conduct a check, lest he waste that energy value. A mosquito is meat even if it's small, and there were too many places where he needed energy value, so a little bit is a little bit if he could save it. Facing Chang Long's supersonic sprint and incredibly fast figure, the extreme shadow blood wolf king was even more inferior to itself. Despite its name, speed was his advantage. However, this advantage was far inferior when facing Chang Long's extreme speed that he had issued in the first place. Although its extreme speed also surpassed the speed of sound, it was only more than 500 meters per second, not even reaching two times the speed of sound. Therefore, when he saw Chang Long's ghostly speed, he first gave the order to block to the ten or so most loyal beast general ranked kindred around him. These ten or so wolf beast generals were the earliest capital, the core of the starting team, that allowed the extreme shadow blood wolf king to be able to subdue so many fey armies at the same time in the short span of two to three months. Knowing that they were undefeatable, but still brazenly carrying out mantis-like behavior, this was the issue of loyalty amongst the fey beasts. Especially the wolf race, in terms of unity and cooperation and obedience, that is absolutely listening to the wolf king's orders. But is this behavior useful? The answer was no, just when those ten or so extreme shadow wolves came from the small Chang Long who came in a hurry. Their fate was the same as those poor guys along the way who were knocked away and had already lost their lives before they even had a chance to land. Without even being able to delay Chang Long's footsteps, they died. This was the power of a peak beast king, not something that could be stopped by a mere beast general level. What? That extreme shadow blood wolf king was shocked to see that his ten or so subordinates died without even a single glance. As the first beast king within a radius of a thousand kilometers, it was extremely proud, and he had the capital to be proud. Ordinary existences, however, could not even enter its eyes. However, this time, it could only be said that it was unlucky on its own, encountering Chang Long, the great pervert, the great hanging wall. Supersonic speed, and it's nearly three times the speed of sound, this guy, incredibly fast. Everyone on this side of the wall saw this scene, and when Chang Long rushed towards the extreme shadow blood wolf king, everyone's hearts were quite relieved. In conjunction with the image that Xiao Fang had just said was one of their own, it was switched and relayed by Wu Long on the spur of the moment. For a time, the human side that received the message could be said to be greatly demoralized. 
Regardless of whether or not they had seen the image, the soldiers who were originally nearly desperate and in a state of numbness, ready to fight to the death with their lives, rekindled their hope. Old Wu, our side is considered saved. Zhong Fan's heart had also hit rock bottom just now, and even though he vaguely had a few guesses, he didn't dare to explicitly say so. After all, this is something that very much affects the morale, as a superior, once the instruction is issued wrongly, it is a very big impact. So when he saw this combination of Cheng Long and Xiang De, he was just thinking and judging, silent. And now, he could be 100% sure that this was the reinforcements they had promised those three unknown conditions. And it was so powerful, something that he, the decision maker, had not expected. Originally, he had thought that the other party was only at the beast general level, at most a high level beast general. Although humans didn't have a king level existence at the moment, there were still some at the general level, and there were also high level war generals, most of which had had some strange encounters to get to their current realm. Therefore, at that time, I felt that it was just three unknown conditions, so I agreed first. After all, the other party also has a preamble, but not excessive, not beyond the scope of ability, this is good. Can't is to ask for money on the ground, this kind of, professional things to professional people, it doesn't matter. But now it seems, estimation will not work. The existence of 9 star combat power, the peak strength of the beast king, for the fight to run away and even defeat the extreme shadow wolf king this point, Zhong Fan has been convinced. This beast tide crisis of the human race would definitely be lifted with Cheng Long's arrival, and there was no need to doubt this point. When the strength surpassed a certain realm and there was too much difference between it and the target, then the number became dispensable. 1 or 100 million, it was just a figure. The fact that many ants bite the elephant is also a matter of circumstance, unless one is attacked and is incapacitated, then it is possible. Of course, this kind of chance is not impossible, isolation is extremely rare. Saved. Wulong nodded, his face was so happy that he couldn't help but lock eyes with Zhong Fan. At least that was how it seemed to those subordinates in the war room. When the commander was happy, then the entire depressing war room naturally cleared up. But no one noticed that a very complicated look flashed in the eyes of the two great leaders who were staring at each other. Cheng Long's side of the battle, however, did not have much excitement. The reason was simple, it was just a one-sided abusive fight. Even though the extreme shadow blood wolf king had the strength of a king, after all, the breakthrough was too short, his foundation was unstable, and his combat experience was still far too different compared to Cheng Long. On Cheng Long's side, not only was he only one step away from the planetary level, his attributes had reached the perfect level, and his skill base cards were even more numerous. Even his combat experience, after the trial on the Cloud Mist starship, had skyrocketed. Soon, in less than a minute, that extreme shadow blood wolf was completely defeated. Losing its vigor, it lay on the ground dying, its desperate eyes looking towards Chun Long, filled with the desire to pray for its life. You'd better go to hell, little brother doesn't need much, at this moment I need more energy. Without the slightest hesitation, Chun Long bit down hard on its neck. The body that was wrapped around its upper body also fiercely increased its strength. As the polar shadow blood wolf king's head lowered, it completely lost its voice. Ow. Those remaining hundreds of beast soldier ranked extreme shadow wolves couldn't help but let out a wail, and then they fled in all directions. It wasn't that they were afraid of death, but not only had all of their commanders been killed in seconds, but even their king hadn't been able to support himself for a few rounds under this giant python's attack. Little chickens like them, if they bravely went up to help, they would end up in the same situation. As for the other fey beasts, when Shang Long killed the place where the extreme shadow blood wolf king was, he commanded his fellow clansmen to suspend their attack on the human base city. As for the other distant ones that hadn't realized the situation over here, they were still attacking brazenly. Kill. Watching the largest extreme shadow blood wolf being put down, the morale on the human soldier's side was excited to the peak. Not only did they not care about ammunition supplies, many martial artists even jumped off the city walls to launch a counterattack against the beasts. After hearing the wail of O, oh, the nearest beasts began to retreat like a tidal wave. We won. Seeing this result, many people hugged each other, crying and laughing. The war, with the addition of Chun Long, the peak combatant, and the killing of the extreme shadow blood wolf king showed a one-sided route. Those beast general level existences, except for the most loyal to the extreme shadow blood wolf king's fellow clan members. The others were merely coerced and lured over. Now that the Wolf King had been killed, the mountain above their heads was gone, so naturally, they wouldn't work so hard to wage war with the humans, all wanting to retain their own living forces. Their unity, but the appearance of separation, the entire Beast Tide and the life and death of natural enemies are not a few. The Beast Tide came and went quickly, in less than an hour's work, outside the base city, under the city wall, apart from the countless corpses left behind, there were no living things left. As for Chang Long's side, the system space was filled with the corpses of Beast General level Fei Beasts, and the corpse of that extreme shadow blood wolf king was naturally among them. You guy, you've gotten quite a harvest this time. 
Cheng Long's grace on the battlefield like nobody's business was clear to see now. How many years had it been since I had seen such a kill? It seemed like a long time, and for a moment it seemed like I couldn't remember. Although in Si Miao's opinion, such a scene was nothing more than a small scene in her memory. But looking at Chen Long just now, seeing this scene, it was as if she had returned to the scene of fighting with her master back then, familiar yet unfamiliar, never to return. A small gain, but dozens of beast general level alien beasts are just that, can't gain much energy value. Chang Long thought of the beast generals he had just seen commanding the evacuation of their own kind, and got carried away on a whim. With the reasoning that killing a wolf king is killing, and killing a group of beast generals is also killing, he didn't hesitate to raid those beast generals that were closest to him. Just now as a few minutes on the battlefield was chaotic, he also hunted a few unlucky guys. But with a large area cleared, the collapse speed of the great route had far exceeded his own realization after. The distance between trying to kill the next beast general level alien beast was already a bit far. Thus, Cheng Long ended up hunting less than 70 beast general level existences in this less than an hour's time, along with the wolf king and his subordinates. Alright, you guy, you've gotten a bargain and you're still selling out, your heart is happy at the moment. Simiao's figure appeared in front of Cheng Long's eyes, and it just so happened that Xiao Fang was sitting on the back of Xiong Da's back, followed by a few people filled with the aura of a higher power, stepping towards the place where he had gained a foothold. Are you crazy, coming out at this time, not afraid of them finding out? Cheng Long looked at Si Mei appearing so blatantly on this kind of occasion, and couldn't help but be shocked. You're the one who's crazy, don't act like a stupid fork okay? Other than you, other creatures can't see me right now. I've told you so many times, I've now lost the physical body that my master created for me back then, and have reverted to a digital life state. With these natives on your current planet, wanting to see me, unless I want to. Looking at the blank stares from Si Mei, Cheng Long couldn't help but feel embarrassed. He had indeed not thought of this, and had thought that everyone was able to see Simei's existence like himself. Unable to avoid a rush in his heart, he blurted out. After all, the system and Simei's existence could both be the bottom card that he was relying on at the moment, and must not be exposed. Master. Soon, Xiao Fang got down from the bear's back and jumped to Cheng Long's side. Looking at Cheng Long's body that had grown bigger again, she couldn't help but choke, then with a concerned tone of voice, she greeted, Master are you alright? Then he anxiously circled around Chun Long, looked at Chun Long's body, and was relieved to see that not even a single snake scale had fallen off on the exterior. I'm fine. Chun Long looked at someone who remembered and cared about him so much, a slight ripple likewise rose in his heart. Boss, you're too mighty and domineering. The scene where Chang Long had just abused the extreme shadow blood wolf king and slayed the four directions in the battlefield was not only witnessed by Xiong Di with his own eyes, but the millions of humans on the city walls had also seen such a domineering scene. Especially when someone praised Chen Long's strength, Xiong De unavoidably stood up straight and took out his aura, with an air of this is my boss, more pleased than praising it. Greeting Snake King. As the two highest leaders of the base city, one civil and one military, Zhong Fan and Wu Long were the ones who personally went out of the city to welcome Chang Long, the hero who had rescued the base city from a huge crisis. Although the other party was also a foreign beast, in both of their hearts, the difference between the other party and human beings was no longer very big, it was just wearing a layer of snakeskin. But close to see such a huge beast face to face, the two hearts also flooded with mutterings, surging a chill. Feeling standing in front of such a huge beast, he looked very small in general. Especially the moment the other party raised his body, his body was pulled up to a dozen stories high, with a kind of skyward momentum straight into the clouds. On that two or three adults body which was a bit difficult to hug, a circle of snake scales protruded one by one, looking harder than steel, emitting a powerful aura. This kind of oppression, a normal person would be scared to faint when they looked at it, the fact that they were able to stay awake, even with their brains racing, was enough to show that the other party was strong enough to have a strong heart. Greetings to the two of you. Chang Long nodded and conveyed his meaning through Xiao Fang. This was the gold master's father, and the other party still had three conditions that he hadn't honored, so he couldn't afford to treat them slowly. Thank you, your excellency, for your righteous help, otherwise this crisis, it would be impossible for our base city to turn the danger into a success like this. Wu Long gave a standard military salute towards Chen Long which was the highest respect from amongst soldiers. Yes, 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 the three conditions that your excellency has mentioned, as long as they are within our capabilities, we will definitely do our best to fulfill them. Zhong Fan hurriedly took over the words, but highlighted a key point, the words range of ability. Cheng Long of course understood what the other party meant, and just slightly glanced at the other party, with a bit of spiritual pressure attached. But it was this glance that Zhong Fan almost fell down, as if he was having a very fearful dream. And the time was very long, it was impossible to tell if it was an hour or a day, or another year, a hundred years, ten thousand years? He couldn't help but shake his head to wake up quickly, then stroked his face to soothe his emotions. Zhong Fan understood very well that this was a warning from the other party to himself. 
Although Chang Long didn't want to offend people easily, it didn't mean that he had a good temper and could tolerate strangers' caution. In the exchange just now, it was enough for him to have the upper hand and not to give an inch. I heard from Miss Wang Fang that Lord Snake King has a name, Chang Long right, then we will address you as Mr. Chang, how about it? Seeing his old buddy defeated, Wu Long was not in a position to say anything, that glance just now, although Chang Long was not aiming at himself, but from the remnants of that gaze, he also perceived the frightening nature of that spiritual impact. The other party's intention was obvious, this was a warning. After all, it was a foreign beast ah, although for now, the other party was on the side of the humans and was not hostile to the human race. But those of them in power understood very well that dealing with this kind of bizarre existence was no better than being in officialdom, and that they needed to be more careful. The reason was simple, a foreign beast with even higher intelligence was still a foreign beast, and it was one that didn't reason but only talked about feelings. If it wasn't for the bond of this girl Wang Fong, who saved the other party in the first place, maybe the one who attacked the base city today, there was this one. Chan Long would definitely nod his head if he knew what Wu Long was thinking. That's right, he himself is not reasonable but only emotional, whoever harms his friends and family, I will kill his friends and family, it's as simple as that. Mr. Chang, how are you, I'm Li Guo from the capital base city. Li Guo, who had come out with Zhong Fan Wu Long, finally found a chance to speak at this time. Adhering to the rule of a strong dragon not suppressing a snake, Li Guo was waiting until both sides had greeted each other before speaking out. Chang Long had already noticed the only battle general ranked martial artist in the group when the few of them came over. Not only was this guy handsome and refined looking, but he had a smile on his face all the time and was very natural and comfortable. Chang Long nodded, not being able to speak was one of the few inconvenient places for him. Simi, is there any way to be able to make my mouth speak? It's really inconvenient to keep needing to relay my meaning through the little girl. It was during this gap that Chang Long and Simi raised their questions. There are two options that can solve your problem. Simi's hand rested on her chin, her small wings flapped slightly, her eyes flashed with wisdom, and she mused before saying, Two options, tell me. Hearing Si Mei's reply, Chang Long's eyes immediately took on an excited color. What's the rush? Calm down. Si Mei's small hand lightly knocked on Chang Long's head and said in a good-natured manner. The first option is that when you officially break through to the planetary level, your physical body will undergo a subtle adjustment and change. At that time you'll be able to produce your own voice by slightly altering the construction of your throat area. Planetary level, although it's only one step away, but hell knows when I'll be able to break through, is there a quick way? Chung Long shook his head slightly, his eyes narrowed, obviously not too satisfied. The second one, is also something you can easily do now. But it's not in the form of physical vocalization, that is, the kind of mental communication you have with your little girl. This kind is different from the digital signal conversion analog communication that you have with me, as well as the soul communication with this guy Xiongde. Spiritual communication is the most common form of communication in the universe. Of course the prerequisite is that you have mastered a language that the other party can understand, and human speech is the same thing. Spiritual thought communication? I'm just like this girl Xiaofang, how do I do it? Cheng Long hurriedly sent out an inquiry, to be honest, it was purely by chance that he was able to communicate with Xiaofang with his mind power, stemming from that unexpected divine communication. The communication with Xiong Du was just like what Simi said, that was the other party being linked together by the invisible soul resonance after being bound by his own soul imprint. As for the connection with Si Mimi, he didn't try to understand the reasoning behind it either, for the simple reason that it was Si Mimi who took the initiative to establish this method of communication, and he was puzzled by it. Let me ask you, how did you make contact with Xiao Feng? Si Mimi pointed at Xiao Feng and then looked at Chun Long and said, It's just an accidental divine friendship established ah, the subsequent communication is as simple as eating and drinking. Chen Long said subconsciously, looking at Si Mei in confusion, wanting to know why she would ask so. Saying that you're stupid but you're really stupid, I don't know what that big brother sees in you that he would choose such an idiot like you to cultivate. Si Mei could not help but dance around with an exasperated look. Then he patted his chest to soothe his emotions and shushed his breath. After slowly calming down, he faintly reminded. Think about what you just said, then think about why little girl and Xiong Du were able to communicate and how that extreme shadow blood wolf king was able to drive so many different kinds of foreign beasts. Once you figure this out, you'll know what to do. Chang Long couldn't help but fall into deep thought, to be honest, he hadn't really thought about these questions. After having the system, he was really like a puppet without the ability to think when it came to the enhancement of his strength. Either gaining energy or simply adding points, never thinking about the reasoning behind it, asking why. Everything seemed so watertight. Under the seemingly logical and reasonable pattern, he had already gotten used to this behavior of giving up thinking and putting all his hopes on the seemingly omnipotent system. Just as Chang Long was communicating with Si Mui, the few people beside him saw Chang Long's appearance and seemed to be under some kind of thought, and it was not good to disturb them for a while, 
so the whole scene fell into an awkward cold session. Master, what are you doing? The little girl looked at Chang Long's lost in thought and couldn't help but send out an inquiry. Returning to his senses, Chang Long then realized that he had been brought into the ditch by this guy, Si Mei, the problem was a moment to think about it and then he didn't think about it, there were still so many people looking at him. I'm going back to rest. You guys, take your time to figure it out. There are some things, only when you figure it out yourself is really enlightened. What others tell you is just a way. This is the second lesson I'm giving you, enlightenment. There are so many things you need to realize in the future, you can't need me to give you hints and answers for each and every one of them. Take your time to think about it, come back and ask me when you really have no idea, I've already given you enough hints. Si Miao's figure turned into a little bit of light and disappeared in front of Chang Long's eyes. This guy, still saying that he's teaching his disciples on behalf of his master, I think he's just trying to hide his laziness. Chang Long couldn't help but spit out. Master can only give you guidance and tell you the direction of the path. The rest, ultimately, you have to rely on yourself to walk and realize, understand? Hiding from laziness, it's you yourself, right? Growing a brain is for thinking. Returning to the intelligent core, Si Mei responded unflinchingly. Chang Long couldn't help but be dumbfounded inwardly, even though these sounded reasonable and impeccable, vaguely, Chang Long always seemed to feel that something was wrong. After Zhang Fan and Wu Long looked at each other, they then issued a process invitation to Chang Long. This was something they had discussed before they came out, and it was also a gamble. After all, the other party had saved the safety of their entire base city, so if they just ignored it, it wasn't their way of hospitality. More importantly, this kind of high-end battle power could only be befriended, not made an enemy. Even if they could not be used for themselves, they could not be pushed to the opposite side. Chang Long was not polite and agreed readily, this rebuilt base city was his second visit. The last time, a few months ago, he interacted with Xiao Fang's family and came here, at that time, this place was in a terrible state of disrepair, and there was a scene of broken walls everywhere. Now, although it had just experienced the baptism of war, Chang Long could see that under the recovery of a few months, this base city was completely different. Newborn, energized and flourishing, no longer dead and full of sadness. This was the aura he felt. Moreover, entering the city was part of his original plan. There were some things that he needed to utilize the power of humans in order to help him accomplish, and that was one of the reasons why he made the three conditions. A month later, behind the villa where Xiao Fang's family was located, a super house that was a kilometer long, about a mile wide, a hundred meters high, and covered a large area of 500,000 square meters was raised up. This was one of Cheng Long's requirements for the safety zone, a house that could protect it from the wind and rain. Of course, the base city would never just build a house to protect Cheng Long from the wind and rain. A service, that would have to be one step at a time, either not given or given the best. On the roof of the house, a huge and incomparable snake was hovering over it, that was the statue that Wang Yin base city had made for Cheng Long according to the real proportion of one to one. It could be said to be very conspicuous in the city center, and the huge neon sign above it clearly wrote two words, Dragon Palace. That's right, it's the Dragon Palace. Before there is no lack of body long called Snake King Pavilion, Snake King Palace, Snake King Hall and so on. But once you think about this name is very easy to cause misunderstanding. In order to appease and pull together Chang Long this superpower, Mayor Zhang Fan immediately bored, called the Dragon Palace. After all, legend has it that the ultimate evolutionary goal of snakes is to turn into dragons. Moreover, this name was also very nice and pleasing to the ears, not causing panic among the people of the base city. More importantly, it is intimate, and can bring Chun Long closer to everyone. The dragon, but the totem of the great summer kingdom. It was easy to go from frugality to luxury, but difficult to go from luxury to frugality. In his last life, he was used to living in a house after being reborn as a snake, he had been living a life of upheaval. Under the whole day under the wind and food, so many things have actually gone against the truest needs of his own heart. Clothing, food, housing, transportation, eating, drinking and playing, after becoming a snake, even though he became stronger, he also lost a lot of things that originally belonged to him. When there was a chance, it was definitely time to get it back. The purpose of becoming strong was not only to pursue longevity and guard the people one wanted to guard. It was also for one's life to become better, otherwise what was the point of going through all the sweet and sour that normal people had never experienced? Old me finally has my own home in this world. Cheng Long looked at this house that had been quickly built up, all according to his own requirements, and was able to fully satisfy his living needs, and was very satisfied. The base city authorities had made a great deal of effort this time, not only had they deployed a large number of workers, but they had also relocated quite a number of residents who were originally on this piece of land. This was a laborious project, but just because of his own words, they didn't hesitate to go ahead with the site selection and construction, without saying a word. Chen Long kept this favor in his heart. Grace is grace, grudge is grudge, he is a person who is very clear about grudges and has a conscience, 
otherwise he wouldn't have gone to give up his life to save that man who fell into the water in his last life. Mr. Cheng, are you satisfied? For Chung Long's housewarming, most of the people with status and strength in the entire base city had come to attend. Most of them were still grateful for Chang Long's actions in saving the day during the last beast tide. Of course, there were also a small number of people who insisted on the theory that they couldn't keep company with the beasts and that the beasts were the natural enemies of mankind. They clamored for the elimination of all foreign beasts in the world, returning humanity to a peaceful and prosperous world. For this kind of extremist, the vast majority of sensible people are still able to distinguish between right and wrong. Among them, more of them were interests, and sensible people knew that. Cheng Long also ignored the gossip of these guys. Master want to do what you want to do, just want to see you this kind of can't get used to me but can't get rid of my appearance. If you have the ability to come face to face, chewing on your tongue behind your back only makes you look incompetent. Elephants will care about the thoughts of mole crickets, obviously not, Chen Long is also the same. For the purpose of this housewarming today, Chen Long has taken out his skill of looking at the bottom of the box, that is, the phantom shape. During this month's time, Chen Long didn't rest for nothing. Not only did he collect things such as hair and blood from some awakened people that could provide DNA, he then used the illusory shape B to perform a physical body simulation transformation. He also realized the strengthened version of the spiritual thought communication that Sime said, which was equivalent to the ventriloquism in human martial arts. Of course, the collection of genes this was something Chang Long brought up brightly with Zhong Fan and the others. It wasn't said that it was for phantom use either, but rather that it was for understanding the differences between the human race and the foreign beasts, and for cultivation use. And the higher the strength and the more handsome looking men the better, no women. Naturally the more the better in terms of quantity, hundreds or thousands would not be too much. For this strange request made by Chun Long, at that time, Zhong Fan and the others did not immediately agree, but said to consider it. After all, for the mysterious Chang Long, in their opinion, there were too many mysteries and secrets in his body. But soon, not a day's work later, the things Chang Long needed were delivered to his temporary residence, a large warehouse. The reason is very simple, go back to discuss Zhong Fan they are puzzled, Chang Long want these things why, give will not have any danger. Even in the end, Xiao Fang called the girl over, wanting to know more about Chang Long's things. But Xiao Fang only said one sentence, which made them immediately make a decision. The fact that my master can make this request openly and honestly means that he won't do anything that jeopardizes humanity. It can only mean that he really has other uses in cultivation. Otherwise, wanting things like human genes, it wouldn't be a breeze, hunting and killing wouldn't be the end of it. With his old man's strength, who in the entire security base city could resist? Xiao Fang's words made a few people instantly figure out the reasoning behind it, so they immediately arranged for the relevant people to have their blood drawn and so on. The illusory shape bead, the moment Chang Long wore it on his body, he knew the rules of its use. Not only was this guy able to initially change the user's body structure and appearance, but he was also able to shrink and shrink to fit the size of the race being illusioned. Of course, this required a huge amount of energy to maintain, and after maintaining the body change, if one were to engage in combat, their strength would shrink drastically. So, if you wanted to utilize your full strength, then you had to return to your original form. Moreover, when simulating the target race, there was also a risk of failure, and the chances were very high that not every time would be 100% successful. With every failure, the corresponding genetic material would be damaged and could no longer be used. And the appearance of the illusion was basically the same as the provider of the genes, but it could also be fine-tuned when the physical body was restructured. Chang Long had spent days of effort and suffered a lot in order to have a handsome appearance. After all, even though the illusory bead had the word illusory in it, it was actually a reorganization of the physical body. Changing the basic structure of your physical body to fit the mold of the target race. In other words, if Cheng Long wanted to transform into a human's appearance, he would need to have a head, two arms, two legs, and a torso on the outer frame of his body. This was the most basic form, and in the future, when he transformed into a human form, this form was the frame. With this frame in place, there is no need to suffer a second time. As for the subtle adjustments and changes, those were the user's own business. At this point, Chung Long had to say that this great power that created the illusory form bead in the first place was a ruthless person. The reason was very simple. What Simi said, the stronger the strength of the being, the tougher the physical body was, and the more perfect the tight connection between the various parts. Trying to make the torso change was a very difficult thing to do. Moreover, the reorganization of the flesh body would only cause the already stable flesh body structure to be damaged once again. One must know that a martial artist's cultivation was the process of constantly strengthening their physical body. Otherwise, an immortal level existence, even if their souls were silent, their fleshly bodies would still be immortal, that was the reason. And this great power who invented the illusory shape bead was obviously a cross-dressing bigot, or for love and other such motives. 
Otherwise, he wouldn't have spared the loss of his own strength to transform into another race with so many restrictions. One must know that in the universe, judging the race of a living being is not based on the physical form, but on the core of the soul. At this moment, beside Xiao Fang, stood a very handsome man, wearing a black bowler hat, a black suit, together with a pair of exquisite black leather shoes, and a friendly smile, no one would have guessed that this was Python Cheng Long. For this long-lost feeling of being a human being, the price Cheng Long paid was very painful. Maintaining it for a day, it consumed the energy of a spirit crystal, this feeling of being a loser was also the first time he had experienced it. This energy consumption is also too much. While smiling slightly and dealing with the guests, he exchanged words with Simei. Nonsense, it's been said that this is something used by immortal level existences, you, a guy who hasn't even reached the planetary level, it's good to be able to experience it, what more do you want? Simei was also not used to Chung Long, and said nonchalantly. And you're still only illuminating the indigenous humans on your planet, the human race that ranks at the bottom of the lineage, that's why you're consuming such a small amount of energy. If you were to hallucinate those peak racial groups of humans, the amount of energy consumed would be astronomical for you right now, not to mention a day, a minute would instantly drain you and turn you into jagged hui, understand? Alright. Chun Long's heart couldn't help but acquiesce to see May's statement and just responded helplessly. However, in order to get out of this limelight, and also in order to re-experience the feeling of being a man, Chang Long was breaking his teeth and swallowing it in his stomach. Men, again and again is not hard for this face. However, the effect is very significant. When Chang Long appeared in front of the crowd as a human being, it was completely out of everyone's expectation. This hand could be said to have shocked everyone who came to participate in the housewarming. After all, a bizarre existence that could be seen and touched was more awe-inspiring although it was frightening. But an existence with extraordinary means and the ability to change shape and illusion, that makes people unable to defend themselves. Because you simply don't know, one day the people around you will be replaced by this one and be lurked. Chang Long did it on purpose, not only did he appear at the scene with a human appearance, but he also changed his appearance a few times, and in the end, he even showed his real body and had a good time. However, such behavior was a demonstration and a warning in the eyes of some people. This unexpected gain was also out of Chang Long's own expectations. Half a year later. After Chang Long celebrated his housewarming on that day and achieved what he wanted, he went into closed-door cultivation. During this period, when he occasionally came out of seclusion for a few days, Xiao Fang would come to pay him a visit. This girl, nowadays, was also considered to be the man of the hour in the entire base city, with a high position of power and a strength that had reached the level of a battle general. She had joined the largest return to one martial arts school as an instructor, and belonged to the core characters. Return to One Martial Arts Center is one of the fastest rising martial arts centers in recent times, and is also the only martial arts center that has become an official partner of Dasha. The reason was simple, the person who created the Gue E Martial School was called Gue E Jinjin, and was a cultivator of the Dao sect on the eve of the cataclysm. Even though there was no aura recovery at that time, the other party's strength was able to achieve the level of one person putting down a dozen special forces. And after the aura recovery, this guy also had some strange encounters, his strength increased greatly, and just shortly after Chang Long's retreat, he broke through to the Battle King level. This was the first Battle King level powerhouse in Disya, and the first in the human race. However, the other party had previously been in the Jingshu base city and had not come to the side of Wang Yin base city. Master, ever since you showed a few hands on the day of your housewarming, all the talk in the entire base city about being bad for you has disappeared. On this day, the girl Xiao Fang came to the Dragon Palace to pay her respects to Cheng Long as usual, and couldn't help but say to him with a smile on her face. Oh. Cheng Long didn't pay too much attention to this, instead, he devoured little by little the treated pieces of meat of the extreme shadow blood wolf king in front of him. As for those bones and furs, all of them were taken for research by the relevant departments lying in Cheng Long's discussion. After all, this was the first time the human side had killed a king-level existence, and even though Cheng Long had killed the whole thing, it didn't prevent them from singing their praises. For Cheng Long, the extreme shadow blood wolf king was very weak, and he had solved it without even exerting any effort. But that was relative to a pervert like him. One must know that the flying blade used by Xiao Fang alone was only made from the materials of a beast general level wolverine in conjunction with a special metal. It already had the elegance of killing a beast soldier in seconds on the battlefield against a beast general, not to mention the bones of this king level beast. Xiao Fang couldn't help but be slightly amused as she watched her master chewing and swallowing slowly. Ever since the last seclusion, master his body had seen massive changes. Not only did rows of sharp teeth appear in that bloody mouth, which was very white. Moreover, on both sides of his body, ten feet long giant claws had also grown, and on his back, a pair of huge wings. At this time, it no longer looked like a snake, but rather like a large lizard with wings. Even for this reason, he had specially hired the person who cleaned his body to do regular cleaning work. 
As a person who loved cleanliness, before, there were no conditions, so he could only give in. Now it was different, Chang Long also wanted to enjoy the beauty of the human world. Of course, as long as the money was given in place, there would always be those who were not afraid of death and dared to apply for this fearful job. After all, although Chang Long had always behaved harmlessly, and came to this safe base city, he had only stayed on his own turf, never doing anything out of the ordinary. But for those who didn't know, he was after all a python, a hundred meter python, a super monster. And for this job, Chang Long couldn't possibly let a martial artist come. Though one should not do harm to others, one should not do nothing to prevent others from doing so. In case he came across an extreme being, the destructive power of a martial artist was definitely different compared to an ordinary person. Even though there weren't many martial artists that were a threat to him right now, on the body, there were always some places where the defense was not as strong as the appearance, and the location was sensitive and special. In order to have teeth and limbs, Shang Long was directly exchanging evolution points after he had finished devouring the spirit crystals and absorbing them, using the body organ transformation function. 15,000 evolution points, enough to cost me 7. 5 million energy points. With 7. 5 million energy points, even the beast general level can exchange 75,000 points, and the beast soldier level is even more like 150,000 points Ah, It looks like, before advancing to the planetary level, he should use the evolution points he needs to use this morning. Lest by the time the exchange ratio is high, one will suffer even more. Chang Long already had an intention in his mind, not to go to the planetary level until his body transformation was complete. However, the absorption of spirit crystals also required a lot of time. Even though it was no longer like before when he risked his strength as a beast general to devour the kind that took as long as half a month, the absorption of a single spirit crystal still required around 7 or 8 days. And for the majority of the half year, Chung Long's wasn't simply absorbing energy to transform his body. He had been trying to sense his aura attributes and condense his own essence of aura. But for some reason, he was able to sense the aura, but the aura attribute, he had absolutely no clue. The sensing of aura attributes is completely between that flash of aura, it's useless for you to close your mind and cultivate hard like this, it's purely a matter of chance, it's better to go out and walk around more. Chang Long heard Si Mei's words and felt that it was quite reasonable, since he was reborn, he honestly hadn't had a good rest. The understanding of this world was only cognized through TV news and the narratives of the people around him. With his current strength, there seemed to be no place on the entire planet that he couldn't go to. It was time to go out and take a good break, this time, adhering to the principle of not taking the initiative to hunt and kill, not taking the initiative to provoke right and wrong, taking things as they come, and going to relax and unwind. Learning of Chang Long's idea, Xiao Fang, despite wanting to accompany him, thought about the mess she was in now, and finally decided to forget about it. Especially since she often went to meetings, the sentence she remembered the most was what Zhong Fan said. Martial artists, are privileged, and enjoy policies that are beyond the reach of ordinary people. But you must understand that these privileges are not just because of your strength. Rather, the base city needs you to hunt foreign beasts and protect the people's safety. And to hunt the beasts, you need to fight for your life, and you need to be ready to sacrifice at all times. For the sake of yourself, for the sake of your home, for the sake of the safety and security of the base city, dedicate your strength at all times, in order that this is the source of your privileges. This sentence Xiao Fang was deeply touched, even if he himself was a lucky one and met Master Chang Long, he was just as greatly stimulated after the cataclysm. What I have seen and heard and realized, only once in the book of the sentence, the nest is not under the egg, the country is broken and the family is dead. As a child in her teens, it was in her nature to be playful. The children in the same grade as her in the base city are still studying in school, but she is already a big person in the hearts of many people who can't be expected. The strength is extraordinary, the power to hold a party, say a word of base city's top management have to consider carefully, stomping a foot can cause a big earthquake. With the increase in strength and experience, some of the pressure and responsibilities that do not belong to this time of Xiaofang should be born have been single-handedly picked up. This is how much she has gained and how much she is destined to lose, and this is growth. One of the important things is to lose the naivety and romance that should belong to her age. Looking at Xiao Fang's somewhat hesitant expression, Chang Long understood that this girl's heart was also torn. He could not help but smile in his heart and faintly said, Silly girl, don't think so much. You are still small, do what you want to do, don't give yourself so much pressure. The sky is still not collapsing, even if it collapses, there is not still your master, I am a tall man at the top, afraid of what? Xiao Fang softly hummed, as a reply to Chun Long's words, however, in the end, she still chose to stay in the base city to take on her own responsibilities. For Xiao Fang's choice, Chun Long felt both heartbroken and gratified. You can keep these ten spirit crystals, but always remember, don't let other people know about it. The master originally thought of giving them to you when you are a bit stronger, but this time I went out, I don't know how long it will take me to come back. 
So, it's better to give it to you beforehand, just keep it in your collection. Also, this guy's energy is very huge, less than the king level of physical quality cannot be easily absorbed at once, even if it is to the king level, you'd better be divided into several times to absorb, and usually can be arranged in a cultivation chamber, placed in the four corners of the house. With them, the aura in your cultivation room will be dozens or even a hundred times denser than the outside world. Combined with the spirit decree I taught you to aid in your cultivation, in this way, I believe it won't take long for you to advance to the king level. As Xia Fang listened to Chun Long's words, she looked at the ten fist-sized colorless crystals emitting a wave of aura fluctuations on his outstretched claws. That time in the cave, Xia Fang salivated after seeing this thing, however, she also knew that Master had taken a long time to absorb this thing in the first place, and the energy in it could be imagined to be great. But then after it was put away by Chun Long, she didn't do much thinking about it. After all, Master had promised to give her her own share when she reached the appropriate level, so she had long forgotten about it. But after seeing this spirit crystal once again, she didn't expect this day to come so quickly, and Master had even given herself ten of them. This was a treasure among treasures. After experiencing such a long awakening, for something that promotes cultivation, today's market that has a price. Even if one went to the black market and doubled the price, it was almost difficult to find such treasures. After all, it had only been about a year since the recovery of the aura, and even though some martial artists had gained some large and small harvests in the wild, most of the time, people were not interested in such relics. But most of the time, everyone for this kind of relics and the treasures, are firmly collected. Unless it was something that they really couldn't use themselves, only then did they take it outside for auction or barter. Even when he followed his master all the way through the five gates and six generals, but there was not much work involved, most of it, or the master himself solved it. According to Xiao Fang's own internal estimation, this kind of spirit crystal was placed on the market, even if the bidding price was 10 billion dasha coins, there were people who would want it, and a large number of them. After all, according to what Master had said, to be able to raise a king-level powerhouse directly to the planetary level level was such a terrifying amount of energy. The entire human race up until now, there was only one king-level existence in the returning one true man. So, what Master had given himself this time was at the very least a fortune worth over a hundred billion dollars ah. Xiao Fang was simply happy to the point of fainting, she had become a little rich woman all of a sudden, although this kind of wealth could not see the light of day at the moment, it didn't prevent her from fantasizing about it properly ah, alright, don't be happy, you silly girl, why don't you hurry up and put it away, with Chang Long's reminder, Xiao Fang didn't say too many words of thanks, in her heart, master was a father-like existence, her closest person, too much politeness between relatives would not be relatives anymore, Without hesitation, she put the ten spirit crystals into the special backpack on her back. This backpack completely took up Xiao Fang's entire back, yet it fit perfectly, not affecting her performance in combat at all. This was a package sewn from the fur of a beast general ranked air spirit snake. This kind of foreign beast was very rare in numbers yet infested in very secretive places, and was a mutated species among the foreign beasts. It has a slight spatial attribute in its fur, and is able to quickly travel more than a dozen meters away and form a small space of a few cubic meters in its body. It was also discovered by herself when she went out to practice during Chang Long's time in seclusion, and at that time, Xiao Fang felt that this guy was odd, like a gluttonous snake, but his stomach didn't rise. After she tracked it for several days and wasted a lot of effort to kill it, she used the fur to weave this pocket. The pocket space may not seem big, but there is something else inside that can hold a lot of things. At that time, there were another few battle general level bids up to 5 billion dasha coins, Xiao Fang didn't sell it, but chose to use it herself. This backpack of yours is good. Cheng Long could also see the extraordinary nature of this package, it should be made from the fur of some kind of snake-type exotic beast. However, he didn't have the feeling of a rabbit dying and things hurting, in his heart, he was a human, not a snake. Seeing that Master was interested in this backpack on his body, Xiao Fang couldn't help but reveal the source to it. Spatial attribute? How could an ordinary fey beast mutate a law like spatial attribute that needs to reach the immortal level to be able to touch it? It shouldn't be. Before Chang Long could speak, Simei immediately flew out of the intelligent core and appeared in front of Chun Long, looking curiously at the backpack on Xiao Fang's back. Is this weird? Looking at Simei's look of having seen a ghost, it couldn't help but cause Chang Long's curiosity as well. Odd, of course it's odd. If there really is a foreign beast that has awakened its spatial attribute appearing on your planet, to be honest, I can only say that your indigenous planet is not as simple as it looks on the outside. Didn't I tell you before that becoming a planetary level requires figuring out one's own aura attribute and then mastering and utilizing it? And to become an immortal, its requirement is to realize the attribute you have comprehended, and then, you need to go and comprehend the laws of space. Immortality is also divided into grades, and one of the most important judgments is how far one has penetrated the laws of space. Of course, these and you now say is to talk to a cow, say more you do not understand. 
You only need to know that awakening the spatial attribute is the first step in comprehending the spatial laws. So that's how it is. Chang Long also seemed to be enlightened. Fortunately, the spatial attribute on this guy's fur is nothing more than some residual spatial fragments. Just like you, it was acquired through devouring. I guess it must have absorbed a little bit of residue by karma. Simei patted her small chest and breathed a sigh of relief now. Under her careful observation, she could confirm 100% that this hunted fellow, named by Little Fong as the Air Spirit Snake, was also a fellow that was both lucky and unlucky. Lucky was that it was able to obtain its own internal space by chance, transforming into a foreign beast among foreign beasts. The unlucky thing was that it met Xiao Fong and ended up dead in body and soul, making a dowry for the little girl, and its fur became a special backpack. You fellow, not only do you have excellent luck yourself, everyone around you also has extraordinary encounters. I now somewhat understand why that great powerhouse would take a liking to you, this kind of luck, is indeed also a part of strength. Simei tilted his head, his gaze as sharp as a razor blade scanning down Chang Long's entire body, looking at him with goosebumps and enlarged pores. Is it that exaggerated? Chang Long couldn't help but ask, he was not able to see the connection for the time being. Alright, it's normal that you can't see it, you that don't know the true face of Mount Lushan, you're only here in the mountain. And from my point of view, it is you the authorities are confused, I this bystander clear. Simei also did not intend to explain more, covering her small mouth with a heated smile, seemed to have thought of something, and then returned to the intelligent core without a word. Alright, girl, it's still the same sentence, when you don't have the absolute strength to guarantee your safety, it's still the same sentence, you can't reveal your wealth. Got it. In the face of Master Chang Long's thousands of instructions, Xiao Fang, despite being touched in her heart, pouted her lips and showed a look of incompetence, then left. This girl. Xiang Long also shook his head. Although he didn't get married and have children in his previous life, but in the end, his little sister was also the one he watched grow up, and naturally, he had an understanding of children of her age. Twenty years later, Chang Long was currently walking on the icy plateau of the northern border. During these twenty years, he had traveled to many places around the globe and had seen many things that he had not seen in his previous life, among which there were quite a few strange and weird ones. During these twenty years, not only did Xiao Fang not follow him, but Xiong De was also driven away by himself to search for his own chance. From the news coming from the two of them, these two guys, both of them have now reached the king level realm, and both of them are high level battle kings and beast kings. Away from the planetary level, they were just like themselves, both at the stage of affinity with the elements and cleansing their flesh. Yet he, himself, was still still at the peak of the beast king, and was in a very awkward situation when it came to comprehending aura attributes. The reason was simple, others generally sensed an elemental affinity when they stepped into the planetary level, and simply absorbed its exclusive essence of aura to cleanse their fleshly bodies. Himself, on the other hand, actually one night roughly several months after leaving the Wang Yin base. At the same time, he had sensed nine types of aura elements, and the affinity had reached the point of 100%. This caused him to be happy and then upset after hearing Si Mei's account. At that time, Si Nini found it unbelievable. The reason was simple. Simi hadn't encountered such a situation either. In the vast universe, it wasn't as if there were no races or individuals that were affinity with the power of multiple energy elements. But the vast majority of them were only between two or three. Even if she followed her master, Di Lin, who had traveled the universe for tens of millions of years, she had only seen five types of aura elemental affinities. That guy, on the other hand, was considered to be exceptionally gifted, and had hardened his realm to the domain master level. Someone like Chen Long, who was able to sense nine elemental affinities at once at the same time, was an existence that Simu had never even heard of. This meant that Chen Long would need to spend more than nine times the time and energy of others to absorb the essence of aura to cleanse his physical body. After all, after sensing elemental affinity, your physical body had opened the door to that element. It's not that you want to choose whichever cultivation mastery you want to be, it's that the power of the elements has chosen you. There was only one reason why it was said to be more than nine times instead of nine times, the aura elements also had conflicting attributes. Trying to fuse multiple elemental forces into the physical body for cleansing was a huge headache. Elements that didn't conflict with each other were fine, and could coexist with each other in the physical body. However, if the elemental powers were mutually restraining, then there would be a lot of fun to be had. According to Si Miao's words, cleansing the physical body was mainly a matter of balance. This was not a concern for single attribute elemental affinities. This was something that needed to be considered for multi-attribute planetary level awakenings. However, just as the two were worrying about this, the Emperor's Heaven was not disappointed, and the system gave him a set of cultivation secret art called the Mixed Elements Body Refining Technique. By quenching his body according to this secret art, the nine basic elements would be able to perfectly coexist in his body. Once he entered the planetary level, he would be an invincible existence. 
After all, the other party only had one or two aura attributes, while he himself had nine, and was completely able to fight against each other with the restrained auras. Even the power exerted by the nine constituent hybrid attributes once emitted, its destructive power was invincible at the same rank. However, the more effects this combination had, the more energy was consumed within the body. To practice the secret art of the mixed element body refining decree, one needed to collect the spirit cores of the nine elements. For example, the fire spirit's core required Chang Long to enter a volcano to collect it, after all, the crater location had the densest fire element. The water spirit's core needed to be collected in an extremely cold water elemental place. The same was true for the others. Chang Long had spent 20 years of his life, and had only collected the fire spirit's core and the gold spirit's core among them by now. And this time, he was heading to the ice field in the northern border for the water spirit's core and wind spirit's core. Thinking about it, he had only practiced two major spirit cores up to now, and there were still seven more to be collected. While his lifespan had already been consumed for 20 years, and he didn't know if he would be able to finish collecting the remaining 65 years, Chung Long's heart was filled with bitterness. Originally, he thought that he didn't need to worry about longevity, but he didn't realize that he had returned to the stage of needing to think about this thing, how ironic. This is how joy begets sorrow, isn't it? Life will always give you a hard, smooth blow where you don't expect it. More importantly, all of them, except Cheng Long himself, were progressing. Among the humans, dozens of planetary-level powerhouses had appeared. Among the foreign beasts, dozens of beast-god-level foreign beasts had also appeared as if they were springing up. Even though all of these guys were at the first or second stage of the planetary level, in Cheng Long's opinion, this was a slap in the face. He himself, the first guy in the world to step into the king level and have a plug-in was still stuck at the peak of the beast king. But those juniors surpassed him one by one, isn't this obviously highlighting that he is a waste? Although he had fought with a few planetary level first order beast god, and the other party was not his opponent, and even found a planetary level second order see beast god octopus fought, and the other party was also completely abused by himself. But in the end, they are still stuck at the peak of the beast king level, the basic strength of the physical body, and the planetary level of existence is still a step away. The reason why he was able to defeat these planetary level foreign beasts was also because of his endless means. Compared to the base cards, still, Cheng Long felt that these newborn foreign beasts and humans, even if they had some strange encounters, they shouldn't be able to compare to himself. After all, during these 20 years, he himself had gained a lot in the rest of the aspects besides his physical realm. Just as Chang Long was searching for a suitable wind spirits cave and water spirits place in the roiling ice field, a valley 9 kilometers away caught his attention in the range of his spiritual thoughts diffusion. The Tiger's Whistle Mountain Range was named after a tiger. At this moment, in the Maple Forest Mountain, a young-looking woman, wearing a green-colored dress, revealed a noble aura and a might that made people not dare to look directly at her. She was maneuvering a flying blade and was fighting a tiger-type beast with a shoulder height of 5 or 6 feet and a pitch-black body. On the other hand, on another large land a thousand meters away, the same five or six feet tall big black bear was fighting a life and death battle with another big tiger with a snow white body. Shong Di, there's no problem on your side. The woman was fighting while communicating with the large black bear in the distance. That's right, this woman was Xiao Fang who had been separated from Chang Long for more than ten years, and now she had even become a senior battle king powerhouse with strength comparable to a planetary level first stage. As for the big black bear, it was Xiong De who had been driven away by Chang Long after following him for a period of time, carrying the same ten spirit crystals and going on his own to practice. In those first few years, the two fellows hadn't met each other either, but had honestly followed Chang Long's orders and looked for opportunities everywhere. Until later on, by chance, Wang Fang and Xiong De met while practicing outside. After years of not seeing each other, both had changed so much that they barely recognized each other and had a fight. It wasn't until that feeling of familiarity rose up that this perceived the other's identity. After all, whether it was Xiao Fang's growing up, or Xiong Da's body getting bigger after his strength increased, compared to before, there was a clear difference. Subsequently met and met the two guys are considered to have found an organization that relies on each other, and they have never been separated again. And this time, they came to deal with, is this pair of black and white double demon, slaughtered a human peripheral stronghold of the tiger tribe couple. As the saying goes, a mountain can't have two tigers unless there is a male and a female. This was the case with this pair of tiger kings, the male great white tiger had the strength of an advanced beast king, while the female great black tiger had the strength of an intermediate beast king. Speaking of coincidences, Wang Fang with Xiong De just happened to be preparing to return to the base city from the wilderness area, only to discover the slaughtered outlying stronghold. And from the time it seemed that not much time had passed, more than a hundred soldiers in the entire stronghold did not leave any of them alive, there were wrecks and broken arms everywhere, and blood was spread all over the entire stronghold inside and out. That's why Wang Fang brought Xiong De to track all the way and found these two murderous beasts. 
It's fine, just like it, one can fight ten, now it's just fooling around with it. Xiong Di couldn't help but respond after hearing Wang Fong's inquiry. Although that white tiger fei beast was also an advanced battle king, Xiong Di was at the peak level of battle king, having reached the stage where it had passed the aura attribute sensing, in guiding the essence of aura to quench the body. With such a gap, the white tiger had been suppressed and fought, barely able to fight back. While teasing the white tiger in front of him, Xiong Di remembered his boss Chen Long. It had been years since he had seen Chen Long's appearance, and he didn't know how the boss was now. If he had not met the boss, he might not be able to live now. Even if he was alive, he might not have the strength he has now. Don't daze and don't play around, hurry up and kill it so we can go home for the new year. Under Wang Fong's sharp flying blade attack, the black mother tiger let out a wail. Every part of its body had to cope with this unexpected flying blades attacking from all directions, and many wounds appeared on its body. The material of the flying blades was made from the bones of a planetary level vigorous tyrant ape. According to the human's own division, this already belonged to the S-class category, which could only be standardized by a planetary level existence. The mother tiger wanted to close the fighting distance between the two and engage in a close range fight, but Wang Fong did not give it the slightest chance. As soon as he heard the words New Year's Eve, Xiong Da's eyes instantly lit up, and instead of missing Cheng Long, he got serious and officially used his full strength to deal with the white tiger in front of him. Not for anything else, Xiong Da also loved the human New Year's holiday. Ever since he teamed up with Wang Fong, although what he ate was no longer the rough raw food, he lived the days of drinking blood and hair. There was cooked food, there was fine wine, and there was the favorite honey and grilled fish. However, such days were still few and far between. Most of the time, it and Wang Fong were engaged in hunting activities in the wilderness area, and even the most usual roasted meat was not available for every meal. But New Year's Eve was different, wine, food, candy and honey, it was a time to let oneself eat and drink until one was full. Ever since the first human New Year, Xiong Day often said that it would be great if New Year's Day was celebrated every day. Whenever this time, Wang Fong will flirt with it, this in it goes on, did not wait for the master to return, you will become a bear ball, and no longer Xiong Da. Just now as Xiong Di did not understand Wang Fong's meaning, just know that the word bearball must not say it is good on the line. But later, when Xiong Di thoroughly understand the meaning of this word bearball Wang Fong said, he is not ashamed, but thought of honor. So what if it was a bearball, as long as there was something delicious to eat, Xiong Di was willing to turn into a bearball. Under the seriousness of two peak kings, half-walking star-level powerhouses, the end of those two black and white tiger couples was naturally clear. After gathering up the important materials from the two corpses, Xiao Fang took Xiong Di towards the base city and began to set off. As a peak battle king level powerhouse, along with having a partner with such explosive battle power as Xiong Di, Wang Fang had her own exclusive air warship. However, Xiong Da's individual was too big, and at almost 6 feet tall, it couldn't enter the air battleship. Therefore, facing this situation, Wang Fang was also helpless, more often than not, except for things like emergency meetings and buying and selling materials, going to the wilderness area was basically completely by virtue of two legs. Although this was much slower in speed, it also added a lot of different elegance. Moreover, in order to compensate Wang Fong, more often than not, Xiong Di took the initiative to take on the task of the seat, letting her rest on his back. There was no question of who enslaved whom, just as Wang Fong was responsible for roasting meat and satisfying Xiong Da's appetite needs, this was a kind of cooperation. During these 20 years, the human race had not only completely stabilized and integrated the previously created base city, but the technological level had also skyrocketed with the excavation of some ancient civilization relics, and was even more cutting edge than before the cataclysm. However, despite this, mankind has not been able to recover the lost homeland. The reason was simple, although it was no longer the same kind of post-apocalyptic environment as when the cataclysm had just occurred, and the people's lives had gotten much better. Battle generals and kings of this kind of middle and high-end combat power is like a spring, everywhere, and even planetary level of this kind of top combat power, the human pin have dozens of. However, the high-end combat power of the foreign beast clan is also not less than that of humans. What's more, in the beast race, the existence of beast soldiers and beast generals can be dozens of times more than humans. Their reproduction speed, along with the stabilization of the aura between heaven and earth, had similarly entered an era of booming development. Moreover, after a long period of mutual confrontation with humans, they had all learned to concentrate in the cities and villages that humans had previously destroyed and abandoned in the great earthquakes. Even though most of the houses were left in ruins and could not be inhabited, there were still some that were intact and had not collapsed, which became their shelter. These beast soldiers and beast generals were not big in size, so they were able to enter the houses and use the cover of the buildings to resist the attacks of the human machine guns and artillery. As for close combat, in this piece, most of the alien beasts had the advantage instead. The current situation can only be said to be on land, humans have basically stabilized their lives, and land beasts, into a 50-50 to 50 situation. 
The sky and the ocean, basically still the world of the foreign beasts, humans want to completely protect themselves, or a long task. It was a very strange frozen snow valley. At least that's what it looked like from the outside. It was surrounded by towering snowy mountains that were up to a thousand meters high, which looked solidly normal in a world of clean white snow. However, the strange place where the snowy mountains surrounded a natural valley looked a bit different. More importantly, in the valley, there is no snowy plains on the cold ice-piercing bones, white nothing of the silence of desolation, inside is full of vitality. Like the flowers and willows of Jiangnan, a vibrant color. The whole valley is not big, the longest place is about 1 kilometer, the narrowest place is 2 to 300 meters. What made Cheng Long curious was that in this small valley, there was a lake with a diameter of about 3 to 400 meters. And on that lake, hot air was slightly emanating. Those emitted hot air filled the entire valley, which was why this place was able to have flowers and willows in four seasons like spring. What a strange place, I didn't expect that in the middle of this ice field, I would actually be able to see such spring colors in the south of the Yangtze River. Cheng Long spread his wings and flew through the roiling snowflakes. As for the cold, this piercing coldness of the ice field was hard for the average person to accept, and it wouldn't take long for them to freeze to death. But at Cheng Long's current realm, this kind of temperature, was something he was completely able to accept. Back then, that time when he had collected the core of the fire spirit in the depths of the volcano, he had stayed for as long as five years at a time. He who could survive in a volcano wouldn't care about such a little wind and snow. Every time he flapped his wings, the snowflakes within a kilometer of his surroundings melted into water with the scorching heat emitted from the flapping of his enormous wings, and were then immediately vaporized. After fusing the fire spirit core, Cheng Long realized that he had, like Si Mei said, mastered his own aura attribute just like a planetary level. Being able to emit the power of the fire attribute was a visual representation of his current strength. Although in terms of realm, one was still a peak beast king, half planetary level. Simi, however, said that realm was realm, strength was strength, realm was the lower limit, representing the lowest level of battle power you could exert, while true strength needed to look at too many factors. For the core of fire spirit, he had spent a year searching for a suitable volcano, and then four years going deep inside the volcano, following the cultivation method of the mixed elements body refining technique for such a long time in seclusion. The gold spirit's core, on the other hand, had taken himself 15 years, three times as long as the fire spirit's core. Among them, it took almost two or three years to search for the veins, and twelve or thirteen years in terms of collecting them actually. The reason was simple, to collect the gold spirit's core, one needed a place with very dense metal veins. And normal metals wouldn't do, the minimum requirement was Xian iron grade, of course, meteorite iron was even better. Only in this kind of place would the golden spirit attribute be dense, and only then would it be possible to condense the golden spirit's core from it. These, on the other hand, were unusual materials in the universe. On this planet, it was very difficult to collect enough of them. Sini had said at the time that there was nothing on this crappy planet, yet it was very odd. At least the surface was barren of resources, but it was able to spawn so many planetary-level powerhouses, which had already overturned her perception. One must know that although planetary-level ones were lowly existences in the universe that were just starting out, they weren't so good at appearing anymore. In an ordinary living planet, a planetary-level appearing in a thousand years or so would be a constant pattern. And here, actually in just 20 years, one or two hundred planetary stars had appeared, already exceeding the limits of this planet. Aura, to put it bluntly, was cosmic energy, and there were two main sources of this energy. One was the cosmic stars, and the other was the mother planet itself underfoot. According to reason, the recovery of Aura here was the energy that had overflowed from the planet underfoot under the great earthquake. This kind of energy could not be provided to so many planetary-level powerhouses to absorb and use. However, such a situation that subverted Si Mei's cognition appeared right before her eyes. This little ragged ball in her mouth didn't seem to be as barren and unbearable as she had said. In order to collect the golden spirit's nucleus herself, she had even gone deep into the waters, which was why she had fought with that planetary rank 2 octopus. Luckily, the emperor's heaven was not disappointed, the last bit of one's golden spirit's core was coalesced after going a few kilometers deeper into the ground in one of the abandoned mines in this northern border. Kid, there's something odd about this place, the water spirit qi is unusual, you can try it here. Hearing Si Mei's words, Cheng Long also felt that it made sense. Water spirit attribute, although it was said that the more water there was, the more abundant it was, it only meant that that place was easier to collect than other places. To say that the place with the most abundant water spirit was of course the sea, on the entire planet, or else could the water compare to the sea. However, Si Miao did not suggest Cheng Long to do so for a simple reason. Containing water spirit land, in some strange places, compared to the sea, it is ten times hundred times more abundant, as long as one finds a suitable place, the effect is absolutely ideal. Time, that was the biggest factor, there was not much time left for Chun Long himself. That's what I thought, in this strangely cold and incomparable ice field, 
There must be a reason for the appearance of such a strange location. Chang Long's eyes let out a light, he had already completed two-ninths of his progress, with the remaining 65 years of his lifespan, he had to collect the other seven spirit cores in the first 50 years before he could have any hope of advancing to the planetary level. Otherwise, in this lifetime, it would just be over. After all, if one did not break through to the planetary star level within 50 years, the only path left for him or her was to slowly die of old age. Cultivators also age, and will die just as if they don't make a breakthrough when they reach the end of their lifespan. The second half of the time, just like normal people, the physical strength was going downhill, only this time was much longer compared to normal people. It was never willing for Chang Long to die so silently and mundanely after seeing his wish of having the possibility of soaring above the cosmic stars and shaking the world. Just as Chang Long flew towards that valley, in that valley, in the lake that was bubbling with hot air, a huge toad slowly awoke from the depths of the lake. There's an outsider, and it's stronger than I might be. That toad's eyes, which were even bigger than a lantern, couldn't help but look up to the lake above, revealing a hint of a ferocious light. So what if he was stronger than himself, this was his own home and his own territory, and he would never allow another outsider to overrun his home. After all, this strange place had allowed it to grow from a palm-sized snow frog to its current level in just over 10 years. Moreover, regarding the secret at the bottom of the lake, it had never cracked it until now. The snow frog believed that as long as it cracked the secret of the bottom of the lake, its strength would soar once again. Therefore, it would never allow another intruder outsider to take away its home. Outsiders, get out of my home or die. The moment Chang Long arrived in the valley, a huge snow frog with a back like a small island floated out of the lake, a pair of large eyeballs looking at him dead on. As expected, strange places must be guarded by strange beasts. Cheng Long did not feel the slightest bit surprised by the appearance of this large snow frog. When he himself collected the fire spirits core and gold spirits core before, there were exotic beasts hidden in that volcano and under the mine cave. With a fire eyes golden ice thrown out, all of this fellow's stats appeared in front of his eyes at a glance. Race, Ice River Snow Plam. Realm, Advanced Beast King. Body length, 86 meters. Shoulder height, 25 meters. Weight, 65,175 kilograms. Extreme Strength, 905. Ultimate Stance, 768. Ultimate Physique, 789. Ultimate Armor, 688. Limit Endurance, 799. Ultimate Nerve, 69. Skills, Balloon Toxin, Tongue Roll, Sharp Bite. Looking at this guy's basic stats, Chung Long faintly said, not bad at all. However, to dare to go head to head with your master snake with such a small value, I have to say, who gave you this kind of courage, Liang Jingru? It's just as well, you master snake, I've been in seclusion for so many years, I've been hungry for a long time, so today I'll take you first to beat my teeth and eat a roasted snow frog. Chang Long had been able to perform fire breathing on his own since he had incorporated the fire spirit core in his body. Just like shooting venom, he also only had to wait for the fire attribute aura in his body to recover after he sprayed fire. Seeing Chang Long not retreating, but looking at himself with interest, the look of that gaze seemed familiar to the snow frog fey beast. Soon it reacted, wasn't this the same kind of behavior it had when it happened to be hungry and saw food? Good fellow, this was treating itself as food. The great snow frog's heart was filled with anger at the moment. Croak. With a huge wave of air spewing out, the entire lake surface that hadn't completely stopped rippled once again. Immediately afterward, the snow frog's entire figure leapt to the shore with a vicious leap. Only then did Chen Long see this guy's full appearance. A prostrate beast with a height of about 30 meters on the ground, and the width of its back was almost about 40 to 50 meters wide, like a big snowball, appeared in front of his eyes. On that big snow frog's body, there were bumps that were bigger than a basketball, spreading all over the entire back. On each pimple, there was a small hole the size of a fist, in which some special liquid could be vaguely seen. Poison. Chen Long wasn't surprised, the natural world, on the eve of no cataclysm, there were many animals that had mastered the ability of poison, it wasn't just snakes that all had it. Therefore, it was not at all rare for some guys to possess mastery of toxins after becoming a foreign beast. Moreover, the fire eyes directly told himself that this guy had balloon toxin, but it was just an observation. When Cheng Long's gaze looked at the lumps of flesh on the great snow frog's body, the great snow frog was helpless in its own heart. With its perception, the opposite side of this guy that looked like a snake and a lizard, but had a pair of big wings, was an existence that was definitely not to be messed with. It did not want to fight against such a beast. Even if it was able to fight off the other party, it would still need to pay a certain price. Such a price was something it did not want to bear. Being injured, especially being seriously injured, in this world full of foreign beasts, it meant that the possibility of being attacked was greatly increased. However, for the sake of not having this home of its own taken away, the great snowfrog could only helplessly confront this bizarre beast. When the other party looked at the lumps of flesh on its body, it even controlled a few of them to shoot a portion of snow-white liquid at the mountain wall on one side. 
The moment the seemingly non-threatening liquid stained the mountain wall, the hard rock wall was immediately corroded with a basketball-sized hole, which was still slowly spreading towards the perimeter. The spreading speed was so fast that it made the rock make a clicking sound. This was the great snow frog's warning to Chung Long, the meaning was clear, if Chung Long dared to go further, his venom would not be as simple as spraying it onto the rock wall. This is your biggest dependence, isn't it? Chung Long responded with interest, playing with venom, playing with venom in front of your snake master, do you know that your snake master, I not only have venom that can kill you, but I can also take a bath in the poisonous spring. Chang Long not only didn't retreat, but instead took a step forward, and with an indifferent look, he looked at the great snow frog with a few teasing gazes. Use whatever other means you have, otherwise a mere bit of venom is not enough in front of your snake master me. Knowing the other party's bottom card, Chen Long still said so provocatively, just wanting this guy to strike first, so that he could counterattack. In the face of Cheng Long's step-by-step -step pressing, the big snow frog is very helpless, this kind of toxin effect cannot deter each other, looks like, he can only fight with him to the death. If you strike first, you will suffer later. At this moment, the big snow frog is not hesitant, open the bloody mouth, not only revealing a row of sharp teeth, a scarlet tongue instantly shot out of the mouth, the target is to go to the front of the Cheng Long. Cheng Long's body size changes in 20 years is not much change, the same 100 meters long, the largest diameter of about 5 meters, the thinnest tail is also about 2, 5 meters in size. The other party's 100 meter long tongue, obviously to roll up his own body, the intention is obvious. Somewhat interesting. Cheng Long didn't panic in the slightest, the distance between the two sides was now around 100 meters, and this guy actually shot a snake head at himself, this was really treating himself as a worm. Since this is the case, then let me, the worm, have some fun with you. Chung Long didn't dodge, but let the other party roll that tongue to his chest. At the same time, he fiercely grabbed the large tongue in front of him with a claw, while a fiery red light emerged from his body. When he saw that Chen Long did not dodge his tongue attack, the giant frog was obviously stunned. It should be known that his own move, although it was an attack derived from his feeding instincts, it was also a sharp tool that was unbeatable in this great snow plain. Although most of the beasts captured by it were smaller than itself, it wasn't as if it hadn't used it against other beasts of the same level that were about the same size. When those guys faced their own attacks, they basically took an evasive approach, and it was the first time that it had encountered such a straight and hard catch like Chung Long. But in the next second, it understood Chung Long's intention. The moment his tongue touched the other party's body, he was already exerting force, wanting to roll up the other party. But the sensation that came from it was as if it was moving a huge mountain, not moving at all. Then, a huge claw grabbed a part of its own tongue, and a sharp pain came. Then, it even felt a burning sensation coming from its tongue. When it wanted to retract its tongue at this moment, there was no chance. Since you like to roll it so much, let's roll it properly for one more swing. Unable to retract its tongue that was fiercely grasped by Chung Long's claws, that great snow frog could only helplessly continue to roll, risking the pain of being burned and clawed to death. Unfortunately, it was wrong, although its snake head had a lot of strength and naturally had no problem dealing with ordinary beasts but facing Chun Long's steel and iron bones, such strength was not even qualified to tickle him. Seeing that his tongue attack has been deadlocked by the other party, unable to retract, and cannot help each other, the snow frog heart that anxious ah, if I had known this would have run away. Seeing that he had been restrained, the ice river snow clam was furious. Its pair of huge eyes instantly became red. Immediately after enduring severe pain, its limbs tightly grasped the ground, and the ball sack on its entire back instantly expanded two or three times its size. Originally there were gaps in the ball sack at this moment tightly together, into a piece of non-stop wriggling skin cocoon. Inside the cocoon, a balloon pours also followed the expansion, only to see the white liquid inside like boiling water, shot out violently. The venom in dozens of balloon pours shot out like an erupting hot spring. And the target of that water column was naturally Chang Long in front. Coming. Seeing this fellow as it was firing, Chang Long knew what it wanted to do. However, it was a pity that his own toxin immunity had already reached the 10th level level, not to mention being able to immunize the toxins in the entire universe. However, there should be no toxins on this planet under his feet that could pose a threat to himself. Just as well, let you die a clear death. Chang Long had originally planned to disperse the foreign beasts here if there was no need. After all, for the current him, other than hunting for energy, he really didn't want to fight and kill at other times. But there was no way that this guy was too rampant, threatening himself as soon as he met, to die if he didn't leave, this was something Cheng Long couldn't tolerate. Being a man or a beast can't be too arrogant, there are people outside of people, who can know that one day they will meet that existence that will put them in a place of no return. Therefore, it was better to keep a low profile. Just as Cheng Long was slightly thinking, the venom had already shot all the way to Cheng Long's side. Apart from a small portion of it spilling onto the ground at the side, most of it, all of it, landed on Cheng Long's body. Seeing the success of his venom, the Ice River Snow Frog couldn't care less about the pain coming from his tongue, 
but instead stared at Chang Long's reaction. However, it was a pity that his proud venom, the toxin that was able to corrode the rock walls, actually lost its reaction the moment it encountered Chung Long, not moving at all. This, how is this possible? The Ice River Snow Frog was confused, not even feeling its body for a moment. This unrivaled venom still of its actually lost its effect on this big snake, simply making it feel incredible and greatly disappointed at the same time. My life is over. This was the Ice River Snow Frog's thoughts at this moment. After seeing that this guy had exhausted his means, Chung Long directly pulled on this guy's tongue a little bit, pulling it to his eyes. This 100 meters away, originally for a beast of their size, a single stride was all it took to get there. But for the sake of its own little life, the Ice River Snow Frog didn't dare to resist, as Chung Long yanked it a little, it moved a little, and every step it took hurt it to show its teeth. Come and go as you please, you sprayed venom at me, so, you take my venom as well. Cheng Long looked at the Ice River Snow Frog, which was begging for mercy, no longer in the same arrogant posture as before, and with a venom spray, a large amount of venom splashed towards its mouth. Then Cheng Long let go of its tongue, not caring in the slightest about the Ice River Snow Frog that was grimacing and croaking in pain. This lake is a bit odd, it's not like it was formed from a volcanic crater, and the water aura here is also very abundant, so why is it bubbling with hot air? Cheng Long was somewhat curious as he looked at the not too big lake in front of him. Even if he searched with his Nianli, the bottom of this lake was very deep, and with his Nianli search range that reached about 10 kilometers, he actually couldn't see the bottom of this small lake. To be precise, it wasn't that the bottom couldn't be seen, but it was shielded in general, similar to the folded space on the cloud mist starship. Kind of interesting, since his own spiritual thoughts couldn't even probe the bottom step of the bottom of this lake. Then, the heaven's eye map he had only upgraded to the fourth level, which was also 10 kilometers in range. Both had similar ranges, only one was refined and the other was rough, and it wouldn't be much use. As for why he didn't upgrade to level 5, the reason was that upgrading to level 5 required a planetary level realm, and he currently had no way to do so. Come on, go down, I don't believe there's anything down here that can threaten me. Cheng Long looked at the Ice River Snow Frog that had already stomped on both legs and died on one side, and thought in his heart that since this guy was able to survive in here, he must not be in danger himself. Using the system space to collect this guy's body, Chung Long made a jump and dove into the lake. Not long after Chang Long jumped in, more than 50 kilometers away in the high altitude, an aviation battleship was breaking through the clouds, coming towards this side of the lake. On top of the battleship, six people who were wearing battle armor but had their faces exposed and not covered were talking about something. Ravsky, are you sure there's a snow frog king there and that it's living in the geothermal lake in the unfreezing valley? A big man with a full beard and a tiger's back said towards a young man who looked very skinny and had a pair of glasses on the driver's seat at the very front, a bit of a svelte man. Honorable Nasser, I've answered this question of yours three times, if you don't believe me, you can choose not to go when we arrive at the base ahead for supplies later. The man said with an expressionless face, then in a turnaround, looked at the five behind him and faintly reminded. Gentlemen, let me first make it clear that that is a high-level beast king, not an ordinary existence. All of you are the best of the best amongst the battle kings of my furry bear country, and although you are not top tier existences, your battle prowess is also extraordinary. However, I would like to remind you that the other party is a high level beast king, so take it easy, don't lose your life by carelessness, and then you will have to pay the liquidated damages if the mission is not accomplished. I'm sure I don't need to tell you the reason why I invited you all here this time. As for the payment, you've all taken the deposit. The rest, after the matter is accomplished, I will give you all every cent. For Ravsky to say such words, even though it made one's heart feel uncomfortable to hear them, several people still endured it. Without looking at the face of the monk, it would pass if they endured. For one thing, this guy's own strength itself is not extraordinary, and the family behind it is not simple, its father is a planetary level powerhouse, otherwise an entry and exit battle king level where to get this kind of high level aviation battleship. To know, this is the H5SC star version of the battleship, is excavated from the ancient ruins of the interstellar battleship scale down version. Other than that, the current sky was the world of flying exotic beasts, and without the existence of this aerial battleship, if humans wanted to travel far, they could only do so through the ground. And this aerial battleship under their feet, the flying class of advanced beast king, could not even break through its defense, very resistant to grass. From this point it can be seen, his father is how much he thinks of it. The second reason? It is that this guy gives too much. Each person is a full 50 billion alliance coins ah. To know, even the materials of a high-level beast king, with the highest purchase price in the world, the wealthy business alliance organization, the bidding price is around 100 billion alliance coins. As for selling it to the country or organizations such as martial arts schools, although the alliance coins would be less, they would be able to exchange some contribution points and purchase many things that could not be bought in the outside world. Just like this battleship, without hard connections and contribution value, money couldn't buy it. Dad, Mom, I'm back. 
Qingfeng District, this was the villa district under the name of the returning one martial arts school, Xiao Fang's family, lived here. After the clear wind cell, it was where the dragon palace was. The back door of her house could lead directly to the dragon palace. After Wang Fong brought Xiongda back to the base city, she went straight to her home and didn't even go to the martial arts center or the security bureau. After all, this time she went out but she hadn't returned for more than half a year, although it was quite fruitful in terms of harvest, but mentally, even as a spiritual nimble master, she was very tired from constantly hunting and killing foreign beasts every day. After the new year, I'm going to look for the boss, Wang Fong, are you going? Xiongda's huge figure was a behemoth in the entire base city, but fortunately, after more than 10 years, everyone was familiar with this partner who followed Wang Fong's battle king around. The Dragon Palace was naturally still there, even though Cheng Long hadn't appeared in the base city for almost 20 years, the Dragon Palace, which covered a huge area, would be maintained by someone every once in a while. Those who didn't know were simply curious as to why they only saw Xiongdi and never saw the Snake King, the owner of the Dragon Palace. But as one of the few power holders in the top echelons of the base city, Zhong Fan, who was nearing the end of his term of office, knew very well how high the combat power of the Snake King Cheng Long, the Mr. Cheng in their mouths, was. Ten or so years ago, the other party had been able to defeat the planetary octopus in the depths of the East Sea, and that was a complete defeat. Although it was a fluke that allowed the other party to utilize the advantage of the deep sea to ultimately escape, but that battle, several major countries around the globe had paid attention to this amazing battle. It wasn't a secret amongst the higher echelons of humanity, especially that Sunset Empire in the western region, the great furry bear country in the northern frontier, the pretty country in the northern ancient state, and the garland country on the southern wasteland, which had always claimed to be the third in the world, were quite sour about the fact that the great summer country was able to ally itself with such a giant beast. After all, there were less than 60 planetary level powerhouses in the world right now. The planetary alliance formed by the five major countries and the remaining 18 base cities all added up to 50 base cities. Each base city was divided down, and only one base city had a planetary level powerhouse in town. In the entire Grand Xia, there were nine base cities and ten planetary star level martial artists. Even the world's number one battle power, the returning one realist, came from the kingdom of Grand Xia, although he had established the Gui Yi Martial Hall as a separate force. But in terms of origin and closeness, naturally, Grand Xia and him were the closest. It was self-evident what a planetary level powerhouse meant to a power. Although the human race had formed the planetary alliance under the attack of the alien beasts, internally, there was still an open and shut battle between the factions of forces. Go on, I haven't seen my master in years either, I don't know how his old man is doing now. Wang Fang couldn't help but recall the images of being with Chang Long. Ever since Chang Long left Wang Yin Bay City, they had only seen each other once in the wilderness area a dozen years ago. That was still when Chang Long accidentally found the two of them practicing and coincidentally met up. On that occasion, Master had given himself, his eldest disciple, both the astral disc and the silver star armor, two items that he himself could not use. Also, he himself had obtained something called a spatial ring from his master. After Wang Fang had thoroughly bound these three things, she realized how valuable they were, far beyond her imagination. One could say that, in Master's words, in the universe, the value of just one astrolabe far exceeded the price of this planet under her feet. As for the silver star armor and spatial ring, although they were also very precious, they were not even close to the price of an astrolabe. At that time, Wang Fang was confused, Master's kindness to her had already exceeded that of an ordinary master, this was completely treating her as his own daughter or sister. Wang Fang, however, had always remembered Cheng Long's words that cautioned her that wealth should not be leaked unless you are the best in the world. Therefore, for these three things, Wang Fang, in addition to the silver star armor worn in the innermost, outside the set of a class A combat suit, the remaining two, has been rarely used. Because the silver star armor is a star level garment capable of fusing the physical body, after all, these combat suits developed by humans, outsiders basically can't see its existence. Especially the astral disc, never use it until it was a life and death situation. After all, this treasure, once it appeared, would definitely be spied upon. Although there were very few spiritual numinaries on this planet, and even fewer who were knowledgeable, Wang Fang was still very cautious. The spatial ring was the same, completely fused with the index finger of his right hand, and he usually used his special backpack to load materials. To collect the excess is also with the hand into the backpack before going to empty one to collect into the space ring. However, that time, he also left Chung Long a newly developed communication, Little Smart 2000 model. This was an advanced communication meter developed by the combination of technology and spiritual power, with a battery that could last for a hundred years without replacement, and with a super strong signal. As long as one was anywhere on this planet, one could basically make contact. However, Chung Long mostly kept it in system space. In system space, the signal was blocked, 
and you could only receive delayed information after getting it to the outside world. Wang Fang also knew that Master was often in seclusion and didn't send messages for very long. After all, the last time a message was sent to Master that he himself had turned 18, it was still three or four years before he received a reply. Yeah, it's been years since I've seen my boss. Although the two of us are soulbound and are capable of soul transmission, but that has to be within a certain range. If it's over a long distance, only the boss can convey messages to me, and the current me can't actively contact the boss. Xiong Di at first looked at the boss gave Wang Fang the same treasure, but nothing to himself, did not feel anything. After all, for one thing, these three things can't be used by himself, and secondly, it is clear about its own position. To be a person is to have self-knowledge, to be a bear is also the same. It was quite satisfied with its current life, and its heart's attachment to Cheng Long was not at all less than Xiao Fang's. Just as they were conferring, Wang Fang's younger brother Wang Shi was the first to run out from the house quickly. Sis, you're back, I missed you, hug. A very handsome young man hugged Wang Fang in front of him. How old are you, still acting like a child, are you shy? Facing her brother Wang Shi's embrace, Wang Fang was so out of breath that she lightly slapped him on the back, then gently pushed him away. Then I don't care, how old is your brother? Wang Shi was also a big boy of 18 or 19 years old, his 1 meter 8 tall head was very conspicuous in the crowd. Uncle Xiong, it feels like you've gotten a bit bigger again. After being pushed away by Wang Fang, Wang Shi was not annoyed, but greeted Xiong De on one side. For Xiong De, Wang Shi also appeared an intimate, after all, he had not slid up and down on each other's body before, and even sat on Xiong Da's shoulder to go shopping, but he envied his own little friends. Aha! Xiong De nodded, and now he, too, had simply learned how to use his spiritual power to talk back. Well, your sister has just returned home, and your uncle Xiong has followed around for so long, he must be exhausted, so you just let the two of them have a good rest. Wang Gue, who was already over 50, still looked like a strong man in his 30s. Although he hadn't reached the point of passing the martial artist trial test to become a martial artist. But through the blood and meat of the foreign beasts that Wang Fang brought back home from every adventure, their family, in terms of physical fitness, it was much stronger than the average person. Yes, brat, why don't you go help your uncle Xiong clean up? Hearing this slightly aged voice, Wang Fang couldn't help but look at the crane-haired old man who walked out from the doorway. This is Wang Yue, back then, in addition to Wang Fang, when looking at Chen Longyim, it was his vision that was the most sharp and unique. The old man has become a savant, and he also has a big credit for the Wang family being able to prosper today. Grandpa. Under the four eyes of the master and grandson, Wang Fang couldn't help but secretly swear in her heart that her family was her scales in this life, and her master was even more of a target for her to guard and follow. She understood very well that the one who brought her all this was Master Chen Long. Without master, the fate of their family might not have been what it is now. Chen Long made a huge wave the moment he entered the lake. He quickly headed towards the bottom of the lake while expanding his Nianli to search for information around him. Shortly after entering the lake, what made Cheng Long feel strange was that the seemingly steaming lake water did seem to be very warm at first, with the temperature almost being around 50 to 60 degrees, and as he continued to go deeper and deeper, he felt the coldness of the lake more and more. Even at the limit of the temperature he could withstand right now, it felt cold, a perception that had been missing for a long time. One must know that even in the freezing temperatures outside, in the roiling snow and wind, he hadn't felt much of an effect. However, in this lake of ice and fire, there were still quite a number of fish in the area. The thing that made Cheng Long feel weird was that here, apart from the ice river snow frog that he had killed, there was no longer any other beasts, not even a beast soldier level 1. This made Cheng Long feel more and more surprised. He should know that as he continued to go deeper and deeper, the water spirit Chi here was getting more and more dense, a good place to condense the water spirit core. In such a place with abundant spiritual qi, yet no other foreign beasts appeared, that would be a bit weird. In the image sent back by Chun Long's thoughts, the bottom of the lake, which was thousands of meters deep, was almost as deep as the ocean in the outside world. Moreover, what confused Chen Long even more was that the further down the lake went, the larger it expanded, just like a funnel covered upside down. There were many, many rock holes in it, like a sponge block covered with foamy eyes. Moreover, the same was true of those rock walls above with large and small caves randomly distributed around the rock walls. The mouth of the lake above should not be the only exit according to Chum Long's analysis. After all, the expanded area of the lake below was simply too large. After traveling through the heavy caves further down, he came to the real meaning of the lake. It was dark here, with no light at all, and the surrounding area was also terrifyingly silent. With his spiritual thoughts, he couldn't observe the edges of the surroundings. Is this still a lake? It should already belong to the inland ocean category. Cheng Long floated in the water, his depth at the moment, almost at already around 3,000 meters, but still did not touch the bottom of this lake. According to the perception of his spiritual thoughts, the further down he went, the more he felt the resistance of the extension of his thoughts. Cheng Long, this place is a bit odd, there's
there seems to be a relic. Xinya was also observing the entire structure of the lake and kept analyzing it. A relic? Hearing Xinyi's voice transmission, Cheng Long also became more certain that there was something odd here. If my analysis is correct, there is folded space here, a small world. If you keep searching for the bottom like this, I guess you won't be able to find it for the rest of your life. In the lake in front of you, it is impossible to find the true bottom of the lake with your Nianli perception. Folding space? Small world? Cheng Long couldn't help but spit out his snake letters, 3,000 meters below the bottom of the lake, he could already faintly feel the water pressure around him squeezing himself in a tight bind. However, this kind of pressure, the current him was completely able to withstand it. The last time he fought that octopus, he had penetrated more than 5,000 meters into the bottom of the sea and directly found that guy's lair. If it wasn't for the fact that the strength he exerted in the deep sea was restricted, how could he let that guy escape? And here, there was actually another folding space, a small world. This is kind of the second one he encountered besides the cloud mist starship, I hope there are treasures. You're trying to unfold your spiritual thoughts down towards the lake, I judge that we're already in this small world at this moment. Cheng Long followed Si Mei's words and probed his spiritual thoughts towards the top, only to realize that he couldn't perceive the surface of the lake at the moment no matter what. After telling Simi what he had probed out, Simi leisurely said, It's true, what a powerful prohibition, even I didn't notice it before I was hit. Now that I think about it, it should be that after you pass through that mysterious stone cave just now, we have already arrived in this small world. Stone cave? Cheng Long couldn't help but recall that he was just now traversing the large cave that could completely accommodate his passage. That cave, however, had now disappeared. Don't look for it, the moment we entered, it naturally closed as an entrance. To open it, you can't do so unless you find the guardian of this small world. Only he knows how to get out of here. Simei floated out from the intelligent core, and then in Chang Long's line of sight, his entire figure violently dispersed, turning into a single point of light that spread out in all directions. Guardian, is there still a guardian in this small world? Chang Long couldn't help but be curious, this was the first time he had heard Simei talk about this mysterious existence. Technically speaking, I am also the guardian of that small world on the Cloud Mist starship. Although the owner is gone, the Cloud Mist starship is damaged and unable to restart, and the energy is not enough to maintain the small world. But if someone accidentally breaks into the small world, a strength like yours would be trapped inside without my guidance. While talking to Chun Long, the point of light that his body had transformed into had spread out in the dark space, searching for something. Chang Long was naturally not good at this kind of searching method of Si Mei, seeing that he had nothing to do, he also activated the Heavenly Eye map, not exploring with the help of spiritual thoughts. Time passes little by little, the surrounding besides darkness is water, can't tell the southeast and northwest, Chun Long also don't know how long he has been exploring, but still didn't find a single brow. No wonder, this is a broken little world, the guys guarding this world have all fallen into slumber, with only a little remnant of instinct left to languish. Just when Chang Long was clueless, Simei discovered the secret of this small world. It's actually a titanium puppet that serves as a guard, although it's not too advanced a puppet guard in the universe, it's a rare item on your planet. A titanium golem? Where is it? As soon as Cheng Long heard the name, he knew it wasn't an ordinary item. Come with me. See Mimi transformed into a starry light that once again reconsolidated into that seductive woman that appeared before Cheng Long's eyes, then pointed in a direction and flew over. It was a shadow, so naturally it did not need to feel hindered by this water pressure, but Cheng Long was different, although he swam much faster than an ordinary person, compared to his walk on land, this was already considered slow. Just as Chang Long was heading towards the titanium puppet under the guidance of Si Mei, on the lake, Naravsky and his group, also arrived in the valley. That guy is right here in the lake, he rarely comes out in general, but luckily, this time I've brought enough depth charges. Let's get started then, and force that beast out. Seeing Lavsky remove the backpack behind him, from which he took out a single football-sized silver gray sphere. There were six of them in total, and they were neatly and carefully placed on the ground by him. Under the reflection of the light, it even reflected the surroundings, and it was very smooth and bright on top. This was the latest improved version of the depth bomb developed by the world. Not only was it much smaller on the outside than the regular old deep water bombs, but it also increased its power by two to three times. This was a product that was developed and improved in order to deal with the offshore water alien beasts. After all, now in the deep sea area, the human races has been basically lost cleanly. In addition to a small number of strong people can still go to adventure a bit, most other people can only watch and look at the ocean. And shallow sea area, a large number of sea monster infested under. In addition to the pairs and piles of transformed warships that could still travel normally, they were rarely attacked by the monsters. General commercial ships also needed enough guarding power to navigate near the sea. And that's even if they don't encounter a beast tide. Once they encountered a sea beast tidal wave, even if they were in pieces, it would basically be difficult to keep them safe, and there would be a danger of them all being wiped out. As for the word civilian, 
with the recovery of aura and since the great earthquake, no matter whether it is the land or the sky of the wilderness area, it has long disappeared cleanly. After all, one couldn't even go out of the safe base city, one could only live in a walled city. Where did the word civilian come from? I have a total of six depth charges here, one for each of us here, we'll spread out around the lakeshore later and throw them down towards the lake together, I don't believe that we won't be able to blow up this beast this time. Ravsky told each person to take one and spread out around the area. Everyone, set the detonation time at 8 minutes and a depth of 1 kilometer, let's drop the guys in our hands together. Hearing Ravsky's command, a few people did not hesitate and moved their hands at the same time, and after some maneuvering, they looked at each other and dropped the guy things in their hands. Is this lake the deep, 1 kilometer, almost catching up with the deep sea? One of the guys named Willis Nell, who had a pair of thick eyebrows, asked faintly. This unfrozen lake has been there since the eve of the cataclysm. Someone from our family came and tested it a bit back then. One kilometer, I'm afraid, is not its full depth. There seemed to be something in it that shielded the tester from recording. And later, when my father he had super strength, he also came here once. Then he encountered that ice river snow frog, and both sides even fought, and no one could do anything about it. On land, it was no match for my father, and in his hands, my father couldn't do anything about it. But at that time, my father was only an intermediate level battle king, and had not yet broken through to the planetary level. This time, if it wasn't for my father, he had something delayed and couldn't have commanded me to come here, his old man would have definitely taken matters into his own hands. For Willis Nair, Ravsky naturally wouldn't treat him like he treated Nasser. After all, although the other party was also an intermediate battle king, his true battle power was comparable to that of an advanced battle king. Moreover, his talent was extraordinary, and he was the one that his father had drawn in. Although he didn't see how much talent the other party had for the time being, the fact that he might have been the one who had been pulled in by his father also showed that this fellow had two brushes and was not simple. Similarly, the moment he spoke of his father, Lavsky's eyes were filled with light. The reason why their family was able to have some power in the giant bear country all depended on their planetary ranked father, that was the family's prime. After 20 years of development, there were already as many as 5 to 6 thousand king level powerhouses in the world, but there were only 50 to 60 planetary level powerhouses. With this kind of ratio, it was enough to appear that planetary star level powerhouses were precious and rare. In the current Earth Alliance, only planetary level existences were worthy of being called counselors. Below the planetary level, war king level powerhouses only had the right to speak, not the right to make decisions in the council. Instead, the final decision making power was in the hands of the ten elders, especially the two patriarchs, Reverend Gui Yi and Venerable Thundering. The two of them, but the two human martial artists with the strongest battle power right now. Hearing Ravsky's words, a few people were indifferent, having a planetary level backstage was different, speaking had a lot of backbone, deafening. The moment the depth charges were dropped in, several people this exited the valley and went outside to the mountain peaks to carry out an ambush, leaving only Lavsky inside to bait the enemy. This was what he himself had requested, in his opinion, as long as they lured that beast out of the valley and didn't let it have a chance to escape back into the lake, with the strength of the few of them, if they wanted to hunt and kill it, they should be able to do it with 9 out of 10 assurances. After all, although that beast's strength had now entered the advanced beast king level, it hadn't broken through for a long time, and its foundation wasn't very stable, so it would only take a little bit of means. Several people collected their breath, hidden in the agreed ambush point, quietly waiting for the movement in the mouth of the valley. Ravsky was equally anxious in his heart, his eyes dead set on the lake. This time, if he was able to hunt and kill this guy, he himself would have to pay a few more points of attention in front of his father. In fact, he and Nasser in a few, what he said was both true and false. This time the action, at all is not his father commanded him to do, but he privately come by himself. After all, in the family, he was not his father's only son, there was an older sibling above and a younger brother below. Despite the fact that apart from his second brother who, like himself, had all advanced to the battle king level with the resources given by his father, his eldest sister and youngest brother were both still around the battle general level, and were not much of a threat to him. But in order to snatch more love from his father's side and monopolize more resources, it wasn't easy for Lavsky to defeat his genius second brother. And this time, if he could hunt this ice river snow frog, the foreign beast that his father wanted to hunt in the past but didn't get it, take this valley, and study the secret of the bottom of the lake, it would be a perfect opportunity for him to overwhelm his second brother. Thinking about this, he was very excited. Those few guys outside, although they weren't high-level battle kings, they were all of intermediate battle king caliber. Moreover, they were the best of the best inside and he had done many aspects of research and investigation into the strength of a few of them before sending out the invitation. Chang Long didn't know in the slightest that there were several people in the outside world who were already waiting in the valley, and although the target of the hunt wasn't himself, he had already dropped depth charges. 
Those few bombs, at the moment, had already reached the lake that was full of holes, and the countdown was starting. This is the titanium golem. When a five or six feet tall giant appeared in front of Chang Long, he also curiously observed the guy standing there motionless. The entire giant's body was covered with a golden appearance, but in the dark water, it emitted a faint golden light. He didn't have five senses and couldn't see his appearance, but from the looks of it, it seemed that this shell was closer to a human, with one head, two hands, and two feet. The entire body was bare, even if Cheng Long used his spiritual thoughts to observe it, he could not see its inner structure, as if the entire giant was a solid body. No need to look, this guy's is a kind of mechanical puppet composed of countless titanium atoms. It can transform into various styles, has super high defense, and can wrap and wrap around its target like flowing water. The only weakness, is that it has almost zero attack power and no main means of attack. Sime explained, while the entire shadow body once again transformed into countless points of light and flew towards the titanium puppet's body. What are you doing? Cheng Long couldn't help but ask. Of course it's the same as you, to find that sleeping intelligence and devour it. Only by fusing its permissions can we leave this place. Little fellow, where are you running? When Si Miao drilled into the titanium golem and found the sleeping intelligence. The other party also sensed the crisis, but when it tried to awaken, it realized that the energy maintained was not enough to fully awaken it, so it could only helplessly perform an instinctive dodge. But the core of the intelligence it was hiding in was in the body of this titanium puppet, and it was still a passive precautionary consciousness, so how could it escape from Simu's active pursuit? Intelligence and intelligent life, there is still a difference, the encounter between the two, is like the gap between an ordinary person and a martial artist. After a short while, C. Mimi successfully devoured the intelligence that had not completely awakened, and organized the useful information. So it's a living butler system, this space is also used for a lounge, what we're in now, is inside a Y-70 type spaceship. A life butler system, a Y-70 type spaceship. What level of existence is this? Hearing C. Mei's words, Chang Long couldn't help but ask curiously. After learning the corresponding information, C. Mimi replied, Type Y-70 spaceship, this is a relatively old type of old spaceship. The age of this type of spaceship is even longer than the origin of human beings on your planet, with at least 3 million years of history. According to my database, the one who invented this type of spaceship was the Yunha Empire, a medium-sized cosmic country belonging to your 9 galaxies. Based on the purchasing power at the time, it was priced at around 50 billion cloud river coins at the time. This type of airship was basically discontinued 2 million years ago. Even in the cloud river empire's prosperous capital, Songhai Star, it was almost difficult to buy it. If you wanted to collect it, you could basically only go to the black market, and there was no market for it. Most of the people who collect this kind of spaceship are using it as a collector's item, and occasionally drive it out for a ride, to make a splash or something. This guy actually appeared on your planet before me. According to the memories of the little guy I devoured, they came to your planet about a million years ago. The reason for this is that they encountered interstellar pirates and fought to the death before escaping and coming here. But unfortunately, the owner of this ship had a similar destiny as the old owner. Both were severely injured, unable to return to the sky, and the ship was damaged. A little guy of the ninth stellar level ended up falling here. And the airship itself, after long years without personnel to maintain it. It, like the cloud mist, is no longer functional in most of its features, let alone in flight. This is bad news for you. Then from what you're saying, there should be good news. After spending so much time with Si Mei, Chung Long pretty much knew this guy's habits. Either she didn't speak for a long time on weekdays, or when she did, it was for a long time. However, the good thing was that one could also know quite a bit of news from the outside world from her, so every time Si Mei opened her mouth, all one could do was to listen attentively. Of course there is good news. Although this kind of spaceship can't get into the eyes of the master, if it were the previous me, I would basically not look at it. However, for you now, after repairing it, as an interstellar voyage, it would be the best. And from the information obtained just now, the extent of its damage, despite being more than half, is just within my capabilities. You just need to go search for some wreckage of the ship for me when you return outside, and getting it to take off again is definitely not a difficult task for me. Sime replied with conviction. Before, I was still trying to figure out how to get you to do interstellar travel when the time comes, after all, it's impossible to live here for the rest of your life. I didn't expect a pillow to come when I dozed off, I actually found this guy. To put it in your words, it's like stepping through iron shoes without looking for a place to get it without making any effort. Seeing a smile on Si Mei's seductive face, Cheng Long was naturally happy. Come on, I told you that I'm the lucky one, picking up treasures wherever I go, it's really not bad. You're just lucky. This ship is all shut down and the intelligence is in slumber. No wonder I didn't scan for it before. This time, if you hadn't made a mistake, it would have been really hard to discover this place. Si Mei couldn't help but blankly stare at Cheng Long, worthy of being an existence that was looked upon by a great power. 
this kind of luck value was directly pulled full off. However, Simei thought of something else, her body gave a jolt, she couldn't help but raise her head to look at the sky, and eventually returned to her normal demeanor. Then shouldn't we go out? Just as Chang Long asked these words, Simi's face changed slightly, someone is outside, attacking the airship's shell. Someone is attacking the airship? Hearing Simi say this, Chang Long also felt very upset. In his eyes, the airship was now his own property, and he couldn't help but say, what kind of person is it, I'll have to show him some color. A few apprentice level 7 or 8 little guys, drop 6 death bombs in the water, they should be aiming at that ice river snow frog that you killed, only to mistakenly blow up the entrance you came in with. Sime said in an unimpressed manner, don't worry, let alone a depth bomb blowing up in such deep water. Even if you use your strongest and biggest nuclear bomb to explode on the surface of this airship, there won't be any damage. You can just cultivate at ease, don't be delayed by a few small shrimps. Simiao thought slightly, calmed Xinglong's emotions, and then said, leave this to me, and you can cultivate in seclusion first. The environment here just so happens to be undisturbed, grab some time, don't forget, you're still seven elemental cores short of collecting them all. Cheng Long also felt that Simei had a point, so he stopped paying attention to other things and cultivated at ease. Outside world. Naravsky, after waiting for nearly 20 minutes, but found that there was no movement at all in the lake. Unable to help but frown, he secretly said. It can't be, father had left surveillance here before. Before I came here, but I checked, this guy went out to hunt for food last time and came back and never went out again, how could he not be in the lake? Regarding the power of the depth bomb, Ravsky naturally wouldn't think that it didn't work. Although this improved bomb was mainly targeted at levels like beast soldiers and primary intermediate beast generals, it couldn't cause damage to king level powerhouses. However, his intention was to harass and force that guy to drill out of the lake, rather than relying on six bombs to take care of that ice river snow frog. But now there is no movement at all, the entire lake is quiet and abnormal, there must be a demon when things go wrong. Did that guy go out to hunt for food? Lavsky shook his head again. To his understanding of the ice river snow frog, that guy is stable once a month to go out. Each time he went out to hunt for food for three to five days, and then he would return to the lake, which had not changed over the years. And the image records coming from the monitor, the last time this guy came back was half a month ago, that's why he prepared this hunting plan. But just then, a light shield with a diameter of around 10 centimeters shot out directly from the water, and its target was Ravsky. What? Feeling a deathly crisis enveloping him, Lavsky prepared to dodge, only to realize that with his speed, he simply couldn't dodge the attack of this mysterious bright light. In an instant's time, his entire body collapsed to the ground, while the head, which had already been dissolved, turned into ashes. You drop six bombs, and I return a laser cannon shot to you, pretty reasonable, right? Simiao looked at the targets that were killed outside without any expression at all, and said slowly, just like stepping on an ant. This very thing was in need of a major overhaul, but there was still a functioning weapon on it, and the energy that was missing was something that Simi had plenty of here. What was that just now? The several people who had been ambushed outside on the ice field belatedly did not hear any movement in the valley, and even more so did not get a response from Ravsky, and although they did not know what situation had arisen, they waited quietly in their respective positions. After all, hunting foreign beasts, especially high-grade foreign beasts, often in the wilderness area fighting they are experienced. Not to mention beast kings, even beast generals sometimes needed to spend a day or two to conduct an ambush. And for some beast king level existences, if they wanted to hunt it, sometimes ambushing it for 10 days, half a month or even a month was a common thing. Patience was the basic quality that a martial artist needed very much. However, the pillar of laser light that killed Lavsky, however, after passing through its head, there was still a portion of energy that went through the mountain wall, crossed the mountain, and went straight up into the sky, appearing in the field of vision of the few of them. Kind of like a laser, yet it seems to be more powerful than a laser. One of them couldn't help but say, Lasers, I remember that Lavsky didn't have a laser weapon on him, not to mention, where would a normal carry-on laser weapon be able to shoot out such a strong beam wave? Nasser, who was not far away, frowned, although he didn't like Ravsky personally, but now after all, he was on a team with him and was employed by him, so naturally, he would also worry about his safety. What's more, behind the other party is a planetary father, once this guy has any accidents, his own few people, there is no good fruit to eat. In his impression, after more than 20 years of wars between humans and alien beasts, is the emergence of a lot of power extraordinary, technology sends stronger weaponry. Whether it was this kind of one-man armor and weapons on their bodies that could defend against monster attacks, or the cannons used on the base city and so on. With the excavation of the ruins of various ancient civilizations, the speed of equipment innovation was also changing rapidly. This was also one of the secrets for humanity to be able to persevere under countless waves of beasts. Among them, laser weapons were even more so. That kind of oversized laser cannon, even if it was in existence at their king level, once it was hit, it would either kill or injure them, and it was very powerful. 
However, the laser weapon that can be carried around by people, the general laser gun, its power is drastically weakened, mostly used to deal with the existence of beast soldier level, the threat to the beast generals have to be divided into situations. The laser light just now was definitely not something a laser gun could emit. Not good, something's wrong. Just as Nasser was thinking, Willis Nair stood up and walked quickly towards the valley with a worried look on his face. Seeing Willis Nair like this, several people also seemed to have thought of something and hurriedly followed. When they came to the valley, the first thing they saw was the headless body that fell on the ground, there wasn't even a single drop of blood on the ground, and the melted position was directly burnt and crusted together. What to do? Seeing this situation, a few people looked at each other, who did not expect this result, for a while fell into silence, everyone was thinking in their hearts about what to do next. However, their footsteps were then carefully retreating, not even daring to go forward, after all, the weirdness of this place, being at the Battle King level, they also saw a little bit of the doorway, and didn't want to step into Ravsky's footsteps. Report to the Marshal Hall and Elder Zeratu, this matter cannot be concealed, if we want to hide the truth, once we are found out, you guys are aware of the consequences, it would be better to take the initiative to report it in the first place. After a long time, when they had retreated to a position where they felt safe, Willis Nell was the first to say. It can only be so, after all, we didn't kill the man, and we were hired to do so. Let's report the news first, we'll secure the scene, seal off the perimeter, and wait for the arrival of the Marshal Hall's special agent and Elder Zaratu. Right, let's do it like this, perhaps we will endure some of Elder Zaratu's wrath, but it's better than the consequences of not reporting and being discovered. After a few people conferred and discussed the worst possible outcome, and after giving a certain strategy for discussion, they began to set up controls around the valley, while secretly observing the movements around the corpse. After all, Lavsky's identity was different, there was a planetary level dad behind him, if it was a normal Battle King level powerhouse, how would they have such a headache, thinking of this, several people had revealed bitter smiles. This now in this world, strength is the hard truth ah, whoever has a hard fist is the king's law. Of course, the reason why they did this was still because the Martial Hall had previously enacted a protection law for martial artists. This was formulated with the participation of all senior martial artists, and the decision makers among them, were the first Patriarch Gui Yijinran and the second Patriarch Thunder Venerable Fansen. Killing between martial artists was strictly forbidden, bullying the small with the big was strictly forbidden, and that was to be taken to the court of the Martial Palace. No matter who it was, they were all bound by this law, including the planetary level counselors and elders. Therefore, the worst thing that could happen to the few of them would be that they would just be written down in a small book by Elder Zaratu, after all, this was reported to the Martial Palace. Publicly, it was also the protection of one's own life. Every Battle King level powerhouse could be the backbone of humanity, a valuable asset, and the cause of their deaths, the Martial Hall would have to find out, file it and make public sacrifices. The City of a Thousand Tops, the capital of the giant Bear Kingdom, one of the largest security bases. Zaratu, as one of the few planetary level powerhouses in the giant bear country, naturally had a pivotal position in the country. His family's manor, naturally, was also located in the most prosperous section. Ruffle, Ravsky's older brother and Zarata's eldest son, was currently practicing cultivation in a secret room. He was naked, wearing only a pair of fluffy boxers, sitting on a futon, his hands resting on his cross thighs, his eyes tightly closed, and that chest very regularly rising and falling together. And between these ups and downs, compared to regular people, they had a gap of about a minute. With each inhalation and exhalation, on the two nostrils, there was a hidden white smoke. Guidance technique, the secret cultivation technique announced by realist Gi is indeed good. Although the price requires 1,100 billion alliance coins plus 10,000 contribution points to redeem. But with it, compared to the previous blind passive absorption of aura, this is more than 10 times faster. Slowly opening his eyes and breathing a sigh of relief, Laval stood up and picked up a towel that had been prepared in advance to one side and wiped his body. 100 billion alliance coins really wasn't too much for him right now, hunting and killing foreign beasts and selling materials would soon earn him back. 1000 contribution points was slightly troublesome, a beast general beginner level fey beast was only 1 contribution point, an intermediate level 10 points, and an advanced level 100 points. In other words, 10,000 contribution points could only be obtained by hunting at least 100 high level beast generals. For him at the battle king level, killing high level beast generals was easy, often solved in one or two moves. However, the current beast generals, especially the high level beast generals, had also learned their lesson. Not only would they gather many low ranked foreign beasts around them to guard their safety, but at the same time, they would often follow some beast kings and become their guards. Therefore, in the wild, it was hard to encounter single beast generals, most of them appeared in groups and clustered together, making it a bit tricky to kill them. Just as he was pondering, an image came from the talk watch on his wrist. Third brother is dead? 
After the call, Laval was astonished, although this oldest brother of his had always secretly wanted to surpass himself in his heart and compete for favor in front of his father. But in his eyes as a brother, he didn't care much about it, it's good to have competition, it's better than being a salty fish. It's not like the family has a throne to inherit, if the two brothers don't reach the planetary level, they will definitely die in front of their father. So, most of the time, for this strong brother, Laval was secretly concerned about it, and at the same time, there was also healthy competition. And now, the third brother had died in the wilderness area, and the cause of death was strange, this matter, he would definitely investigate it. A member of their Victor family couldn't die so unexplained. However, according to the news that came in, the third brother, Lavsky, was killed by a mysterious speed of light, and didn't even have the slightest time to react. Laval naturally wouldn't act rashly, although he was a little stronger than Lavsky in certain aspects, he wasn't far behind. The other party was able to kill his third brother so easily, so he could likewise kill him. Father Zarata was in seclusion, all contact with the outside world was cut off, and he would not be able to come out of seclusion in a short period of time. Therefore, one had to go and find the true cause of third brother's death during this time. Otherwise, once the father came out of seclusion and learned that his beloved son had died outside like this, not only would Willis Nair and the others have to bear the wrath, even he himself would be implicated. As for the murderer, it was better to wait for father to come out of the gate. Ruffle wasn't stupid, whether he was killed by a weapon or by a person, it wasn't something that the current him could mess with. If it was simply killed by a weapon, it could only mean that there was a relic of an ancient civilization in that place, and that there was an intelligent presence in the relic. Only then could he determine the source of that mysterious speed of light from the passage that Willis Nair and the others had sent back. And if it was killed by a human, then the other party was at least a planetary level existence. It was well known that only planetary level powerhouses could awaken their natural abilities. Whether it was the former or the latter, it was not something that the current self could provoke. Headache, Lavsky you bastard, you have to leave me such a headache even after you die. Ravel rubbed his temples, angrily cursing his third brother who had become a deadbeat on his lips, but in his eyes, he still hid a sense of sadness. After all, they were blood brothers who had broken bones. Cheng Long naturally did not know that Si Mei's behavior had already incurred uneasy right and wrong problems for himself outside. At this moment, he was sinking his heart into cultivation, following the method of chaotic body refining technique, collecting the rich water spirit chi of this place and condensing it into the water spirit nucleus. Time passed just a little bit. Outside, Laval and the people from the Marshall Hall arrived in the valley. Elder Gervis, this is the place where Laval died. In front of Willis Nair, an old man with a head full of white hair was currently standing. On the right side of that face, from the eyes downwards, a scar cut directly to the side of the mouth, very conspicuous, and at a glance, it was a scratch left by some kind of alien beast. With the current technology, and their strong physical qualities, it was very easy to heal such a scar. But the other party didn't do so, but chose to leave it behind, obviously to spur themselves on, a ruthless person. We have verified the situation that you guys reported over on our side, judging from all the signs, it is almost certain that there is a new relic coming out from the bottom of this mysterious lake, well done. Curvis patted Willis Nell's shoulder, his eyes retracted from the headless Ravsky's corpse on the side, and turned his gaze back to Laval, who was on the side, and said, Condolences, your father and I were comrades in arms in life and death, and you and Ravsky were also the ones I watched grow up, I didn't realize that I would have to send a white-haired person to a black-haired person here, AI. Elder, are you sure that my third brother was killed by the existence and the ancient relics and not man-made? Laval wanted to get a definite answer from Gervis despite having a few guesses in his heart. Gervis glanced at Laval and nodded meaningfully, as if he knew what the other party was thinking at this moment. Seeing Gervis's nod, Laval's heart was already clear, making calculations accordingly. It was an indisputable fact that the third brother was dead. If it was really a relic, then what was to be done now was to turn its death into maximizing the family's profit. This was not cold-bloodedness, but the truth. A relic that was able to kill a battle king level in seconds. The things that stood out were by no means simple. Raffle also understood that it was not something that their Victor family could monopolize. Not even with his father, Zeratu, a planetary-level powerhouse. After all, the entire northern frontier, the entire giant bear country, had more than just its father, a planetary-level powerhouse. Here comes another little mongrel. Just as the few people above were talking, inside that Y-70 spaceship underwater, Simei also sensed Gerbus's arrival of them. As for the conversation between the several people, Simei also naturally heard it clearly. No, mustn't let these guys disturb Chang Long's cultivation, anyone who delays his progress will die. Simi turned her gaze towards Chang Long who had already entered his state. For this fellow, although she hadn't dealt many blows on weekdays, that was also a spur to him. After all, the master's legacy could not be interrupted, it had to be passed on, and this person, or her own choice. This guy called Gervis has a few brains, but unfortunately, 
it's useless for you to be extremely smart, this spaceship is already owned, you're going to waste your efforts. After devouring the sleeping intelligence system, Simu naturally knew everything about the current situation of the Y-70 spaceship, which functions can be used, which functions need to be repaired, and which places are completely broken, Simei's heart is as clear as a mirror, just like being familiar with her own body in general. This is the terrible place of intelligence, compared to the human brain, in some aspects, intelligent computing, completely out of several galaxies level. Seeing that the Gervis entered the water, Simi also once again charged the cannon. You're coming down here to seek death, then don't blame me for not being polite. Simi also revealed a few cruel expressions at this moment, this Y-70 was naturally no match for the Cloud Mist starship, and the two couldn't be compared to each other, they weren't on the same level. Although she said to Chun Long that she could restore this guy's flight functions, that would be later. But in the current situation, the vast majority of the functions of the damaged Y-70 could not be defended against planetary level probes. Once the other party discovered the existence of the Y-70, it would also be more troublesome. She wasn't afraid of trouble, she just didn't want Chang Long's cultivation to be disturbed. The moment Gervis entered the water, he didn't hesitate to shoot towards the bottom of the lake. Regarding the ancient ruins, he, a planetary level guy, had a much deeper understanding than the ones outside. It could even be said that these current existences that had broken through to the planetary level had basically been subjected to the benefits brought by the relics. Without these benefits, even if a few of them were able to enter the planetary level, it wouldn't be so fast. After all, crossing a river by touching a stone and crossing a bridge by stepping on someone else's footprints were two different progress bars. Therefore, before judging that there was a relic here and that none of the other planetary level powerhouses in the northern frontier had arrived, Gervis was prepared to take the shortcut and get close to the water. As for the danger, he had naturally considered it. But people die for money, birds die for food, afraid of death, honestly shrink in the safe zone is. A martial artist, dancing on the tip of the knife all day long, living a life of licking blood from the mouth of the knife, where there is no danger. Gervis's thoughts are naturally good, but what he doesn't know is what kind of terrifying existence will be waiting for him down there. Taking risks, naturally meant paying a price. Elder Gervis has gone down, this should be able to identify the cause of third brother's death. On the shore of the lake, Naffler stroked his chin and frowned in thought. He didn't care what the other party could get at the bottom of the lake, but wanted to know what exactly killed third brother. If he waited for his father to come out of the gate, and his side hadn't yet found out the cause of his third brother's death, the result would be, well, predictable. If it was a real relic, it wasn't so easy to open. Since the recovery of Aura, except for those small oddities, the excavation of those larger relics, which is not a year and a half to figure out the general situation. Even those ten or so relics that were called Jedi and were held in the hands of several large countries. From the beginning of the excavation until now, only a very small part of them had been explored. Willis Nell and Nasser several were also very nervous as they stood on a hill not far away, watching the movements on the lake. Although the planetary level was an unattainable existence for them at the Battle King level, they were not invincible. Over the past few years, there had been planetary level powerhouses that had fallen, including not only those that had died fighting with the beast god, but also those that had entered the ruins of an ancient civilization and fallen due to accidents. Therefore, for the sake of their own safety, several of them had stood far away from each other, so that if any irresistible accidents occurred, they could also wipe their feet at any time. This is a plasma cannon, dealing with a mere planetary level of yours, it's kind of a big deal. Seeing Gervis coming towards the bottom of the lake, Simi was very careful despite wearing a few wary colors, and that cautious look made him look very funny in Simi's eyes. Let your reaction speed be as fast as you can, unless you have an immortal level and can cross the speed of light in one step, you'll have to eat my cannon. Simi adjusted the cannon and locked onto Gervis, who was already nearly 2,000 meters deep into the bottom of the lake. The moment the plasma cannon locked onto Gervis, Gervis, who was swimming in the pitch black lake water, instantly felt his body explode, and a crisis of death enveloped his body. This. Stopping his body, Gervis hastily retreated, under this instinctive sense of life and death, he didn't dare to delay, and without hesitation began to swim back. There was a great terror between life and death, he had managed to become a planetary level powerhouse, he couldn't just fold here. Count on your kid's good sense. Seeing Gervis swimming back towards the top without turning his head back, Simiao didn't fire immediately, but continued to lock onto him. After all, with this thing, the least powerful shot would require a spirit crystal. This was used to deal with a mere planetary level, and in Simi's opinion, it was a bit of a big deal. Now was not the time to follow the old master, the resources left to Chung Long although on the surface looked wealthy. In reality, it also needed to be frugal in order to make it work, and Simi would not go to waste when he could not. Why don't we put this airship away in Chang Long's system space? This guy, the space ring could have been kept and used, but had to give it to his little disciple. He's not even rich himself but still has to pretend to be a big head, he's also a big wrong seed. 
Simei looked at Chun Long who was calmly practicing on the site and couldn't help but spit out. However, to be honest, complaints were complaints. However, from the bottom of his heart, Simei was in favor of Chang Long's approach and also affirmed his character. If even his own disciple could be like this, he definitely wouldn't be any worse to the division. If this guy really had hopes of advancing to immortality, it was still possible to avenge his old master in the future. It was because he knew that Cheng Long had the existence of system space that Simi agreed with him. After Gervis escaped from the water in a sorry state, he looked back underwater with a palpitating heart. In that moment just now, he could be very sure that if he were to take a step further, he would definitely be killed by that mysterious force. This sense of crisis was something he had never felt before since his cultivation. A martial artist's intuition, this mysterious sixth sense, was sometimes more accurate than the senses brought by the eyes and ears. Senior is coming out here. Seeing that Gervis flew out of the lake with a panic look like this not long after he went down, Laval and the others outside didn't need to guess that the mysterious existence in this lake was absolutely terrifying. To be able to make a planetary level powerhouse flee with such disregard could only mean this. Go, hurry up. Until he returned to the surface of the lake, Gervis could feel that the mysterious force was still locking onto him, only it wasn't as obvious as it was just now. This was a warning from the other party, and Gervis knew very well what it meant. Although he was a planetary level, he was only of the first rank, and his battle power was even more so that he could only be regarded as a middle to lower class existence among all the planetary levels. Shouting at the few of them, he charged up into the sky without looking back and directly flew away in the air. Seeing Gervis like this, Laval and Nasser made an instant decision and also quickly ran towards the outskirts of the valley. At the same time, they also speculated with a bewildered look on their faces, what exactly did this Gervis senior see, and left in such a hurry. But guessing aside, the few of them weren't so foolish as to bet their lives on the outcome of a location. Running quite fast. Only after Gerbus had completely left Simu's detection range did she take out the spirit crystals that provided energy for the plasma cannons. Time passed day by day, while in the outside world, about this mysterious valley in the northern border, in the human world, it was thoroughly rumored. A new relic had come out, and not only had it killed the son of planetary level powerhouse Saratu, the battle king level Ravsky, but it had also scared off another planetary level powerhouse, Gerbus. This was indeed big news for the martial world. Border South Safety Zone. A large building that was 3 kilometers long and about 2 kilometers wide occupied the very center of the entire Border South Security Zone. This was the headquarters of the Guae Martial Hall, and it was also the cultivation sanctuary of martial artists from all over the world. If you took a closer look at the structure of the Guae Martial Hall from above, you would realize that the building of this martial hall was actually a huge spaceship. What was exposed outside was only a part of this spaceship, and underneath the martial arts center, there was also a part of the spaceship's fuselage hidden. At this moment, inside the highest building of the martial arts hall, which was almost a hundred meters or so, an immortal, kind-looking old man was in his office, slowly playing a set of boxing skills. If Cheng Long was here, he would have realized that the set of boxing that the old man was playing was somewhat similar to the Tai Chi of his previous life, yet not exactly the same. This old man, was the number one ranked global battle power, Gui Yijinlan. Hearing you say that, that's kinda interesting. The old man finished his last stance and leisurely stood back up, turning his gaze to a middle-aged man who was reporting to him from the side. Master, regarding this mysterious valley, what can be ascertained now is that there is the existence of an ancient relic inside, as for what level exactly it is now, we still need to probe before we can ascertain it. However, what can be ascertained at the moment is that there is a certain amount of danger for all of us at the planetary level to enter. On the northern border side, the strongest Tchaikovsky had also traveled to the mysterious valley to explore it. Before he could enter, he was already locked by that mysterious power. According to him, there was a risk of death if he went in. That's why he sent a message for instructions, asking if you're interested in going, Master. The middle-aged man said coldly, exuding an icy aura. Tchaikovsky, this guy is now in existence with half a foot close to the third stage of the planetary level, even he feels the crisis of death, this valley is indeed extraordinary. Realist Guayi picked up a towel on the side and wiped his hands, saying without haste. Yes, he's the third strongest person in the world at the moment besides you and Thunder Venerable Fansen. Of course, if we count that weird guy, he should be the fourth. Iceberg, was the middle-aged man's name, as for his specific name, instead, no one knew. That guy. Hearing Ice Mountain's words, the returning reality was slightly stunned, he naturally knew who Ice Mountain was talking about. The world's first king-level existence was also one of the most special and mysterious individuals. Ever since the other party fought that eight-clawed beast god near the isolated island in the depths of the ocean ten or so years ago and easily abused it, he had disappeared. No one knew where that guy had gone, while that beast pet and disciple of his were still living well in Wang Yin Bay City, and both had half a foot in the planetary level. Facing such a demonic existence, as the number one person in the world, 
Gui Yijinjin had to pay attention to the news of the other party, because he had a feeling that although the other party had not entered the planetary level, he could currently have his own strength, and if he really fought to the death, he might not be his opponent. Any news of it recently? No, although that one accidentally captured the other party's battle. But the whole world is so big, unless the other party makes that kind of noise again last time, otherwise our satellite reconnaissance, it's also difficult to know its specific whereabouts. Iceberg shook his head, he knew very well what was in his master's mind, but he couldn't say much. Since Tchaikovsky and the others have issued an invitation, after the new year, that I'll personally go and take a look. I'm also curious as to what kind of relic exists in a place that can make him feel a life and death crisis. Realist Gui Yi pondered for a moment and finally said slowly. Alright, then I'll go make the arrangements. Ice Mountain nodded, so he turned around and left. Returning to the first reality turned to look out of the window, looking at the busy crowd underneath, there were those who were hooking up, those who were laughing and cursing, and those who were competing with each other, a look of all living beings. Twenty years, I didn't expect twenty years to pass in a flash. Far away by the mountain range, a ray of sunset's afterglow mapped the sky, below the colorful haze, the entire base city, lights and colors everywhere, ready to welcome the new year, a beautiful scene. Although the human race is now able to rely on the base city for self-protection, but in terms of high-end combat power, they are barely on par with the beast gods on land. There are still a large number of marine alien beasts, which are still threatening the safety of the major bases at all times. The road ahead is long, and there is a long way to go. The Guei realist enjoyed this rare free time. As the strongest human, he could basically not have much idle time. Not only did he have to deal with the internal conflicts and disputes within the human race and mediate the balance between the major powers, he also had to shoulder the great responsibility of fighting against foreign beasts and maintaining the safety of the human race. To be honest, he quite missed the life of a Taoist priest on the eve of the cataclysm. Every day was basically carefree, doing whatever he wanted. Nothing to do, drink a little wine, look at beautiful girls, sleep until natural awakening. The life back then was so cozy, unlike now, when there was a lot of running around and endless worries to worry about. But if he, the strongest being, didn't plan for the future of the human race, and went to live that kind of drunken life, then, what should the others do? Whether to let things go and go with the flow, or to stand up to the heavens and support the great beam. There is no such thing as a quiet time, but there is a need for someone to carry the weight forward. Look at the following these energetic young people, as well as live and work in peace and contentment of the people, the joy of welcoming the new year's weather. Returning to a real person will know that their hard work is correct. When the sky collapsed, there had to be a tall man to hold it up. Now, he is the tallest one, if he is not on, who is on. Thinking of this, he remembered that weird guy from his conversation with Iceberg just now. Regarding the other party's information, his side had collected a thick pile, even though the two sides hadn't dealt with each other and met. But vaguely, he had a premonition at the moment. Perhaps on this trip to the northern border, the two might have a chance to deal with each other. For the existence of the guardian beast or the dragon god that was called by some people in Wang Yin Base City, Gui Yi also wanted to personally go and see it. In Wang Yin Base City, Xiong De was sitting in the courtyard of Wang Fang's house, with wine and honey in front of him, and was eating a lot of food. You guy, eat slowly, and no one is robbing with you, these are all yours. Wang Fang from the moment she pushed open the door of the room and came to the courtyard, she saw this naive appearance of Xiong De, and couldn't help but cover her mouth with a smile, and then said cheerfully. This you do not understand it, the boss before but said a sentence, that is a big mouth to drink, a big piece of meat, this is only interesting, at that time I felt that this sentence is very suitable for me. You human beings are so gentle, everything has to be rules and regulations, a set of red tape, in my opinion, it is not painful at all, living, is not to eat, drink and enjoy? Xiong De responded to Wang Fang while picking up a roasted leg of lamb with honey on it and nibbling on it. Yes, master, his old man, in my opinion, doesn't look like a snake at all, he is simply a living human being, knows so much, and is also very close to humans. I often suspect that his old man, is definitely a human reborn with memories. Only this can make sense of his many oddities. Speaking of Chung Long, as Wang Fang grew older, the more she felt that there were many things suspicious about this master of hers. However, over the years, master had been traveling back and forth around the world for breakthroughs, and it was hard to even think of meeting him on his own, let alone researching that bit of his secrets. What kind of person? Just as the two were talking, outside Wang Fang's house, there came a man with a few handsome looks. Why are you here? After seeing the visitor, Wang Fang didn't have much of an expression, but looked at the other party somewhat coldly and said faintly, Isn't it almost New Year's Eve, came to see aunt and uncle, and at the same time came to see you? Zhang Feng didn't really care when he saw Wang Feng looking like this, after all, after so many years, he was used to the other party's attitude. Who let himself like her, it was a fated robbery. No need, you go. Wang Feng came to the door and blocked the other party's figure, 
pointing out the door, signaling him to go out. Don't, don't they say that the visitor is a guest? Look at me, it's not like I came empty-handed. You don't like me, but auntie and uncle didn't say I wasn't allowed in, right, uncle? Zhang Feng was slightly embarrassed and happened to see Wang Gui coming out, so he shouted towards the courtyard. It's little Jiang, come, come, come in. The moment Wang Gui saw Zhang Feng, he immediately revealed a smiling face and waved, then said. Hearing that his father had given the word, Wang Feng couldn't say anything more, and only blankly looked at Zhang Feng helplessly before stepping aside. Girl, I think this guy is quite good ah, have been waiting for you for almost 10 years, if it were my old bear, if there was a suitable female bear treating me like this, there would be several children. Xiangde looked at Zhang Feng who walked all the way into the courtyard with a few triumphant colors, and then looked at Wang Feng who had a somewhat complicated face, he couldn't help but pass on his voice and said, What do you know, what do you know about us humans? Hearing Xiangda's voice transmission, Wang Feng looked at the other party breathlessly. You won't be. Shut up. Before Xiangda's words were finished, Wang Feng gave it a fierce stare, frightening Xiangde to immediately stop speaking and concentrate on eating his snacks. This tiger lady, can't be messed with. Time passed very quickly, in the blink of an eye it was already after the new year, after the lantern festival. During this period of time, it was also considered a rare quiet day for the martial artists. In addition to guarding the city walls and the soldiers stationed in the strongholds in the wilderness around the base city, the martial artists also accompanied their families to rest for a rare period of peace and quiet. The wilderness area, nowadays, also rarely saw scenes of large-scale beast waves attacking the base city. This was the result that the two strongest existences, the returning monarch and the thunder venerable Fansen, had exchanged after killing their way into the depths of the wilderness area and negotiating with the major beast deities shortly after they became planetary stars. Just what exactly happened in it, no one knew. The only thing that was clear was that small to medium scale beast tides still occurred in the wilderness area, occasionally attacking the human stronghold stationed outside of the base city. Large scale beast tides were basically rare to appear once a year. Pavilion master, you're looking for me? Wang Fong had been the inspector envoy of the Guei Marshall Pavilion in Wang Yin Base City for several years now. Regarding the pavilion master, Guei Yijin, Wang Fong was somewhat familiar with him. To be able to stand out from billions of people and become the strongest human martial artist in the world, his talent and enlightenment, as well as his chance, could also be said to be a heavenly destiny-like existence. Previously, the other party had the intention of wanting to take her as a disciple, but she had rejected it. Although Chang Long was snake-bodied, he could not compare to the world's number one strongest person who was also human in terms of teaching. But in Wang Fong's heart, she only had Cheng Long as a master, now and in the future. Besides, in the world of martial artists, it was a big taboo to change your master. Unless your previous master agreed and was willing for you to worship two masters at the same time. Otherwise this kind of behavior, that was quite disgraceful. After being rejected by Wang Fong, realist Guiyi turned out not to be annoyed, he also appreciated Wang Fong, yet he didn't want to offend Cheng Long behind her. As someone with strength comparable to that of an planetary level, she naturally gained the attention of realist Gui Yi the moment she showed her strength. This time, the thing that made Wang Fong a little bit dismayed was that realist Gui Yi had actually personally crossed thousands of kilometers of distance from Jiangnan Base City in the northwest of Dasha, and personally came to their Wang Yin Base City, which was far to the south, to look for her, so there must be something important going on. Yes, this time, I want to go to the lower northern frontier, and have specially come to find you to go with me. After getting out of the warplane, the returning reality, accompanied by Wang Fong, came to her office and uttered these words. Eh? Wang Fong was also slightly stunned, just for this, pavilion master he didn't bother to fly thousands of kilometers, it shouldn't be that simple. That's right, there's a special reason why I'm looking for you to come with me this time. Seeing Wang Fong's look of dismay, realist Gui Yi spoke down that speculation in his heart. You mean, that mysterious relic in the northern border, there's a possibility that my master his old man is there. Although Wang Fong knew from Xiongde that Cheng Long was now over at the northern border, he was not very clear about the exact location. Xiongde was Cheng Long's sole slave, so he was able to sense the direction of Cheng Long, his master, and even if the distance was far, he was always able to maintain a weak connection. This connection, however, was one that became more and more fuzzy the farther away it was, especially when Cheng Long was in some isolated secret realm, it might even be cut off. She had originally planned to set off in the next few days to look for Cheng Long, for one thing, she hadn't seen him for so many years, and she missed him quite a bit. Secondly, there were indeed many aspects in the matter of cultivation that she needed Cheng Long to go and do some demystifying. But what Wang Fong didn't expect was that the pavilion master had actually personally traveled thousands of miles to find her, and had brought such a piece of news. This made her admire the other party's sixth sense, with a few clues, she was able to determine the current location of her master, was this the world's number one keen sense? 
I mean it's possible, this is also some of my premonition and judgment, for this mysterious existence of your master, but I'm also curious as hell, and I can't help but pay a little more attention to it usually. Returning to the truth spoke his thoughts without any worries. As the number one existence in the world, he had reason to defy those other planetary level existences. At his current level, there weren't many people in the entire world who could fit into his eyes. One of them, Fan Sin, the Thunder Venerable, was naturally one, and the other, Cheng Long, who was able to abuse the number one beast god of the seas, the octopus, many years ago. Alright, it just so happens that I was talking to Xiong Di a while ago as well, preparing to make a trip to the northern border in the next few days to look for my master's whereabouts, and since you took the initiative to invite me, Pavilion Master, it just so happens that I'll be traveling along the way. Wang Fang nodded. Did that kid come to harass you again? Seeing that Wang Fang agreed with his idea, realist Guo Yi couldn't help but change the topic and said faintly. Wang Fang naturally knew who that kid was that realist Guo Yi was talking about, who else could it be if it wasn't Zhang Fang? In the outside world, most people only knew that the name Guo Yi Zhenjin was nothing more than a legal name, the real name, very few people knew. And Wang Fang, was one of those few who knew. The original family name of the Guo Yi realist was Zhang, his first name was Song, and that Zhang Fang, was his youngest son. However, on the eve of the cataclysm, this Gui Yijinjin had an unforgiving past and was a playboy, a flirtatious man. Not only was he handsome, but his kung fu was high, his family was even more golden, and his mouth was sweet. Such a man is naturally loved by most beautiful women. And Jiang Song before and is a spontaneous lord, has maintained the principle of three not, not active, not reject, not responsible. Such behavior, naturally let many women love and hate. The man is not a man of the world, but only for the poor, the golden son of a good man. At that time Jiang Song, but the red flag at home, outside the colorful flag fluttering. But the paper cannot wrap the fire, often walk by the river where there is not wet shoes. Eventually his original wife found her husband's scummy nature, and eventually could not stand, leaving behind two underage sons, a time to think, threw himself into the river. Wife's death, the blow to is great, but also from then on to change this lifestyle, but ultimately things are not the same thing, can no longer change his wife's life. Not long after, the cataclysm appeared, his eldest son unfortunately died, died under the beast tide. The youngest son, Jiang Feng, blamed the deaths of his elder brother and mother on him, his father, and refused to forgive him for many years. The gap between father and son has never healed, and even Jiang Feng has always shunned his father, Jiang Song. In order to make up for the shortcomings to his family, the real Guo Yi had been secretly protecting Jiang Feng and caring for him. But Jiang Feng had always come to terms with everything he had given him, and in his opinion, this was what he deserved. Yet, he always insisted on one principle, not to meet and not to forgive. This is the life of the world's number one powerhouse, other people seem to have unlimited scenery, the real heartache of which, how many people can understand. These, can be Jiang Feng personally and Wang Feng said. Previously, during the time when Jiang Feng hadn't formally initiated his pursuit, the two were good friends, the kind who didn't say anything, which was why Wang Feng knew so much. Pavilion master, so when do we depart, and what should Xiong do? Wang Fang didn't return to returning one's words head on, but changed the topic. Seeing Wang Fang like this, Gui Yijinren couldn't help but slightly sigh in his heart, that little brat of his, wanting to chase after this thorny rose in front of him, the road is a long way to go. That big black bear? Returning to the first real person put his eyes to the not far away is feasting on the bear big, that shoulder height of 5 or 6 feet of appearance, stand up if comparable to 7 or 8 floors of the building. Although this airship of his own was named the Flood Class, it was impossible to fit such a large beast. Number one was the sub-mothership of the cargo spaceship where one's martial arts school was located, and it was also the one with the largest size and the best facilities on it. However, there was no folding space on it. Having unearthed the spaceship used for his martial arts school himself, the returning one realist himself knew quite a few things about the universe from up there as well. The model of the spaceship, the division of forces, and the level of the realm of strength, he knew quite a lot from the intelligence of the number one. For this reason, after facing the various wonders of the vast universe as well as the huge variety of forces, he was even more aware of how small this planet he was on was in the universe. Once there was an alien invasion, the outcome of the continent of Kyushu was self-evident in terms of the current strength of mankind. That was why he and Fanson, both of them, had formulated a series of martial arts statutes, and had spared no effort in taking out many treasures as rewards, just in the hope that, more and stronger existences would appear in the entire human race. A planetary level, it seemed that one could act as an authority in this world and call themselves an ancestor, but in reality, in the universe, it was the lowest level of mole crickets ah. Yes, it also hasn't seen my master for many years, you know the relationship between the two of us, it can be said that Zhao does not leave Meng and Meng does not leave Zhao, since the polymerization together these 10 years or so it has almost never been separated. 
Wang Fang naturally wanted to bring Xiong Du with her by her side, this time when she went out to look for her master, both of them could not be missing. Hearing and understanding Wang Fang's meaning, Gui Yijinjin gave a slight thought and then said, This is a good idea, although my battleship is not able to fit it, yet I can hang it and use a few carriers for consignment is all. With its peak strength of the king level, hundreds of meters in the air, even if there is an accident and it falls down, basically, it's not a big problem. When Wang Fang heard this, this was also a solution. Heading to the northern border, if they were to rush from the ground, even if they were to pass in a straight line, it would be a distance of 7 to 8,000 kilometers. Although their king level speed was comparable to the speed of sound, that was also the extreme burst speed, normal rushing who so deadly sprint. Adding the obstacles of various terrains, in which they also had to avoid the territories of some king level alien beasts. Thousands of kilometers, the fastest they can take several days. And by airplane, it would naturally be more economical. After preparing everything, Xiongda looked at the huge netting in front of him, as well as the six large carrier planes circling around, he couldn't help but shake his head and walked into the netting. If it wasn't for Wang Fang's persuasion, it would have killed itself to go up. Looking at the smaller and smaller safety zone below, Xiong Da's huge bare paw scratched his head, I didn't expect that I, Master Xiong, would also have a day to sit in an airplane, or in this way. This unique way of transportation was not only Xiong Da's first time to sit, but it also surprised the people of Wang Yun Base City. Although they also occasionally saw Xiong Da moving around in the open area of the base city, and did not have much fear, they understood that this black bear beast would not harm them. But this way of slinging a foreign beast, I'm afraid that in the history of human beings in the continent of Kyushu, it was also a time that had never been seen before, as for whether there were any later ones, it was hard to say. Planet level, after meeting the master this time, we will go into seclusion and not come out until we reach the planetary level. Wang Fong looked at that Xiong Da's comical appearance outside the window and couldn't help but be slightly amused. Then it occurred to her that if both of them had reached the planetary level and were able to perform aerial flight, then there would be no need for such a funny thing to happen. Girl, you're about to enter the planetary star level as well. On the side, real person Gi sat beside a coffee table, took two exquisite teacups, lifted the ancient porcelain teapot on the table, poured some tea into one of the cups, gestured Wang Fong to sit down and have a cup, and then said, Stepping into half a foot, after meeting my master this time, I'm going to close the door, including that guy is the same, not until the planetary level, we are not going to come out. Wang Fong looked at this air battleship whose interior was decorated like an exquisite living room, his own one was naturally no match for this number one in the hands of the pavilion master. However, once he remembered those treasures that his master had given him, Wang Fang didn't think much about it. No matter how good this aviation battleship was, it could not compare to the value of a planet, but the wealth in one's own hands, even with the remaining spirit crystals, was many times more valuable than this number one as well. Previously, Xiao Fang felt that a spirit crystal would be worth hundreds of billions of Dasha coins at least, but now she didn't think so. The value of a planetary level powerhouse on this planet was incalculable. One hundred billion dollars was a large sum of money to her before, but now, it was basically just some waste paper, not much use. As long as one breaks through to the planetary level, one will have a lifespan of about a thousand years. A planetary level powerhouse who only earns one hundred million a year is a joke. As for spirit crystals, it wasn't just as simple as allowing an early stage of the king rank to directly step into the peak of the king rank. In terms of affinity for aura attributes, according to Wang Fang's understanding of the investigation as well as comparing it to her own feelings with Xiang Da's, she found that absorbing spirit crystals for cultivation had a much stronger affinity strength in terms of aura attributes than those king-level existences that did not use spirit crystals for cultivation. And the perception and affinity for aura attributes directly determined the key to whether or not the person in question could cross over to the planetary level. That was why she knew even more that the value of even the worst spirit crystals among these treasures given to her by her master was terrifying. She could imagine that if she really released a spirit crystal onto the market, there would definitely be a bloodbath. Because whether it was for an individual or a power like a country, one more planetary level powerhouse would be one more point of backbone. At her current point, true treasures were basically priced out of the market and hard to find for thousands of dollars. Even if they were encountered, they were basically mostly bartered. The role that secular money could play was already very little. Wang Fang also believed that there were so many strong people in the entire world, and most of them had a chance in their favor. Just like the pavilion master, the wealth he was revealing now was probably the tip of the iceberg in his pocket. Cheer up, we humans still have too few high-level strongmen. Whether it's to deal with the alien beasts, or to face the vast array of cosmic forces and other alien civilizations in the future. If there aren't enough strong people, once we are discovered, being enslaved might already be the best ending. The returning reality picked up the teacup on the coffee table and looked at the slightly swirling tea inside, the deep gaze was filled with pressure, as well as a strong fighting spirit. 
Pavilion Master, you are the first person to cross into the planetary level, and the strongest person in the world, is the alien civilization really strong? It can make you feel such strong pressure. In the midst of feeling that amazing fighting spirit emanating from Gui Yijinjin's body, Wang Fan also felt that titanic sense of pressure making the man in front of him indescribably tired, and couldn't help but ask curiously. Very strong, most of our human martial artists were able to rise, most of them were cultivated from the resources unearthed from the ruins of those ancient civilizations. And these ancient civilization ruins, more of them were left behind by alien civilizations. Only a small portion of them were left behind by our native pre-civilization era. So from that you can see how strong the alien civilization is. That's why I'm saying that once we, right now, are discovered by other alien civilizations with ulterior motives, you don't need to say that you know what fate awaits us. Upon hearing the words of the returning one realist, Wang Fang nodded thoughtfully. As she entered the Gui Yi Martial Hall and became the supervisory envoy guarding the Wang Yin Bay City, she also roughly knew some of the information about the alien civilizations that realist Gui Yi had published in the Martial Hall's database. Of course, this kind of information could only be accessed by a small portion of the higher-ups, and for the outside world, planetary level, was the highest level known at the moment. Combined with Master Chang Long's previous and some of the information she spilled out in bits and pieces, the existence of aliens, that's for sure. The reason why she asked Di Yijinran this sentence was also Wang Fang's own in order to confirm an exact guess in her heart. After all, no to no, understand how much is not the same for everyone. From the mouth of a strong person like Gui Yijinjin to know the information, always more reliable than some of the outside worlds catching the wind and wildly guessing to the news. Along the way, in the face of their huge team, there were some hordes of flying beasts that did not know how to die and crashed into them, but after approaching and sensing the powerful aura emanating from the air warship, as well as Shongda, who was caught in a net, those flying beasts avoided them one after another. Just kidding, not only was there planetary level pressure, but there were also two powerful peak king level auras, as long as they weren't stupid, they wouldn't come up and seek their own death. The two king level peaks didn't care, they could still run if they couldn't beat them. The viable star level was different, it was able to physically fly in the air. It was true that they were able to fly, but in front of the feasible star level, it would be no advantage at all. Wang Fang also naturally saw those flying alien beasts that infested the skies, and after seeing them fleeing, she couldn't help but turn her gaze towards realist Gui Yi, thinking faintly, with a look of wanting to say something. You girl, if there's anything you want to know from me, just ask, as long as it's something I can say, I'll definitely know everything. Seeing Wang Fang's appearance, obviously she was in her thirties, but she was still like a little girl with a quirky look, which made Gui Yijinjin couldn't help but raise a few points of favor. Because of this, his own stupid son persevered in pursuing her for so many years, right? In fact, in his opinion, regardless of whether this girl and his own stupid son have a destiny or not, he likes her from the bottom of his heart. Natural talent and high, strength is also strong, and there is no bad eye, the heart is good. Plus that secret of foreign beast master of hers, no matter which point it seems to be, the returning one real person feels that it has great cultivation value, and its future achievements are not limited. There's nothing else, it's just that I'm curious, if you fly in your physical body, without the aid of an aerial battleship, roughly how fast the fastest speed can be, and how long it can be maintained. Wang Fang opened her big eyes and just dripped as she looked at realizer Gui Yi, then added, if it's inconvenient for you to say, just pretend I didn't ask. You girl, just this question ah, there is nothing inconvenient to say, aren't you also half a foot into the planetary level, in fact, if you don't ask, you yourself will know when you reach the planetary level. My current limit flying speed is about 4 kilometers per second, even the first universe speed has not reached, so it can also fly in the continent of the 9 states for a period of time. When you reach the first rank of the planetary level you will know that at that time, the fastest speed you can fly in the air with your physical body is 1 kilometer per second up and down. Then every time you raise one rank, you will increase by about 1 kilometer. Of course, this varies from person to person, not every planetary level is like this, there are fast and slow. I'm currently at the fourth rank of the planetary star level, so that's four kilometers. Realist Gui Yi was very patient and said to Wang Fang, So fast, the last time I went to test my ultimate speed, it was only 575 meters per second, and that's still the level of my peak king rank. The planetary level first rank can actually break through to reach an ultimate speed of one kilometer per second, it's completely twice as fast as mine, this is also too big of a difference. Wang Fang heard the answer he wanted and couldn't help but confirm the conjecture in his heart. Of course, she herself could also control things to fly with her spiritual nemesis. But she had tried it, the speed of the weapon carrying herself was completely different from the speed when she was against the enemy. Flying with her own object control, the highest speed was only around 900 meters per second, which was a figure that Wang Fang had judged by herself. You girl, you are now at the stage of attracting aura to quench your body, right? 
As long as you finish quenching your body with aura, when you step into the planetary level, you will naturally be several times or even ten times stronger in terms of physical quality than you are now. This was also the reason why, as long as you stepped into the planetary level, a first-ranked existence would be able to beat up your king-level counterparts, the physical qualities of the two would be completely incomparable, not on the same level at all. Of course, there are also a few portions of demons who are able to cross the ranks and ignore the gap between realms. Just like your master, the same as the peak of the king level, but was able to beat the planetary level second stage octopus without any power, and eventually fled, almost dying at the hands of your master. There's also the likes of you, the last time you encountered that planetary level first rank fiery pig, although you didn't kill it, you were able to escape unharmed under its attack. With such elegance, I have to say that you masters and disciples are all demons. Hearing the words of realist Gu Ai, Wang Fong couldn't help but recall that battle. That was the first time he had fought a planetary level foreign beast, and it was also early last year. That time, if it wasn't for the silver star armor given to him by his master, I'm afraid that he would have hung up on that occasion. From the name as one could tell that the ability of that flaming pig was flame. However, it is the armoring attribute of the flame ability, that is, it can generate a layer of flame armor on the body, not only to fight against the enemy, but also to protect the body. As long as where the opponent passed by, everything within a hundred meters of itself would burn up and turn into ashes. However, if it wasn't for the fact that there were still people in the distance who were performing observation, one would have definitely used the killer weapon of the astrolabe given by his master. If the astrolabe had been utilized that time, the result would have been that one had already killed that fiery pig. For the pavilion master to know about this, she did not find it strange. After all, in that battle, that flaming pig had also chased and killed itself for a long distance. In the end, it was a planetary level existence that just happened to pass by there that ended up helping herself get away perfectly. It's a far cry from you, pavilion master, I still have a lot to learn from you, pavilion master. Wang Fong also said humbly, not being too proud. Alright, you girl, excessive modesty can be considered as pride, with your battle record, in the group of senior battle king, you are also one of the best. Returning to the first realm understood very well that the body's comprehensive strength was strength, and battle strength was battle strength, these were two different things. Some people had strong physical strength in high realms, but once they fought for real, the battle power they could exert might not even be half of their own strength. There are a lot of factors that affect this, but to be able to be like this girl, dare to kill with the planetary level and retreat in one piece, at present the entire world of the nine states, she is still a one of a kind. Why is that girl here, and that big stupid bear? Inside the Y-70 airship at the bottom of the lake, after Simui scared off the waves of guys who came to explore without knowing what was going on, she stayed inside the intelligent core, brushing the game with boredom while guarding Chang Long and observing the outside world in order to prevent it from being disturbed. Collecting the core of aura was a very boring yet quite focused process, and from Chang Long's expression, one could tell that at the moment, he was absorbing the water aura here little by little, channeling it into his body and condensing it in. Chang Long was doing the same thing, since this period of time when he was deep under the lake, except for one of the times when no one outside went out for hunting to replenish his physical energy, he had been staying in this airship, constantly sensing the surrounding water elemental power, little by little, he pulled it to his side, then absorbing it into his body, then gathering them together infusing them into drops of liquefied water. As the blood flowed, it continuously washed its body. The original physical body that had undergone the baptism of the fire spirit core and the gold spirit core had to adapt to the water spirit force all over again this time. Fortunately, his own physique had a very high affinity for all nine elements, which made the absorption process a little easier for him. Although the water element and the fire element were mutually exclusive existences, with the guidance of the secret method of the mixed elements body refining technique, this process was a lot easier. Everything was just done step by step, and Chang Long had to admire the existence of the one who had researched such a magical technique. Although this was given to him by the system, Chang Long understood very well that the system should not be able to create something out of nothing, there should be a source for all of this. Of course, this was also his own speculation, the invisible mysterious big hands behind him had those means that he could not imagine. Regardless of whether it was a secret art or a secret method or a gong method, it was actually a means and a guide, he would tell you how to go about it, using the shortest time and strength to gain the greatest harvest, to go on that shortcut to the heavens. However, it is also only a guide, a reference, and can only tell you how to go on this path, what difficulties are in the path, and how to cross them. And the real executor is still the cultivator himself. You need to follow the direction it gives you step by step, and from the footprints of each step, gain your own insights and summarize your own experience. Therefore, Cheng Long's view is that it wasn't as if he thought that he would be able to reach the planetary level 100% just by obtaining this Kung Fu. In this process, there would still be all sorts of difficulties and obstacles. Like right now, he had encountered a new problem that he had never encountered in the previous 20 years. 
That was that he had fused a trace of water spirit essence that had been absorbed into his body several times, and wanted to condense them into a subtle water spirit nucleus. Then using this water spirit nucleus as a foundation, he slowly used time to nurture it and turn it into a spirit orb, while also cleansing his body at the same time. But time and time again, he tugged at them to combine them, only to find that no matter how hard he tried, there was no way to fuse them together. There seemed to be an invisible force blocking this, interfering with the condensation of the water spirit core. What the hell is going on here? Chang Long's illusory figure was currently in a gray, empty world. There was nothing else visible in this world except for two large Zhang tall balls floating in it. Of course, there was Cheng Long's figure, the way he was in his previous life, not his snake body in this life. These two large balls, one blazing like the sun, emitted intense scorching heat, as if it was going to scorch everything around it, illuminating the nearby world. But where those lights couldn't reach, it was still gray and cloudy, as if chaos had not yet opened. And not far from the large fireball, a large white sphere that was also 10 feet tall floated in it. This was a pure metal sphere, cold and lonely, completely different from the hot big fireball next to it, forming two sharp contrasts. This was the nucleus of fire spirit and nucleus of gold spirit that Chang Long had spent 20 years condensing with the essence of fire spirit and the essence of gold spirit. To be precise it was no longer a nucleus, but a spirit ball. The two spirit balls were rotating and interacting around each other in this void, pulling each other, very active, bringing a hint of vitality to the entire gray world. According to normal logic, an average person who condensed that spirit orb of theirs would automatically be elevated to the planetary level in terms of realm. However, it was a pity that Chang Long needed to condense nine of them, and even though he already had a strength no less than a planetary star level, he had not reached a planetary star level in the true sense of the word. After all, that 1000 years of longevity, he still hadn't gotten it and was unable to fly in the air. Of course, he is the existence of wings, really want to fly or can, but this is not the kind of planetary star level to fly, the two are not the same. At this moment, Cheng Long looked at the several strands of water spirit power floating in front of his eyes as thin as a hairline, or even not as big as a hairline, and for a moment he was in a daze. In this short period of time, he had managed to absorb nearly 20 strands of water spirit essence, but now there were already only 6 strands left, and the remaining 14 strands had naturally disappeared after failing under the fusion. I just don't believe it, how can it still not combine? A stubborn stubbornness also rose in Chang Long's heart as he pulled the remaining six strands of water spirit essence and slowly brought them closer together, also carefully observing their condensation. The moment they collided together and were ready to merge, Chang Long's eyes widened, staring dead on at the change. Although this world was his own sea of consciousness space, capable of 360 degrees of deathless observation. However, Chang Long's eyes were still wide open as usual in that shadowy body of his, and one could see how nervous he was at this moment. Boom! Although there was no sound in this world, in Chang Long's consciousness, he still felt a hint of frustration when he saw the disappearing water spirit essence, but he soon smiled happily again. The reason was simple, he knew the root cause of this failure. That was that at the moment of fusion, he found a trace of blazing fire. In the five elements, fire overpowers gold, and water overpowers fire. But conversely, it could also be said that gold overpowers fire, and fire overpowers water. After all, there was a saying that true gold was not afraid of fire and distant water could not put out a nearby fire. He himself first condensed the sphere of fire spirit and condensed the sphere of gold spirit, although these two are mutually exclusive, but gold is more fire extinguished. He was within a mine that was rich in gold aura, and to be on the safe side, Cheng Long remembered that he had condensed about a hundred threads of gold spirit essence within his body before condensing, which was why he succeeded at once. Moreover, although the fire was against the gold, it also accelerated the urging to make the gold spirit essence fuse into a nucleus. And this time, the water spirit power is only less than 20 strands Chung Long to carry out fusion, how not to fail? After summarizing the reasons for this failure, Chung Long also felt a hint of fatigue, at the same time the body also came a hint of hunger. Fortunately, in the system space, that food from the last hunt had not been eaten yet, so he just needed to take it out. When he opened his eyes and prepared to have a full stomach, Simei was the first to say, I was just about to wake you up, that disciple and servant of yours are here. Why are the two of them here? Cheng Long wasn't surprised at all that Wang Fang and the girls were able to find this place, after all, with the existence of Xiong Di as a living road guide, it was still easy to find himself if he wanted to feel his bearings and then follow it all the way. Counting the days, he hadn't seen these two guys for more than 10 years. No wonder there was a saying circulating in his previous life that there was only one day in the cave, but the world was already a thousand years old. After stepping into the path of cultivation, one was almost cut off from the mortal world. Taking himself as an example, during these 20 years of seclusion, in addition to the normal oral and abdominal desires to provide himself with proper energy supplementation, most of the other time was spent attracting spiritual qi and condensing the nucleus of spiritual qi. 
Under such seclusion, it really fulfills the saying that time flies like an arrow and the sun and moon are like shuttles. It's not normal for them to come looking for you. At your current age, they've seen you once in 20 years or so. It's not like other people are like you, once they are in seclusion it's for so long, isolated from the world. All people have feelings and desires, remembering you as a master and master is also human nature. If it is not a little bit of master and disciple friendship in, would have thrown you the master in the clouds. Thinking about it differently, you, the master, did indeed lose too much on the disciple. Si Niao couldn't help but spit. Understanding to understanding, spitting to spitting, these were two different things, and also one of the few pleasures that Simi had right now. It's also true that someone who has lived two lifetimes, adding up to 50 years old, actually used two-thirds of his time in closed-door cultivation. And there's no telling how many more years it'll take for the remaining seven spirit cores to settle down and collect. No wonder you said before that people who cultivate, the most worthless thing is time, and the most valuable thing is also time, I now have a deep understanding of that. Chang Long didn't get angry at Simei's tirade, but instead revealed a bitter smile. Simei, open the exit, since the people are here, it's time for me as a master to meet that girl. Chang Long also couldn't help but reveal a trace of memories, that girl, she should have grown up by now. There was also the bear big simpleton, now that it was the noble beast king, it should be majestic as well. Are you sure you want to go out now? It's a lively place out there right now. Not only are your little apprentice and the big dumb bear both there, but there are several other humans who could all be up there, including the guy who is now the number one on your planet. See me couldn't help but remind. It's not because of what you guys did, a cannon blast out is cool, but it attracted so many flies to me. Chang Long was so out of breath that he blankly eyed the other party, he also only realized that Simei had done those things later that time when he had to go out hunting, thus he was also careful when he went out hunting, just to avoid trouble. In terms of realm, although he was now at the peak of the beast king, if he talked about real strength, even if the one who came was the number one in the world, that Gui Yijinjin, he was completely unafraid. The current him was fully qualified to regard those in the outside world as dirt and dogs, except for a few. What are you afraid of, with your current strength, it's absolutely no problem to roam around this nook and cranny planet. Go wherever you want, and for those who don't obey, directly suppress them and be done with it. Our cloud mist star lineage, what we want is two words, hegemony. Easy for you to say, hegemony also needs to be backed up by corresponding strength, okay? I just don't believe that master, his old man, has been like a crap from the beginning of his cultivation, acting as if the sky is the boss and I'm the oldest, rampaging around. With such brain-dead behavior, master his old man definitely won't live until the day he becomes immortal. Cheng Long was also speechless, for some of the words of this guy Sime, he just listened to them and couldn't take them seriously. That is definitely not something that can be done. What I mean is, when there is no strength to support, clamp your tail and be a grandson. When you have strength, I am your grandfather. That's the correct way to open the path of cultivation, get it, kid. Simia was also helpless, it was getting harder and harder to pretend to be next door in front of this kid. A short 20 years, this guy is not that humble and teachable posture of an elementary school student, the tail has been cocked to the sky. Have to find an opportunity to properly hole a hole. Otherwise, in the future, his own opportunity to pretend to be the boss with the growth of this guy's strength and insight, but it will be less and less. Che, to put it bluntly, isn't it just bullying, I thought there was something to know. Cheng Long was also speechless as he looked at Si Mui's condescending appearance, he also didn't know if this guy's character was inherited from his old man, master. Anyway, he felt that this guy had absolutely burnt out his CPU and had a wiring malfunction after half a million years. Just as Chang Long and Si Mei were fighting. Outside in the valley, there was a group of over a hundred people standing at the moment. Among them, there were not only members of the Gue E Martial School, but also the local overlord of the northern border, the giant bear country, the host's high-level battle force, was accompanying them. First patriarch, this is the place. As the leader of the host, Tchaikovsky stood right beside him, looking at both Xiang De and Wang Fang with great confusion. There was no planetary level existence like them that didn't know about this strange pair. So far, globally, there was only the existence of such a pair of human beast combination as Wang Fang and Xiang De. The Fei beasts and the human race had always been hostile to each other, or else for so many years, the war between humans and Fei beasts had never stopped. Although the beasts were not ironclad, there were also numerous forces and races. They kill and devour each other and every year the number of beasts that die in the mouths of the beasts themselves is much more than what humans hunt. But there is no way, think about it, humans have super high intelligence, the only advantage of the foreign beasts, is that they can be born. And so the less intelligent fey races, the faster they reproduced. On the contrary, the stronger the strength of the alien beast race, in terms of reproduction, it was worse than ordinary humans. It was like a law that had been summarized in these recent years. The stronger a person was, the same as a fey beast in terms of reproduction. The chances of wanting a next generation were much tougher than normal humans. 
Although Tchaikovsky's own strength had already stepped halfway into the third stage of the planetary level, however, in front of the first elder of Guae, he was as humble as an elementary school student. He was unusually respectful in his words, not daring to be the slightest bit careless. This was not just because the other party's strength could hang himself. More importantly, the other party's character was also truly worthy of one's respect. Without its and the second elder's efforts and suppression, the world of martial artists on the continent of the nine states would definitely not have flourished as a whole as it did now. I sense that the boss is underneath this lake. Just as the two of Gui Yijin and Tchaikovsky were talking, Xiongde also said to Wang Feng, but nothing exists under the bottom of this lake. Although Wang Feng knew that Xiongde wouldn't lie to himself. However, under the probing of his own spiritual thoughts, there really wasn't anything that existed under the bottom of the lake. Apart from some ordinary fish, there weren't even any exotic beasts. What's more, if masters figure that Big wanted to hide inside, how could he escape his own probing? Just as Wang Fong was perplexed, she quickly detected an abnormality. Under her spiritual thought perception, a huge head emerged from the bottom of the lake, and it was a figure she was very familiar with. Master was really here. Even though Wang Fong didn't understand how Master had managed to evade her probing, her heart was thrilled. After many years of separation, Master was still the same. Other than his breath becoming stronger, there was almost no difference from before. As for himself, he had changed quite a lot now, and he didn't know if Master recognized his present self. Wang Fong couldn't help but think. Chang Long had just poked his head out from the very small world inside to the outside when he sensed a powerful spiritual thought probing. Needless to say, it must be that little girl Wang Fong. Master. That familiar spiritual thought force quickly and automatically connected with his extended spiritual thought force, and then he received a long-lost master from Wang Fong. Silly girl, it's true that you've grown just as I imagined, you're worthy of being my good disciple. Chen Long naturally also saw the beautiful woman on the lake shore, and couldn't help but slightly stare before saying. Despite the fact that the woman had changed, Chen Long still vaguely saw the figure of that quirky little girl who followed him around in the past from the current Wang Fong. Boss. At the same time, in his mind, Xiong Da's rough voice came. You big stupid bear, I didn't realize that you are now a peak battle king bear king like me. With these two familiar calls, Cheng Long felt a warmth in his heart. He himself still had someone in this world who was genuinely holding on to him and remembering him after all. He wasn't that rootless duckweed, and was considered to have the existence of a family. As for the memories of his previous life, after traveling for so many years, he vaguely felt some slight blurring. The family in his memory, naturally, can still clearly recall. However, it seemed to feel like a dream, rather distant. Just as the three of them were connecting with each other, on the shore of the lake, a trace of surprise couldn't help but appear on the face of that gi real person, and then he turned his gaze to Xiongde, who was on the side. Originally, Xiongde had sworn that its family boss was here, in the middle of this valley, and realist Guei still didn't believe it. Although he didn't have spiritual thoughts like Wang Fong, as a planetary-level martial artist, he was just as capable of sensing some of the surrounding situations with his breath. As long as it was a living being that had a track of activity, he would leave behind his own unique scent in that vicinity. The higher the realm of the being, the stronger the scent it left behind would be. For example, those beast kings as well as beast gods' territories that they pass through along the way could be smelled differently in the air from several kilometers away. However, the Guei realist sensed that there was nothing in this valley right now. Moreover, the mysterious force that Tchaikovsky had said was also not perceived when he entered this valley. Of course, realist Guei did not think that these people were lying, but that there was indeed something fishy in this valley. He was also slightly surprised when he stepped into this place. The outside world was a snowy land with snow drifting from the sky and freezing for thousands of miles, but only in this square inch valley was a picture of Jiangnan spring colors and vibrant life. Moreover, the temperature in here, it was indeed much warmer than the outside world, at least more than 20 degrees of temperature. And its source was this small lake in the center. Sure enough that guy is here, this big dumb bear indeed didn't lie. The moment Chang Long's entire body burrowed out of the inner space of the airship, his aura naturally emanated out, and was immediately captured by the returning reality. What a strong aura, it's already not inferior to me at all, even though it's still at the king level, no wonder he was able to crush that eight-clawed octopus back then. Not only did reality returner perceive Chang Long's powerful aura, that Tchaikovsky also keenly perceived the abnormality at the bottom of the lake. Although neither of them had seen Chang Long's true figure yet, they had already attracted enough attention. On guard. Tchaikovsky, who had suffered a loss once, immediately ordered the soldiers behind him to prepare a strategy to deal with it. Even though this time the owner of this aura was not as terrifying as the one he perceived last time when he was locked by that mysterious force when he went deep into the bottom of the lake, it still made his heart thump. If it wasn't for the presence of the returning one realist, at this moment, he was afraid that he had already made plans to meet the enemy in the air. There's no need to panic, 
this one at the bottom of the lake can be considered an old friend of our humans. Hearing the command issued by Tchaikovsky, returning one true man immediately reached out and patted his shoulder, stopping his behavior. Those soldiers also froze for a moment when they heard the words of the two, and the hands that were already touching on the butt of their rifles didn't know whether to put them down or continue holding them. As for Wang Fang and Xiong De, after hearing such an instruction, they also looked at Tchaikovsky with angry eyes. Although this guy was claimed to be the third strongest person other than Gui Yijin and Fansen, if he really aimed the gun in his hand at his master and boss, the two of them wouldn't mind fighting with him. Seeing such a situation, Tchaikovsky could not help but be confused. He himself had merely uttered the normal word of alert. Not only was the returning one real person stopping him, even this Wang Fang and that big bear were giving him a bad look. What was going on? Although he was not afraid of Wang Fang and Xiong Da's inexplicable hostility, with his strength, he could easily defeat these two guys. But for no reason at all, he was hated by the two peak battle kings under Gui Yijinjin, whoever else would have to weigh it up. Shang Long naturally saw everything on the surface of the lake. He was still at the bottom of the lake and had just come out. He hadn't even shown up completely, but the outside had already caused such a big storm. It was possible that those two guys in would really have a fight with that giant bear country's foreigner. Unable to help but let him also enjoy this long lost feeling of being cared for and pampered by his family. You two don't stare at people like that, it's not like others know that it's me at the bottom of the lake, it's only reasonable to be on guard. And if you two don't use your killer weapon, I guess you are still positively unable to beat him, don't cause unnecessary friction. Cheng Long immediately sent out his heartfelt words. Understood, I was also thinking that you shouldn't be treated like this, master, but I forgot about it for a while. A hint of embarrassment appeared on Wang Fang's face, and his eyes returned to normal, no longer staring at Tchaikovsky. Xiong Di, on the other hand, still said with a few points of dissatisfaction, I don't care if he knows it or not, anyone who dares to be so disrespectful to the boss is always my enemy, no matter if I fight or not, I'll get the hell out of him first. Alright, you big stupid bear, I know you are loyal, but as I said before, you are not only my little brother, but also my family, to be my family, the first thing, is to protect yourself first. Xiong Da's words made Cheng Long feel warm, it felt so good to be defended. In his previous life, he didn't have an existence that could readily have to go to war with the enemy for the sake of his dignity, but now he did. Although it was a bear, although its soul was controlled by himself, but it was also one that it had taken the initiative to submit to, and in Shang Long's opinion, that was enough. Boss. Xiong Da's heart was equally surging, it was not true that he was an eater and a simpleton, but it did not mean that he was stupid, since he opened his mind, the boss was the first existence to treat himself this way. This boss, contains too much Shonda cannot use language convergence of emotions, not only because of their own life and death and their thoughts so simple. Shang Long quickly surfaced, and when he looked at the crowd, they looked at him. This is. When Shang Long came to the shore, flapped his fleshy wings a few times, shook his body, shook off the water droplets on his body, and completely revealed his true form. Tchaikovsky and the others who had never seen Shang Long's appearance before also felt very strange the moment they saw him. They had seen a lot of strange beasts, but it was the first time they had seen one like Cheng Long. The snake was not a snake, the lizard was not a lizard, and it also had a pair of huge wings, giving people an indescribable sense of awkwardness. Other beasts, even if they are mutated again, are still based on their original species, and basically seldom depart from their original appearance, so that people can recognize which species exists at a glance. However, Chang Long's image completely subverted this viewpoint. On the 100 meter long snake, the piece of scale armor was comparable to hard meteoric iron, carrying a bit of cold light. Not far below his 7 inches, there was a pair of huge fleshy wings. There was not a single hair on it, and it was covered with a thick layer of scale armor. The open feathers were even as wide as 60 to 70 meters, and in front of the eyes of the crowd, there was a feeling of covering the sky and the sun. And on the front and back of the abdomen, there was each a pair of huge claws that were more than 3 feet long. Each giant claw each had 5 fingers, and the sharp fingertips were even like that falcon's eagle's claws, full of killing power. How exactly did this fellow mutate, actually resembling the legendary Ying Long, so odd? Gui Yi real person naturally saw Cheng Long's appearance in the collected data, but seeing it with his own eyes, this was the first time, for Cheng Long's appearance at this moment, he could not help but mutter inwardly, but his face did not have any expression. Master. Boss. Wang Fang and Xiong Di ignored the astonished looks of those people, instead, they came to Cheng Long's side and stood by themselves. Master, let me introduce you, this is our Gui Yi Martial Hall's master, Gui Yi Jinjin, the world's number one powerhouse, and our Martial Hall's number one patriarch, a planetary level fourth stage existence. The one beside him is the number one powerhouse of the northern border, the guardian of the giant bear country, an existence of the second rank of the planetary level, and the third patriarch of our Martial Hall, Tchaikovsky. Wang Fang didn't use his mind power to communicate at the moment, but instead used human words to make introductions. Greetings to the two of you. 
Shang Long nodded and said in ventriloquism, although his voice was a little harder to hear, he was at least able to communicate. Your Excellency is Mr. Shang Long Chun who saved Wang Yun Bay City, right? I have admired you for a long time many years ago. As the saying goes, hearing a hundred times is better than seeing one, seeing your excellency's elegance today is truly extraordinary. Realist Guo Yi smiled faintly and said slowly. For the matter of Chang Long being able to communicate in ventriloquism, although he was a bit surprised, he did not think much about it. There were more exotic beasts under the sky, and it was normal to have some peculiarities, especially this one in front of him. Likewise, as the number one human powerhouse, I have heard a lot about your excellency as well. Shang Long also returned the greeting, the flower sedan chair carries people, since the other party was full of goodwill towards him, then he would not make the move of reaching out to hit a smiling person. Snake King, most of us in the giant bear country are straightforward, there is one thing that I would like to ask, the Ravsky who died in this valley before, was it your handiwork? Tchaikovsky, who was on the side, couldn't help but open his mouth to ask after he heard the pleasantries between returning one and Chang Long, while beside him stood a soldier who was in charge of translating. The moment Chang Long came out, a thousand thoughts rose in his heart. Chun Long's strength was strong yes, but it was not at the level of a planetary star. In other words, he was not awakening his exclusive ability. On the other hand, what killed Lavsky was a beam of light, which was witnessed by Nasser and the few other battle kings present at the time. Moreover, he himself had experienced the feeling of being locked by that mysterious force, which was completely different from the feeling given by this strange snake king in front of him. Then, there was definitely the existence of a super relic under the water. And today, from the time he came to this valley once again, that strange power did not appear, while in the lake, the strange snake king was drilled out. Then, there were only two possibilities. First, the relic had already been shortcut by this monstrous beast, and had even obtained the treasures and other inheritances inside. Second, the relics were still there, only that some of the treasures had been obtained by this fellow. Regardless of that situation, this was the northern frontier, the territory of their giant bear kingdom. Moreover, the two guys, Zeratu and Dervis, were on their way here. Although the Snake King was strong, he had to spit out some of his treasures after all when facing the three planetary level existences. 